Hello, I'm ABX Toy Cat, and this is my third and final attempt at trying to survive 100 days in Minecraft, but actually you can see all 100 days. I am big on the idea of honesty and openness and actually sharing what it's like to do one of these, and statistically it's going to take somewhere between 16 hours and 40 minutes and 33 hours and 20 minutes to do 100 Minecraft days, but actually. It's actually a surprisingly hard challenge to play that long in a row, as it turns out as we've learned and so this is my final attempt at trying that in not just hardcore we're not just playing with hard difficulty turned on but with natural regeneration turned off it's gonna be a lot of fun I hope uh, you, 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 you join for that and uh, yeah we're gonna have the silly hardcore hearts on just so uh, that you yeah, just so people understand the world is deleted when it's over 100 Minecraft days can we do it let's Find out. Okay, that bug just happened. Well, you know, it's fine. It won't happen again. And on the PC, it only happens once. It's it's concerning that it happens at all, but that's fine. I, I mean, I did just I did set all the all the all the world settings up, but it's 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 fine when Minecraft uh, wants to make me do it again because it's a reminder of how serious this world is. So two important reminders. One is this: what this stream can only ever get to twelve hours. After twelve hours, we have to switch over to a different one. And uh, the second reminder is that iron golems will kill me if I'm not careful. So <laughs> I'm gonna be watching out for them uh, quite seriously. This is going to be a um, an, an, an event that starts here on Christmas Eve, the 24th of December. It's going to run until the 25th of December, if things go well, uh, till about 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning. I'm going to be very tired, but again, this is an important event to me, and so I'm going to do my best. Um, I just, again, I, I, I think it would be really cool to actually have 100 days, but it's all actually documented. And as you can see, we got a lovely Christmassy seed. Hello, thank you very much, Frog, so much for becoming a, uh, a, indeed, a member for one month in a row. I really appreciate it. Find a polar bear and befriend it immediately. What a good idea. So I like this spawn in terms of the aesthetic. It fits the time of the year quite well. Um, but as far as like actual value, I'm not loving this seed so much. I think I'm gonna make a boat and then go explore over there. I like the ice spikes. I would love to one day settle down in ice spikes. But if you want to make Minecraft progress, you just kind of can't. Like there's there's not enough opportunity nearby. Instead, as always, we're gonna use a village because villages just offer such fast progression. However, uh, because I've now died to golems in quite a few uh, different, you know, I, I, I've learned my lesson about golems. I am going to either kill the village or lock him in a cage ASAP. He won't just sit there in a boat ready to maybe mess me up. Iron golems are an active hazard. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Very good luck today. Thank you, Jay Cedar. I believe that I will have some good luck today. Uh, I mean, I have to, right? Oh, yeah. The the law of luck and averages is that if bad things happen, eventually they'll be cancelled out. So um, yeah, this is, um, it, it is a little bit silly to do it so soon off the last attempt, but I figure this is my last shot. Like I don't, you, you know, usually I'm very busy making videos and stuff, but this is my, uh, I, I got a few days off for Christmas and I figured let's use that to stream Minecraft until I can do a hundred days in a row. Because honestly, I do like playing, uh, like this this new world experience and trying to see how much progress we can make in a hundred days genuinely is a fun one to me. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to, ooh, okay. We got some uh, dandelions if we want them. We don't actually want them, but I like the idea. And then we got some gravel over here. I'm only gonna take the gravel because so much of it can be had by just mining this block because now all of that falls down and turns into, well, it doesn't turn into anything, but it, it, it could have turned into some flint, but I've already got the flint, so we're good. Um, we could kill some rabbits, but I'm not so big on that. I think we're just gonna get in the boat and see where Minecraft takes me. So yeah, pro tip, when you spawn somewhere icy, there's a lot of downsides to it. You know, sugarcane doesn't correctly exist, etc., etc. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas to you too. I hope you have a merry day. I hope you have a, a merry good day. There we go. Is that... It, it is kind of crazy. You know, that, that's a New Zealand tip, right? So that's... Uh... Also, thank you... Do uh... not touch the <laughs> iron golems. <laughs> Diluted Dante? I think that's good advice. I think... Um... I, I like that I like the full stops managed to put the emphasis on it. That was uh if you don't know, ten dollar tips are more of text to speech and so that that one like I that that was some clever text to speech. You got you got the bot to like be like, you know, very, very urgent about it all. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna just follow the ice river. Uh, you can get around these biomes very quickly, and that means finding a village should be no problems whatsoever. So, uh, okay, you know you know how we just got a tip saying don't touch the di the, the golem? Also, Storm Day, good to see you. Merry uh, Christmas, toy cat. 
Hope you have a great one this year. I hope you have a great one too. This is going, I, honestly, I am looking forward to my Christmas. I'm gonna feel accomplished as heck. If I go to sleep tonight, I'll be tired as beyond all belief. It'll be 4.30 a.m. I think. If everything goes to, uh, to plan, I'll be sleeping at about 4 a.m. tonight. Uh, but then I'll wake up on Christmas day and feel like, yeah, well, I've done enough to deserve this uh, this day off, you know? I uh, There are polar bears roaming around this village, which isn't a fact that I can say I enjoy. Um, Okay, so now we need to get some stone. Uh, yeah, I do not like that fact. Um, we need, we're gonna go find the golem, we're gonna find some stone. This is one bit of stone. I guess it will have to do, right? Because you can just, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get some stone uh, tools made. Uh, this is always an early game thing you gotta do. If we could skip straight to iron, it would be nicer. Actually, we can skip straight to iron if we just, you know, let's do it. Let's make an iron pickaxe even. Yeah, let's just, let's make a stone sword straight into the iron pickaxe. Okay, so I'm, I've learned a lot of lessons, and those lessons are just, even when it seems like a really good idea to ignore your intuition, do the smart thing with iron golems. Take them slow, take them in the safest way possible. One foul hit and the, the run is over, right? That's that's not okay. So, um, I love the speech, I agree, leave the gloom alone. <laughs> okay, so... Here's, here's what we do. We attack from a, the furthest distance we can. Then we find a flat ground. It has to be flat. If it's not flat, the golem can jump and he can do some stuff. And then we go three blocks up. Is he actually going to come down here? I hope he does. Uh, okay, so this... See, this is tempting to just stand there and then attack him. No, 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 no. What we do instead is we break this block. And then we walk back. Okay, we break this block. And we walk back. Now he can... He should be able to get down here. Okay, one more time. Now he can get down to come get me, hopefully. Can he, does he not walk on, on ice or something? Is, see, this is, this is where he gets here. He makes you think what's going on with him. And I actually, I actually can't work this out. Like what is going on with him? Um, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deal with it. If, 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 if there's any amount of doubt and there's like 0.1% doubt in my brain right now, we can just ignore the golem. Um, there's a chance he starts following me over here, but I think he's trapped there nicely. So we're good. And then we just take uh, all the other goodies from the village uh, like I would like one of these, for example. Can you break it with a wooden pickaxe? I hope so. It does have iron in it, so that seems a bit strange. And we check on the golem, and as long as the golem is there, I can feel safe. We take a furnace, because they're freebies. We take some extra beds, because these are always useful. And uh, then we check on the golem again. We <laughs> we we continuously check on that guy. Um, yeah, it's, it's day one. Um, and uh, everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be more than okay. Do you, do you see this caution I'm exercising? This is a new feeling for me. I do not understand the the meaning of the phrase caution, but yet I am exercising it regardless. I, you know, I don't know the, the the meaning of the phrase exercise either, but you know, it's it's gonna be good either way. Thank you for the brewing stand. I honestly, getting a brewing stand for free seems like such a cool thing until you realize that they require um, blaze rods to run anyway. And so it's not actually that big of a freebie. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take it regardless. I'm also going to find any other freebies uh, that are worthwhile in this village. I don't think we're finding any good ones, and so let's get out there. This is a, this is like almost a good enough location to dig down from and try and find a stronghold. But again, right now is quite early days for that. Instead, I'm gonna just take what I have and go find another village. Uh, as long as we head in the same, also, this is an iceberg biome. I, I just like, I like rolling boats through these. There's just, there's an intense satisfaction you cannot deny about rolling through one of these like it's a Mario Kart course. It just, it just feels good. Those are the facts. I think I'm gonna take the river that was just that way. Uh, if I don't see another village this way soon. Um, but yeah, they got, I, I think if we find a village right about now, I can't see anything. But if we did find one, that would be, we're in like the Goldilocks zone for a stronghold below it. Which would be cool. I don't think I'm intending to go to the end till much, much later today. But it would still be a, uh, a great start in my opinion. So, yeah, looking around. I, I, I think we, we use third person so we get a slightly wider field of view. Um, looking around, I don't see any sign of it though. Um, okay, village? No village. Vill I, honestly, I would like to be in a different biome today. I, 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 okay, you know what? I found a village. It's, if it's at the edge of the ice, that'd be great. But I mean, like, honestly, I feel like you're just kind of like, you're at a slight disadvantage by being in one of these. Like, my water's gonna freeze up. I've got polar bears potentially on the attack. This village feels exactly like the previous one, actually. Okay, so let's get some iron. Um, again, we're gonna do it carefully. 
We're gonna do it very carefully. Let me show you, and that polar bear is fine, but gonna keep, worth keeping an eye on anyway. So just, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we got this, we got this. Um, so right in the center here, there's snow everywhere actually, so I don't know if I love that. Uh, we'll go on the ice. The ice is the safest place because you can see it's flat and there's no, there's no question about how flat it is. And then as long as the golem's willing to walk here, we stack up three blocks. Golems can't climb three blocks, uh, as best I know. And as you can see, he can't get me. And then we, we, we stone sword him to death. As long as I'm slightly further back on the block, I know I'm good. And there we go. See, it's very easy, really. Uh, oh, and we got five. That's a bucket and a sword. Um, or we can do other things with it. We, we're probably going to get our own um, iron somewhere at some point. Uh, so yeah, take whether this village is the one to settle down in or whether we take it somewhere else. Genuinely a good question. I, It's a hard one to answer. I think just to be on the side of... Uh, I, I think a part of me says I want to do better. I think that's what a part of me says. And I think I'm going to listen to that part of me. So, um, yeah, dude, use lava to kill him. That is a good idea if you do not like golem drops. It's true. Um, I was uh, I was the first on speedrunning your ideas video. I'm glad you liked it. I, uh, I'm i learning a lot about, uh, you know, like uh, this this new style of YouTube, putting a lot more, more work and effort into various videos, trying to work out like, okay, What's what's worth the effort and what makes people go? Yeah, but it's it's not worth looking at. It's something I'm trying to learn from the last few weeks of videos. Kind of like learning YouTube again, effectively. See, I think I'm gonna sleep in this village. Oh, there's a room portal up there. I'm gonna sleep in this village, uh, but I don't think I'm gonna settle down here. I just I I know it's Christmas. Actually, you know what? it is Christmas. We should settle down in a snowy in a snowy plains. Uh, I think over here would be better in my dreams because it's got you know like regular tiger. Oh, gotta watch out. Um, but, you know, it'll be fine otherwise, too. So, yeah, really, really taking, uh, you know, we could have waited in the village, then done this in the morning. But I, I, I want to make actual progress today. That is the goal. We will make, we will take some risks to do it, but that's okay. Thank you, Dream, uh, for becoming a member. There we go. That, I, I tried. Uh, so we got a gold pickaxe of efficiency. That's actually pretty handy. And we got nine of these. And then we also got a fire charge. I'm gonna take all the flint just in case I want a bunch of fletching tables. Uh, I think I probably would want one at the very most. And uh, yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice place too. It's got a gold block at the very top. That is a golden apple if I'm willing to take it. So uh, I'm gonna make sure there's no magma here. Uh, oh, the magma is kind of uncovering itself slowly. And uh, yeah, we have to make the decision: is it worth making a iron pickaxe to get one gold block? Because the, yeah, because it will make me a, um, is there a second gold block? I think solely because it, it makes me a golden apple, it's worth doing. Uh, it always seems questionable. Don't get me wrong, I understand that. But, uh, yeah, it's worth doing. Uh, especially because we now have enough to, okay, this is a bit of a pain because of the, the half slabbiness to the whole thing. But place those, place that. Make a iron, so yeah, we can make a bucket as well. The, the bucket's always gonna be the second thing that we craft, so we might as well just make it now. Uh, and then we can take some lava back with us as well. So yeah, that's a risky, it's a risky placement for it. We could, I could go for a little bit of effort, grab some blocks over there, uh, just so I have something uh, to kind of protect it with. Uh, yeah, I think this is this is worth doing. Hey, thank you, Togat. Don't listen to your senses. You must touch the golems. <laughs> I totally agree, Storm Veridea. I um, I I totally agree. I am going to ignore ignore the the voice in the back of my head or the voice in the chat, and I'm just gonna do it anyway. Um, it's gonna be a really good idea. It's gonna be it's gonna be the greatest of ideas uh, that you've ever seen. Okay, so now we jump over here. We break the crafting table, because I just like having crafting tables. I always need them. And then we're going to take... Oh, oh, there is a second gold block. I can't believe I didn't see that. So yeah, it was definitely worthwhile now, uh, with that in mind. So we need some stairs. Uh, this is stairs. I think two of them will be just fine. And then we're going to walk around this thing. No, I knew that would happen eventually. Can I make this jump? I can make this jump. Um, so half a heart is fine. It proves that we have natural regeneration turned off. Um, and this is very strange. Look at that lava. You can see the lava gap where it's not expecting to be on a slant right there. 
That is an interesting little please zone. Okay, we got it. So now we've got two sets of 18, so we've got 18 gold ingots. Really good start for a game. Uh, obviously going to the nether would be a better start, um, but it would also be a scarier, riskier start. So something to keep in mind. I usually like to make my base quite close to spawn. This village is perfectly located to find a stronghold below. So I think I might even do that now. Because if there is a stronghold below it, I think I basically have to live here. Like it's, you know, it's basically required. But if there's no stronghold below this village, we're good. If you're curious as to what I mean by why I think there's a stronghold below it, uh, in Minecraft Bedrock uh, only, um, the um, strong... Also, that, that polar bear now has a baby. So that is something... I should either kill them or I've got to lock them in a box or something. But I... You know, I'll start my... I'll start my... No, I can't go inside even. If I go inside, polar bears can still get you. So we'll just use this igloo over here, assuming it's a part of the village. Is it not a part of the village? Is this... Is this genuinely just a coincidental igloo right next to the village? I think it is. That is fascinating um, by itself, but we're not going to focus too much on it. So yeah, basically, um, uh, strongholds try to generate below villages, and there's a certain place where, uh, where strongholds try to generate, and they'll try to spawn in a village if there's one nearby, and this is within the bounds of that being possible. See, I want to be inside, but these I need to have more space from the outside, if that makes any sense. Um, because polar bears can hit you through walls. That is a true fact. Should it be a true fact? I don't think so, but it is a true fact. So now we dig down from this house because we can see that is the safest place to do something. Uh, this is now officially the start of my mine. We can place a bed in here if we want one, but I don't think I should. Again, these walls are potential danger for me. I'm gonna put some carpet down because, you know, I've got carpet and it's, it's kind of ugly to leave it lying around. And uh, then we start digging down. Let's do this. I probably should just make a shovel, um, but you know that's what big shovel wants. That's that's what they that's that's what they're you know counting on you doing. Are you just gonna play into their hands this way? And uh, so yeah, then I'm gonna slowly do a switch back when I'm safe from the polar bears back this way. Um, and now we're finally underground. And so here's the fun thing about this gold pickaxe. It has no value to me except being very quick for mining. It's Look at this. So it's going to get dark for a bit because I have no torches. There are some torches around the village, I'm sure, and I could use this lava as a temporary source of light. But uh, instead, I just prefer to mine till I find coal. Um, it doesn't always work, and uh, you know, it doesn't even doesn't even most of the time work. But it's really nice when it does. It's a fun reminder. Also, is that iron? That is some iron. So we'll take some iron as well. Uh, I don't know if this is iron. I can't see. Was there? Is there really one block of iron? No, it's two. That's still just as confusingly frustrating. And uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna grab a torch from... Actually, that's that's an inside torch. Okay, we got two in here. Uh, watch out for the windows. You never know when polar bears are gonna reach in and grab you. This sound this sounds like sarcasm, but if you haven't watched my, my very first attempt at surviving 100 days ended because a polar bear uh, grabbed me through a wall and I didn't know it was a polar bear till I read the death message. If I'd have known, oh, there's a polar bear after me, I would have not taken the damage, but you know what? I didn't know that. Also, bears drop salmon. Salmon is a very classically good food. That is true. Also, I should make a chest. I, I, I can't be can't be caving with all this stuff on me. Um, but yeah, I um, igloo spawns close to a snow village, like pumpkins in a plains village. Um, yeah, the uh, the I I I guess that's true if I've seen it twice in a row now. It feels uh, also sorry if you can't see anything. See that? That is right there, a cave. I am going to go into the cave only after checking it from all angles to make sure there are no easily easily visible mobs. Uh, if we have gravel, that would be the perfect time for it, but I don't think I do. Um, so how are we going to get down there, chat? Um, the lowest block down is this, so we can place that for now. And there's this, it's a slime chunk, so we're going to get some slime balls because I feel like there are ways potentially, you know, like, I guess I, I always know I can come back here later. Um, okay, now we can make another um, step down over that. So now we're close to being able to, ooh, wow, this is a big cave. I, I like the glow lichens lighting it up, lighting it up. There's a, it's a real value in those we don't always see. You know, in Minecraft, we talk about the negatives sometimes, a bit more than we talk about the positives. Glow lichens are a real good positive for Minecraft. No doubt about it. So then we can just place that there, and that there, and then as long as there's no mobs, which I do not believe there is, 
We go. Wow, this is this is quite the cave. This is this is a fancy place, and there's some coal. There's also some brown mushrooms. So mushroom stew is because there's no natural regeneration. You can see my health bar is stuck at a uh, nine and a half. The only way to heal up is with uh, golden apples, regeneration potions, stuff like that. So um, suspicious stew is a amazing step forward. I'm gonna throw away uh, this and the poppies as well. They're just they're, they're fun sounding, but not that great in practice. We are now gonna mine the coal. I think this is a situation to switch out for the iron pickaxe. Because uh, because pickaxes scale, the longer it takes to mine something, the better idea it is to use a better pickaxe. And then opposite and vice versa. Like You can use a wooden pickaxe in the nether for netherrack, because it's going to take next to no time regardless of what you use. Um, okay, so we got some iron. I'm going to watch out for any slimes. I just feel like I'm going to be ambushed right now. I have that feeling in my brain. Uh, I'm going to make 12 torches, and I'm going to place them over here. So now we can uh, light up that area. I think this is the most important place to light up. Just when I'm going back home, I shouldn't be surprised by what I find inside that cave. So that's good. We could kill the slime. Uh, it looks like we've already killed... I mean, it looks like something has already died, maybe. Um, yeah, we'll grab some slime balls. And we'll replace our iron bars of them. Nice. Okay, so we got we got enough slime balls to make like a few sticky pistons. More than we probably want. Uh, we could get some gold, but there's only one block of it. And then we got a lovely cave over here. Um, it doesn't go down to diamond layer or anything like that. But there's still some good potential. See, these it's weird that these caves can sometimes have seven mobs all going for you at the same time. You know, you're gonna get, you're gonna have a, a gang situation. Or you could have, uh, you know, an entire cave with no hostile mobs besides a single slime. Uh, and that's, and there's something weird about that. I think that's what makes caves kind of eerie. It's like, you know, you know something could be here, even when you don't see it. So, um, yeah, we also have to watch out for nighttime, by the way. I think we'd be able to see it from one of these outside views. I'm not too sure, though. And yeah, we're going to go for as much iron as we can get, because I want some armor and I want a shield. Uh, when we do encounter bad things, having a shield, very, very useful. Um, in case you're curious as to why I'm doing something so, like, you might think, like, don't you want to survive 100 days, Toy Cat? I do, and I want it to be, like, real, though. I'm going to be careful. Like, I, I think I'm being quite careful right now. I think if you, I, you know, the safest way to play 100 days would be sitting inside, though. And that's that's not fun Minecraft to me. I, I want to have a fun 100 days. Uh, as silly as that sounds. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to just do the challenge. I want to have had a, a good time doing the challenge, too. Uh, and, yeah, having a good time is definitely... One of the biggest causes of death in the world. You know, real life and Minecraft. But I still think it's worthwhile to do. So I'm going to go back for the lapis now. I'm going to pick up any of the extra gold that I... Ooh, okay. We're just going to... It's only slime so far in this cave. Okay, if we see a, a little errant diamond hanging around, it might be worth going for it. Because we do need two diamonds for an enchantment table. You can't trade for those two diamonds. The enchantment table has to be manually mined or found or whatever. Um, but yeah, I think it's now nighttime, by the way. I'm getting nighttime vibes from that outside, at least. Uh, we could go further in here, but yeah, I think this is... Uh, hey, Toy Cat watched your videos for years, but this is the first live stream I've been able to see. Hey! Good luck. Uh, it's, it's fun, because for a lot of people, it's like, yeah, this is a weird time for you to stream, Toy Cat. But that coincidentally is good for a certain number of people. I, if, if that is you, thank you very much. I'm glad, glad you you like the stream time. You're showing your appreciation. It, it means a lot. I uh, so thank you, Fat Fat Owls Gaming. <laughs> what a fun username you have. Um, I hope that it is fat in a cool way, and and it you know yeah. I hope you like that it. You know if it's in your username, you like it. You know I no one ever puts in their username like. Dumb, dumb, dumb kid who deserves to get bullied. Six, eight, nine, nine. Uh, or maybe people do do that, but you know, at that point, at that point, it's like you know, maybe you enjoy people bringing you down. I mean, that is true for a certain number of people, right? Like some. I think that's the that's the interesting thing about like most most social structures is there's like there's often someone on the other side being like, well, I mean, it's not you know, it's not perfect, but it works, and the uh, yeah, I find that interesting at least. Anyway, so, yeah, we could get out of this cave the way I came in. And don't get me wrong, I intend to do that. I'm going to get a ton of iron on the way out. It's going to be great. 
But also, I could try and see that, like, weird surface access. Because I could, you know, there is a light source that goes up and down with the day, which makes me think this cave is exposed somewhere. And we're going to have to find out where. I'm going to keep doing uh, occasional checks for, like, creepers, skeletons, anything following me. But the cave seems pretty relaxed for now. And then we're also going to go grab that gold that I left earlier. Just seems like a good idea. And then look around. Is there anything else? Nope. But there is a ton of gold. So we're probably going to get a third golden apple worth of gold. Or we could trade with piglins and get ender pearls. Or we could get fire resistance potions too. Honestly, okay, so I think iron golems and lava are my two biggest death sources. Avoiding iron golems is easy, but avoiding, go uh, you know, lava is hard. It follows you around, you know? So maybe I could sneak my way around that. Also, we now have 35 raw iron. That's a cauldron as well as a set of armor, as well as some other stuff. I think I'm doing pretty good at that. I think I should just climb out of this via the water. Like, getting a little bit more gold. No, I'm going to get some more gold first. You know, it's day three. I can uh, I can afford I can afford to just peek. Give it a little look. See if I find some gold. Um, you know, the only mobs we're encountering are slimes. Slimes are quite slow. Uh, going through water is usually not my preferred thing, just in case you encounter a, a drowned. But I have been through this part of the cave otherwise. Also, look. Wow, yeah, this is this is a cool little 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 cave world that we found ourselves. Um, and yeah, this is the cave, the cave. Okay, let's let's uh, place a torch over here. Watch out for that gravel in the ceiling. Actually, you know what? Let's just let's just make the gravel fall. Um, it's safer when it's down and like predictably down than if it falls on me when I'm doing something else. I've learned that lesson. I've learned that lesson. Um. And uh, yeah, we're now we're now well past the amount of iron we actually need. We're just getting iron that we want at this point, which is fine. And do you see any gold or do you see any diamonds? I am oh, okay. Yeah, I shouldn't have crouched over the edge there. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, I'm not seeing anything that I need too bad right now. So we're just gonna get out. I do have a nice ten raw gold. That is good. Twenty twenty eight. That is it's a good number. Is it gonna be twenty eight? I'll have. Yeah, it'll be 28 that I have. Um, it takes eight for a golden apple, so three and a half, three and a half gapples, if you will. See, I like the word gapple. It's nonsensical, but yet it's real. Um, we could dig down a little bit further to see if there's a stronghold around here, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the belief that there is not right now. Uh, this is, this is actually the most risky thing I'm doing right now. If I fool, I have to. Ooh, yeah, this is, this is a little over the top risky. Um. But it's fine. Uh, I should have used the water source out, really. Yeah, if there's just a polar bear at the top here, knocks me down. Does three damage from the hit. Does, like, five from the full. I'm, like, basically dead from a single errant mob. Uh, but it, I'm, I'm going to... I mean, I'm taking the small risk because I'm aware of it. Oh, look, there's, there's it's the village. So, yeah, this is really cool, this little hole. This is... I, I like this sort of part. Yeah, this is a great part of Minecraft. If I had known that was there earlier, I might have just jumped down into it. But then I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have had the journey that I did. So now we're going to go get in our boat, and we're just going to find a third and better village. And then we're going to settle down there. In fact, I'm going to bring a villager with me because, you know, kidnapping is actually... You know, this is, this is what they won't tell you. Kidnapping isn't a crime if you don't get caught. Um, it's, uh, it's actually entirely allowed right up until the moment where you get uh, caught. No, I, one, one of my favorite uh, facts is uh, is under, like, German law, there's, like, a drink driving limit. And then there's a drink driving limit if you get caught. And that sounds so nonsensical, but it's actually true. And I, 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 I've I spent forever trying to work out, like, what's the point in having a limit that's different if you get caught to if you don't? And I actually see that, like, oh, yeah, if you're doing something that's so bad that a police officer has to pull you over, you know? Also... Did that? Did he get hurt there? Did you hear that? Oh, this is a real nice uh, portal. It's it's a sh like it's crazy how these random seeds are giving me such different spawns to before. But this is this is good. We're gonna take twenty one of that. No wait, divide by nine. We're gonna take eighteen of this. Um, somehow we're gonna take all the gold, and then we're gonna take the smite efficiency free axe, and we could maybe even take the chest. Uh, yeah, we'll take the fire charges, which, you know, at some point we should just take take the chest. It won't even fit in my inventory. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then we're gonna go to the village. Um, it's on hard difficulty. I just went back. 
I'm glad I'm glad you can confirm. You know, it, it would be silly to do this not on hard difficulty. You know, it's got... The, the ultra hardcore part is way harder than the hardcore part. Like, dying and losing the world is tragic, but having no regeneration is like... It's scary, right? Like, we... Did you hear that? Was that just the chest? I heard something concerning. I think I'm just getting, like, Iron Golem uh, flashbacks or something. So I don't actually need to kill the Golem in this village. But it is a very safe looking golem. But I'm not going to do it anyway. I... Oh, I see a big pit of... That's not... Pit. Is that a pit of lava? Yeah, we could go to the nether right now. Um, I want to find the edge of this biome. I Like, I, I want to have some Christmassy feeling. Don't get me wrong. Like, wow, look. Snow equals Christmas. It never snows where I live, so I don't know why snow equals Christmas. But, um, you know, like, I do get that those vibes and everything. But I also just... I want to be out of here... I want to, like, even, like, a swamp or something, I'd be, I'd, I'd get something from that. On the other hand, that is an amazing portal to just find pre-generated. Getting two obsidian isn't going to be hard. In fact, I've got a lava bucket, so just, you know, like, I just need to get another one of those. And, uh, yeah, this village could be workable. This village could be workable. Uh, what do you reckon, internet? Oh, I look, I like this house with the glass around it. Oh, it's a library. Oh, yeah, this is, I mean, it's, this is like a really bad way to store books. Like, without offense to you, my dude, like, you, getting books from up there is going to be really hard. Also, there's a gap in it, and, you know, bad, bad, bad village design. But otherwise, it's, it's an interesting thing. Just, uh, you know, a idea for a video. Go through every single, like, villager structure, and just rank them on their actual usability as a house. Um, you know, that, that is a good idea. That is a solidly great... Yeah, you know, I, I don't see an issue with that as a thing. Uh, I'm going to keep on grabbing furnaces, but I don't think I want to settle down here. This also, by the way, is in the Goldilocks zone. We could find a stronghold below this place. But, yeah, I just... I want. I think I want to be out of this biome. Like, so much stuff... So many things are going to be just an, an extra layer of annoying. So, like, my, my, my crops will freeze over. So, making a pumpkin farm, melon farm gets a little bit harder. All of that starts to freeze over. Um, oh, see, spe speaking of freezing over. Where's where's my boat, by the way? I definitely had one. Um, are we going to go on foot? There's no point going on foot. I, maybe I took it round. Yeah, I must have I must have gone round over here. You know what? My boat should be... There it is. There it is. It's just got a render distance change. So the good news is we can stop the snow. Wow, look how Christmassy it's feeling. Get the books and the bookcases. Yeah, that was my first thought, by the way, uh, Harry Rooney. It's just that my inventory is so cl cluttered. I mean, it's got like, I've got mossy stone bricks in there. It's not, it's not unnecessarily so. Also, it's not nighttime. It just looks like it is. Okay, so let's turn the boat around and let's get out of here. I, I just want to find somewhere where I can have water and it not freeze over. Uh, is that so much to ask, Minecraft? You know, yeah, traveling on a, on, a, on, a, on a hardcore, like, no one's joining me in this world. I can be far from spawn and there's no real downside. If I find a better biome, if I find a mesa, I mean, <laughs> finding a mesa right now seems impossible, but, you know, it's it's not it's not actually. Uh, if I find a mesa of gold, that'd be great. It'd be really just being anywhere else. Oh, look, an igloo. Okay, if that one has, okay, I think we're going to find a golden apple in this basement. Actually, wait, we could see from here. No, there's no basement under this. You can you can see. I'm, I'm, I'm going to confirm, just in case. But I believe there's nothing under here. Oh, well, you know what? Today I learned it's just waterlogged. Well, I didn't know you could get these ladders with that much water in them. Oh, there's just the one bit up there. In interesting. And, uh, yeah, we could kill this guy. I do like that as an idea. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just going to take the golden apple and get out of there. Um... I also take the gold and the coal, I guess, and I'm going to have to remove the white carpet to make space for that. I think the splash potion of uh, weakness is genuinely worth taking. Like, it might be more valuable than four granite. You know, that's a crazy thought, but it's true. And even the cauldron, it's like, yeah, that's 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 good stuff to just have, right? For absolutely no cost. Um, so, uh, fun fact, the people that say Australia is fake will have Christmas late. It's true, Australians do get to have Christmas early. That's 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 your upside in exchange for uh not existing. Is that you but if you don't exist, why not why not have it so that Christmas comes early? It's like uh it's like the Queen. 
Like, she's a fictional character, so she can have two birthdays. Like, um, I've, uh, you know, I've, I've been watching the boys, and they've been like, yeah, we had to create a birthday for this guy. It's, but, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't born in any way. Okay, anyway, so we are going to get out here now. Do, 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 do. I, I just, I, I feel like we've got to be close to the edge of the biome on a mathematical basis. Is this good enough? Should we just, should we just settle down in the middle of a lake, chat? Like, I have a villager here, so if I just cure a second villager, I can start one from scratch, right? Honestly, I actually kind of like that idea. Not right here, but I, I, how about we make our own village, chat? How about we just make our own village? I've got beds. I can steal more. Yeah, you know, it's not the worst idea I've ever come up with. It, it you know, it's, uh, it, if, if only because I keep coming up with worse ideas. It is not the worst idea I've ever come up with. So now I'm going to try and row over the snow just to get over to this iceberg biome. Again, I'm trying to get out of here the best way I can. We're still having 18 degree C days here, unfortunately. That sounds pretty fortunate to me. That sounds like a... That sounds like the way you want to be led. No, 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 no! Oh, God! Oh! Okay. So the bad news is I don't have a boat anymore. Um, the good news, on the other hand... Is I'm gonna eat a golden apple because I've learned my lesson on this on this sort of stuff. So okay, should I go? Actually, you know, I think I want that boat. I think I'm gonna kill the polar bear, um, just from a distance where he can't attack me, obviously. Oh, scary, scary, scary stuff. Um, and we get some salmon as a reward. How nice. So let's go. Um, <laughs> man, that is. That is such a cra- that, that, that's why I don't like these biomes. That everything works a little bit worse. You get snow, which is cool. Uh, but that's actually- that's got some downsides too. Um, and you don't- you can't- your crops don't work. Polar bears will attack you randomly. You don't want to live here. You want to come through here on a Christmas day, which I've already done. So yeah, the good news is we have seven hearts plus two fake hearts. Um, and we can make mushroom stew when we find- Mushrooms for the stew. Yeah, finding finding those brown mushrooms in a cave was a nice find. But uh, yeah, I would like to find something else, please, Minecraft. Anything else? I mean, if you're if you're offering, are you offering? Man, I, I this 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 like frozen stretch has gone on for like two thousand blocks. Oh, that was scary. Oh look, my villager grew up. Well, that's cool. All he's ever known is me. He must think he's an ocelot now. He's like, we going home to the jungle where we live, Dad. And then, and then at some point later today, he's going to learn that I kidnapped him. And we're going to have to explain that, like, well, I'm your real father. I'm the one who was there for you. And he's going to be like, I don't even know what to think anymore. But I guess that makes sense. I mean, uh, or maybe I'll have to take him back to his home village. I'm not sure how it works. But, um, man, I, I just, I'm, I'm having a bad time trying to get out. Oh, wow. Okay, that is fascinating. There is an ocean monument under here. Um, ocean monuments are a great source of gold blocks, but you've got to kill the Elder Guardians first, so it's kind of a non star I mean, if we just get a water breathing potion, we could just ignore that and spend a long time, uh, going for it regardless. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. I mean, I guess we use TNT as well. Um, man, I, look at this! 3,000 blocks! Like, at least the last time I spent thousands of blocks looking for a place to sell down and call home. I was, like, going through different places. This has just been, like... This has been endless the same, though. Okay, so if we find another village out here, it's gonna be a bit of a... I, I, even if it's a tiger village. I hate tiger biomes. I don't find them to be the greatest in... Uh, but, you know what? I'll take one at this point. I'll just take whatever this isn't. Uh, whatever whatever is not this is good for me. Also, another... I'm, I'm hoping for some obsidian. I'm really, really hoping for that. Um, let's see if we... Okay, gold. Nice. Flint and steel. Yeah, I think... I think I'm gonna have to get rid of the raw rabbit. And then I'll just light some more on fire. I'm not gonna take that, but I am gonna take this. Instead of the raw salmon. I do like salmon, so I'm gonna come back for the raw salmon. Don't get me wrong. But, uh... Yeah, let's let's eat the raw salmon. You know what? You, you kill the polar bear, you get the raw salmon. That, that's, that's the name of the game, I believe. And then we're gonna go for the gold block. I'm gonna have a lot of gold, which is, you know, so even though it seems, oh my god, no, I'm not. Um, so how long do we have on this effect? Three minutes and 19 seconds. How quickly could we find a cow? 
Not very quickly though. I think we're gonna do this, yeah. I'm mining a gold block, kind of, in a dangerous place. If there's a cola bat, I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna try and keep mining while keep staying safer from polar bears. Yeah, this is safe. Okay, yeah, this is very- it's frustrating, but what are you gonna do, right? It's frustrating, but what are you gonna do? Um, Snow Biome's been sniffing the sniffer's powder. Opinion on biome distribution. Personally, I feel biomes are too small, but temperate regions are way too large. Um, is this seed Hoff? It feels like it. Why do you have 60 seeds? Oh, it's, uh, I'm preparing for Seed Sunday. Uh, Hexateron. Hope that answers your question. Um, yeah, no, this seed is very, very mono, mono temperature region. Also, yeah, there's something, there's something beautiful about mining a gold. Like, I feel like I'm earning this gold, you know? I feel like I'm really, I'm putting in the elbow grease. Which, side note, did you know elbow grease isn't even a real thing? That's, that's... You know, if, if you if you want to know about lies the world tells us, elbow grease is the biggest one. So, um, yeah, by the way, as uh, in a few hours, the sun will set. Also, come on, we're here. We're almost over the finish line, trusty. If I get hit by a, a, uh, a polar bear now, I think I'd be very upset with the polar bear. But yeah, we're, um, I think it's worth crafting immediately a second apple. I, I need to find uh, trees, by the way. Like, I need to get apples. Like, even if I wanted to be here, and I didn't mind that my stuff would freeze over if I didn't put light sources next to it. Even if I could just ignore all the negatives of this place, I, I need to find an oak tree. Um, and I need to find a red mushroom too. So honestly, a swamp is actually my ideal. Like, I like a mangrove swamp. Oh, okay, you know what? Should we just, should we just take the regular tiger? Um, once we leave this ice, we are... Oh, no, 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 okay. We are kind of off it forever. So let's just try and go around, just in case it's a bit of a better exit to the biome. You know, straight into a, a beach. Okay, yeah, this is an... Oh, there's a gap between... The, see, this is, a, this is a weirdly shaped iceberg. Oh, let me out. Let me let me fruit. I like it. Nice little little gap there. Oh, there we go. That is a forest. Okay, I, I hate forests so much. Actually, that's a plains. Even better. So... Uh, I like these formations. This is like quite fun to try and get a village through. So I think we want to go via the land here. Okay, so let's... This seems silly to do. But we're going to go on top of the land here. <laughs> Look out for polar bears when you're doing this. This is a lesson I've learned. Um, welcome to the party, cat. It's good to see you. I, uh, I hope you're having a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon. I hope you're having a good all of those. I, oh, it's not, wow, it's, it's 12.27 already. Wow, that's something, huh? That's something. Um, I don't know if it's something good, but it's something. So, yeah, this villager I do want to take with me. I think it's worth, yeah, just digging through this to make that happen. Is it actually, you know, I'll come back, I'll come back for you, villager. Chat, let's, let's remember to actually come back from later. Because he'll look funny and different and we can, you know, lock him in a corner or something in exchange for that. But it'll, it'll, it'll add some variety to my village. He's gonna stay right there until I come back for him. Uh, let's let's find somewhere connected to this river, ideally. And then when I get a lead, I'll, I'll be able to like bounce him up the the mountainside. So we're not going that way. We're going this way. It's not a plains. It's a meadow, but it will do. There's also horses here, which I'm gonna tame the fastest looking one, and then that way I can come back for him later too. Because when you tame a horse, even if you don't saddle him, they uh, they become like you know, they they become trusted and loved forever or something. So, who have we got? We got uh, lots of health, slow speed. We've got fast speed, not so much health. I'm guessing not as much jump. And then we've got a third guy who maybe doesn't do the best of either. So when we come back, only the horse I've tamed will be around. The other two, in fact, maybe the one I try to tame will be around, but both of those horses will still be there. Um, so yeah, it's, it's gonna be good. We're gonna climb this mountain and we're gonna find a village. I don't know why I'm so sure of that fact, but I, I just feel it in my bones, you know? We're really far away from a stronghold right now. Like, we could be lucky and be right next to one, but I I don't feel like that is true. Um, and let's see what we got. Come on. Yeah, this is this is a huge, huge area. It's got a... Let's look at this plains. Like, very... I, I don't know if this is anyone's definition of what a plains looks like. But, um, yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's nighttime. 
So sleepy time and then village finding time. Some somewhere in this place there will be a village. I don't know where, but I do know somewhere. Maybe we should turn our render distance way up just while we're in this like searching phase of the game. So can you do your settings while you sleep? I don't think so. That is so many regen flowers. It's true. Wait, is it true? What 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 are poppies? I um, he keeps getting attacked by visible polar bears, but he's okay. Yeah, it's been a it's been a bad time. You know, visible polar bears are just as bad as the invisible ones. That's what they don't tell you. They uh, and they definitely should. See, I want to kill the the cow, start getting some leather going, but right now, I want to find a village. I'm gonna turn up the render distance, uh, just a little bit. I have to turn it down for um, for whatever it's called for sky grid, but we can we can turn it right back up. Even 10 extra chunks. I, uh, it's, it's kind of de depressing to use, uh, to play Minecraft with, like, very medium render distances. But if you're streaming, you can't, you can't play at high render distances. Uh, or, like, even right now, you might notice there's a little bit of, like, something happens when you hit the ground. I can't quite describe it. Um, so yeah, we're looking for Oxide Daisies, by the way. Those are the ones we know give us regeneration. Uh, also it is day, um, update the day count of day six. Did I did I miss day five? I know I, I know I did. Okay, is it actually day six? You know I don't know. I'm I'm worried, chat. Is it is it day six? I'm under the influence of flu and Nyquil. Not nearly as much fun as Mike's and Fireball. All you gotta do is believe in yourself, and you can be under the influence of anything you want. That is that is the, the that that is the lesson you can live your life by if you choose it. If you choose it. Um, day six. Can, uh, you know, can anyone, can, can someone like, uh, someone, someone chat, can you go back and confirm? Yeah, where, where are the Oxide Daisies at? I don't see any. Uh, I'd like to see some. Yes, yeah, somewhere in this whole plains biome, there'll be a, there'll be a village, by the way. It's, it's a bit annoying that it's far from where I left my villager. But, uh, it won't be the worst. I did the math day five. Yeah, wait, I could just do the maths too. If I started at, yeah, it's day five. I guess someone assumes that when you sleep, you pass two nights. Man, if I just came up with that rule, this this whole thing would be so much easier. Um, how about we just install an add-on that makes days twice as quickly? How, how does that sound? Um, hello, toy chat. Please pet my cat. I want to pet your cat. I I'll 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 pet him. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds it sounds like I'm saying something weird, but I do just want to pet your cat. Um, I want to pet anyone's cat. I want a pet. If you have a cat and you, you, you want me to travel some serious distance to pet it, you know, we, we'll, we'll, go, we'll split the travel costs and I'll, I'll come pet your cat. How does that sound, internet? Um, yeah, there is actually, you know, I was relatively sure there'd be a village given the terrain. I think my relative certainty was incorrect. So, uh, yeah, now we actually do have the question of like, should we start a village from scratch? We do have, um, we can make a golden apple. And we do have a villager already. And it would be pretty cool being able to make my own uh, village, right? Then I could make it wherever I wanted. Oh, also there are Oxide Daisies. Okay, so yeah, these are so necessary for later. Uh, if that doesn't make sense to you yet, it will make sense soon. Um, I want to have as many of these as I can get my hands on. Four isn't great. Four means we're going to have to breed some more. But it's fine. And uh, yeah, if we want to find a village, we're going this way. This is This is the way. Uh, if we're close to a mountain, that'd be nice. Like, having a great mountain view. Like, in real life, everyone likes having a, a mountain visible outside their window. So why not in Minecraft, too? Uh, hot take, Toy Cat is allergic to cats, and his channel is in denial of that fact. I feel so bad for people who are allergic to cats. Like, where do you get the joy in your life? Where do you get the joy? That's what I don't understand. Like, what, what do you do for enjoyment? If you're like, I'm feeling sad, do you just... Do you just keep being sad? That's that's sad. That's 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 a verifiable tragedy. If I if I am to say so. Um, yeah, I think if we're near a mountain, we can then go mining for iron easy. Um, which I you know like getting getting villager progress made is always a lot easier that way. But I think we want a village just for just actually you know I'm really torn on whether we want, whether we need a village or whether we can make our own. Like, it's obviously always easier to just take something that already exists. But there is a certain fun. In also, there was, there's a village. We found one. Okay. There goes that question. 
the only question left is, do we bother getting our old villager back? And I want to believe the answer is yes. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be like a trip at some point. It's gonna be like a, an adventure. Make your own. It's more fun, says Owen Colony. I think only because I'm playing Skygrid um, right now. Or I mean, I'm not playing it right now. But like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to make a village in that world. So, and and, and then plus on the super flat, I'm doing it as well. I think when I when I can skip that process, I might as well. Like, I think if you if you've never made your own village, it's really fun to do from scratch. But there's too many challenges I do where that's like a requirement. So, I that's that's my logic at least. It might be bad logic, but it's my logic. So, um, don't bother with the golem. No, I'm killing the golem ASAP. Like, he needs to die. Uh, I might I might even eat a golden apple first, just so I can survive one errant hit. Um, but he needs to die. I, I'm, I'll put some armor on first too. I'll tell you what. I'll put on full iron armor. I'll eat a second golden apple. No, I'll eat a regen stew, then I'll eat a golden apple. Um... Oh, this is a really bad village placement. Like, it's on a hill. Uh, it's doable. It's just a bit annoying. If we, like, if we dig the mountain out, we can keep it safe. Because then... No, but then stuff might spawn on the ledge. But, you know, it, it'll be fun. We, we could get... We'll get some blocks. We'll do some terraforming. Uh, it's 4,000 away from spawn, too. So it's not even like we're, like, in the best place in the world. Uh, yeah, there are, there are many downsides to our current situation. But... Uh, you know, the upside is we have a village. We've got a good bit of terrain. I, I think, I, I really like this, like, view for a village. I think it's just really horrendous to defend. But, like, look at this. Isn't this just enticing? And there's a savanna just in the distance, too. Yeah, this is a, this is a nice place. Uh, these are just, again, something bad is going to happen with these at some point. Um, and, yeah, we're not gonna kill, we are gonna kill the golem ASAP. But I want to be able to survive a hit from him before I do that. Also, why do wandering traders always spawn in villages? Is that is that a weird coincidence for me or um, the pod's always worth buying, I think, but not when there's a tiger biome just over there. So we're gonna grab the hay bales and we're gonna sell them to a villager. In fact, yeah, we got we got a lot of things around here. Let's uh, let's line it all up correctly. Where am I gonna make my base around here? Because that's that's an important question. I think here is good because I have. Uh, mountain up there. Mountain's great. I've got savannah over there. I've got a forest over there, so birch and oak. And then I've got, like, you know, like, I don't know, like, a, a nice lake view. Yeah, I get lake and mountain views. This is, you know, in real estate terms, this is a, this is a good place. <laughs> That's what I believe they say in real estate. Okay, so we put the furnaces down, then we put the chest down above them. Uh, so, furnace, furnace, chest, chest. Then we'll go furnace, furnace, and then we'll have to double chest that. Or we could go like furnace, furnace, crafting table, brewing stand. Yeah, look, look at this. Living, living life large over here. I, I think chests would probably line up more because I'm going to need more chests at some point. Look at this chat. Do you like my base? And then we just put our bed down like here. And then we'll put a second bed down over here too. Wow. Look at me. I'm... You know, we're probably a bit too close to this. Um, but we could put some wares out on this, maybe. Or we could, like, turn this into the start of the villager uh, nightmare. Because we put down a smithing table, for example. And we'll get a smithing man. Yeah, let's move all of the villager blocks that we care about over to us. So, um, for instance, like, we want to have a... Ooh, bread. Uh, also, apples. Yes. Let's immediately make a golden apple. Let's just, right now... I want to make a bunch of them, but I'm going to make at least, I don't know, two. Or just, you know, we'll make one. And I'm going to eat this before I do anything of the iron golem. Then we're going to throw our raw iron into a furnace. It's going to use a lot of our coal, but that's also okay. We we need armor. I, I know 99.99% .99 chance I fight the golem correctly. No issues. But I know how disastrous it is if I don't do that correctly. And so I'm going to make sure that I do. Um, was the uh, Xbox World Creation broken today as well? I didn't even bother today. I was like, clearly it's not working. <laughs> it's a bummer to just have to say that. But, I mean, uh, it's what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, that's 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 a nice circular phrase that describes my, my feelings. That villager house up there is a really interesting one. I think I'm just going to take the bed from that and abandon that house. Yeah, look how cool of a village this is. Like, 
This is such an interesting location. It's just, it's, you know, at nighttime, it's going to cause me problems. But it's, it's still interesting during the daytime. Okay, now we're going to make a hoe. Uh, probably out of iron, honestly. Like, we have some iron sitting around anyway. Okay, not yet. We have some iron sitting around anyway. Uh, so let's make an iron hoe. And a shield, actually. Yeah, there we go. This, this does not protect me from a golem, but it's nice to have. Uh, and this is going to be my... Like, it's I, I'm going to need to hoe a whole ton, so... Just having that be ready is a good idea. The cauldron is for my lava farm, and the fletching table is, I don't know, for my... Can I, can I, can I just put these over here, and then a villager will come over? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to get some decent food. Although, first, I need to start cow pen, so... Mr. Cow, come over here. I'm going to make... Actually, should we just... We'll turn one of these houses into a cow pen. I think that'd be a lot funnier. If we just take the bed out, then a villager won't go in there, right? So, okay, there's already a... It's a baby villager living in there, but we'll make it... We'll make it the cow house. Just in you come. Oh, okay. Uh, in you come. We'll remove all the furniture in here, don't worry. I'll make it more cow suitable. More countable. Um, but yeah, t tomorrow this becomes a cow house. But today is day six. You like that, internet? You excited for the sixth day of existence? Yeah, I, I think I think this being a cow pen would be very funny. Um, and so that is my my very good logic for turning it into one. So there is a cow over here. I think if we... We're going to have to remove the floor as well, though. Like, we're really going to have to gut this this house in its entirety. Um, I'm going to have to get an axe in here to... You know what? Just for now, cow, can you just... Can you hang out inside, but without... Without me, like, locking you in here. Is that okay? Can you be trusted with freedom? Let's find out. So, uh, yeah, we'll go get an axe. As you can see, I've got a brewing villager at my stand already. He will sell me redstone, which I do not intend to buy. Like, I wish I could sell him redstone. That'd be nice. Uh, and then we're going to make a chest plate, because that's the best piece of armor. And an iron axe, because I'm worth it. So yeah, we are slow. Oh, I've got a golden axe on me. I don't know how I didn't see that, chat. Like, I, I don't know how I didn't. I'm sorry. That's, I, I bet you were yelling in your heads, saying, Toy Cat, you have this. And I, I'm just there, I'm just there hurting your feelings. And you don't deserve hurt feelings. But yeah, I'm going to put these stairs in there, just to, you know, do something. And then we'll take a single coal out of here. And then we'll do the rest of that. And that'll, that'll smelt most of the gold up. Perfect. I mean, I need to put something else in there after the coal now. Uh, like, a wooden pickaxe would be great. Uh, a single block of wood. I won't put the oak door in. I actually kind of want that. But yeah, let's let's go uh, tear this place up. This is going to be my cow pen. I just, I just think having a fancy cow pen would be nice, you know? Um, so yeah, we have to kind of get them in into it from an angle. So having stairs here does make some sense. Or I could use fences and carpet. Yeah, I think fences and carpets going to be the way to go here. Uh, we'll remove the bed, place that nearer to me, and uh, then we will then then we'll work out how we're going to get villages uh, get cows in. I th yeah, I think I think stairs with fences in front of them is the way to go. So we're going to need some oak wood. I'm going to have to chop down some trees anyway. Uh, this one tree over here, it's kind of sad. Let's get rid of it. No more trees. No more sadness. And then let's make some fences. So fences are sticks and they are wood. Very easy to make. Um, we only need three anyway, right? So three fences. And uh, yeah, I think I think this is a nice design for a cow pen. What do you think, Internet? You like this? You think this is good? And then, yeah, we'll put a carpet in this middle place so we can get out later. Oh, the ceiling is too too low. Yeah, this is a fat this is this is a very high-end cow pen. Honestly, the cow should be thanking me for the premium living space I'm giving them. By the way, thank you, controller or keyboard mouse. If controller, why you prefer. Um, I I genuinely think the keyboard mouse is like Minecraft Bedrock is optimal Minecraft on both platforms now is optimized for a keyboard and mouse. Um That's just that's just how it is. Um however, in spite of that, because I'm a crazy human being. Uh, I do have a slight preference uh, for controller for long gaming sessions because even though it's slightly less efficient, I like look at this pain of moving stuff around. It is slightly less efficient. Don't get me wrong, but um, even though it's slightly okay, so the cows can climb the stairs and they get in here. 
So now we've got a lovely cow pen. I'm glad you're liking my cow pen chat. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, we could put vill baby villagers in there if we wanted to. But I think mostly that's going to be a cow pen. I'm going to probably turn this one into a sheep pen at some point. I might, I might have gone the other way around and been better. But yeah, I think this is nice. I, do, you, do you like this internet? I like this. Now I'm going to start a pumpkin farm. You might say you don't have pumpkins. You can't start a pumpkin farm. But if I'm not mistaken, I saw some at the bottom near this lake. Yep, there we go. So we take those pumpkins, we'll bring them back, and I want to find some melons too, honestly. Do you see that fire over there? Is that a lot? Oh, it's just a single lava source. Do you see the tree is like glitching? Is that just me? I think it's a beehive. Yeah, that's what it is. There's a beehive near a tree. Um, just for risk of being stung, I think I'm going to not do that. Ooh, okay. Yeah, just for, just just to minimize risk, I'm going to go ahead and. Not go. I'm not going to take the beehive yet. Not yet. And uh, I'm going to place the lava somewhere. Um, like, we won't have the dripstone for it yet, but I want to bring back some water. So I'm going to do that now. I'll use white terracotta because it's pretty block. And I'll make the start of a lava farm. Again, I you, you don't need a lava farm in modern day Minecraft. It's just, I don't know, I think they're fun. <laughs> you know, is, is fun a crime? Because if so, I am committing it. Um, and then we're going to jump. We, if we walk down, we won't take damage because it's exactly three blocks. Okay, now we can put the lava down up there. No, we can't. If we put the lava down up there, it's going to go into some scary places. So we'll put the lava down there. And we'll come back for it later. Um, I do want to bring this cow into my farm as well. Again, in early days, you want to bring as many extra animals as you can in. It does save us a little bit of effort. And... Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be real good. Make a giant cat statue. I should make a giant cat statue. But I, I, I catch you, if you will. But I shall not. And uh, we'll breed some extra cows. Look at that. Slowly but surely, getting our way up there. Um, no, I, I actually do intend to build some things today. Like, most of the times I do these runs, you know, like, I'm, I'm very not focused on building. But because my goal is to spend 100 days, I think I will actually build a few things. Um... So like a base is obviously a, you know, like a, I might, I, even if it's like a really basic one, I think I want to build that, for example. I might have to go tear down a villager house if I want to build my own house, but you know, we, that would be fun. Uh, take all the sugarcane, by the way. I'm going to make a beautiful su sugarcane farm. In fact, I might make the sugarcane farm down here. No, it's a bit too far down. I, I want to make it vertical though, and I'm going to use the mountain to my advantage to do that. I don't know what I mean by that yet, but it's going to be beautiful. And then we wanted the pumpkins, right? I think I was coming here specifically for those. Um, so, pumpkin, 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 pumpkin. We got seven, eight, yeah, more, more pumpkins than we can know what to do with. You know, a whole eight pumpkins. <laughs> but yeah, we'll start We'll start a good farm with that. And uh, yeah, I just I just love this mountain view. This this is like, again, this, this world is going to be the death of me. There's too many dark areas that like have potential for something bad to happen in. But I, I do love the appearance of it. Here in the Philippines, it's still three hours before Christmas, says Clary Frary. Uh, good to see you, by the way. Hope you're having a wonderful 24th of December. You know, the 24th of December is the time for streaming. I believe that's what they say. They say, when in, you know, the when in, when in Rome, do as the, the 24th of December people do. Also, a ton of Boxeye Daisies. My brain did not see these till just now. I don't know how I've been this close, but I have not seen them. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna flatten this out, and uh, you know, actually, this will this will be my pumpkin farm. It's gonna be a little bit of an annoying layout that I'll have to work with later, but for now, we'll grow pumpkins here, and uh, we'll grow some pumpkins over here. Nice and easy, just big long stretches on both sides. Um. Yeah, getting them to all grow in a reasonable direction might actually be more challenging than I think. But this this will this will do the job. This will some pumpkins will grow here, and that is enough for me. Doesn't have to be a lot of pumpkins, just some pumpkins. Uh, we've still got three extra blocks to go, so I'll place them like here and here and here. And there we go. Easy as that. We now have a big pumpkin farm. It's gonna slowly grow while we do other things. I love I love this early game farming stuff. Like, a, it's weird, I think everyone has this certain love for it. Where you're just like, yeah, I can't wait to start a sugarcane farm and then to grow that sugarcane farm and have more sugarcane. 
Like, I genuinely cannot. I genuinely cannot. Um, but yeah, I wanna, I wanna go, um, a little bit, um, a little bit dangerous right now, as some might say. I don't, I don't think it's actually, uh, danger in the real sense of the word. But I'm gonna go after the golem, just because I don't wanna, like, punch a villager, like, not realize it, have him come after me, and I'm dead. That's not what I want. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get myself to full health first. Pro tip, oxide daisies are just free food. Uh, sorry, they're free healing. Oh, no, we can't. We don't have a red mushroom. Well, I guess instead we'll just eat the golden apple. Uh, maybe make some leggings first, too, actually. Just, you know, you know, you know it's, it's silly to be overprepared for something so small. But also, I think I'm going to do it anyway. Because you, ne you never do know. You never do quite know. Um, and yeah, let's, let's go for this. Golem is going to go down today. It's going to be painful to do this. You know, it's not you, friend. It's me. It's not, I mean, it's definitely you, actually. So I'm going to eat the golden apple now. Now I can survive a hit from the golem and run away and then never come back. Uh, and we want to make sure that it's relatively flat around the golem. I'm going <laughs> to make sure I'm not poking him in the slightest here. Okay, this is flat, right? This is, oh, it's, I don't know if it's flat enough. If the golem senses a slope nearby, he just, he just comes for you. You know, this is fine. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to, he's not gonna jump anywhere near this. Uh, let's go. Oh, it's scary. It's scary. I, I should have gone first, but I wanted to really... Yeah, he, he won't be able to, okay. So as long as he walks back here soon, it's good. Chat, I got some bad news. The golem, the golem is taunting me. <laughs> I can get him from a distance, I guess. Or place the water bucket. You know, I'll just come back in the morning. If he hasn't moved soon. Yeah, let's just let's just come back in the morning. You know, you've got you've got things to do right now, I've got things to do. Let's let's deal with this in the morning when we're both better rested. That sounds good to me. You know, good idea, Gollum. Good idea. Um so let's just go to sleep in your bed. As we we enter our first Minecraft week. So now if the if the run ends tomorrow. Even though I, I, you know, this is a 17 hour event. I, uh, I'm gonna have to, it's gonna have to be it. But I, it's not gonna be it, because I'm gonna survive this. Uh, yeah, this, you know, just, just come a little bit closer here. Just come a little bit closer. Okay, that's not closer at all. Um, yeah, now he's further away at least. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, are we safe? If we stay on this side, we're safe. Okay, thank god. I, I know it's such a small thing, but the number of times I've died to a golem from something stupid. Oh, we're good. See, we got the iron. Now I can't die to iron golem. So my second biggest source of death is lava. There's not a large source of it nearby, but you can never be too careful. Always worth keeping an eye out. Um, also, there's free iron in the village. That's nice. Get a little bit of a boost. Make another cauldron. Make some buckets. Make an anvil. I, I don't even know. Just... I. It's free, it's there, I'm gonna take it. So, um, next up I wanna go go out on a, ooh, actually. It's gonna be the same trading village, isn't it? Yeah, I, I don't need the pod salt, I've got um, tiger biome right nearby. But it's a nice, a nice offer. Um, we're gonna take the extra hay bales here. Leaving these around has no value to the village. Whereas they do have an extreme value to you, the player, so why not take them? Gonna take some extra coal. Uh, Again, as soon as you get lava sorted, you don't need coal. But then even then, we can trade it. So having coal is good. Better than not having coal, that's for sure. Um, we've apparently filled up our inventory again. So that's that's something we've got to go empty. And let's just peek down there. If we see a dripstone cave, that'd be nice. I really would like a dripstone block or two. Um, if I can get my hands on that, that'd be a good one. So, but again, I'm not going to take any huge risks for it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go peeking around, see where I can find one. You are an armorer, so I'm going to move you over to, every good villager is going to be moved over to the good part of the village. Alongside the cauldron, apparently. Actually, wait, was there leather armor in here? Ooh, there's leather boots. Not going to take it. Not going to take any of it. But it's, it's a nice, nice thinking. Um, in fact, I can't actually take the villager blocks while my inventory is so cluttered. So I think I have to go. Make a trait there. Uh, I don't like the verticality in this village. Feels like that's a bit of a, a risky one. But it's, it's going to be fine. It's going to be all okay. What's in here? We got... Ooh, a book. I only need one book later. 
I mean, I need more after that. But like for now, one book will do me just fine. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go put some stuff away. And then I'm gonna go find all these job sites. Because there is clearly an armor around here, which means there's a blast furnace around here. I've got to take that with me wherever I go. Also, we didn't take all the hay bales, so even more valuable. Hear me out. Hear me out, businessman toy cat. What if you sell iron golem gummies, but they have so much sugar that it kills you immediately, just like in hardcore Minecraft million okay. dollar idea. Now, now we're talking, right? Think about it. What's the best business model? The one where your customers can't sue you because they're dead. You know, in a regular business, it's like, oh, this gummy was too hard, and I, I felt like emotionally distressed, and it's, uh, you know, I really would like some money from you. You can't ask for money if you're dead. That is a rule of business that, that is, uh, it's universal. There's no way around it. Um, so yeah, pro tip. That's, uh, that might, that's, that's a good idea. You know what, Red Cave? I'm gonna get in contact with some gummy makers, uh, right now. We're gonna make gummies so hard, they literally kill you. I'm gonna smell up some bowls. Not because I think it's smart, but just because, like, it saves me some inventory slots. And I'm gonna keep a bowl on me so that when I, when I do find these red mushrooms, I can immediately craft. Because I've got one one heart missing now, uh, which is a good place to be. So let's go look look for our missing missing ingredients, shall we? Yeah, I I, I like our little village thing we got going on here. I'm I, I've got to tear down one of these houses. Do you think it should be like I want to get some white terracotta? Should it be that guy's house, that guy's house, or this guy's house? Like I'd prefer it to be the one on the hill, but there's no white in that or is that is honestly calling that white terracotta feels like a lie like that's not white you know it's it's just not right but yeah it's it's gonna be a good day make sure all the gummies also kill their family members to prevent all possible lawsuits how about it's just a gummy that kills lawyers because you know who's gonna sue you if you if the lawyers are dead then there's no one left to sue that's 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 gotta be true oh it rhymes must it's even more true so yeah, there is, uh, there's a level worker here. I guess I might as well take his cauldron away from him. There's no reason not to, right? Like, I, he doesn't need the cauldron as much as I need it. Honestly, I, I like I like how many iron tools, you, iron things you can just steal in the world. Like, uh, crafting a cauldron, don't bother. Just just go find a village. Um, so we're looking for an armorer. Uh, or, or rather, we're looking for a uh, blast furnace. There is one in the village because... Okay, this this guy here, because it's got a, it's got a chimney. That's my logic. If it has a chimney, it must have smoke. Am I correct? Yeah, look at me. I know my know my way around a village. Also, there's bricks in here. That's nice. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna reform these villages on my side of the village. Actually, this might be a good candidate to tear down. Like it just it exists in a cave. Nah, it just it's it's we'll, we'll leave it there. It's part of the legacy village. Um, so we'll take this second cauldron over here because why not? We're already at the village destruction game. And then we'll take the stone cutting villager because, you know, he's he's here anyway. Okay, we can't go down there. We can go down here if we jump to this, and then we should be able to make that full. Just to be careful, we'll do that. Um, and uh, yeah, by the way, I, I love this. Like, it's a he's a villager, right? And he'll he'll buy blocks which you can mine in his own house, and that always just feels silly to me. I just I always enjoy that. Okay, so we've we 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 we're re re rearranging the village, uh, doing a pretty good job, if I can say so myself. We'll even take the barrel, and now we rearrange it so it's all near me, with the logic being I just want the villagers to. Actually, we're gonna make a trading, not a trading hall, but a trading area. Um, is this a good house for that? Yeah, if we like extend this house massively, right? Just like make it go way further that way. We could put a ton of villagers inside here. So just move all the blocks. Uh, we'll, we'll just leave those blocks on the ground and then come back for them later. And now if we put all the blocks inside here. Yeah, I think I think if we keep the villagers inside, it'll keep them extra safe. So um, we'll put them against the wall. No, we'll put them against like, we'll put them in the middle of the room. Uh, put one there, put one here. And then this is gonna be, and then we'll just like, we'll turn this into a hall. Yeah, it sounds sounds good to me. It requires some blocks. It'll look messy, but you know that's everything that I do. Uh, what did one terracotta say to the other terracotta? Says the finny show. I feel like I want to hear the end of that joke. You gotta you gotta give it to me. 
What did one terracotta say to the other? Um, so yeah, here's my village. Do you enjoy the view? I have to quickly... I didn't do a community post before the stream, which is how I usually let people know about them. It's it's dumb that you have to use one YouTube feature to let people know that you're live on another YouTube feature. You'd figure they could just let people know themselves. But um, I'm streaming my third and final and final at 100 days, but it's uh, 17 hours. Uh, but it's all 100 days in a row. Come join. Okay, and then we'll just add that, and then we go, stole a meme for engagement, then we just add a meme on. Because, you know, if, if people, I guess that's the real hack there, is like people will engage with a meme while sneakily promoting a YouTube post. Wow, they, they don't even see it coming, even though I tell them that's exactly what's happening. So everyone actually does see it coming. Okay, so um, I think I actually posted this one before, but it's fine. No one will even notice. The, okay. Hello, I'm IBX Toy Cat, and I'm gonna go get a horse. I did find a horse earlier, but yeah, we want a horse, we want dripstone, we want red mushrooms. If we get all three of those things, we can be happy. Uh, I also wanna make like a nice pathway around this place. Maybe if it, maybe we could go like, yeah, I, I think if we could just go over this, this forest, like make a bypass, I think that'd be quite cool. Like we could literally make it out of concrete or like make it a bridge over the forest. So that's that's like a that's like an ambition for later, because uh, going through forests is always like it's a small risk. It's you know it's it's small, but it's still a risk. Also, I don't I need to clear out my inventory before I before I go on a an expedition where I get stuff. Yeah, in inventory management is hard, but it's worth trying, I believe. And so we'll uh we'll go we'll go do that real quick. So I've got some, you know I've got I've got a third third stairs. I might as well just put it here, right? Whoa, did you see that? That baby, like, immediately turned into a... whatever. Interesting. Um, so we'll breed the cows, because we've got all the wheat in the world. One, two, three. We'll have to grow one of these up. Four. Easy. Uh, and then we'll get out of here. I don't think... <laughs> it's a little bit of a pain to do, but we can do it. And, uh, yeah, we didn't actually clear out the inventory very well, because I immediately went to do that. So let's just... Real quick, what can we get rid of? We don't need the carrots. We might need the carrots. The yellow bed, we don't really need. The flint, the door, and uh, these extra beds we'll just place on the ground. Um, so all the beds are going to go right here. We'll put them, like, outside the trading hall. Yeah, that's that seems good to me. Let's go to bed for day. That's up. We've officially made it 7% through. I can see you did not die uh, driving home. Wait, as you can see, I did not die driving home. You know, you didn't die driving home, and I didn't die while you were driving home. So that's that's if you think about that from two angles, extra good, really. Ooh, if you uh, build a great wall to make the village great again, you'll be safe from most dangers. Yeah, I think that's a. Uh, I think that genuinely is something I have to do. Like, I'm gonna terraform the terrain around this. Like, at the very least, my villager hall. I'm gonna like this part of the village. I'm gonna build a wall around. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's my plan. Um, yeah, like I wanna, I wanna go a little bit more build heavy than I usually go. I'm usually like so focused about like zoom through the game, but I wanna have a good time. It's Christmas, uh, and uh, you know some people argue it's like an essential part of it. And so for those people, hope you're gonna be happy. Uh, we'll get some food while we're out and about. Some lovely cooked meat would be good. Like I mostly want mushroom stew, which requires some red mushrooms. But I mean, if there's no other option. I'd, I guess I'd have to take that. Um, and uh, yeah, there are some there are some caves around here. There's also just, like these overhangs are just potential death. Also red mushroom. So if we can just get some, should I, should I make one mushroom stew now or is that a waste of my one red mushroom? Because if I make the one mushroom stew, I might not ever need suspicious stew again. I might just never take damage. I know that sounds, <laughs> sounds far-fetched, but just, you know, if we all believe in me. Maybe it happens. Um, but yeah, red mushroom, very good progress. Uh, dripstone, I bet we'll like peek into one of these caves and find it. Like, you know, drip, there's only three cave biomes in Minecraft uh, and one of them is only found below Y0. So, you know, like eventually we'll find, I guess you could argue there's a regular cave biome too. There's four cave biomes if you count not a biome as a biome. And, uh, 
as a result. You know what? Does it even have a name? Like, not cave, cave biome? It's got to have some form of name, right? I don't know what it would be called, but I know it must have... There must be some way to refer to it. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit annoyed by that, that cow. Gonna be honest with you. Gonna try and... Okay, I'll just finish you off first. Then move on to you. Perfect. Um, yeah, get, getting some good food is only here so that I don't... Like, I don't run out of, like, uh, the sprint. Because, like, as you can see, uh, this is ultra hardcore. So when I take damage, I do not regenerate. Um, and so as long as I just... Again, if I, if I wanted to play it boring, I could just start building my village and do nothing else. Like, I'm not gonna go to the nether. What do I need in the nether? I'm not gonna go to the end. What do I need in the end? I could I could make these arguments and I could do these things. Uh, but I am here. I'm here to, to have a good time in Minecraft. That is a jungle. So we need melons anyway, right? Yeah, get get some melons from there. That'd be a good time. Oh, look at look at the mountains. I just... They're, they're so impractical for most things in Minecraft. But if you want a good view, my god is that of you. Okay, so... Uh, do we eat the second one? I don't think we do. I think we save it for the mushroom stew. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's the 25th here, says Kara. Merry Christmas! Oh, whoa, we got a mesa! Yes! This is, this is the part of the world I want to be in. It took me 5,000 blocks to get here. You'd be better off just starting new worlds till you did, but, you know, we... We, either way, I feel pretty good about this. We're gonna grab Oxide Daisies, as many of these as we could ever want. Yeah, if, if we, if we like, if we make the rush for regenerating items, because as well as having golden apples, as well as having suspicious stew, I could go into the nether, get myself some regen potions, because all it is is, um, gas tears for regen and magma cream for health, right? Or is magma cream fire resistance? Wait, no, fire resistance is... No, okay, so blaze rods are attack, fire resistance is, it must be magma cream. So what is healing? Healing is glistening melon. Um, so we just need melons. Okay, there we go. We're working on healing potions. Look at me. I are doing, doing multiple things at the same time. Um, yeah, it takes, it always takes me a while to remember all the different uh, things. Also, um, Cloudy of Stone Stacy. Wow, three years, by the way. It's uh, 12.05. Also, I think my axe just died. I don't know. Don't know why. It's maybe maybe because it's a gold axe. Maybe. Um, we're just gonna take a ton of melons. All the melons we can find, and then we can uncraft. We we can un unbreak them if we want. Also, I'm gonna take some bamboo. I really like bamboo as a uh, as a fuel source, and uh, you know I making an auto bamboo f bamboo farm. Maybe maybe we do it. You know, maybe we do. So we'll just take a full stack because then we can use some for sticks and some for other stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'm feel feeling good. Uh, we should peek around any cave we find now. But I don't think it's really necessary. Also, we don't have a bed, and... Please don't tell me nighttime is coming. Yeah, you gotta bring- I gotta start bringing beds on these expeditions. So we'll go- we'll go home now. I don't think nighttime is coming for a while. But it's, uh, it's a small thing to overlook. Uh, yeah, congratulations on 36 months. I, uh, it's a, you're keenly waiting the end of Christmas so you can bust out the Christmas shirt. You know what? It is, uh, I, I don't know if you know this, but, um, I deliberately waited, like, uh, I'm, I very much confused the merch people who don't understand, uh, all the dumb in-jokes on this channel. But I was like, yeah, don't start selling the Christmas shirts until we can guarantee they won't arrive in time for Christmas. They're like, guarantee they won't arrive in time for Christmas. And I was like, yes. I, I would like to know that no one is getting their Christmas shirt for the for the incorrect time of year, which is Christmas. You wear, you wear a Christmas shirt on Christmas, you know, you're dead to me. It's over. Um, and so I'm glad to hear you're following. I wore mine in October. It's the correct time to wear it. It's just the correct time. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's true. Joy to all your Minecraft worlds. Do, 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 do. Wait, is that marriage or not? Do, 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 do. I think that's that's joy to the world. I, I don't even know. Honestly, I don't I don't know a lot of classic Christmas things. I've never watched um, Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. I hear that's a good movie. I hear there's a miracle, and it happens on Thirty Fourth Street. But uh, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of, lot of. Honestly, I think most people don't understand most of the culture. Right? Like that's that's mathematically true. 
But it always feels like when there's a thing that everyone references, like, am I the one person who doesn't understand this? Um, it's easily my comfiest t-shirt. Can't believe it's been three years though. Really flown by. I still love my coasters from the bar though. Safe and sound. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, that's what you gotta do when you go to a place. It's uh, it ha yeah, it's it's crazy how the pandemic changes time like that. It changes changes time. You don't even don't even know. Also, what are these? Are these also wait? Gotta watch out. Snowy snow will get me. Uh, I guess we're just in a jaggedy, frosty, whatever it's called. Yeah, that's that's what this is. The jaggedy, frosty, whatever. Very interesting. Very interesting. I'm like liking the view. I uh, I'm gonna find more iron and coal up here, but not as much as I would up there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take some home with me. But I'm mostly gonna be waiting till I can get fortune. Ooh, an emerald. It's, you know, these are much more valuable as emerald ore, but in the early game, just take the free emerald, is my advice. As soon as you get silk touch, you shouldn't ever be using emerald ore as, okay. See, that was scary. I've uh, I've had some situations with with gold. Um, with, sorry, I've had some situations of some, where I've been stuck in the snowy snow, but uh, I'm glad this isn't one of those. Okay, so we're just gonna climb over the rest of this. Uh, actually, you know what? Still need some cooked cow. Might as well go for it. Um, we're gonna climb over the rest of this till we get back home. Where are we actually? Okay, we're, we're over here. Um, so I am gonna fall through some of this snow again, but it's gonna be fine. As long as I don't take damage, I'm not so bothered about it. You just gotta make sure, make sure there's a snow there on top and you'll be fine. Okay, uh, fun fact, I've actually been banned from the toy cat toy chat before, my other account. I asked, uh, and he couldn't be unbanned. Oh yeah, it's really, uh, it's it's funny how easy it is to ban and how hard it is to unban. But that is the truth. Okay, the the weather is dark. Um, that's that's how weather works. Honestly, you know, if you think about it, the, the sun coming up and down is weather. It's just really predictable weather, right? Like... I, right? You, you feeling me, internet? Or do you disagree? No, you, you, you feel me. You know, I'm going to decide on your behalf. You agree. Wow, that's a good opinion you have there, chat. I agree if you're agreeing. Okay, so I think I should go get some spruce saplings so I can make my, my, my pod soil on which everything else will grow. I think that's what I'm going to do. I, I, uh, I really want to turn this red mushroom into more than one red mushroom. And so I think, yeah, I, I think that's what I've got to do. Uh, it is the easiest way. It was a long time ago and I was a lot edgier. Yeah, it is very funny the uh, the transition there from like, uh, you know, you're literally called adorable hoe now. That's like the, that's the least, yeah, you know, it's the it's the most wholesome, least edgy name you can imagine. In, in a good way, you know, and, and like, I, I hope that's not coming across as condescending. But it's like, yeah, actually. Wow, what an adorable hoe we have in chat. Um, so yeah, I think that was a successful little trip out to the, uh, successful trip to the far reaches of the jungle biome. Uh, I'm gonna keep one melon slice, just in case the melon farm doesn't grow very quickly. Uh, but it should. And then we're gonna place the melons right over here. Just a lovely little stretch of them. Uh, it is definitely time to go to bed now. I'm always, I'm always a little torn about when to start it. But as you can see, it is now officially day nine. As soon as we get into double digits, I can start feeling good and not scared about life. There's no iron golem that can ruin me, and there's no obvious dark spots around the village. Those two facts alone make me feel quite safe. Um, oh, we got another wandering trader. Let's see what he has. If it's dripstone, that might save me some effort. This is rooted dirt, this is cactus, this is sand. None of that's useful. None of that has value to me, at least. Um, so I'm going to place another water bucket over, like, here. Uh, yeah, underneath this oxide daisy. Why not? And then later we can, you know, obviously change this to make this make more sense. But let's just let's just place some of these there now. Okay, nice. We got a melon farm started, and we got a, a pumpkin farm. And we've even got the expansion possibilities for both. Okay, um, starting the sugarcane farm, it's, uh, you know, I'm getting antsy. I'm like, I, I want to start that sugarcane farm real bad. Uh, I don't think it's going to do much for me right now. 
but I still want to do it, you know? I just... It feels like a shame I don't... I can actually... Let's look right here. You see this? This is just... Just temporarily. This is going to be a miniature sugarcane farm. You know, it's it's got it's got water. It's just it's just asking for this, and then we'll put the rest of the sugarcane in the chest, just temporarily, because we do have a inventory issue we're always looking out for. I mean, I'm not always looking out for. That's why it becomes such a problem. And uh, yeah, we can now make an iron helmet as well. Do you think we should chat? Curse day nine. Yeah, day nine is when things get dangerous. Day nine is when things get rough. Um. Yeah, I think we should make the helmet. Yeah, you know, it's like five iron. It's 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 a little bit extra safety. It might be life or death difference. So let's let's go with it. And uh, we're gonna go first of all to a tiger biome. We're gonna mine and we're gonna destroy a tiger tree until we get our four saplings. And then we're just gonna see what's in that direction too. Like it's nice to be aware of what's around your base, so you know what's immediately obtainable and what's not. Like if I can get my hands on all this gold. Like, nice and early now. That's gonna be amazing. That's gonna be... Like, having golden apples for scary situations is even better than having suspicious stew. Um, you know, suspicious stew is, uh... I don't know, inappropriately touching you. But golden apples are making you feel like you are... Tra you're not trappled in your situation anymore. There we go, that's good. Um, by the way, um... How many, uh, Day Dangerous Day 9? Yeah, every, a lot of people are aware of the, the ninth Day Danger. I, um, I know, I, I think, I think this is one of those questions you shouldn't ask on a stream, you know? Like, never ask a girl her age, a man his salary, and, you know, ne never, never imply that stream viewers aren't gonna be there the entire time. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get people believing in the hype and being like, yeah, this is, I expect all of you will be here for another 16 and a half hours. But, um, yeah, chat, what's your, what's your plan for the day? Regarding this stream, I want to know. I want to. I want to. I want to feel your commitment here to make my commitment feel less silly. You know, I'm like. I'm like laying here, like, oh yeah, I'd like to marry you, but like only if you believe in marriage, and also if you want to marry me. If you don't, I think it's dumb. Yeah, I'm like. I'm like sitting here doing that. Like, oh yeah, you want to like. You want to like go, go like, get our fortunes measured. Not that I. Not that I care about fortunes, and also I don't believe they're real. But like, you know, it'd be funny, right? Lol. Yeah, I'm like that, you know. Got to you know, ever I, I think I think everyone's been in the situation of being like a little bit a little bit nervous about your a little bit nervous about your your like uh your position and you know just 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 feeling it out in some way. And so that's that's what I'm doing here with you now, chat. I'm asking you and I'd like to know. I've been here since the start and I'm going to be here till the end, says uh, Ryan Dust up apparently. My plan is to marry Toy Cat. Wait, that already happened. You, you, you married it and you put a diamond cat on it, which is the the best thing you can do. I'll be here for the next 16 and a half hours despite only having three hours of sleep. Yeah, it's so early on the on the west coast, do have to agree. Um, I'll watch and pray you don't die uh, from either Iron Golem or Lava. Yeah, and I think I've removed the risk of Iron Golems. Like, I could go to another village and that could still happen. I think it's all about Lava now. So la if, I, if I avoid death by Lava, I'm gonna, I'm gonna survive 100 days. That's my genuine belief. It might be a foolish genuine belief, but I am I'm I'm, I'm relatively certain of it. Um, and so yeah, that's 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 my feelings right now. I'll let you know how those change. Um, I think I want to make an automatic melon farm, chat. I think I uh, I've never successfully done one, and so this is gonna be my first day. That's gonna be that, that's one of my targets for today. I think I'll do like pumpkins afterwards if it works. But, um, I've only ever made semi-automatic melon farms, like, way back in the day. Because they're just, they're just easier, right? Um, I want to have one with detector blocks, and it's, it's, it's going to be a thing. Uh, I, I haven't looked up how this works at all. Because, again, I, I have this stupid philosophy, especially as a YouTuber, like, I've got to pretend I'm pro. But I, I don't, I don't want to. Like, I, I want to have fun. Show you me actually playing Minecraft, not me having watched a tutorial to play Minecraft. I think, I think there's a... A genuineness to that, which is probably unappreciated by most, but it's so, it's something I want to do anyway. Uh, so I, I have an idea for how it could work. Because uh, I've always been going up. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna start doing what I do with uh, bamboo and start pushing like horizontally. Try my best to watch it all, but I'll also be on a road trip. 
It's a Christmas Eve road trip. Actually, wait, here's a question. In the UK, on Christmas, the roads are empty because everyone's like doing Christmas stuff. Is that is that true in the US? Or is in the US everyone's like, I gotta get to my family for Christmas. And so there's a Christmas traffic jam over here. Oh no, I hate <laughs> You know, this is how this is how Americans sound in my mind, of course. Um Yeah, I wanna know, internet. I'll be honest, I wanna be here to the end, but I'm really here till my melatonin kicks in. I think you have like half an hour from when you take that until you have to be asleep or it doesn't do anything. I've to okay, you know, actually I um I'm not gonna try to encourage you not to take melatonin. I, you know, take take drugs at your or your doctor's discretion. That's that's not what I'm here for. But I um I started to notice that like I would sleep slightly easier on melatonin, but I'd never like have good sleep. And I've looked into it, and it's like quite commonly true that like falling asleep easy. This this is like an annoying truth about uh, at least for a lot of people. If you some people sleep really well in all situations, but a lot of people, um, myself included. You, like, the conditions that would make for, like, bad, the, the conditions that would lead you to not be able to get to sleep also lead to you not being able to stay asleep. Um, and so you can, you can fix getting to sleep with whatever, you know, drugs you want, but that doesn't fix the staying asleep problem unless you take the scary drugs, which are really good at keeping you staying asleep. But then that's a whole thing. I work at a gas station. We're open and we'll be bust. Oh, busy. That makes more sense than Bust. Bust is like, we just don't have any customers. The hot dog machine just runs empty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay, this is so scary to peek, but I do have, I'm gonna put my hay bale out, actually. Solely, because in case I get knocked down. Uh, has anyone seen any dripstone? I would like some dripstone. Literally just for this lava farm. I like farming lava. It's, it's so valuable. L lava is too good not to farm. Um, same here, 7-Eleven. It's slow this morning. By the way, I think we're gonna make it through day nine. You see, you see the current day night cycle? All we have to do is not fall off this mountain. Uh, and even then, we'd have to fall quite far. You know, I'm not gonna say these things out loud. I, given that I'm <laughs> Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna tempt fate too much. But uh it's it's looking pretty good for me. My survival odds are not zero. And that's good. Um, that's that's better than my usual day nine situation. I want to sleep. I'm fine I just don't get good tired signals from my brain when I need them if I wait till they naturally occur I'm waiting till 2 to 3 a.m Yeah, I thought uh, I didn't realize that I always thought when people said like night owl It was one of those like dumb things that people just say, you know, like, you know, like, oh, yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm you know, I, I, I was gonna make fun of I was gonna say my nationality like and uh, I'm I'm French It's like okay sure you are buddy uh, what a what a fun opinion you have, but it's like um, I, I I didn't quite realize. Hey, thank you, shy guys, eighty five two thousand. Here comes the tip train and happy holidays. Choo choo! Here comes the tip train. Who would like to get aboard the tip train? You know what it it is Christmas Eve chat. You know, a lot of people I believe the way it works is you get you get paid a little extra to work on Christmas Eve. See, see, hint. <laughs> this is the word. Oh, oh no! I just took a. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm good. Um, I'm I'm more than good right now. In fact, I think I should probably switch out my leggings. No, I've got I've got boots. I think I'll take the leggings with me anyway for when my boots run out, when they expire, and then I'll put the bowl away because I've got more bowls. They're easy to craft. Um, yeah, that's all we need from here. Okay, we're going we're going into the mesa. Obviously, probably be a tomorrow at this point. But the fact that I found another mountain... Look at this, by the way. Look at all this coal. This is going to be a gold mine. I mean, it's going to be a coal mine, because the gold mine is over there. But it's going to be a, it's going to be an amazing source of emeralds um, later. In fact, yeah, what, if I can just come back here with a fortune pickaxe, everything in life is good. Getting a fortune pickaxe is obviously a bit harder than, you know, like it sounds when I just say the words. But it's good. It's good. Um, let's let's line up my inventory right now and let's just let's let's finally work this out. Oh yeah, this this sucks. Hey, thank you for jumping aboard the tip train, Pie Girl. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful wonderful day. Uh, Merry Streammas. This is the last day of Streammas. I just realized it was going to be yesterday, but something happened. I think I think my internet disconnected or something. I don't remember, but clearly it didn't happen yesterday, and that's that, that must be something. Also, that this portal is amazing. Uh, thank you very much, Pico. I hope you're having a wonderful road trip. Now, you know, before 
was a <laughs> no. I, I really hope you're doing well. I, I'm doing. I'm doing my best to doing my best. I'm doing my best to be doing my best. By the way, day ten. Wow, we survived it. We we got past the curse. That's a good sign. I just have to not fall off this mountain now. Or if I do fall off, make sure I use the hay bale. Um, yeah, we're gonna go get. We're just gonna get as much gold as we need to feel secure in myself and my position. Uh, it's actually gonna be a real nightmare. Like I actually, I feel like I need everything in this inventory. Uh, the crafting table is the least necessary. The barrel is, you know, I'll throw the barrel away now. Barrel doesn't feel that necessary. Uh, the crafting table is next on the chopping block. And then we can turn the oak logs into those. Yeah, there we go. We got, we got two, we got two crafting spaces. Uh, two spaces left. That's, that's better than usual. Double digits, baby. Day 10. See, what's crazy is, because we haven't finished day 10, we're not even 10% through this stream yet. Um... Like, every time I say things like that out loud, I'm like, oh, why did I think that? <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're gonna now, we're gonna make some slabs across this, actually. I feel like a bridge is always necessary. Um, but, like, I, I just think they're fun to make. Uh, if I ever get a horse, I'll appreciate this more. But for now, there we go. I'm gonna be very careful bridging until I get to the water. When the water's there, I know I'm safe. Yeah, if I fall right now, it's gonna be fine. So I can start bridging real quick. And it's just a pain if I fall. It's not it's not my life is over if I fall. Okay, good news. I um I'm feeling better. An inventory problem? Shocking. I know this is a this is an unforeseen, unimaginable issue. And yet it has happened. Uh I'm gonna place a hay bale down like here. Uh, or just there. You know what? Sounds good to me. Uh, is this hardcore on bedrock? This is hard difficulty with one life and no natural regeneration on bedrock. We have to delete the world ourselves when we die. Which I, I, I don't think I've done that the last end of the last two runs. Which I think I sh I'll, I'll do it. Make sure we get it done. But um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I um, I think that uh, I think that that's, that's, that's a good time. I, what's the prediction time of a day on day 100? It's going to be 4 a.m. UK time. Um, it's going to be Christmas Day. So that'll be fun. That'll be an experience. I've never streamed on Christmas Day. Usually I keep it sacred. And, you know, this year, the day itself will be. Just, I'm going to, I'm just going to be streaming until 3 or 4. And then... You've streamed at least 90 minutes, 13 days from December 1st to 24th. Was supposed to be 14. But you missed by 16 seconds once, then two minutes when you were still half dead from getting very sick in the middle. So, Merry Christmas. Honestly, cat. yeah, like, it's it's funny. Every, like, my goal is always every day. And then, like, okay, you skip one day a week for, like, you know, regaining your mental health or whatever. Um, and then by the time you've done, and then, then, then getting sick, I feel like 13 days out of 1 to 24. Not actually a great record, right? Um, don't you remember Toy Cat? You were trying to create the world and kept resetting your settings so you had to give up as you simply could not start a world. You know what? Thank you. Uh, by the way, I uh, appreciate the, the massive tip, uh, Miss Pat Van Drive Lady. It means a lot. This, this time of year, very, very generous. But uh, Diluted Dante is correct. Yesterday we tried to create a new world and it didn't work. And so we said we were going to give up and try again tomorrow. That is what happened yesterday. There is no public live stream that contradicts that fact. <laughs> and so that is what we, that is what we're all believing. Um, that is, I, I, I do not have any evidence that is, is, is saying anything else. Um, but no, yeah, thank you very much, uh, both Miss Pat Van Driver Lady and Diluted Dante for jumping on the tip train. I, uh, I hope that, uh, I hope that you have the merriest of Christmases. Or, you know, whatever, whatever else you feel like celebrating. That's the cool thing about the, the, also, do we want this village? If I had inventory spaces, I actually think I'd go there and steal all their beds, but I don't. I'm just here for gold. Just here for gold. I haven't seen a single cave entrance though, which is a little, a little bit of a bummer. Like there's gonna be one somewhere in this biome. I just don't know where in this biome. Um, I'll be here till the end, says S S Nana YT. I, I look forward to holding you to that. It's gonna be 4 a.m. and I'm gonna be like, I just wanna, just wanna sleep. I'm gonna have the best sleep tonight. I mean, I'm gonna be thinking about Minecraft while I sleep. Cause like, seriously, I woke up, I had a shower. Cause I was, I, I know I, I was torn because I, I knew that someone would be like, oh, but your hair's wet. Uh, I bet it's greasy. And it's like, okay, you know, 
you can you can it, it was worth that trade off just so I could feel a little cleaner all day. Um, so I showered, I ate, and then I was like, "Oh, I gotta gotta go stream." Like I had to delay my stream so I could eat breakfast, then I had to delay it so I could set up and everything. But um, also, yeah, I I I uh, I don't know what my plan is if I don't find a big cave. It's kind of my whole goal here. Like I could make my own. I could find a cave by digging down. Those are drowns. Those are scary. Those are very very scary. Um. Yeah, I could definitely make my own, I guess. But is that what I want? Also, I think if I... Okay, I got rid of the bowl. If I used the bowl, I could have used up my red mushroom. But I shan't. Um, I have had way too much alcohol, says so digging truths. Hey, you have... Honestly, I, I... If I... Like, I would... I would do it if I, if I didn't think that I would end up, like... Going through all the stages of drunk, including hungover, in this same stream. I feel like that's what Christmas is all about, unless you don't believe in alcohol, in which case it's not all about that. So you can you can just say that's what Christmas is all about for anything, and it's vaguely true. Um, destroy every block in this world, uh, no big uh, deal, easy task. Yep, yeah, looks like an easy task to me. I mean, I would like to destroy a mesa biome at some point. I think that would be fun. If you agree that that would be fun, then that would be great. Making your own cave went perfectly last time. Look, I... I, I got pressured by people who are like, oh, I don't like that you're banging your head, Toy Cat. Just dig straight down. And I was like, oh, you think digging so straight down is so bad? And then I had the medium case bad scenario for digging straight down. But actually, no, it was pretty bad because there was a there was a spider jockey. If it were, if it was just if there was any mob besides that spider jockey, I'd have been fine. But it was just a very unfortunate. Also, there's two gold blocks there. So even if we came all this way to this biome and we haven't found much of what we're looking for. I think having a, uh, getting a ruin portal, always very nice. Also, do I have any torches? I do not. I could make some. I might as well. I, you always need torches at some point in your world, right? Um, so we'll have these for bridging. Uh, oh yeah, my, my inventory is cluttered. <laughs> I guess for now, we'll just do this. There we go. Um, let's go in the cave. And let's see what it's got for me. It it so the reason I like Mesa biomes is because they're filled with gold. The reason I like gold is because you can get your health back when you don't have natural regeneration. Because it's not natural regeneration, it's gold regeneration. Uh, it's magical regeneration, if you will. Also, this this entire cave had one one single piece of gold in. Uh, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna untorch this now. You know, not worth leaving that lit up. Yeah, that was like that was a bad. That was a bad visit down underground. It's too early to put up with your accent, says Psycho Ward 86. Ah, well, you see, my accent is actually very changeable. It's malleable based on the circumstance. You see, I, I see y'all in a message and I start talking with my real accent. I grew up in the South, you see, but people see Southern accents as being less educated, which is unfair to say because they haven't been to the U of Mississippi. You miss UOM. There we go. Yeah, UOM is really good when it comes to learning about genetics. They teach you why you shouldn't be sleeping with your. Anyway, it's very. Um, I uh, I've got a very good. Uh, I've got a very very good range of accents. And Merry it's Christmas just southern from and Texas. British. That's the entire. May, thank you by the way. Uh, appreciate the tip massively. Invalid syntax. I, uh, I hope you're having a Merry Christmas in Texas indeed. I desperately need coffee. I only slept three hours. You know what the worst thing is? Is whenever whenever I'm like anticipating low sleep, I get worse sleep because of it. It's like the most brutal sleep. Like I, I uh, you know, like I woke up at like 8 a.m. today for my 11 a.m. stream. So I'm like, what if I miss it? And it's like, you're, you're going you're gonna to have a worse time having bad sleep for them. I, I kept having very weird dreams. I, uh, I had a lot of them. Do you want to hear about dreams chat? Should we, should we all talk about... No, let's not. Let's do the opposite of that. Um, so, should we go in? I think we should go in. Let's see what we find. No, this is too thin. Like, we're not going to find anything too interesting in here. And if we waste... Uh... Oh, okay, actually. Actually, there's a spider. So that's fun. You know, this will be my first spider kill for the run. Spider kill. Spider kill. I could have left you, but then you would have remembered me much later. Um, yeah, I don't like this cave because it's so vertical. I feel like I'm going to miss some mob. 
Uh, is it nighttime, by the way? It's it's getting there. So we're gonna we'll, we'll mine these these gold veins and then get out. Christmas but, toy cat. Hey. Cat. Okay. You know. What? Thank you. Nine squared eighty one. Oh, I like your name, by the way. Um, it's uh, it is in fact Christmas. Thank you very much. I uh, no, that's that's my like that's what I'm holding on to. I'm like okay, so that I'm not so destroyed when I die. Which I'm, it's gonna it's gonna hurt if it happens. It's not going to happen. It I I feel like I'm gonna make it the whole hundred days. Like I. I feel it in my heart. I feel it in my soul. Like, we're officially 10% through now, because we're on day 11. That's right, chat. Day 11's here. We did it. We made it past day 10. And where are we now? We're in the one after 10. Um, I think this means we're approaching the two-hour mark, too, which is a nice little mini milestone. And uh, yeah, we'll also mine this coal. Just while we're here. We need something to smelt. Oh, wow. See, get, get rewarded for my efforts, too. Um, a little bit of a pain because of the gravel around here, but I'm gonna do it just fine. Easy. Uh, get out of here now. Nice and easy. And let's let's. Uh, it's not. This isn't the best cave. This isn't what I was praying and hoping and dreaming of. But it'll do for now. If I find a cave on the way out, actually, I could come back here with fortune. Oh, this is this is very dark. Uh, oh no 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 no! Oh, I didn't crouch in time. I feel like I did though, right? I feel like I crouched and then a second later I got hit by the skeleton. Does anyone else feel like that's true? Anyone else feel like rewriting history of me? Yeah, get it. Killing him if he's gonna keep on bouncing away like this. A little bit of a pain. Okay, he's dead. Oh, it's an enchanted bow. I mean, it's gonna be garbage enchantments, but I always have to check, right? What is it? Ooh, I'm breaking and power. Um, yeah, if it's that if it's that dead though, it's not worth taking. Skeletons is what makes me lose my world. Yeah, not today, not today. Um, it's a very dark feeling cave. Uh, very spooky, you might say. But uh, yeah, I've got I've got the resources to, like I've got gold. I don't have apples with me actually. Probably a mistake. Um. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be okay. It's gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna end up with more gold like now I can eat a golden apple to get my health back up and it won't be a waste. That extra heart is gonna encourage me to do the safer thing. Which is good. Which is what we want. We're gonna just build this here. I just really wanna be safe as I go over this gap. Uh place a torch over here and over here. Oh wow, that's yeah, okay. We're fine I'm finally finding the gold in the quantities I was hoping for. I'm gonna have a whole stack to go back home with. It's gonna be great. That's gonna be exactly what I'm looking for. It's fun, fun to use the pound. I've heard of that currency before, so I used Google. Um, there's actually a few, there's quite a few countries that use the pound. Um, the uh, I, I feel like the most famous besides the UK is probably um, Egypt though. It's not, uh, a lot of countries that used to use a currency called the pound started switching it to coin the dollar. So the, the, uh, the Australian pound became the Australian dollar. Same with the New Zealand pound. Um, but there are, uh, it's, it's like, especially historically, there's a lot of uh, pound currencies. Fun fact, now you know. Uh, it's just it's just the UK happens to be the biggest now. I mean, Egypt has more people, but the UK is a bigger economy and reserve currency of the world. Um, so, yeah, we got ourselves 41 gold. I think it's, I think we need at least a stack. We can't come all this way and come back with 41 gold. We've got to come back with a full 64. That's the way I see it. Maybe incorrectly so. I am going to... Oh, God, the skeleton sees me. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. I'm just going to go back through, I guess. Um, try not to get hit by a skeleton here. And, yeah, we'll just go near the aquifer. Just near it. Not not in it, necessarily. Uh, yeah, something about these just makes me feel uneasy. But it's easy gold, so... I'm uneasy, but the gold certainly isn't. Um and just mine it in the ground. There's a bit over there. There's there's a lot of it over here, actually. So we'll go, we'll have to place our slabs. Hey, Euphemia. Wait, Euf Euphemia. Thank you for coming to the 752nd channel member. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Us British, we're too stubborn to change. I don't know, I think, uh, I think there is something to be said about, like certain things benefit from continuity. Like, uh, it, it's being stubborn to change if you won't upgrade your printer. Even though there's a new model that has Wi-Fi rather than whatever you're using before. But I think there's certain things like... Uh, I don't know. Like, ha having a country that has existed in some form for 
a thousand years is a really good thing in certain ways. Um, you know, there's like actually real benefits to that. Uh, and so same with a currency, I guess. Like if you if you change the currency every 10 years, people start to doubt you and question like, so are they going to pay me back in real money or are they going to make up some fake money to pay me with? Um, but, you know, now we're diving into the investor confidence world. Um, I want to go down there, but I did see a skeleton last time I looked. But, you know, it's it's easy gold. Let's do it. Let's just hope nothing comes from above. If it comes from above, we're, we're dead. Um, break this. Hope these are... Yep, that's what that gets. Just great. Okay, we lost some gold there, but it's fine. Okay, what are we at now? We'll check. We're at 62. So, after we get that, that's our full stack officially done. One, two... And then we'll get some extras, sure. You know, it's right here anyway. So yeah, if that, that's a full eight golden apples we can now craft, as well as whatever we had before. That's really good news. That is a lot of healing. That means I can get in like some silly situation and probably get out of it if I leave them in my hot bar, which I intend to do. So let's now jump over here and get out of here. What blocks do I have to get out of here with? I think I've got the cobble. That'll have to do. Yeah, I'm okay. Now now we've take we're you know, we're trying to balance out all as much difficulty as we can. So the next step after we've got our gold ap ap apples is to get the best armor we can. Armor's so good that we don't take damage um, from from mere single mob situations. And then once we've got that, we we can we can feel safe again. That's the plan. Is it a good plan? That's a different question. But yeah, I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, now that we've got that done, there's a serious thing behind us. Also, Angela Van Kampenhout, thank you very much for the Merry Christmas. I hope your Christmas baking went well with whoever you baked christmas -ly for. I want to bake christmas -ly. I saw a video of a girl breaking bread, and the bread looked really good, but the girl's making a point about, like, I used to see eating as a maths equation, now I just eat whatever I want, and I'm so much healthier. And I was like, well, I, is that good advice? <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, ah, you know, I'll just enjoy the bread. I, uh, you know, this, this is the problem with the, uh, oh no, oh wait, it's fine. Okay, so I need to free up a space, just temporarily, um, so I can pick up the gold blocks. Then I'll convert them into whatever they're called, gold ingots. So yeah, we, uh, we picked up, we did pretty well from this trip, I would say. Uh, very well. I'm gonna I'm gonna go as far as to say bread is good. Fresh freshly baked good bre fresh freshly baked bread. My brain my mouth is breaking. Um, freshly baked bread is so good. Um, also obviously lever armor. I really want to have some max enchanted lever armor. I don't know when or why or what, but I want to do that at some point. That is a goal of mine that I would like to see done. Um, but yeah, we, uh, you could, uh, merge your cobblestone stacks. Oh, you're right. I, I get a little annoyed that Minecraft doesn't do that stuff automatically. Like, why does it even make the second stack? It's, uh, it's a question I have sometimes. You know, like, we, we have an inventory crisis, and then stuff like this is still happening. Just seems, like, not good to me. Or see, I think I should be not going so high up in these biomes. Like, again, I'm not going to get exploded by a creeper. But if I got hit by a creeper and then fell down, that could be a death. See, these are the things we've got to start considering. These are the things. Um, do you like banana bread? No, I hate I hate people who like banana bread. That's how much I don't like banana bread. Um, you know, like, there, there, is, there, are, there are good pastries and then there is there's, there's banana bread. Chilling there, pretending like it's real bread. I would rather eat bread than... You know, actually, honestly, fresh, fresh, freshly baked bread with like a little bit of good butter on it. Genuinely, the best thing in the world. Genuinely, in the entire world, the whole, the whole of existence, that's the best thing. Um, so, um, yeah, I, uh, we're also doing baking while watching you. Done some cookies, cupcakes, and some lemon meringue pie. Thanks for keeping us company, says Polly E. You're welcome. I'm just, I'm just so kind for keeping you company. I, uh. Definitely don't have a big, big, big ambition, big project we're aiming for here. I just, I just really want to make sure that people are kept good company. Okay, so the good news 
is we haven't died yet. The bad news is we're now at such a point, like even if I wanted to restart this, I'd be streaming till 6 a.m. on Christmas day. It can't be done. So the, the de like this is truly the last run ever. If it, if it dies right now, I'm just, I, I have this embarrassment. We go, oopsie, uh, but what else can we do? But that's why it's so important we get through the end here. That's why making it back home so I can craft this golden apple, very important to me. Also, by the way, look at this. Oh, this is, this is a good omen. This is a very good omen, chat. What do you, what do you feel like? I, I think, I think this is the sign Minecraft wants me to have a good time. I, um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep right here. I'm gonna wait till it is sleeping time. And I'm just gonna eat some nuts because I need to stay alive. Merry Christmas from South Australia 12, 12, 8 and December 25th, 2022. How long till Christmas for you now? It is 10 hours and 15 minutes until Christmas in, um, in like North Australia. But by North Australia, I mean the UK. And by the UK, I mean London. Other regions may vary. Oh, I love nuts so much. I, uh... So the one downside is yesterday, while I was, like, sad about, you know, the stream that definitely didn't happen, that we didn't have, is I ate all of the, uh, the coated peanuts. So, um, yeah, it's very tragic. Makes it more important uh, to be where this is. But no, thank you so much, Georgie Pepper. I appreciate the Merry Christmas. I It's crazy that it is actually Christmas in, South, in a... I'm guessing like the Adelaide area. Every, every every Australian state has like one city where everyone lives. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use my psychic prediction to assume that's where you live. Um and uh, I love nuts too, Toy Cat. Yeah, I love I love I love when you like when they're really salty. They got that delicious flavor. Goes right in your mouth, you know. It's just it's great. I uh, I love me some salty nuts. Um but yeah, I uh, there we go. Go across my bridge. Honestly, I do I do like a nice nice basic bridge. Like this just this does so much for me. Like I like tunnels for the same reason. They just they just feel good. I think I might tunnel through one of these mountains actually. I don't like nuts, but I love grapes. Says oh, you know, grapes grapes are a um, grapes are a fruit that make me make me angry because I learned about seeded groups racing seeded. Grapes recently. I don't know how I got grape mixed up with group. You know what my it's it's a good sign for my brain that things like this are happening so early. Um but um yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna mine these uh mine these emeralds. Like I said, emerald ore is more valuable not to just take the emeralds. But right now, genuinely we'll get something out of it. It'd be better to come back here with fortune, but like it's this is just like speeding us up the tiniest bit down the village of tech trees. Um I'm gonna see uh, how complete this portal is. If it's really complete, then, oh my God. Yeah, we're just missing two obsidian, which we could get very easily if we just bring some water here. We could go to the never chat. What do you reckon? Is that a good idea? See, on the one hand, the never is a fiery place, but on the other hand, it'd be pretty cool, right? So I don't have, okay, I do have a space actually. Let's take it and let's do that. So if we turn this into, okay, that was kind of pointless, but it's fine. Um, now we just want to take the magma and place this somewhere random. You won't expect it. Perfect. Later, me is going to be very confused and upset by that. Yeah, coming, this this is a perfect place for fortune. Look at all this coal, look at all this iron. This is, we, we want this bad. Which means actually I need to work out how I'm getting diamonds because I haven't found a decent cave for that yet. Like that, that one I was just in probably would have done the job. But I mean, I didn't. So, got a get a key, key, few few key questions, really. Few key questions. Um, okay, that's my that's my village that will that that is home. I think I'm gonna make a bridge across all of this later. Oop. I think I'm gonna. I don't trust you of the never toy cat. <laughs> you know, I think that that's um, why is that more more all more valuable just because it's rare. I can't think of a valuable use. Oh yeah, you can't use it in any valuable way. Um, but yeah, it's really rare, and you could make something really pretty out of it. I'm gonna make something pretty out of Emerald Ore today. When I get Silk Touch, it's gonna be good. You're gonna love my Emerald Ore house. Yeah, you know, I, I don't usually build houses, and uh, so when I do today, it'll be out of Emerald Ore. 
And then you can't even be mad because usually I wouldn't build a house. So it's still an improvement. Got to watch out for all the uh, all the powdered snow around here. And okay, see, that is what I was just saying. I have to stop breaking this real quick. There we go, we're good. Just really can't afford to take some frost damage. Not today, at least. Um, let's keep going down. See how a bridge would make this so much easier? A bridge and a tunnel, maybe. Go real fancy. Um, that's a lot of lava. And those are some bees. They're probably gonna burn at some point. Just keep on. I'll be coming down the mountain when I come. I'll be heading down the mountain when I'm down. I think I'm over it now. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I think I think a nice bridge here and then like a tunnel through that mountain would go spectacularly together. Yeah, that's the fun thing about crazy terrain is you get to have more of a fun time kind of taming it. Also, this is a good cave. I mean, it's very scary to be up here. But it's a good cave, right? I think I should go in there. I mean, it's not going to go that low down, is it? But it's, you know, we've got to we've got to go find some diamonds. Uh, I can trade for. I could hope that I get fortune on a traded pickaxe, but I think I think that's being really hopeful. I do have the iron for it actually. You know, should we mine? No, I, I'm gonna go mining. I wanna, like, villages are great. I wanna use them for where they're best at rather than where they're like good though. Um, because you know you know like villager trading is like less less crazy intense fun than going and doing other stuff. So first of all, we've got a toolsmith here. <clears throat> I am gonna lock him in a place somewhere. And then I'm gonna sell him, uh, I can't sell him this, but I'm gonna buy some shovels off him. So I just buy a shovel now since I don't have one. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Uh, now let's, let's start putting some stuff in some places. So first things first, we'll need this later, but not right now. Then we'll put our gold in here. We got a whole 64 of it. Yeah, I, I need this lava farm to be working soon. I could use it now. It's it's a full stack. Yeah, you know what? I'll use it now. I can get lava somewhere else. Okay, so we got full full stack of gold coming my way. And if I just add these to it as it as it needs it, we'll have a full stack after that too. Now we're gonna eat a golden apple because you you just actually we'll, we'll make a whole stack of golden apples right now, right off the bat. Just eight of them. I mean, a stack of gold into you, you know what I mean by that. So now we've got eight golden apples. We're always in a situation like I think this left slot is always going to be reserved for them, because then when I need them, like right now, we just eat one and look at that. Wow, we are now full health and a little bit more. That's that's very good news. So now we've got a whole extra stack of gold for whatever else we need it for. Man, that's really good. First player to ever seriously trade for a stone shovel. <laughs> yeah, no, I I was thinking that. I was like, wow, this this maybe is why they sell it. You know, like, I've... I, and he, there's the crazy thing, is to get to the next tier, he wants me to buy, like, how many more of these? Like, ten? It's like, can, can we not just accept that I did a good job buying the shovel in the first place? The answer is no. We can't accept that. Um, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shovel through here. I'm just going to make the farm have some consistency to it. Um, we'll do the same on this side, I guess. Just just shovel it out. Look at that. Now we've got some dirt. Mine through here too. Uh, use some of this dirt, actually, to... Might be a good idea to, like, expand... Expand? Expand? There we go. I got the word. My brain is just... It's a little, little fried. Maybe I should see. I've, I've got to, I've got a balance with like, you know how I was saying earlier, like, oh, I would love to have a drink if I knew I wouldn't be like also hungover in the same stream. I also have to balance. Um, oh, we got villagers breeding. That's a good sign. Should we? Um, I think I need to work on the trading hall quite urgently. Are there villagers inside here? Firstly, no. Uh, should we leave the doors open? Yeah, why not? Hey, thank you, David Swoop. <laughs> Stay away from lava. See or now, okay. Yes. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! What what is the minimum wage where you live? Let me let me do the maths on that. Actually, oh, actually, I think it's like seventeen times. Like it's like about it's gonna be like nine pounds something. Still, that's that's surprisingly high, right? That's surprisingly high. I uh, appreciate it a lot, Dave. You know, what? now now I have to make it to the end because if I don't. I'm receiving minimum wage for time where I've not been streaming. You know, I, 
I can't be doing that. That's I I have to now to not be committing. I don't know what is it? Wage fraud? Is that is that a thing? Is 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 that a thing? Do people is I I don't even know. But th thank you very much, David Solomon. Is what I'm trying to say with all of my words. Okay, so um, I need to go find some diamonds. I think I'm gonna go mine for enough to make a pickaxe, and then a little bit more. Uh, but first, I need to just dump out some more stuff. Just you know, it's it's a very full inventory I've got here. Uh, these are nice. These are nice. Uh, we're gonna place four of these saplings down. And then the rest will go in there. The bamboo should go somewhere. That's definitely true. <coughs> Ooh, the bamboo is definitely true. Um, yeah, I think down here will be a good place for a tree. Like, uh, I, I don't want to block the lake view. That's it's a very nice lake. Yeah, that's that's something I have to balance. So I think we'll go to the right here where there's no lake being blocked, and we'll place the uh, the four saplings here. And then the bamboo, just to be simple, we'll have a nice long row here. Because then we could place like pistons to the right. Yeah, just nice, nice, nice little row of bamboo. Um, that seems good to me. And then those will grow naturally. We'll harvest them somewhat naturally. And yeah, I, I think we could probably take out these left two ones. Do that just so they look a little nicer. And there we go. Nice. So sugarcane, I think, is uh, is my is what my heart is desiring right now. I'm like, make a sugarcane farm, toy cat. You know, ignore all these all these people. You're welcome. Happy Christmas. No, thank thank you so much. I well, well mer have the have the happiest Christmas yourself. I uh, you you have earned the happiest Christmas now. That's that's how you earn things with with money. I mean, actually, that is. But <laughs> no, thank thank you very much. I appreciate it. I it's gonna be a good day. I I now can I can now rest assured, knowing that even if if, if it's a tragic stream, that at least at least there's some there's some good in the heart, but it's not gonna be tragic. It's gonna go real good. I, I genuinely am fully, fully committed to getting through till tomorrow at 5 a.m., 4 a.m. Um, so yeah, we're now 13 days in. It's an unlucky day, some would say. Um, and uh, we need to go underground. I saw that cave earlier. I think that's our best bet. So we'll take some water with us just in case something bad happens. And we're just gonna head in. We're just gonna see how that goes for us. Do I have a stone pickaxe still? I don't. So we might need to craft another pickaxe. I do have iron on me though, so it's good. Um, yeah, I I think uh, two diamonds for an enchantment table is our bare minimum, but because we don't have obsidian from a chest, we really need five diamonds. But we could always trade for a diamond pickaxe, whereas the two diamonds for this are... But, yeah, okay, long, long story short, two diamonds, good. Five diamonds, better. 11 diamonds is too many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you shouldn't say that out loud, but it's the truth. So yeah, um, when it when it's this vertical of a cave, I like to just use water. Um, it can be a bit of a pain if it flows too much, but it's fine. Um, yeah, we're a bit high up to find diamonds, so we need to find another like verticality element. We also need to avoid creepers like they are the plague, um, and skeletons like they are a different type of plague. Uh, this cave is surprisingly busy. Like the last one we went into, oh man, two creepers over there too. The last one we went into was like dead, right? Was it on this same world? It was, yeah, it was today. Um, man, that, that, it, it feels so long ago when we were like in the, underneath that that village. But yet yeah, that was a place we were at. Yeah, this, this cave is really nice and open and if I came here with a fortune pickaxe, I'd get a lot of coal. But not a lot else, right? Not a lot else. So yeah, it does seem like I'm running around like a madman. Remember, I do have golden apples. Um, and I am doing this for a good cause. I, it's, it's, you know, it's the Christmas Eve toy cat cause. I, uh, okay. I, I'm having the merriest Christmas of Eve. Honestly, it does I, as a, as a child, I used to be like so excited for Christmas Eve, but I think what I was really excited for was stuff. You know, like I, I don't know if that's like, is that like against the spirit of Christmas? I feel like it, given that we made it a consumer holiday, that's like, that's the way you've got to be. You, you're, you're doing Christmas wrong if you're not consumer enough. And so I, I like to see it as like me doing my bit to keep the economy running. Uh, we'll see if there's like back there, maybe a way down. I'm not hopeful though. I think this was a, 
I think this was a chance we took. And it's okay that not every chance pans out. Yeah, it's a real nice cave. But we'll try a different one. I, um... I'm going to get myself another can of Arizona because it's the best I have on me at the moment. Oh, I would kill for a can of Arizona iced tea right now. Oh, yeah, it's so... I, I would love that. I would I would be very excited. It's, uh... I, uh... I like... No, 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 no! I don't know how that took... Oh, it took one heart. I was like, did I take any damage? Uh... It's fine. It's fine. It's it's a heart. I've got I've got plenty more where those came from. I'm about to be able to make mushroom stew specifically for these dumb situations. Uh, it's really really dumb to have taken it there. Just a reminder that verticality can kill. Verticality can put me in a real bad situation, and you can't save yourself on trees because it places it in the tree leaves rather than on top of them, which is silly, but it is how it is. Um. Okay, what do we got here? We're just we're just kind of climbing a mountain at this point. This is the opposite of the direction we need to be going if we're gonna stay safe. Um, but let's just do it anyway. See where it takes us. Um, Band Aid did ask the question in 1984 about whether we know it's Christmas time at all. You know, they that's 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 true. That is a real song. <laughs> that's my opinions on it. It is real. You you know I've. Some people might try and tell you that it's not, and those people raise very salient points. But I have heard the song myself. I have I have committed to its existence. See, I, I again, I really want to come here at some point with a fortune pickaxe and just go to town. Oh, a goat. That's cute. Let's hope he doesn't ram me. Um, oh, a dripstone cave. Whoa. Yes, yes, yes. It's weird the way that rendered in. But then there's also whatever that is down there. Yeah, I should have just gone this way all along. I, I love these mountains. I don't want to stand here in case I get knocked off or anything, but I, uh, I'm having a good time. The, Af the Africa song is Eurocentric. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm starting to believe that Europeans in Europe make things for Europeans. That's how I'm st And then, then we'll just like make it sound like it's really international. I think that's the problem, uh, I think that's a funny, like quirk of like American culture is seeing things from Europe as being like, ooh, yes, how fancy. When like Europeans see things from Europe and we go, oh, okay. <laughs> I I know like I felt like our brand image is like 80% of our value as a continent is people being like, ooh, yes, pizza from Italy. So much better than that swine stuff they sell at Pizza Hut uh, or whatever the case may be. Um, we don't actually need many drip stones. Uh, I do not like the creeper. Should we just let the creeper blow up, actually? No, we shouldn't. We should not. <laughs> not not in an ultra hardcore. Um, yeah, let's just knock him back. Go again. I like that I got a second hit in there. Okay, that worked. Perfect. I needed dirt anyway, actually. So that was a really convenient little find. Um, so we've probably got enough dripstone forever. And the cave isn't going down. It's going up. But it's still nice. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're not, well, there's no point going in there. That's just, that's darkness with no benefit from it. Uh, we could just make our own mine down underground. I, uh, you know, that has gone poorly for me before. But if we, if we don't have a good cave nearby, and at some point we're gonna want to go underground. Even if it's just to get redstone for, uh, a contraption, you know, like our automatic melon farm. Gonna be making for the first time, by the way. I've genuinely never made a fully automatic melon farm. But yeah, it's going to be great. It's, um, when you compare a Texas accent to a British accent, it's surprising how different they sound, even though they're the same uh, language. What's really interesting to me is how similar certain, like, British Southwest accents are so similar to American Southeast ones. Like, you can, uh, if you listen to a Devon, Devon man, and you listen to a, you know, like, a South Carolinian you were like, oh, I see the, I see the similarities now. Um, yeah, I think we'll just make our cave. It'll be outside of the village walls, somewhere. I guess we could make the cave inside one of these guys' houses. Actually, I think that'd be funny. Um, which one of these houses is best suited to a cave? This this house here. Yeah, I'd say this house here. It's got like a, it's got like a mine-looking entrance. I think we could turn this into a cave place much later. Yeah, I think that'd be good. This is my new cave entrance. Um, I think we'll go to the right here. 
Actually, no, we'll follow the this, but like downwards. So this is now my way underground. It sucks to it sucks to start a cave on a mountain. Actually, yeah, we'll 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 do the uh we'll do the ladder thing, uh, which is seemingly unnecessary. It seems very dangerous, but it's not if you just know what you're doing. I see you're already doing better than yesterday. Oh no, yesterday we couldn't start a world because of- Also, by the way, thank you very much for the tip, Zeta Demons. Um, I, uh, I'm excited to catch your stream. I'm 31, I just started playing Minecraft a couple of weeks ago, and your video's been helping me a lot. Oh really? You just got into Minecraft? Okay, so, to- If I- You know, you can ignore this, but like, the self-promo I would give, if I was saying like, one video you must watch, is probably 101 tips to beat Minecraft. Like, there's a lot of dumb things in there, but like, that are useful to pick up, I would say. Um, but uh, if you're new to Minecraft, that's really cool to- I I don't know why, I feel like it's such a rare thing for like someone to be getting into Minecraft now. So I actually think that's incredible. Thank you for sharing your experience. Um, so yeah, I need to make some ladders, like a lot of them. Because um, again, just- I, 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 I've learned my lesson, chat, don't worry. I've learned- I've learned what goes so horribly wrong. 54 ladders. It's not as many as we would like. Uh, but it'll do. You know, no, I, I, want, I want more. We'll turn the bamboo into sticks. And then we'll turn this into sticks. Worst case, we have too many sticks, right? Best case, we have enough ladders. Yeah, this, this is probably more like what we need. Also, let's let's finally set up the, the, the lava farm. So, one goes over here. One goes over there. We have two cauldrons. I have three cauldrons on me, so I guess we'll make. We'll just we'll just place all four down now. Place down these. One, two, three. Actually, we could use a ladder to get myself up there. Can I jump onto this? I can't. Can I jump onto? Okay, we're not gonna use that. Actually, we're gonna. We'll place these down like over here. There we go, and then we can get to the top. Although actually we don't want to get to the- t we, we need to have a space because otherwise we'll fall into lava. So let's move these a block over. Ladder ladder. By the way, it's good night time for day 30. Okay, we got through the unlucky one now. It's it. Every, every day further we go, our odds of success continue going up. Hey, Larry Nannery, thank you so much for becoming the 753rd channel member. Thank you for joining us on this very nice Christmas. Uh, Christmas Eve. Christmas- yeah, the, the Eve. Of the Christ mass. Um, and now we're gonna go take our. No, wait, we gotta put our lava down. So I probably need to make some trapdoors. Um, I'll use oak trapdoors. I used, I used spruce yesterday. I'll use birch. No, I used birch before too. I should have brought some jungle trees with me, really. Use, use something different. But it's fine, we'll just use oak trapdoors. They do the job. Um, as time goes on, we'll chop down more of this forest and probably just leave it chopped down. Like, this this tree has to go as well. It's just, you know, it's in the wrong place, wrong time. I'm sorry. Um, so this is a 100 day straight stream, says Nitro Fusion. Yes, you have joined me on day 14 of what is going to be 100 days straight. 12 hours from now, I will only have, wait, six, I'll be on day 78. Uh, maybe like 74 if we're like, we have a few messed up days. Um, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a long haul stream, but sometimes that's what you gotta sign up for. You know, you gotta you gotta believe in yourself. If you won't believe in yourself, who will? So we need eight trapdoors because we've got this, and we'll need to place a block down on the side of which the trapdoors will go. So dripstone blocks sounds good to me. One there, one there. So. Trapdoor goes like that. Okay, that's wrong. Trapdoor goes like so. We gotta like place it correctly like that. Yeah, that's that's exactly what we want. So then we'll try the same over here, just to be sure. One here, the one here. Uh, having four cauldrons is gonna mean I get four leather workers, which is a little bit silly, but it'll be fine. Okay, place the same things over here. I do like that trapdoors can keep lava contained. It feels like an incorrect fact. Happy to part of the fam, says La Larry Nannery. Now the best bit is not only do you get that green name, not only do you get um, your, your fun new emojis, by the way, which you should take advantage of, um, but also you get the Merry members only. Merry Christmas. Videos. It's been a while, but I really enjoyed the live streams that I have been able to catch this month. Smurf bite. I man, that's that is a name I recognize. It has been a while. I uh, I hope you. 
Hope you're doing more than okay right now. Uh, I hope you're doing much better than okay. But, um, oh, that feels dangerous. <laughs> I knew it wasn't, but it felt like it was. Um, so now we just move the lava from here up to here. And then we slowly add more as we go. So lava goes in. It feels like the lava should flow over that. The fact that it doesn't is always going to be an anomaly uh, to me. But there we go. Nice and safe. No burning for me. Perfect. Okay, so we've got a lava farm started. I think I put it in the exactly wrong place. Yeah, I, I need it to be anywhere but there. Because that's not going to grow into one of these. So we want to place it like there. Nice and easy. Pull down. We're good. Whew, how are your oxygen levels? Uh, probably should open a window at some point. I need to put on like a hoodie if I'm going to open a window in December though. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Oh, we got a sheep in the in the cow farm. And a cat too. How cute. Um, I guess I should start doing something with sheep. Huh? Yeah, at some point I'm going to have to. Um, I also have to... Is that an unemployed villager? Yeah, I'm going to start trapping these villagers away. Um, I'll use cobblestone, I guess. Block there. Block there. It's very simple. Yeah, and then we'll just do the same. Continue adding villagers as we can. We could probably put like... Yeah, no, that's that's the easiest way to do it. He's nice and trapped. Is this a stonemason? It is. We now have a way to trade clay for emeralds. And then we'll be able to try get some diamond armor. And then we'll get a toolsmith in there. It'll be great. In fact, let's just right now, before I go underground, let's just, let's just move this sideways a little bit. Like, expect, take out the wall, which is going to cause the blockage. And now we can start putting blocks in there. Yeah. Uh, so this this floor is going to be made of wood, I guess. <laughs> okay, I've got some planks. We'll just put some wood down. And then we'll, we'll, we'll start blocking it off later, making the roof make some sense, etc. But for now, that's good. Um, the fletching table, I think, is the next one I need to put in there. And then the blacksmithing table. These are currently just on little things here. Let's move them now. Make sure they're good. So that later... Everything is wonderful. Um, so yeah, this is going to be my trading hall. Usually I don't make an actual hall outfit. But today I want to do something different. I want to make sure I'm, you know, like have a little bit more fun. Um, every, every time I do something, I feel like I make it a little bit nicer than before. Uh, but only only for attrition. Not because I think it needs to be nice. Just because I think it's fun to do it that way. Uh, and then this is going to be my mine. So I'm going to have to make a entrance into this from the ceiling. I mean, I don't have to, but I'm... I'm choosing to, I guess. <laughs> Gonna make an entrance into this from the ceiling. Um, and the plan with... Okay, that seems good to me. Just place the stairs over here now. Yeah, that's great. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, perfect is a bit of a stretch, but it does the job. Now we can go underground. And I've got the stair... I've got the ladders. So... Yeah, let's, let's do this. So this is how you dig down safely in Minecraft. It's called the double step... You're never actually digging down. You're digging down a block to the right of where you're standing, then to the left of where you're standing, then to the right, etc, etc, etc. I should probably get some water. I'll put some hay bales in there, just in case I make some horrible mistake. Uh, digging straight down isn't dangerous if you don't do it dangerously. It's only dangerous if you do do it dangerously. Pro tip, if you do something in a not dangerous way, it's not dangerous. Um, I'm also going to have to put some torches down, right? Okay, no torches. Uh, can I make some? easily. Um, yeah, this side here of the tunnel, it feels like it's a bit of a danger. But if I just put some water at the bottom, maybe you'll be safer. Uh, again, digging down, it's safe. It looks dangerous, but it's safe. As long as you do, you, if you dig down one block, you, you, you are putting yourself in some potential risk. I'll admit. But right now you can see no matter which block I mine, I'm still standing on the other one. Like if you imagine, if I, if you imagine me crouching on the edge of this block, I can go all the way over there. If you imagine me crouching on the end of this edge of this block, I can go all the way over there. So when you're standing in between, it's like you're... Oh, oops. It's like you're crouching between the two blocks, which makes you more than safe. I I always hate placing ladders this way because they end up, like, behind you. Um, but yeah, let's just place it nice and high above me. Uh, it's Yeah, I, I can never get the placement of, like, ladder, place, ladder, place, down. It just never works the way that I want it to. Oh, but today, it's going just fine. Wonderful. All the way to the top. Yeah, that's a potential hazard, I'm going to have to go ahead and say. <laughs> so just place a block there, and now it's not. 
Um, so let's go get a second pickaxe. What sort of pickaxe should we make? Maybe we should, if we uh, if we go over the toolsmith a bunch, because I do have the the blocks for that. If we just trade with him a bunch, he'll offer me a pickaxe eventually, right? Right? Yeah, and then I can just use that. So I'll just get all of these bought and out of the way. I just, it's so painful buying them for such a price. I'd rather, I'd rather sell him coal. I'd be much happier selling him coal. I know it's not an option. It's just what I want. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and make a second chest uh, for these tools that I'm going to pick up. Because, you know, you, you just, okay, no, I don't have enough wood for, okay, I do have enough wood for a chest. Uh, you just, like, you, you know you're never going to use them. And so, again, getting on top of inventory storage right now, it's a good idea. Um, so this is my stone shovel chest. <laughs> and, yeah, we've only three, um, we've only three of this to go. It's not great. Also, yeah, we're not going to get great iron rates, so that's, that's true. Also, yeah, it was good to see you, uh, digging truths. Hope you're having a wonderful Christmas day, Eve. Christmas Eve day, there we go. It's definitely what I meant. Is this a toolsmith? This is a toolsmith. So we're going to now lock him into place. Uh, just need some blocks there and then a block over here. Nice and easy. And so yeah, just slowly we move villagers and we... Is he actually trapped in there? Yeah, I think he is. Yeah, if he gets... He can't get past this because I can't get past it. Um, so yeah, just slowly but surely we'll have more villagers being kept very safe and secure. And then we'll just make this like roof go up and down a bit more. It'll, it'll be fun. It'll be nice. Uh, we'll have to do the same on this side eventually. But slowly but surely, we'll, we'll, we'll collect villagers who we can then keep safe. Like, this guy is going to be my source of emeralds, which I'll use to buy shovels from this guy. Because I can I can buy these, but then I'm going to run out of emeralds. Uh, like I have. Um, and then we'll, we'll pick up some iron and we'll... Yeah, we'll, that's that's the plan. We'll, we'll use the toolsmith to get a diamond pickaxe. Because then that can save me from a bit of pain down the line. Sounds perfectly fun and fine to me. So, should we go get some clay from that lake? Just so we can... Yeah, you know what? It's a little bit of a distraction from the mine. You know? But today today we're all about distractions. Um, you know what? Minecraft is a game about distractions. Ultimately, I think what makes the game fun is how sometimes you can be like, Oh, before I do this, I should do... Like, I think that's why some people get bored in the late game. Because it's like, I create my own goals. And I don't... You know, like, getting distracted from my own goals feels bad. Whereas, what I'm doing right now is just like, Yeah, this is a more effective way to get a certain thing done. That is a good thing. Surely it must be. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, an, it's an interesting thought, at least. That Minecraft is a game about the getting lost. It's about the journey and not the destination. If you will. If you will. Distractions are good. If you enjoy what you're being distracted by, I think distractions are great. That's that's what I'm going to go as far as to say. Um, yeah, I, I, I think... Uh, I, I think that's that's my official stance, is that distractions are good for you. Um, yeah, this lake is going to have a ton of clay in it. So it won't take much mining at all. And we'll get a ton of... Like, I've always wanted to do this as a source of emeralds. Because, you know, mining mining wood is great too. Don't get me wrong. But now I'm using the stuff... I'm, I'm getting to use the shovels that I get from one villager to, 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 to get the resources to sell to another. Which is a good feeling, in my opinion. Um... Happy Festivus. How long until the Litany of Disappointments? You know what? That's a... Uh, also day 15. Oopsie. Is it day 15? Did I, did I not press the button? I don't know how I forget that so often. It's quite an interesting mistake to make. Um, but yeah, have a good... Have a good... No one can tell you what you can and cannot do. Yeah, exactly. You want you want to have a whole day of being distracted and... You know? Like, you, you want to do that? You can do that. You want to... You want to start mining and stay focused on it? You want to just mine for 100 days straight? You could do that. I think I'd enjoy that stream. Just take out mines. I want to make a house out of diamond ore. And so we're going to do that. Uh, took out to distract himself from incrementing the day counter. Oopsie. We all make mistakes. Just some of our mistakes are much bigger and more serious than others. Yeah, this is, this is a nice trade set. Just trade them all in. Uh, so now we can sell him some smooth stone, which if I had once once the lava farm starts up actually isn't that hard to do um, And we can sell a smandersite, so that'll be great, but for now I would like to buy your stone shovel, sir So now at this point I can sell iron I don't want to sell too much iron and then I can buy a diamond hoe 
yeah, it sucks to sell so much. Okay, and then we just buy enough diamond hose. Yeah, that's, you know, I'll buy one diamond hose, I guess. Because my iron one is, is running pretty low. Just buy one of these. And there we go. Uh, so yeah, we have to buy a ton of diamond hose, put them in a chest somewhere, but then we can get to a shovel. And then if we buy the shovel, we get a pickaxe. I thought we'd get an iron pickaxe in there somewhere, but I must be confusing him with the, uh... Maybe I'm not even confusing with anyone. Maybe there's no iron pickaxe trade and I'm just crazy. But, um... If we all own a part of Minecraft, can we tell you how to play? You know what? We all own a part of Minecraft, asterisk, 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 asterisk. You know, I can't say the word asterisk. I always thought it was asterisk, by the way. Like, uh, apparently that's a character from a cartoon show, though. So uh, apparently I'm wrong. But, uh, I think that's a funny, funny little mistake there. I think I'm gonna eat the golden carrots soon. I think that's gonna be a good food source. I think I'm gonna throw the carrots in here for now, though. Alongside the lead and the drip stones. Just, you know, we, we wanna free up some space for our, our mining. Okay, so I took a little diversion, but now I have a diamond hoe. And I have, also, my, my pumpkins are coming in. You know, it's a good time to be alive, is what some would say. Just gotta jump on this. Um... Yeah, it's a very great time to be alive. I'm gonna go get a farming villager now, sorted actually. He's gonna be in a separate place for the trading hall, probably. In fact, where there, there's gotta be some composters around here. And this 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 librarian, we're gonna move him as well. Cause you know, you can't the librarian can't be living in a mine. That doesn't make any sense, does it? So we'll move the librarian from the mine. Uh we'll probably just break this brewing stand and not move it anywhere. Oh, we didn't make a pickaxe yet. We we went for a lot of effort, and it involved me not making a pickaxe. <laughs> so um, yeah, pro tip: when you need to make a crafting table, but you don't wanna, you know, mess up a village, all you gotta do is just replace one of the blocks with a crafting table. No one even notices. It's like, wow, this looks so much better as a crafting table. Um, and now we get an iron pickaxe. I probably should just make stone, and then no, nah, we'll go iron. We'll go iron. Because uh, I, I I need to mine two diamonds with it, like I already said. So then we're gonna go mine the the composters. I'm gonna move them to our side of the village. Like this half of the village, I want it to be literally dead besides beds. Even the beds, like I think I'll move those eventually. Um, Cause having a village be this spread out is just kind of inefficient and not fun. Cause I also want to build a wall around the village, right? So it, it doesn't make any sense to have all of this. Okay, so this is a armorer, which means he needs to get over to that side of the village. Is there even a way for him? Yeah, there, there is, you just could. Actually, you know, I don't think there is. I think we have to make this ourselves. No, actually there is, he walks down here and over there. There is a perfect way for him, he just has to take it. Um, so now we can place down our composter over here. I I think I'll pay, just place it near the farming villager. Just like, you know, have, have a couple of couple of dudes existing in this area. Um, so, second composter, second farming villager. Because I do need to sell pumpkins to someone. I, grabbing all these pumpkins, not selling them. That's just, that's just silly, that's just silly maps right there. Okay, next step. Have we got another villager trapped around here? I don't see one. Uh, oh, this guy's gonna have troubles getting into his thing. I might have to, no, he can, he can walk around, it's fine. Like, or walk over. He'll work it out, he'll work it out. Let's uh, let's go down our ladder again. Let's get straight back to our very important task. Um, and that important task is to make this. So ladders instead of pumpkins. Oh, it's so scary just knowing if I move slightly to the left, I could kill myself. Um, yeah, this is the downside of the two two way down. Okay, so we'll we'll place the occasional torch. There we go. That makes it safer looking. Uh, and safe, safety and looking is most of what people care about when they think about safety. Like, feeling safe is a is a function of, like, it looking like it is safe. It's nothing more, nothing less. Uh, place the ladders every now and then just so there's less pain. Okay, I place these now. Nice, nice. Damn it, I placed one on the wall behind me. You know, we, we need to have something there to catch us, so maybe that's good. Really. I mean, I could fall on the side of it and die, so maybe not. Um, place water or something at the, uh, the bottom for, uh, softly. Yeah, having a, uh, having a soft fool does seem quite important, huh? Does seem quite important. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, uh, 
Don't don't kill yourself, says Jaden. Not. My plan is indeed not to kill myself. If you'll believe it, I actually would like to not die by myself. Um, you know, real life or Minecraft. But yeah, I I have very much the opposite of that ambition. Stand in the middle, toy cat, please. Oi, chat. Do you reckon I should just mine this block? Ooh, and I'll mine this one. And that, as long as you like, kind of like dodge, it'll work. But I think yeah, we'll stand in the middle. Stand in the nice middle ground where I mine whichever block is just in front of me. It's actually very hard to like line that up perfectly, but we're doing it. Oh, we want andesite as well because andesite equals emeralds. Um, it's a bit weird that andesite equals emeralds, but it's fine. So yeah, my mine entrance is very delightful. Um. I do have real bad feelings about it being too wide. I feel like maybe I should like place some cobblestone or something on this side every now and then. I think I think like I could have a lake at the bottom and that would be fine. It'd have to be a really wide lake for me to feel absolutely okay though. I need to be focused by the way on digging down in case I find something I'm not expecting, right? So that's something I need to have more focus on. But for now, let's just go up. The lack of caves is is disappointing. This is, uh, I obviously need caves. It's the whole point here. So not having them is a bad thing. Also, I keep placing ladders behind me. I, you know, what? I hate this. I hate that I hate the ladders assume you want to place backwards into the side if you place them like this. That doesn't even make any sense. I guess it does. It's like placing on the front. You know, it's, it's one of those weirdest like features that feels like a bug. But yeah, I literally can't make it to the top without going back and grabbing some of these. So let's do that now. Very embarrassed. <laughs> okay, three of them, that's that's enough. So this is uh, this is as low as we can go by ladder. The rest we're gonna do by a fancy, fancy big thing. I, uh, I, uh, I hope that you're all having a, uh, a good, good experience of my mind. I think that it is one of those it's one of those things we just have to uh, believe in. Also, this Christmas sucks, says Eagle Craft Four. Yeah, I think uh, I think a lot of people place a lot of uh, expectations on Christmas, and uh, you know you can't say like, oh yeah, we'll just don't have expectations, and your reality will always be amazing, because that doesn't actually work that way either. But I do think there is a certain amount of like, you know, if you have unrealistic expectations for anything, no matter how good it is, it will always disappoint. It's uh, it's like a sad reality is that we can we can be in the best time of our life and not realize it and just be bummed out about how it's not as good as we imagined it is. Um, is that healthy? Some would say no. I am some people also. But um, is it something people would keep on doing till the end of time? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. So yeah, I'm, I have to wait to go to sleep. I It's very important to me that I sleep as fast as I can. It's the only way... This ends at 4 a.m. and not 7 or 8 a.m. So just as soon as we have the opportunity to kick this guy out of his bed, we're gonna do precisely that. I'm gonna have a few more nuts. Keep myself, keep myself uh, full, I guess. Like uh, I need to treat this like I said this last time, but I need to treat this like it's a hike. This is a long, this is a long forward commitment we're making. And so it's important we make it right. I'm gonna grab the water for the bottom of the mine staircase thing. Um, I guess we'll grab this water, sure. Oh, I didn't hit the day counter. I did hit the day counter, right? Is it is it day 15? No, wait, I didn't. It's day 16. I need to get that routine better in my head. Okay, welcome to day 16, everybody. We are now 15% through the challenge. We have officially done that much. Um, yeah, I think we should just... Once we have water at the bottom, it won't matter about anything else, actually. So we'll make a big pit of water that is wider than all of this, just in case I somehow hit the edge or something. Um, so first of all, we'll grab these, because these are just unnecessary. We can make the, the, the ladder down two blocks deeper now. So we go down one. And we go down two. Okay, then we, then we're gonna dig a big old pit of water. Literally, it's 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 gotta be big enough, 
and in every direction that there's no way that I can fall from the pit of water and not be okay. Wow! Okay. So, like, uh, we actually have to, like, deal with that now. Um, I've got tons of cobblestone. It's fine. So, there and there. Okay. So, that now if I've got water in there, there's no way I can die from this fall. This is, this is over the top. Usually, it wouldn't matter this much. But it does matter. I don't know if you know why, chat, but this is ultra hardcore, and I would really like to hit 100 days. Um, I... Like, if I, if I can't do this on the third attempt, I feel like there's like a serious, a moral failing, really, that I am... Ooh, wow, yeah, that's deep. This is what I'm looking for. So, even though this exists here, I think I'm better off just like mining through the side. Being in a situation where I'm not exposed is a good idea. So, we'll dig this way. Through the cave, and then just kind of come back later. Uh, still looking for... I think it's andesite I want to trade with. So if we find a bunch of that... No, even even andesite, it's not worth going for. Like, if we, any block we get, we should just take it, because we can use it, not because anything else. Um... Yeah, this is this is gonna get us to diamond lair, but we're not gonna find diamonds in a cave this small. You need a really big cave before you're just finding wild diamonds. Like, you know, maybe we're really lucky. I'm just not gonna count on it though. I am gonna mine some iron while we're here. Um, Cause again, I need to trade this. You've all seen the, the situation. Um, and uh, then to get, to get that diamond shovel, that really nice shiny one, you're gonna need a ton of this. And just keep on going down. It's It feels spooky. It feels like we're doing someone a bit wrong. But it's okay. That's just how it feels. Yeah, there's no diamonds at the bottom of that. And there's no additional caves. So let's mine again through this. And let's mine downwards towards the next cave. Um, chat, is this the third stream where Toycat does 100 days? This is the only stream where Toycat does 100 days. This is the first time I am successfully pulling it off. Because yesterday, we, we we loaded up the stream, just we couldn't start a new Minecraft world. And then it, then it ended. That's that's what happened. Don't even don't even question it. Um, that feel when he has to be extra Dave because he died twice, ridiculous features. Yeah, so the only, the things I'm watching out for are Lava and Iron Golems. Those are my usual suspects of death. I've got golden apples to save myself from basically anything else. Like I could, I could take down the dragon if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, watching out for those other ridiculous features, probably a good idea. See, now we end up in the second cave. That's lava. You see how I'm gonna? Oh god, that's a skeleton. That's a bad shot, but doesn't mean I appreciate you making it. Um. Okay, yeah, I gotta gotta do something about that probably. This is my plan of doing something about that. <laughs> um, and now let's head this way. Just a few blocks. Yeah, it's not it's not the ideal cave. It's definitely the opposite of that. But you gotta work with what you're given in Minecraft sometimes. And this is that. Kinda just oh wait, we gotta stay crouched in case he looks at me again. Um Yeah, this is this is nice. I'm like sure he's gonna I'm gonna just get his aggro range from here. It's kind of annoying at this distance, but it's okay. Just slowly place down. Oh yeah, I didn't like that sound. So there's a tiny little gap where he can indeed fire at me. I've got to remember that or I'll lose a part on the way back up from this. Um, so let's go down a block and then like that. Oh God, why did the zombie kill the skeleton? Did he hit the... Okay, you know what? I'm not bothered. I'm just glad he's dead. That's one fewer problem for me to deal with. Um, yeah, we could we could go branch mining for diamonds. It's been forever since I've done that. It feels very old-fashioned. Uh, but we could do it. We can do it. We can do that. See, so yeah, I'm going to come back in here. Um, oh, we're going to definitely cover this up too, by the way. Just fewer of these. Probably better for me. I, uh, I'm gonna go back out, and we're gonna, we're gonna go branch mining. But I, I need to be, like, sure of when the day ends before I can do that, so. We'll, we'll make sure we are sure. The zombie is on your side. 
I, uh, you don't have a clock. How will you know when it's day 17 underground? Yeah, I had a clock in my uh, last run, which didn't happen, of course. Uh, but I think I think having something like that underground would be nice. Or at the very least, having a... I guess, like, what do I do? Dig a skylight in here? Yeah, I think I'm just going to start keeping track of the day time, roughly. There's a, there's a rough time of day every day that I should be trying to sleep. So I've got to watch out for that. Um... So yeah, that's that's my that's my questionable strategy. Can you get any lava proofing potions or armor yet? Um, I can go to the Never quite easily right now. The question is not whether I can; it's whether I should, though. Um, you know, what, should we go to the Never? I feel like a good trip to the Never would uh, would empower our spirits. I think we should do it, chat. I think we just make a little little trip to the Never, just just a small one, not like a big trip to the Never, not like we're getting everything there. Just like you know, just a little little trip in. Hi in Andrew, Merry Christmas from ex-wife Kelly Drummond. Hey, Here's your alimony. Thank thank you so much. Uh, you know, I, you you, ch you changed your name even. Wow, I, uh, it's it's really good to see you. I hope that you're doing wonderful on this Christmas on this Christmas Eve event we are having. I uh, appreciate you. Merry Christmas. And I hope you have a happy new year. You know, I think it's way too early to be wishing people a happy new year. I I, I know that I know it comes together the Christmas thing, but like, wow, that's a whole year I'm gonna be wishing you good on. I you I better hope that there's not a tsunami between now and then. That might mess up your year. Yeah, let's not let's not make those assumptions yet. Let's let's wait till we're in the clear, in terms of tsunamis before we start talking about stuff like that. Okay, so to get to make a um. To make a piston, you need what, like, 64 cobblestone. Uh, you need some wood, you need some redstone, you need some iron. Okay, so I'm gonna need lots of iron. That's okay, I, I'm collecting lots of iron. Um, yeah, I so the, the order of events is I need to get the diamonds first. The diamonds are gonna have to come first. And then after the diamonds, we get everything else. Yeah. First though, let's uh, breed the cows. They are now all adults, which means there's a lot more breeding to be done per cycle. Um, and uh, maybe someone donated 15.00 pounds. They did. It was very kind of them. Uh, it's it's cool to see the regulators. Uh, the, like uh, I, you know, like I, I do appreciate that sometimes the longer streams are good at drawing new people in, but it's nice that it also draws people who have been here for a while. If you know what I'm saying. Maybe you don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying, that's for sure. So I, I could have some bone meal. I haven't killed a skeleton yet. Because um, that those trees just are not growing. Are they too close to the bamboo, do you think? Do you think it's the tall grass nearby? You know, just to be sure. Let's just let's just knock it all down. Just, you know, none of this, none of that. Just just space space for the saplings to grow. Um, I, uh... If you were playing on Java, your chest would be holiday appropriate. Oh, that's a that's yeah. You know, I mean, I'm sad now. Look, you made me sad, Dan Marsh. Why don't why don't we have Christmas chests on Bedrock? What's the deal with that, huh? Why why don't I have them? I feel like I deserve Christmas chests. I think I just I just deserve it. You know, it's just the way it is. Why don't I have them? Internet. Um, yeah, that's that's one of the dumbest things to not add to Bedrock. <laughs> <laughs> be like, well, you see, well, I mean, like, what we can't charge for it, so why would we? And it's like, oh, yeah, you make a really good point, actually. Didn't realize, didn't realize that till you said it. Okay, so we, we go to sleep at about uh, 8 past the 10 minutes. So at 2.48, we need to go to bed again. Hey, Christmas Merry fried chicken. Christmas Eve. May your days be filled with delicious fried chicken. I would love some delicious fried chicken right about now. How do I get some? Tell tell me how I do it. Uh, I, I mean, I guess I use your money and then I, I go, I, then I, I purchase some from from the fried chicken store. Man, I, could, I, I would love some fried chicken now. I would be very in love. I would be in love with fried chicken at this moment. That is my current feelings. On the on the situation, okay. So um, by the way, we need we need to grow more melons. I mean, I guess this is like the preliminary melon farm, under on on top of which, the automatic one will be built. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm looking I'm looking forward to that. I uh, 
I hope I get the resources soon. Every micro also changing the day. We got to do it. Um, I need to like build that into my psych. Like go to sleep, then change the day. Um, did someone say just eat? I'm more of a Deliveroo guy. I know just eat exists. I I, I I built this water pit, but I have no confidence in myself to fall into it. I'm gonna, I, okay, you know, I'll, I'll fall into it, but from like higher up, so I won't die if it goes wrong. Can I fall onto the ladder? I can. Okay, yeah, that's that's safer for me. Yeah, it's fine. I can fall into it. Um, anyway, yeah, we're going we're going down. We're looking for diamonds, um, and we gotta be down by two forty eight. And if we don't, we'll just sleep underground. Easy. Okay, so this cave, a little bit of darkness. Don't want to have that. And then we'll go into this cave, and then we'll go around. Uh, I'm gonna crouch as I go around the corner in case there's a skeleton. Okay, there's no way the skeleton would see me. Over here, maybe. Are we fine? We're still good. We're still good. Okay, and then we go all the way down till we hit bedrock. I don't have any blocks on me. I definitely need to get some of those. Blocks are useful in Minecraft, I tend to find. Um, yeah, deep slate, perfect. Does the job just as well. Um, and then now that we're this low down, we'll go a little bit lower. Uh, and then we'll just start digging digging straight for diamonds. So, yeah, this is a little bit of a silly way to do a cave, I guess. But it's the way we've done it. Or we could dig around with this lair looking for a cave rather than looking for... Yeah, you know, that works. Seems silly. And we'll, we'll dig this way, actually. Because that's towards my base. Do, 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 do. Thank you so much, Gurav Kumar Singh, for becoming a channel member. Uh, again, I appreciate you, you got the gold cat. You've been you've been here for 12 months now I think that's what gold means. Maybe it's six. I think it's 12. I'm you know It's a certain number of months that is greater than five. There we go N Nice vague statements. That's what you need when you're confused um, Why do you have a diamond hoe? Uh, just join the stream. Oh, I, um, I I found two diamonds and I figured the most important way to spend them would be on a hoe no, I, uh, it's just, it's really easy to trade for a diamond hoe. Like, the reason I have a stone shovel is because I traded for this. The reason I have a diamond hoe is I traded for that. I trade for my tools, uh, because I'm a, I'm a big believer in Minecraft capitalism. What can I say? Um, I, uh, I am old wife, says, uh, Gurav Kumar Singh. I'm glad you've rejoined the club. That's what matters to me. Um... So let's make a second iron pickaxe. It's the last one I can make. This has to find me diamonds now. Or it's bad. Um, <coughs> but yeah, I, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm excited for, I'm excited to like try and make a few new things. Oh, like, may, I, I wanna, I wanna do some builds that I, like I've always, you know, I always say are important, but I just never get around to. We're gonna make sure we find the time from today. You know, it's gonna be important. So, um, who doesn't use their first two diamonds for making a hoe? Who doesn't use all of their diamonds for making hoes? I mean, if they didn't, they wouldn't be adorable hoes. Also, thank you so much, Dicker Snoodle. <laughs> I like your username. You know, 10 out of 10, appreciate it. Appreciate you becoming the 755th channel member, by the way. Um, hey, and the 756th from Ryan. You know, just Ryan. I, I uh, you know, I, I, I like that YouTube lets you pick a username like that if you want one. Oh, also, oh my god, red super chat uh, from Curtis Reynolds there. Whoa. Merry Christmas, IBX Toy Cat. I will have a Merry Christmas, IBX Toy Cat. Yes, thank you. I uh, appreciate the generosity today. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, really, you're, if you think about it, you're providing my financial incentive to get the 17 hours done. Not only will I suffer mentally and emotionally for not achieving my 100 day goal now. But I'll also suffer financially. And you know, that's that's an important way to suffer. Um, so no, yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate um, I appreciate your support of the stream. It's good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. I am going to have a good one. It's it's a guarantee. Um, I might need to start walking around with my legs. My my legs were like hurting so much in bed yesterday. Is this normal chat? Like I was like laying there and I was like, oh, I need to stretch them or something. I don't think I've walked in enough days. Cause I was like, that's that's what I need to start doing. I need to start walking places. You know, I've got to, I've got to walk to visit my family. 
Uh, they live. They live some miles away. I'll just. I'll just walk. A good Christmas walk. Get it in, you know. Um, get some gold in as well. Should we just turn right? Actually, you know, what? The, the 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 shaft is already dug that way. No, we're gonna keep it going. Keep it going. Just see what we find. I I've never I've never actually like branch mined. Like I, you you know usually you just find a cave. So doing it this way is a little bit boring. Um, because we could be lower down to find more diamonds too. I feel like. But if we if we dig it this layer, we'll find something cavey. It could be, you know, it'd be cool if it was a stronghold. That'd be nice. I know we won't find a stronghold at this layer. But if we found like an abandoned mine shaft, even if we found a deep dark, an ancient city, I would go. This would this would be the most intense ancient city I'd ever have. Joint pains are a covered symptom. Oh, that's cute. Like we're 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 sharing pain because we both have COVID. Is that what you're saying? Okay. You know. What? That's... Oh, I hear a spider. Okay, there is a cave somewhere. Is it getting closer? It It's not getting further away. I have to be careful with this torch because it's my last one. Is it above me? Is it below me? I'm going to dig up. And then I'm going to dig down. Okay, it's not up. Is it down? Always got to be careful of these. I don't see it in either direction. So we'll try, we'll try left and right now. If we don't see it there, then it's, like, too diagonal for me to, like... Like, I, I, I don't have a decent, like, audio sense on this one, chat. Everything is a COVID symptom, by the way. Yeah, if you if you get uh, if you get too many false... If you get too many negative COVID tests, that's actually a sign of COVID. Because you can get false negatives. Um, if you feel okay, that's a sign of uh, symptomless COVID. So, um, that's, that's just... That's the truth. That's how it is. Can't see streams are the best. I uh, can't see streams are the best. You know, I understand the message behind it. Um, how many? How much is 100 Minecraft days in IRL hours? Uh, oh, that scared me so much. Uh, it's in the description if you wanna, you wanna learn more. I definitely can hear a spider. I definitely can hear a spider. Um. Chat, is it up? Is it down? Is it left? Is it right? How how do I know? Do I just like there is there is a like there was a zombie as well, so it's a big enough cave that multiple mobs are spawning. So I'm having the worst. Like, what what is it even called when your your diaphragm is expanding? Is, is this my diaphragm? Isn't the diaphragm the the thing that you you put things in? Oh. Being alive is a COVID symptom. Ah, but also being dead is a, is a pretty good sign. That's actually how we measure COVID. Like cases, we just work out how many more people a have tax died. At Christmas sounds too conservative. Christmas tax. Christmas instead. tax. Maybe. You have just paid Christmas your tree, Christmas Santa tax. Santa Claus. No, that's, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take Christmas charitable donation. That means I don't have to pay taxes on it, right? You know, you're right. I... I don't see why the government gets a cut of what I do on Christmas. Also, thank you to uh, Zeta Demons for becoming the 757th channel member. I hear a skeleton now. This pickaxe is gonna die. I need to store this for diamonds, so. Let's go make a stone one. Also, it's almost sleeping time. Cycling is good if you've got somewhere to store a bike. You get exercise, but you can still go places without wasting your whole day. Problem is, driving is easier, says Redhead Forester. I, uh, I have a car for the next month because it was cheaper to rent a car for a month than a week. And so I, uh, but I, I still haven't, like, needed to go anywhere with it, you know? I've, I've yet to have that, like, ooh, but I've got a... Oh, I can't, I can't make a pickaxe. I don't have any wood. How do you get wood underground, chat? If, without a, an abandoned mine shaft, I guess. What do, what do we have to do? Um, okay, so... We can... No, I think we have to go back up solely to get wood. I don't think there's a way past this. Well, we'll still sleep down here. Somewhere down here. Um, also, I think I should deal with this lava. At the very least, like, stop it from going down. It... Actually, yeah, just to, just to see what's below it, if nothing else. So, let's go to bed. And welcome in... Day 18, that's right, this Minecraft playthrough is officially legal. 18 days, that's the... That's that. 
that's the that's the way it works. Um, a diaphragm is the thing that separates your lung area from the intestine area. Sometimes make it contract randomly, making you hiccup. Isn't what? What am I thinking the diaphragm is? If it's like I thought it goes like down under, in in women in particular, right? Um, what is that? That's that's got a similar name that I'm getting mixed up for some reason. Hubba hubba. Um, use bamboo to make sticks. Okay. I'm gonna, I, it doesn't, it should work, but it doesn't, I'm sorry. It, the bamboo looks a lot like a stick, but it does not function that way. Whew. Okay, let's get out of there. Um, you know what, this, this, this is why you need, you need qualified health technician, a uterus? No, it's a, it's, it's, it's called a diaphragm, right? There is a, what, what am I actually mixing that up with? I, like, it's, in my mind, it's definitely a diaphragm. Like you put you put like a sponge in the diaphragm for some reason. I don't know why. Both are called a diaphragm. Oh, it's literally so it is called a diaphragm. I'm not I'm not going crazy. Okay. There we go. That's all I needed to know. Um There's a diaphragm that's birth control. But then is wait it, it's it's so it's you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna question anymore. I'm just gonna say, yep, sounds correct to me. That now I know. Um this this is all making perfect sense, chat. We we sorted it. It's all done. We're all, we're all good to go. Okay, so I need to get some wood. Kind of annoying to come all this way up, but I guess we can harvest our pumpkins while we're here. Get some value from it all. Um. Yeah, honestly, we don't even have a value for the pumpkins until we have a farming village. I I don't know where my farming villages are. Like I've got, I've got the okay. Here, here he is actually. Let's sell him some wheat. Let's just sell him. That's not a farming villager. He's just got a similar hat. Also, thank you, Mr. L, for the £8.99 super chat. Thank you for the Christmas tax, um, which is what we are definitely calling it. You know, it is It is Christmas. It is the time of year that the government comes around and says, Oi, are you having enjoyment? I don't reckon that's what I want. You should be at work uh, doing insert. You know, you should be serving your nation, really. Not, not doing this nonsense with the... And uh, so yeah, that, as to celebrate, you uh, I appreciate your Christmas tax, is what I'm saying. It's what I'm saying. Okay, so uh, do we just keep buying these? No, I think I think we'll sell them eventually enough iron to get up to the next level. Although we do need eventually another diamond hoe, right? Uh, whereas you just exist. Okay, still going good. Okay, I didn't get any wood yet. I still need to do that. Do you see any trees? Do you see any trees? The trees here? I mean, I could just start destroying houses. Also, there are more oxide daisies. Wow, we're, we're doing good. Oxide daisies are just, they're all over the world today. Also, my, my spruce tree grew. Oh, heck yes. I didn't even notice. I don't know how. Uh, we can now officially grow on the blocks around it. Big mushrooms. They're not gonna grow by themselves though. We need bone meal. Um, also, we're gonna have a ton of spruce wood, so that's that's good. Okay, here's the good news, chat. We now officially have uh, pod soul, which means we can officially grow big things. It's good. Um, do you still need a TV license over in the UK? If you want to watch TV, you do. Uh, no, the uh, okay, the TV license situation is if you want to watch live TV, you have to have a TV license. Um, the, it's, it's a little bit of a silly one, uh, many would say, uh, and yeah, it is, but it funds, it funds one of the channels that you can watch live, and that's good, people would say, um, no, it, it, it is a weird institution, it's a very weird institution, but, you know, that's welcome to the UK, we don't have weird institutions, what do we have, um, I am serving my nation this Christmas, thank you, George goes... For serving, serving, serving the Twicat Nation. That is what you must mean. You know what? This is, you know what? We'll start calling ourselves a nation. You know, I think we should invest in an army. Do we have any, do we have any, does anyone like own a tank? Or like a submarine or something? Maybe like two submarines and a tank? I think you can't have an army of one tank. I think you need like a, a, a platoon. Has anyone got like a platoon of like soldiers in their back garden? Also, I shouldn't have mined that block. Quite, it's fine. It's it's a small mistake. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get as many spruce saplings as we want now, i.e., too many. And 
Yeah, we'll just leave this be. Like, there's probably some spruce wood in all of that. But it's not the biggest problem in the world. Um, also, there's no iron golem. And I want to kill this villager. And so I might just light him on fire. I'm considering it. I'm considering it. Um, having too many level workers is a bit of a problem. Uh, if I don't have other villagers to bounce them out. Because I still can't find my fletching. Where, where's my fletchy guy? Where are all my villagers, honestly? They, uh, are missing some job roles. Maybe they need food. Maybe I've got to... I've got to do a better job with that. Like, there's... Well, maybe there's not enough beds. Or maybe there's just too many of these guys. Like, they're, they're chilling in my base, honestly. That is a problem. Yeah, actually, let's... Let's make a pickaxe. Preferably an iron one, right? Let's just... And uh, put, put eight of that in there. Um, and then let's, uh, Rush has proven you don't need weapons, supplies, coordination, or morale to be an army, so we already are an army. <laughs> a little, little bit of a dig at Russia. Do you love to, love to see it? Um, yeah, I'll make, I'll, I'll get a, I'll get a second iron pickaxe, and I'll use the stone one till then. That's my plan. And I'm going to break this so you pick a better job. Librarian, sounds good. Go, go do it. Oh, is he going to actually just go straight over there? Wonderful. Uh, he's not got the right trades yet, but that's fine. I could even move these lever workers by just replacing their jobs. For now, you know, like... Yeah, I think, I, I think I'll do that. At least one of these guys. Pick a better job. You're now an armorer. Go go work by the armoring place. Please. Um, and we'll put this and that in there. I, I, do, I do have a grand use for a brewing stand eventually. Just not right now. Okay, so where are the farming villages at? That's what I really need to know. You can't have it either. Okay, so we can make two pickaxes now. Are we going to make two? Hopefully not. And, uh... Yeah, we can also make some torches or whatever. Yeah, nice. Perfect. Okay, so... Do I... I don't think I have any farming villages. I think I really do need to start breeding these guys. Um... Mr. L, thank you for the second Toy Cat Tower. Oh, it's a, it's a sticker too. Yeah, my, my YouTube guy is going to be like, wow, looks like you took a lot away from our last meeting. And I'm going to be like, yeah, I, I definitely listened and think it's definitely not stupid the way that those that super stickers work. Thank you for agreeing with me on that. Also, why does the guy on the right keep taking them from the guy on the left? <laughs> like, did you see that? Did that just happen? Whatever, you know, it, let's, 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 let's grow some more, more villagers. Make sure they're all over here, too. Maybe I should just move the, the beds over. Maybe that's literally what I have to do. Ooh, almost took some damage there. Would have been silly if I did. Um, take the second brewing stand. And maybe move the beds. I don't think I don't think we need to move the beds. We shouldn't we shouldn't have to, at least. Um, and so we shan't. There we go, we got a fletching guy. Perfect. That is just what I was looking for. So we'll trade with him now, just to lock in his fletchingness. Um, oh, I wanted to put the brewing stand away. Trade with him now. Lock in the fletchy. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be good. Also, I'm a proud nationalist. Ooh, you love your country? It's Toy Katia country. You know, Toy Katia doesn't have the, the right kick to it. It's got to be like Toy... Toy... You know, we'll, we'll come back to the we'll come back to the name. <laughs> But there's a good one in there somewhere. Also, yeah, where'd my, where'd my fletching guy go? He didn't go to his table. Oh, maybe he did. Yeah, he did. Perfect. Um, so I should use cobblestone for it, but I don't have some. So instead, we'll just like... Oh, it's actually quite hard to push him to the right place. You know, I've got sticks. You've got emeralds. Here you go. You feeling good about that? Well, that's good. Um, yeah, getting this guy to walk over his thing. Also going to be tricky. So we need slabs. Ideally. Could you climb over? Okay, that's not the right type of climbing over. Just just a little up. No? Okay. Can you go around? Can you Okay, you you go there. That's that's easy. And then you can just We could leave him there. It would just be uneven. So I just for the sake of evenness, we'll try and get him round. And then Okay, those two guys are gonna make some babies, presumably. You know, I can I can just I can just break this. Hope this guy doesn't go out immediately. Okay, no, 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 no. You're staying there. And then now this guy can move round. Okay, well, you know, look what you've done. Look what you've done, Mr. Fletcher. Do you like what you've done? You shouldn't. You should feel bad about it. Yeah, I can't. I can't. This this guy is just... He's being tricky. He's being deliberately tricky. I do not like that. Um, 
Yeah, you know what? Tomorrow morning, we'll sort it all out. No, we, we, you know, tomorrow in general. It's it's going to all eventually be sorted. Is this a... This is my toolsmith. He's loose, but it's not a big deal. It's no big deal. United uh, Toy Cat Emirates. Also, I appreciate your hard work. No, thank you, Mr. L. Today is going to be... I think today we haven't done the hard work part of the day. Like, maybe in Minecraft, you could argue your first few days are hard work. It's going gonna, it's gonna to become something very different. But we are now officially on day 19. No tricky days to be had right now. Yeah, it is a very weird, like, set of tools we have right here. Stone, stone, diamond, stone, iron. But it is the best, I think. Okay, let's let's get the Fletcher behind his table. We can do this. Just, just kind of nudge him through here. Oh no, oh, we had the toolsmith perfectly in place. We could have we could have locked them both in where they need to be. Um, to the right, please. No, it's so close. You know, <laughs> we'll get it. We'll get it to work eventually. Okay, now we push him to the right. Okay, so push, push. You go in, nice and easy. And then we'll just place that block back there. Move you around. Okay, we're gonna use deep slate for this. Not ideal. Does the job though. Perfect. Now he's trapped in there too. Well, we, we could do the librarian, but he's probably going to change professions. I'm not going to bother even locking him in. And then we need some slabs to get this guy up to the block. Uh, he shouldn't need a slab, but he clearly does. Um, so where do you find slabs around here? Is this, this, this is a slab? Yeah, sure it is. So we just place some stairs over here. And then we move him around until he goes up those stairs. Come on, buddy. Can you see the stairs? Can you see these? Can you see how you're meant to climb these? I think you can. I think if you're really clever, you look what a smart, smart boy you can be. Okay. You ever have that thing? I think this is the funniest, dumbest thing of like, um, when, uh, okay. Oh, look at that. Uh, no. Oh, wow. Wow. That was, that was intense. Also, it's raining. That's bad. Probably. Oh, you can't go up the stairs like this. Yeah. We have to put them in an angle. So he goes like that. That's fine. Okay, when he comes back in here, we'll lock him in. There's got to be a better way to do this, but I'm not doing it, clearly. Oh, also, there's a horse in this village. I've been go I've been doing all this journey, like, looking for a horse. And there was one here the whole time. Let's, uh, can I go down that? I think I can. Let's see if he's any good. Oh, yeah. Whoa, it's an amazing horse. Wow, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. I think I'll leave him, like, on top of a house, maybe. Oh, he jumps amazing, and he goes... Okay, this is this is next-level horse. So, um... Yeah, we'll leave him, like, somewhere important. He... You know, honestly, the, the pennies in is probably the best... Best-case scenario. Like, we could move this somewhere else. Just move all the blocks. Yeah, let's do that. Let's... Let's move his pen somewhere more appropriate. Um... Yeah, this is incredible. Imagine if it thunders and spawns skeletons. I think I would try and kill the skeleton traps. I think I would love a skeleton horse. Um, I recently went for a lot of effort to get one of those. I uh, The genocide run, by the way, is, is almost done. Like, it's been in editing for a very long time. It's a very hard video to edit. It's uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm driving Samuel crazy with it. But, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. Okay. So we'll just build a pen around this guy up and over here somewhere. Um, yeah, just on this hill. This is probably where I'm going to take him at some point anyway. If, he, if he's going somewhere, it's going to be around here. Let's just flatten it the tiniest bit. And then build a little pen for the guy. Okay, so he's going to... Perfect. That's, that's enough. Just three blocks there. Three blocks there. Three over here. And then, like, free over here. Don't don't walk out now. I know you want to, Mr. Horse. But I assure you it's not a good idea. One over there. And then we'll just have to place a fence gate. You can't place a fence gate on a corner. Is what people will tell you. But those people are haters. Uh, let's, let's place them on all the corners, actually. I just think this is a fun way to do it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm enjoying this. This is this is a very low level of humor. But that's that's where we're at right now, okay? This is... This is the enjoyment level that I am currently reaching. There we go. That's 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 that right there is art. And then we'll just remove these blocks over here. Yeah, nice. I think I think we nailed that. 
I think we perfectly nailed that. I don't think the horse can get out via this. Yep, we're good. We're good. But I can get out just fine. Or I could open this and I can get out even easier. Um, so now the horse is safe. He's a little bit up a hill, but it's fine. And we're good. Uh, what day did you make it to yesterday? Oh, it didn't. We, it didn't start yesterday. We we had we had issues just beginning, so we didn't we didn't go anywhere. It was very sad. But today we will make it to a hundred, of course. Hey, Mr. L, I hope you're having a wonderful uh, Christmas. Thank you very much for the Twicat tax. Um, I uh, I hope you're doing just great today, because I know I am doing my best to do the same. I uh, no, it really is cool to see. The cast of people coming in and out is going good. I uh, I can see the average view durations going up, so that tells me more and more of you are like sticking it through, trying to get. I uh, I'm glad you're joining. Make a regeneration station with an axolotl. A regeneration station. Well, you see, to make a regeneration station, you just need an axolotl. Uh, I'm gonna place some blocks around here, just so I don't fall off and die. It feels like a real fear. Like, you know, it's a it's a small fear, but it's one I'm gonna watch out for. Probably should stop banging my head on the ceiling. Just to avoid people making comments that lead to me doing dumb things. Um, also, yeah, we're good. Okay, go down here. And let's just get straight back to the mining. Or we could go in a different direction. Clearly we've tried mining that way and it's, it's not had its success yet. So we could just start mining this way. I've got the sticks. I don't have the coal. I'm not going to find coal down here either, actually. Um, yeah, let's just go this way because we can move the torches as we need to. Or oh, let's start branching it, actually. We're looking for diamonds. Maybe we'll find diamonds if we do this. So yeah, mining deep slate with stone is the most painful decision you can make. But it is one I am going to make anyway. I think I do want that redstone. I'm just going to see what else I find first. And let's do it. How much money if you just swim in lava? It says K K E D. Um, sixteen thousand dollars. And I was swimming lava. Yeah, there you go. You see, rather than saying like, "Ooh, there isn't a price," you just go, "You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be realistic." You gotta say, "Yeah, it's sixteen thousand dollars. I will jump in lava." But for less, I'm not. This is my last attempt. You're you're taking away my ability to say I've truly done a hundred days in the one honestly provable way. Um, and that's that's a big thing to take away from a man. That's uh, that's a lot 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 to ask for. So yeah, this is very very cool, by the way. I I do have to say, I w I had one of these. I, I think this is gonna be really great because I was I, I want some amethyst for building something or other. Um, and so having a geo be this close, gonna be extra great. Um, also it's been growing a lot because I've been nearby it for a while, and so that's even better. Just make sure as many of these blocks are uncovered. So we get the maximum number of crystals when we come harvest it later. I'm going to make tinted glass or something. It's going to be fun. I i don't think I've ever legitimately used tinted glass in a Minecraft world. We'll be changing that today, maybe. Um, these look like they'd be spiky. Like a dripstone to land on. It looks like it'd be bad. Like, we're lucky that it's not. Minecraft is very gracious and not giving us full damage onto spikes. Um, yeah, I think that's all of the... I guess there's one over there. Okay, so we get that. Make sure we remove all the obvious blocks. And we're good. Now we've got lots of growth. Speaking of growth, do not die from an iron golem this time, Toy Cat. I killed the... I, I went through so many precautions when killing the iron golem, just because I was like, this, this can't kill me again. It cannot. Uh, so now the only other thing I have to watch out for is lava. There shouldn't be any iron, uh, any other iron golems that spawn. And so we're all going to be good. Jingly jangly Christmas blocks. Jingly jangly Christmas blocks indeed. That is what we just found right there. Also, now that we've used this pickaxe a bit, we're going to combine it with the other pickaxe and save an inventory space. Um, look how much better it is now. So yeah, I would I would quite like to find some diamonds. Um, I, just, I just need two. Just two. Get my own enchantment table running. I'll 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 get my own diamond pickaxe. Go oh, so it's uh, almost sleep time. It might even be already sleep time. Just place it down, and only at night. Perfect. Oh, tomorrow's gonna be day twenty. Whoa, that's a that's gonna be a big milestone, huh? That's a fifth of the way through. Okay, so this leads to the same place. Very predictable, all things considered. Um, 
don't forget the invisible polar bears. Today it was a visible polar bear that almost ruined my day. He was very visible. I mean, he snuck up on me, but I can't, you can't even, you know, sneaky polar bears, you know how they are. Those, those polar bears of their, their very impolite tactics. It's just the truth of the world. Polar bears are going to sneak up on you. Um... Redstone for a clock. A clock. This does seem like the most useful place for a clock. I'm quite surprised that it's not nighttime yet. That means I've let I've lost a full minute just to like inefficient sleepings so far. It's not not perfect, is it? Not perfect. Um, if you got about his potion of invisibility, that's what he clearly wanted, but he did not have. Okay, we've officially made it. Chat today twenty. That is a fifth of the way through. I mean, really, we have to finish day twenty to be a fifth of the way through. But you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let that get in the way of my celebration. Um, nothing happened at the end of Toy Cat's previous live stream, just like nothing happened in Tiananmen Square in 1989. I for certain know that nothing happened. Okay, see, so yeah, my leg is hurting a little bit, so I'm gonna like sit down like this, so my legs are like fully stretched. Um, I think I should start like jumping up around actually. Okay, I'm gonna just move the chair, make sure, make sure I'm not like messing up the green screen or anything. Um, move this down over there so I can see it. Okay, so um, I'm gonna stand for a bit, just so I can get my legs moving. I, uh, sitting down for 17 hours is inadvisable, uh, I believe people say. I've never, I can't confirm, but it seems correct. So I'm just, I'm just stretching my legs, uh, kicking them up, getting some movement in there. Making sure life is good. Um, get up and stretch. We don't want you getting a blood clot, lol. I, I would like to experience a blood clot. I mean, it doesn't sound fun, but I'd like to know if it's real. You know, like, when people get sick, I'm always like, are you sick or are you just bored of life? Um, and, you know, I had a real bad sickness when I wasn't bored of life. And now I can confirm it is real. So, I can't turn on the lights yet. It, uh... Too much, too much flicker on the green screen. Uh, but I can say that I hope you're having a good, good time here. So I can't watch out for iron golems. See, this is why I'm deliberately digging a too high structure, because now the iron golems can't get me. It's just, it's just, it's just smart logic. I do need to actually take a, a break soon, like a, you know, to excavate the urine from my, my sacks. I. <laughs> It's, a, it's definitely a sack the year it comes out of. Um, oh, is this a second geode? Minecraft is always like this, right? Like, you find one geode, you find two. Is it like, is that, is that like intentional or is that just how it feels? Because I always feel like it's two in a row. Okay, so let's connect the two uh, via a tunnel off their own, right? Like, they're in basically the same place, just like a few blocks over, too. Huh. Very useful. Very, very useful. So yeah, we can just dig straight that way between the two of them. And that would be cool. We might find diamonds in between. It's like not, it's not something we should hope for. I mean, it's something we should hope for. It's not something we should expect. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're, they're, this, they're this far apart. Like, <laughs> that's like, what, six blocks or something? We'll make this three blocks high so iron golems can walk between them. You know, just to live life a little bit on the edge. And then we can pick up all the jingly jangly Christmas blocks from here. I uh, absolutely love them. Yeah, this 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 is a nice little find. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some real amethyst things from this. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna have gonna have lots of fun Christmas noises. Um Do you know there's a uh, way of checking how many days you're on your world? Make a copy of a world, turn cheats on. And uh, do slash time query day. I don't think that exists on Bedrock. I could be wrong. You you know you could be specifically talking about Bedrock, but um, I I haven't heard that that works that way. If so, I I'd, I'd I'd love to check my Let's Play world, see how many days old Minecraft thinks it is. Like it would be inaccurate because it probably wouldn't count the console edition days, but I'd really like to see it. So cat, um, your hair is looking good today. Thank you very much, Cheesy Burger. See, I took my shower, um, I took my pre-stream shower despite having wet hair at the start of the stream, solely for that one compliment. 
It all, it all, it all, add, it all makes sense now. Um, I, um, I, uh, Time Query Day does work on Bedrock. What does it look like on the marketplace copy of my world? Does it, like, does it transfer over or does it say day zero there because it's like you're starting a brand new world? That's the question I have. Also, um, yeah, I, uh, tell me Toy Cat, was Ted Kaczynski problematic? <laughs> you know, people are always saying that he is. But, like, you know, he raises some good points about the nature of society and how the best way to end it is by killing lots of innocent people. He makes some really good points if you just ignore the definition of the word good points. Um, I'm gonna go, I need to use the bathroom and snap. Uh, the safest place is right here. I think. Okay, keep me safe, chat. Say no creepers, don't come near me, I'm AFK. And they'll hear you and they'll know, oh, yeah, that'd be a dick move to come bother him now. I'm gonna eat the nuts while I pee, that's how efficient I am. Did I die, internet? Oh, thank God I didn't. <laughs> oh, this is the worst time to cough. One sec. Sorry. Man, it is dead outside. Are people not, not celebrating Christmas Eve in the streets, sir? Oh. What is that noise? Yeah, I, um, I, uh, I'm dehydrated, is what I've learned from my, ooh, my experience. Oh man, I'm cold. Need to get some warmth in here. Ooh. Okay, so the more, the more stress we put on our PC, oh, I think it's sleep time soon, actually. The more stress we put on our PC, the more warmth it'll create for me. And so that's something I need to start doing. That's a COVID cough. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know that every symptom I have is potentially a COVID symptom. I, um, I'll make sure to, before the, before they run out, I'll make sure to hang out with my elderly family. I think that'd be a good idea. Uh, damn it, the creepers didn't get in. I think even if a creeper did attack me, it would be disastrous, but I wouldn't have died. It'd have to be a creeper followed by, like, something. Because my shield is like... No, my shield would survive, actually. Maybe maybe nothing would be disastrous. Maybe I'm A-OK, -okay, regardless. One-fifth of the way through. 
That's true. Wait, that's true, Azoth. It's not sleep time yet. Yeah, maybe a clock would be good just to just to keep it up to date. I liked the some creepers are duds idea from the bad idea video. Honestly, yeah, there are a lot of bad ideas. There are a lot of horny ideas in there. Uh, but that was, in my opinion, a fun, good, wholesome idea. I thought that was a good one. Which tells you all you need to know about what I know about game design, clearly. Um, yeah, I... I've not, I've not branched mine for diamonds in a very long time. I know I'm at minus 39, so I'm not like... It's not like peak efficiency or anything. But I haven't found like a cave or anything even. So I guess here is where the... Okay, now these are just more branches. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I eventually I'll find what I'm looking for. Also, yeah, I, I'm losing... I, every day should be 10 minutes. But they're getting a lot closer to... Is this another one, by the way? Have I found, like, a broken seed, or is this just the same one from before? It's the same one from before. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, that. It's definitely... It's definitely nighttime, I think. It's definitely very close to nighttime, if not. Um, just mine a few more of these blocks. If creepers could spawn as duds, maybe they'd be a bit more bearable to me. Are creepers so bad? I mean, maybe. Okay, now we've officially made it a fifth of the way through. We're legal in America terms now. Wow, that's exciting. We can drink alcohol and our state still gets highway funding from the federal government. That's 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 a big one. Um, set a timer and reset every day. That's basically what I'm doing right now. Uh, just like without, without the real timer part of that. Which you could say like, what is a timer without a timer? But that's what we're doing, okay? Um, yeah, I I think caving in real caves is so much more fun than this. Like, it used to be this was my favorite part of Minecraft, was doing the doing the dud mining. But right now it's like, can we can we have some action? Can I see some caves? Can I see some mobs? Give me something. Don't just give me this. Like it's cool that I have the uh It is very cool that I have the geodes now. But otherwise, like, is this is this all I get? And the answer seems to be a resounding yes. Um, darkness equals mobs light up your tunnel. Yeah, I mean, what am I gonna light it up with, Harrison? That's the problem. That's the problem. Also, I was <laughs> that's so weird the way the gravel just stops above the bed. I assumed it would like. Oh, am I really full? Okay. I assumed it would do something else. I mean, if we do see a mob, we just Surprise crouch it, right? We'll, we'll, we'll be done. Let's just mine forward some more. It's dark. It sucks. Oh, and there's lapis here. Okay, there there is something. I don't know where. I can hear it to the side of me. Or above me or below me or something. If I mine forwards, I'll hit something. Some part of that cave. I hear it. I heard an enderman there too. Wow, this is very interesting. It's kind of cold to go on an e-bike ride, says Ned on. Oh wait, actually, Mr. L, sir, you're making more bike videos. I um I think I might. I my bike has like a slightly unpressurized back tire, and I'm like the least practical man in the world, so I'm like, am I gonna buy a bike pump? I don't know how a bike pump works. I should, it should be very easy. I'm sure like I I'm sh I, I I need to I need to like do that at some point. And I just haven't. Oh, here's the cave. Whoa, it is a deep dark. Oh my god. This is such a bad idea. Oh my god, that guy had a zombie. He had a sword. Okay. Um. Jesus Christ. That is insane. The fact that that can happen, first of all. Already kind of insane. The fact that it did happen. A little bit more insane. Was that a neverite? That was an iron sword, right? In my mind, that was a neverite sword. That, that's insane. Should I eat a second golden apple? I need some torch. I need some light. Um, so I'm just gonna go go in here. I'm gonna kill you. It's gonna be good. And then we're gonna... Uh, I have to not use this last pickaxe to mine these blocks. So instead... Oh, is that a zombie? That is, I believe, a zombie. Okay, so we place some blocks over... You know, the sword has plenty of life in it. 
than that. Um, so we just place a bunch of blocks there, as well as a ceiling of some form to stop that surprise zombie attack happening again. Um, or we could just run out like a madman. Careful, Toy Cat. It says Elixir Lice. Yeah, I'm going to stop reading chat for a second. There's a lot of mobs in this cave. It's, skeletons are quite easy to kill if you're in an enclosed space like this. But it's all good. I feel fine. I feel great. Okay, so we just place some blocks up there. It's kind of just moving our exit, really. But then we place some more above that. Okay, I didn't look at an enderman, but I did. So, okay, baby zombie. They're only going to be bounced, so I'm going to have to attack him. Okay, we're good. We're good. I think when this golden apple runs out, we'll just go straight into another one, by the way. I think that's like the golden part, I guess I should say. The Yeah, they got the, the, the absorption. There's a lot of mobs spawning around here. But my goal is just to be a little bit better protected than I am right now. Okay, that's good. That's something. There are diamonds! Yes! Okay. See, I told you I had to keep the uh, the pickaxe secure just for this moment. Please give me one more mine, not just one. Okay. So a second diamond is what I need, but I don't have any space right now. Okay. Watch out for a creeper. Um... So I need to I need to just free up some space uh, somewhere. Having no light is oh I don't I think I looked at him I didn't. Having no light source is disastrous. Um, don't get me wrong, chat. I do know that. Uh, I've got some. Okay, let's go pick up that diamond now. If we can get some coal too, that'd be swell. I'm gonna eat a golden apple just because I want the absorption. I don't know what's gonna happen in here, but I I see there's a lot of a lot of stuff. And we're gonna just try and find a second diamond and then we're good. It's just a second diamond is all we need. See, this is a big cave. This is the type of cave I'd prefer to explore. Um, yeah, having no light in these places is just not good. Um, it's not good at all. Not what we want. Um, I'm going to place some blocks. Oh, Christ. Watch out for behind me. Watch out for that. Okay, it worked out perfectly. <laughs> um... Things are going a little bit crazy here. I think I'm going to come back with some light sources. I think I, uh, I think I'm going to come back with some light sources. Whew. Yeah, let's, let's do that. I, uh, I got a diamond. That was good. I think, I think dealing with all of that, with, like, having the light sources is my only way to feel safe about the cave behind me. The number of times mobs were like, you know, like that, that was a scary situation. That could have gone disastrously if I had just a little bit less cave sense. Um, and, you know, I can't rely on having perfect cave sense because sometimes you're wrong. Sometimes you think the creeper's just behind you and it's way behind you. Sometimes you think it's way behind you, it's just behind you. Uh, relying on that, a little bit dangerous. Just a little bit. And the intensity of that. <laughs> This is fine. This is Catfini. <laughs> Everything is fine. Everything is great. I, I mean, to be fair, did we take any damage besides the random zombie with a sword? Which, to, which in, by the way, just bear in mind how much armor I have. How disastrous that zombie attack actually was once you take that into account. Also, I think we should just, like, place a block in the floor here. And then we can use this to just go straight down in future. I think that's what we're going to start doing. Um, it's gonna create a lot of cobblestone, but yeah, it's a huge problem. Okay, so I still have at least one more mine in this iron pickaxe. It'll be great. Um, also, a golden apple re uh, heals two hearts, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it regenerates you for four peeling cycles, I should say. Um, plus, it gives you the two absorption. So it's like a f it's a four heart swing, but only two of those hearts are permanent. Um, also, hey, love your videos. What advice do you have for a new world? Honestly, if you look at this, it's like advice for a new, you know, this is like, uh, you know, I could give you advice for a new world, but rather than uh, doing as I say, you can do as I do. If, if you look at this world, it's a good, good vibe on how you can do that. Um, okay, so good news is, ton of pumpkins. That's, that's wonderful. And uh, yeah, ton of melons if we want them to. 
bad news is it's a Friday. Is it a Friday? Honestly, my, my sense of time has been lost by these long streams, but I think it's a Friday. Also, I ate the nuts and I now have more, more health inside of me, probably. Okay, so times are good. Um, I, I'm gonna have to start separating out my blocks into their own chest. Again, if we just make that decision now, it'll save us a lot of pain in the future. Um, so this can be the blocks chest. It goes right over here. How nice. Uh, just cause, you know, we're gonna pick up so much cobbled deep slate doing what we're doing. We, seriously, once we get this second diamond, we can be out of the game. We can be, we can be done with it. That's, that's a promising thought to me. And then we'll just move over this as well. You know, make, make, make this place more, less cluttered. Yeah. More, less cluttered. There's always what you want. Whew. Okay. That was, that was a really cool, intense little, little situation to have. I, I, I needed it too. I was like, you know, at least there's something to run around with, do some fun, crazy stuff. That was the fun, crazy stuff that I wanted. I'm gonna grow some more uh, mega spruce saplings because I want more pod soul. So we'll do it like just over here. Not that far from the other one. We'll see if it grows. If it does, that's great. If it doesn't, I'm not hugely bothered uh, right now. And uh, then once we get the second diamond, we're in, a, we're in a great situation. I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling real good about it. First though, let's, um, I guess we can go to sleep. No, we can't. Villagers get to sleep before we do. That's villager privilege right there. That's something I will put to end on my first day when I'm elected grand ruler of the world. Um, okay, so we get, we get some emeralds for the day at least. And then we just go to sleep right here. Ooh, Merry Christmas, Riggins Rally Girl, and a and a Merry Day 22 to you. Okay, this is yeah. We're, we're losing every, every day is actually taking us 11 minutes. If you add 100 extra minutes to the day counter, I don't need to tell you how bad that gets. Um, but it is it is seeming to be true. I guess because you can't sleep after the day ends, you have to wait till the night begins. Um, wish it was Friday. More wrapping time. Wait, is it not actually Friday? Are you, is this a joke? Oh, it's a Saturday! Happy Saturday, everybody! I, um... Happy Saturday to you. Happy Saturday to you. It's a Saturday and I'm playing Minecraft. It is the best type of Saturday to me. Be you. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's the Saturday song. I'm not gonna take too many risks going in and out of this. Uh, I do need to make this fall somewhere secure, though. Um, also, I probably should make a second pickaxe. You know, I've got the sticks. I can just do that, yeah. So, yeah, we just mm, place a block there. And then if we just... Um, we got two more cobblestone. We can do this safely and carefully. Place a block there and a block there. And then one more block. And it'll be good. Let's just see if this, is this one literal block left? Oh no, it's not, we had more. So we'll place something over there. And there we go. Now the water is contained. I didn't get any more torches, which is I think what I said I would do. But yeah, probably should have done that. <laughs> okay, I'll just take some of the torches from the middle of this. Or like one of them maybe. Yeah, that's a good idea. Steal previous used torches. Move one a little bit further along. And now I can light up at least the start of the cave. Yeah, that's good. That's all we want. Also, I got bones. I needed those for the, uh, yeah, it's all working out. We'll come into a cat's way. Okay, so we just find some coal maybe real quick. You know, all the mobs have despawned. We just, we're just, we're just here to get a single diamond. Once we have that, we're good. Uh, I want this skeleton to shoot a zombie so he'll they'll deal with each other. Also, the deep dark being here is a very intense fact. Oh, do you see that block? I loved that. That was that was great. Come on, skeleton. You, I want you to you got to attack a zombie. Don't just don't just leave me. Um, yeah, getting a second diamond should be. I'm gonna eat the second golden apple. Actually, I'm just gonna do this now. Have that extra heart. I've got I've got a few of them. I can afford that. Um, okay, what are we seeing? What are we finding? That's scary. I'm not going that way. 
That's the skeleton. I'm gonna have to crouch. Oh, he missed. Okay, so I'll get the skeleton to hit the zombie just like this. Oh, it doesn't work when, when he bounces off your shield. Oh, damn, and if I hit. Okay, there we go. It, it worked that time. No! Okay, so we got a creeper. Very bad news, some might say. Um, and I can hear the skeleton going for me. Okay, so we'll get the skeleton in a one-on-one -on -one fight. And it'll be fine. Um, I don't see any more diamonds in there. This is like a medium-sized cave. Uh, oh, I didn't realize it would unshield me automatically in water. The water, okay. The water is lava. Um, we use dirt for now, I guess. Um, okay, hit, hit, hit the zombie, hit the zombie. Yeah, there we go. So, come on, come on, there we go. Just, they're gonna deal with each other now. Uh, I'm just here for the diamonds. I don't really mind. Not really here for their drama with each other. Just would like to see. Nope, no diamonds in here. Oh, my second monitor turned off. Oh, God, no! Oh, it's pretty. Okay. Did you see that? That's bad. That's really bad. The way that, like, lagged Minecraft a bunch. Very scary. Oh, God. Just please, please. Okay. This is, this is awful. Just please keep hitting the zombie. Okay, there we go. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to heal up immediately. I don't want to deal with this cave anymore. I think I should just branch mine. Even though even though I got my diamond from not branch mining, after all of that branching, it just it's just too much for me. It's just too much for me. Okay, let's get out of all of that. Oh, wow. From behind. Didn't even know there was a skeleton over there. Um, oh, there's a cave over here though. And there's just there's just gold in that. Nothing else. There's more redstone, which I'll take. Uh, even though that was actually a light source. And there could be diamonds up there somewhere, theoretically, I bet. But it's just not worth it to me. Wow, that shot. That was too crazy. Okay. Yeah, let's let's get out of here. So I get none of us can see, get torches. That's what sucks about Minecraft caves, is the something about the contrast just doesn't transfer to uh Yeah, it's it's fine. Um Relaxing to get dying sounds. <laughs> okay, that was. It's a bummer to leave, but I think it was for the best. I think, I think this is the best, this case scenario. And we we you know we got a second iron pickaxe. We'll just mine this way, until we find good things. Yeah, that's the plan. We just mine this way instead now. Maybe we find something else. Honestly, I should just stop mining downwards now and do actual branch mining like. Actually, I don't even need to mine down from here, though. I can just use the um, the geode, because it's already quite a bit lower. Always try to reuse stairs when you can. Um, it is It's kind of dark in here, so something could surprise spawn and get me. But let's hope it doesn't, huh? Uh, actually, let's go this way down. Just because we get a few nice blocks that make nice sounds on the way out. So yeah, we'll go down to like minus 55 or whatever we need to. Like The lower, the better for diamonds. Uh, I'm sorry about the lack of light. I, I would like you to be able to see internet. Uh, what's the bet? Can we make redstone torches? Would that make you feel good? Okay, if you, you're you worried about darkness, here you go. Wow, look how much better it is. Can't you see so much more chat? Have I not solved all your issues? Um, you should just dig straight down and let, uh, let fate guide you. Do, do, do. Oh, this is a good, good Minecraft track. Do, do. Do, do, do. By the way, they're having a deep dark. What the heck can I do with that knowledge? Um, like, if you have an ancient city, at least you know you can go raid that thing. Having deep dark is just like, yeah, no mobs will spawn here. I could get experience. Yeah, if I, I have diamond hose, I could go crazy for experience. If I just come back with a bunch of torches, it's going to be a good time. Um, I turn my brightness up, the chat's blinding. I'm sorry, chat, for making you turn up your bright. You know, this, there are some things that shouldn't be seen. And, you know, white, white YouTube is one of them. See, this is white YouTube because that's, you know, I'm a white YouTuber. You know, why is it? Okay, no, let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not open the can of worms. But I feel as though it would be genuinely offensive if you're like, oh yeah, there's this group of creators and we're gonna organize them by color 
you know, hashtag white YouTube. But I feel like I feel like there's a lot of a lot of other creators who maybe do the same in a different way. Where it's like, but that's okay. I I always think there's an interesting like I, my my rule is always like try to reverse something to understand it, like see how it feels from you know, it's like you know like uh, when you're in school, the whole thing of like, well, would you like it if that happened to you? And you go, oh wow, that's how other people feel. Um, but apparently that doesn't work with with certain things. That's the that's the lesson you learn early on when talking on the internet. Um, I uh, just expected urine from my sack. <laughs> you know, I feel like sack might not have a K in it. When we, when you're talking about a urine sack, I'm not sure. I might need to I might need to consult an expert. Okay. Um, do we have any experts in urine sacks in the house? Also, I'm just gonna burn this. No, the wrong flash is value. I'll I'll keep it so I can maybe make something from it. And I'm just gonna take the lava so it can't burn me anymore. Actually, I'm gonna lose a major light source in this cave. I know I'm not finding diamonds this high up, by the way, but I I wanna find anything here. You know, okay, hashtag British creators. There we go. We, like, specifically, ooh, we got some gold. Got some lapis and we got some gold. Um. I don't, have any, I don't have a stack of gold right now. I'm not going to benefit much from that. Howdy yet. toy cat. Hey! Happy Christmas Eve. I'm glad you're streaming today. I showed up yesterday just in time to see you kick the bucket. <laughs> luck and perfect. Here is your I'm going to need that luck and perfect today. I'm going to need it. Uh, that is that is a fact. I, I, I had the most intense caving situation just now. Uh, oh no! Okay. I, my jump didn't work. I don't know why. I definitely pressed the jump button, and so I almost fell in lava. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta relax. I gotta get this, this stuff out of my heart, my, out of my hole. Gotta get this stuff out of me. Um, so yeah, let's just go get some coal. Let's just, there, there's some coal like literally on the on the shaft here. Um, so let's just let's just grab it. Um, we have to go to sleep real soon, by the way. Um, so we can do that now, actually. Would be much better than waiting. So go to sleep. Bed is obstructed. Today I learned that counts as obstructed. How about a bed over here? Oh, that seems dangerous. That seems not ideal. There we go. Well, we've officially made it through day 22 and into day 23. Welcome to the future, Internet. This is this is what it looks like. Let's grab some coal on the way up here, shall we? So there's iron. Cause, cause we're digging through a mountain. I just we we find more coal. Maybe I, there, maybe there isn't coal on the way up. Maybe I imagined that. Nope, it's right here. So the first couple blocks are gonna suck, but then after that it gets fine, so we can just stand up correctly. Okay, yeah, nice. This will this will cover my torch needs for a while. Um, sixteen torches. Does that seem correct? Twelve torches. Okay, sure. Yeah, we'll just take the entire stack, whatever. We need we need so many torches. Let's just accept that fact now. Uh, what about trading with uh, villagers for diamond gear? It would allow you to safely go to the Nether. That is actually where I'm at. I um I just wanted to be able to enchant it myself, rather than having to accept their terrible enchantments. But that is basically where I'm at. Like I um I'm about to get an enchanted diamond pickaxe. The way I'm doing that is, can you just like I made you a staircase. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get him to do it. Come on, come on here. It's so annoying you can't get them out of like a corner. When they trap themselves in one, it's like, yes, I live in the corner. That is my life now. Um so yeah, for, for now, uh, if we just buy enough diamond hoes, we can go to the next level. Or we can sell him some iron as well. I think doing a nice mix would be good, because we don't need that many diamond hoes. Um and so that's what we're gonna do. If you're curious, we are also going to make lots and lots of torches. And we're also going to store our silly blocks in the chest. Because we picked up quite a few of those. And they cluttered the inventory otherwise. Okay, nice. Um, we have a spare diamond uh, iron hoe we don't need. And uh, we picked up some, some nonsense blocks that maybe we want at some point in the future. This is where they go. Okay. Things are good. We got plenty of iron as well. We'll, we'll sell a few of that right now. 
It seems silly to sell iron this early on when you're not stable, but I've got full iron armor. I've got cauldrons. I've got everything I need besides an anvil, maybe. And I'm going to be able to get one of those very easy. So sell those to the max. Buy. Ooh, okay. Not quite enough to be able to buy that enchanted diamond shovel. But it's fine. I still need to sell for more emeralds anyway. So make a whole bunch of these. Nice little trades. Perfect. Okay, so we've got... Yeah, we, we actually can't buy the diamond thing until we've made more trades anyway. So it, it all works out. Please stop standing on this side of your block. I know I know you like to annoy me. Why can't I Why can't I even, like, stand behind him this way? Like, I, I can't even lead him. I just have to wait till one day he isn't an idiot and stops doing that. Which is, it, you know, could be a very long day. Could be a very long day. Um, there's a drink called Sack 2. Sack is a fun name for a drink. I don't, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's a drink that sounds appealing to me. Yeah, get your hands on some sack. It's good for you, maybe. Definitely not. It could be good for you. It'd be good for you if you weren't such a sack. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, yeah, that's my, that's my sales pitch for my new energy drink company. So yeah, we're, we are collecting a ton of pumpkins. That is nice. We also, we're picking up, look at all the sugar cane. We're gonna have so many books, or paper, or like library stuff. It's gonna be great. Um, getting villagers to breed is gonna be quite important for the future of this. Um, should we get, should we go raid another village to take their beds again? Because I already wanted to go back specifically for something. I don't remember what it was though. Um, anyway, we've got torches. Let's go get this second diamond. I think we need to do it. Just, just, just a second diamond. Once I have that, everything else in life is good. Just, just, just a second diamond. Just, just, just a second one. Put him in a boat and lead him in the hole. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push him from all the way out here. Okay, okay, it's gonna, it's gonna take some effort. But sometimes that's what you gotta do in life. Life is effort sometimes. Um, open this door, and then you, no, 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 not on the right, not on the right. Okay, so now I'm gonna push him up, up the stairs. See, and then, no, 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 okay. He's like really resistant. It's kind of weird when villagers are like that, right? Like actively resisting my pushes here. And then we'll just place a dirt block above him. We'll fix that later. Perfect. Now we have an armorer who's ready to give me great things. If I can give him some iron, which I can get after I get a nice pickaxe from the gentleman over here. Wonderful. It's all sorted. I don't want to drink from a sack. You know, you do want to drink from a sack. You just don't know it yet. Okay, I'm going to check on my green screen. I have to turn on the light at some point, or I think we're good now. Okay. I, um, otherwise the green screen gets so messy. Why do you need a second diamond? It takes two diamonds to make an enchantment table, or a sword, or a hoe. You know, I could do with crafting my own, uh, hoe. I'm, I'm using all these pre-store bought hoes, but sometimes you want something a bit fancier, you know? You want it, you want it, you want it a little bit nicer than that. So I'm gonna go down this, I'm just gonna quickly check on... What about sack posset? Um, yeah, I, uh, I gotta, I gotta believe. This, uh, sack talk reminds me of, uh, the pea is stored in the bulls me. I mean, do you have any scientific proof that it's not stored there? I think you'll find you don't. The proof does not exist. No such evidence has been found to date. Um... Oh god! Ooh, yeah, that was too dangerous. That was a little bit reckless. But it is faster, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Okay, now we're gonna just keep mining a new tunnel this way. There was no diamonds in that bigger tunnel, so we're just gonna branch mine for them in places where we don't get killed. It's my crazy, crazy strategy, and it just might work. So that's now effectively lit up. Uh, my redstone torch still going strong here. And we'll just place torches every so often. Enough that we can see. I've got plenty of sticks. Actually, wait, do I have plenty of sticks? No, I've bought eight torches and I've got all the coal in the world, but no wood now. What is wrong with me? <laughs> it's fine. You know, eight torches and if we don't find diamonds, we give up. Clearly, we're not meant to have an enchantment table. That's what the game is telling you. Um, yeah, even if I, I, it seems reckless, but if I'd have taken some damage there, I think I would have been fine. Oh, I thought I saw diamonds. I'm, I'm now starting to see the see diamond constellations and everything. Uh, can you buy a sack and a sack? 
a sack and a sack. Do you wanna buy do you wanna buy my sack and a sack? I bet it exists, if we believe. Um Yeah, no, today's gonna be a good way. Good day. I um the one thing I don't have is crisps. I think I need some crisps. I think I need some twiglets, particularly. Um, would you use a diamond pickaxe before enchanting it? I mean, it's gonna come pre-enchanted. Um, that's the cool thing about my diamond pickaxe. I don't wanna brag too much on you here. But it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice pickaxe. I'm gonna come with some of them fancy enchantments. Already on there. So far, so good. Yeah, this, this cave is gonna be also, I, I'm gonna run out of pickaxe soon, so that's gonna be my limiting factor. Um, I just need a second diamond. That's all I need from you, Minecraft. There's honestly, yeah, this is why branch mining is just not a fun. Like, I'm I'm really close down to where diamonds should be everywhere. I'm doing the thing where I'm, you know, like, cause they they, it's effectively to balance out branch mining. They make it so they spawn less in caves. So I'm not even looking in caves. I'm just, I'm just digging through blocks. And where are my diamonds? Where are they? I tell you. I don't, I don't know. Dig the occasional block on the left here. Just to see, maybe maybe you'd find diamonds back there. Uh, we should technically break all the gravel we run into, because gravel exposure's a thing. Um, and I've got, I've got lots of shovels anyway. So that's not the worst sacrifice to make in the world. Um, and we might find diamonds on the other side. You never know until you, you dig it all. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, I do know in this case that there is no diamonds yet. But yeah, we're trying to look for the edges of this, because that's where the... Like, if we just dig into the middle of that, we know it's going to be gravel on the other side. But we don't know what's on the other side of this until we mine it. And so the bottom, the top, and the sides of the gravel, most valuable pieces to mine if you're trying to trying to find what's, what's happening. Okay. What's happening over here? Nothing much. What's happening over here? Nothing much. Yeah, no, gra no, no, no diamonds under this. It would have been cool, but now we have a bunch of gravel, which is maybe useful. No, if I if I make concrete later, and you know, I the place where I got last time before my life was ruined was concrete. So you know, I need to emotionally uh, come back from that, right? So since we need to um, since we need to come back from that anyway. This could be the opportunity. We're gonna mine for a bunch of tough. I think tough has better ores going through it, but I have no real clue. I found diamonds on the other side of a gravel patch more than once. See, right? Yeah, it's always a it's always a thing worth doing. It feels like it shouldn't be. It feels like the opposite of what you need to do, but it does in fact do the job. Also, that's a shovel dead. Guess I'll use a torch instead. Ooh, that's a rhyme. Yeah, this is gonna be a good day. This is gonna be a good one. I um also oh it's nighttime. I've I'm 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 way oversleeping. Or undersleeping. Okay. Good news everyone! We've officially made it. Today twenty-four. It's like fifty-four, but like thirty days before. No, yeah, every one of these days does have like a real length to it. Like again, a hundred days seems like nothing because you're like, well what do you do in a day? When you like, when you feel each of them, you're like, ooh, yeah, that's something, huh? Um, come on, Mr. Cat, we need you to succeed. I'm gonna find some diamonds, eventually. I don't know why it's gonna take me so long, but I am gonna find these diamonds. Uh, Minecraft Christmas Eve. You can see his face cam becoming darker as the sun sets. <laughs> yeah, the uh, it's getting it's getting dark outside now. Um, Diamonds should only spawn in slime chunks so they're evenly spaced. That is the worst idea I've ever heard. Never never tell me to go into a slime chunk ever again. Even in your theoretical imaginary worlds. Please. Um, yeah, this pickaxe is gonna break. No diamonds. If I got diamonds now, I think I'd be just as upset because it'd be like, well, what am I gonna do about that? Um, yeah, very frustrating, but we'll go to the nether. We'll find the diamonds there. Uh, I'll eat a golden apple just before going through the portal, obviously. And we can't enchant our armor. We could, if we go, okay, if we go on an iron mining trip, like, ideally we'd like to go on an iron mining trip once we have a pickaxe, but if we go on one to get a pickaxe. Yeah, I mean, okay, let's let's do a bunch of trading. Let's, let's go specifically get some clay. We'll trade it in. 
we'll get some, you know, like mine some wood too. And then we'll use that to buy... No, I think we need iron if we're gonna... So we're going on a little mini iron mining trip. And then we'll get our diamond from the Nether Fortress. Where else could we get a single diamond from? We could go looking underwater. So I'd want a waterproofing potion ideally for that, because I don't want to die. Um, yeah, we can look underwater. We could go to the desert. I, there was a desert earlier. It could be a desert temple. Um, where else do we get a single diamond, chat? That's all I need. That's all I need in my life. One diamond. Uno. Um, yeah, I uh, poke a block above your head. Yeah, that's a good idea. Always poke things. Always always poke things that you care about. Just just poke them in confusing ways. Um, okay, next up is sweet time. We're gonna breed our cows just a little bit, you know? Just a little bit, yeah. Um, we gotta do this till we have one left. Because otherwise we're gonna breed too many cows. And we get, we're getting some good experience. Like, we can go straight for level 30 enchantments, basically. But before we can do that, we're going to need to sort some stuff out. So this chest needs to be expanded to a double real soon. It's got a nice variety of blocks in there, don't get me wrong. Loving the variety. I'll keep a stack of it just in case I need them. Uh, and oh, heck yes, we finally got our first um, lava growth. So place a lava over here. Um, so now we can grow both of them and we we will worry about the other one later I guess because yeah for now we'll just put this in a in the hole and hope that it just don't walk into that um, okay so we are going to mine we, we have to go on a mining trip for iron we can also get emeralds in other ways but we have to go mine some iron to trade it to the villagers if we want to get some diamond tools um, We'll bring this stone pickaxe with me, and then we'll make like a better stone pickaxe. Do I have any wood lying around? I don't. But it's a good news. The good news is I can get some quite easily. I've always heard the sword is better for mining uh, bamboo, but I know it's one of those like, you know, like jarberisms. Or maybe it's not. Maybe the axe is. There we go. Actually, no, look. It's, there we go. That was amazing. Very odd fact. Very, it's, it's now true on bedrock. That's nice to know. Um, also, I'm going to kill this guy just to make up space in the village, so. Good to know you, friend. Oh. Could you, could you... <sighs> I need to go get that lava. Actually, wait, no, we don't. No one's going to know if I just, like... I didn't do that, you know? Like, that, that could have been anyone. Anyone could have been lighting that guy on fire. Like, that's, that wasn't explicitly me, right? That was just, I happened to light a fire and he happened to be on the block underneath it. Um, so yeah, now we can, hopefully, if we didn't upset the village. Let's just quickly confirm. Are you good with that? Yeah, you're good with that. Um, let's make ourselves a iron pickaxe, which requires more iron. But where is the iron? Didn't I, did I, am I already that short on iron? Did I, didn't I get like 11 more of it? What did I use? I, I guess I sold a bunch of it in. A uh, little bit of a problem, temporarily. Um, yeah, I, j okay, put the gold away. I need to have more pickaxe stuff. And that is a very big challenge, it seems. Okay, so we'll just, we'll just buy another diamond hoe um, from your boy over here. It costs six, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, I guess that's what we have to do. Except then we can't afford the shovel. Damn it, you, you've ruined in my life here, friend. I could give him flint, but I'm not getting that much of it. And yeah, I guess we'll go, we'll go mining for iron anyway. We've just, with a broken stone pickaxe. <laughs> yeah, you know, you do what you gotta do in Minecraft sometimes. I really, if I had an enchantment table, doing what I'd have to do would be a lot easier, but I don't have one. Yeah, it always hurts to make low tech tools when you're past that point on the tree. But uh, yeah, we are where we are. Uh, and then we'll go down to our mine just because we happen to know that it's... We, we happen to know there's a bunch of it just chilling on the side. Like, literally, there's coal here. And then just below that, there's some iron. Nope, this is... This is this is already mined coal. 
Maybe I should just go down a little bit more. Feels a little scary, but it's fine. There we go, that's some iron. So we'll do the same thing as before, except we have to be way better at it here. Place a dirt block there. Remember to break that later, or some bad things will happen to me. And we're just going on a little miniature mining trip. There's more iron to be found in the mountains. Um, but... Despite that fact, I am going to be getting it from here today. So there was some on the way down, just see, chilling at places like this. And we only need to sell a very tiny amount of it. Actually, we need to sell like, probably like 40, like 10 stacks of it or something. Uh, just to avoid buying too many shovels. My house has no Wi-Fi. Have you considered turning it off and on again? Break the dirt. Oh no, yeah, the dirt. Let's go do that. Did I didn't break the dirt because I've got a space in my inventory. See, that's that's crazy how I can be like, that's something I need to remember to do in eight seconds, and my memory does not cover me for eight seconds. <laughs> um, wooden torches, please. Yeah, I'm only I'm only going to places I've already explored just to get the easy iron that I left. Um, bringing some wood here. Actually, I've got the I've got sticks. Um, can make some extra torches. I'll just make a whole stack even. Uh, but let's go get iron. That's what we're here for. Is that iron? Nope, I imagined it. That's gold, which is nice, but can't be done right now. Um, yeah, I don't know why there's no torches around here. Do they get destroyed or something? And then at minus 32 is a perfectly fine layer for iron. But we want to go up and into this part of the cave. Where there's going to be even more. Have to be very careful not to be knocked off now. So, just going to ignore that zombie. Build over his head, even. Yeah, now, we, now we're safe. Okay, no we're not. No we're not. Okay. You can't swim up here, though. Yeah, try it. Try it. Friends. Okay. Uh, it's a bit of a dark cave. There is, in fact, a skeleton over there. I don't want to be snuck up on from behind. And I don't want the skeleton to get me, either. Bit of a conundrum. Bit of a conundrum. I'd say now is actually a good time to eat a golden apple. So let's let's try and bounce the arrows to the skeleton. I mean to the zombie. You know what? I'll just bounce them back. That's easier. There is a lot of iron in this cave. So we'll just take it. We are getting these bounces done just about. It's a bit annoying how much of a shield durability. Liability that is. But it's fine. Okay, finish you off. Feels a bit like a golem. You know, of this height element involved. But we're good. We're fine. Let's get the iron. We want a full stack of this and we'll be good. Whew, yes please. Everything Toycat does is on some level dangerous. Yeah, I do like to live my life a little bit on the edge. You know, that's uh, okay. That's just a true fact about me. Um, this is going to break real soon actually, so I'm going to have to... Okay, will it last the entire fight at least? Oh damn, I hate, I hate that that happens. Okay, it lasted, but it's got like one durability. I can't have another skeleton fight. Um, okay, that's a creeper. That is a creeper. Um, that's a really annoying thing too. Like I can't really easily deal with creepers with no weapons, um, to be honest with you. I'm gonna eat this now just in case this goes horribly wrong because that, that creeper wants things to go horribly wrong for me. Oh, make sure I place the block. Yeah, I I would just like there not to be a creeper. That that's that's my solution to the problem of having a creeper. Okay, I'm just gonna jump over him. And I'm gonna. Oh no! Oh, okay, okay, that's very bad. Okay, this is this is going just great, really. Um. Okay, perfect. Exactly what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see why people say that I play dangerously. When you see stuff like that, I I do understand where you're coming from with your opinions. <laughs> um, but on the other hand, have you ever considered that I've got golden apples, and so it's it's sort of fine. It's very it's just very aggressively not fine at the same time. Okay, so then there's uh there's some iron up there I never finished up. Also, I think it's just nighttime, so. Yep, it is. Hey, guess who's reached the quarter milestone? I mean, again, after tomorrow is the technical point, because you start on day one. But if we ignore that fact, 
Yeah, I guess he's, I guess he's reaching a milestone. There was definitely iron around here, but clearly I have gone it already. Oh yeah, it's that, that right down here. We just wanna truly max this out so we can make an iron pickaxe. Um, and then also so we can trade in a bunch. Yeah, it's this. This is this is a bit of an unlucky run in quite a few ways. Like, okay, that's just a, that 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 place is where bad things come from. That is not where I want to be because I am not a bad thing. Um, man, that skeleton's coming for me. Um, yeah, sometimes you just you, you cut your losses. There should be a betting pool on when Toycat's XP level will be when he gets to a hundred. I think because of all the spending I'm gonna do. I think it's very tricky to imagine. It'd be nice if I didn't have any enchantment reasons. Uh, that'd be really cool. But I do have reasons to enchant. A lot of them, quite good ones in fact. Um, yeah, right now I'm holding off on a lot of tasks till I have a fortune pickaxe. On the maybe erroneous assumption that I will get a diamond pickaxe. Uh, sorry, that I'll get a fortune pickaxe. But yeah, I think it'll be just fine. Let's, let's use this for now. Um, should have got some some coal on the way out, huh? Um, throw some iron in there, and throw some lava in there alongside it. Hopefully, one of my two lava. Yeah, my cauldron's refilled. It took so long to go for the first time, but just having a renewable source of lava so handy, so wonderfully handy. And uh, yeah, let's just throw it in. It does cost basically nothing, and now that's good. Now we can sell these as they come up. Or we can trade them immediately, or we can do whatever. I do like the blast furnace texture when it's on. It's got this nice little. This, isn't this fun? You don't you you don't use this block very often, so it's not. You don't get to see it much, but it's nice when you do. Uh, we'll do another little harvest of our pumpkins. This is gonna equal emeralds as soon as we find a farming villager. Again, probably shouldn't be taking this long. I I might need to like explicitly start breaking, like you know, there's there's a fisherman village around here. I'm not doing any fishing. Why do I have a fisherman villager? Let's just go ahead. Actually, you know, here we are. You are gonna become a farmer. There we go, perfect. You're gonna sell wheat, you're gonna sell, you want carrots. Do I have carrots in the quantity you're looking for? Unless those are carrots, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna fix your trades. Make a new shield. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a, that's gonna be a must as well. That is a, that is a need. It's not a, it's not a want, that is a requirement. Do, do. Thank you so much for uh, remembering for one month, Sanana YT. Really appreciate it. Um, okay, uh, let's uh, put our bones away. You know, actually, should we start make? Let's start making the soup now that we officially have bone meal. We can finally start on the non-golden apple-based healing. That's a bit dangerous. So I just take that with me? You know, I'll take that with me. Just put that somewhere safe. Um, and yeah, let's bone mill this mushroom. And then we'll be in an amazing place. Yeah, what I like to see. Is the axe gonna last? No. <laughs> Is that okay? Yes. Uh, we'll place two of these down and then the rest will be for my stew. So that's one, that's three. There we go. Yeah, we got more than enough now. We don't even need to break all of this right now. We can come back once we've got more axes. Because we are going to get more axes. Don't get me wrong. Um, yeah, we finally can start chugging down some stew. That is a fun, 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 fun situation to be in. Um, so stew is red, brown, and oxide. So we'll make a few bowls, actually. How many bowls do we have? We have two lying. Oh, we have one left. Uh, it's fine. I'll make a single bowl at a time. Just just the way I like it. A bowl of this. Throw a red mushroom in. I got a lot of red mushrooms. Throw a brown mushroom in. Throw a daisy in. It's a shame I can't eat and leave the recipe there until I've eaten another one. But I understand why that's true. And then we'll put our brown mushrooms besides one down. Just so like they're ready for whatever comes next. And there we go. Nice. We officially have healing, chat. We officially have healing. I mean, we are we have a second source of healing, but that's that's good. I think I think to survive the days, it's all about having good armor, which we're working on, and having good that. So next up, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna change this guy's 
career trajectory. Uh, are you going to sell wheat this time? No, he just immediately latched onto it. So, break this again. And then replace it. And are you going to buy wheat? No, you're not. Eventually, he's going to buy wheat. It'll take him some time to realize that really he's always been a wheat trader. But he's going to... There we go. Um, yeah, we happen to have a ton of it. Is it really the best use of the time? Not always, but in this case it is. And now we can start selling pumpkins. Get, get our hands on an extra source of emeralds. Because we're going to need some of those. If we're going to be buying, you better believe we're making some purchases today. So now we can buy a diamond shovel with unbreaking and efficiency. Um, and we can even sell our diamond for an emerald chat. Man, that actually is a really good like experience trade. But I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just buy one of these. And then I'll buy a bunch of shovels, or I'll sell them a bunch of iron. Uh, yeah, we have to do... I think we'll buy a few more shovels um, when we have the emeralds. But, yeah, for now, that's good. For now, it's great to know that we have a fully... A diamond shovel functioning here. I need to resort my inventory. It's really gone messy. I know, chat. Look at that, by the way. Two diamond tools. Isn't that cool? And two stone pickaxes. <laughs> <laughs> just just what everyone loves equally. Um, and we'll make an iron sword, probably, too. No, but we'll make a uh, we'll make a grindstone, dude. And we'll just... Uh, if we make a grinding man, then he'll sell us a axe, right? I think stone axes. I, I know there's iron axes in there somewhere. That's definitely a thing we'll get. And so we have to do the sad, kind of shameful, punch some trees of our fists. But we'll be good. I shall record the... Uh, the the time by how many uh, times I could watch the Iron Brew video. It's a good way to keep tra track of any any time, really. Okay, so a grindstone has slabs in it. I think that's stone slabs. I don't know why it has stone slabs. I just know that you can use sandstone slabs on super flat. That's how I'm, like, making this judgment. Okay, so what do I need for a grindstone? Um, I like to just look through it and find out that... Okay, I hear crows. Was worried it was something Minecrafty. Something was dying. So I just need a stone slab. I think. Please don't tell me it has to be a cooked stone slab. Don't tell me it does, chat. I just don't want to deal with that. But I think I'm going to have to, aren't I? Okay, so we'll put one of these in here. Two of these in here with three of these. Because I need to make slabs. Easy. And then I'll put the cobblestone and the tough away. As well as this there. Okay. Then while we're doing that, we'll put away these lovely ingredients and some redstone dust. Ooh, yeah, we can we can make pistons now. We can make an automatic melon farm. Should I just make a little diversion to do that? I mean, if I've got the ingredients. Um, so can you use deep slate for the piston recipe? What is the piston recipe? You know, I'm always missing an ingredient. You can't use deep slate for the pistoning. Okay, today I learned. We have to use cobblestone to discourage you from mining too deep or something, maybe. Okay, then we make some uh, stone slabs, and then we can make a grindstone. Wonderful. We can make free grindstones, in fact. They're very, very cheap. And then, uh, so yeah, we'll place this down. We definitely need more villagers. Like, we're going to start breeding them soon. But we'll place this down over here for now. Um, just, like, on top of a block there. Yeah, this will be like the corner, I guess. And then eventually we'll have a armor smith or something. In the meantime, let's sell all of our pumpkins to Mr. Pumpkin Man over here. Um, yeah, we got 56 of them. You, you'll, you'll buy them all, right, pumpkin guy? You know, we, we'd like a discount. We'd like a better rate. But this this does the job. And now we can sell him melons. And he'll buy, oh, he might sell it. Imagine if he sells us the perfect suspicious stew. Wouldn't that be perfect, chat? Like, I know we're taking a risk every time we drink Suspicious Stew. But it would be quite cool if we got. Exactly. Also, uh, wrong place, dude. <laughs> I, I hope I don't have to murder him to get him out there. It would be quite frustrating if I did. Um, yeah, we should probably remove this block soon, too. As soon as we have another way up, I guess. Um, just don't go messing with iron golems. There are no iron golems for me to mess with. I, I took a lot of precautions earlier. Don't worry, I am... I'm very aware of the risk upon which I would not like to stake everything I have. 
Okay, so the last furnace is still running. Maybe I should throw the gold in there while I can. Yeah, I think so. So villagers are sleeping, which means it's almost time for me to sleep. Okay, let's let's just throw our gold in. Might as well cook it, right? If, if it's still running when we get back, that is. Okay, let's go. All in. And now I can go to sleep. Perfect. Okay, now we've officially gone a full quarter through. Day 26 is a nice day. It's a, it, This is going to be a real quick grind. I agree, Ace234 DM. Sometimes the grind is good. Sometimes the grind is good. So this guy's offering looting too. That's a really good enchantment. Do I need it though? It's really good when you want to go to the end. Looting is an amazing enchantment when you're going to the end. Um, it's also really great for getting wither skeletons, for getting a beacon. Do I really intend to fight the wither on UHC though? I mean, you know, that'd be a fun, fun goal for the end of the challenge. Um, I'm just gonna leave him be for now. I might regret that, but that's how it is. Um, we're gonna sell Mr. Farmer some more pumpkins to celebrate a new day. New day, more pumpkin sales, friend. Um, and then we'll use some of those to buy a second shovel from your boy. Uh, here, here he is. Yeah, and then just that and a few more iron sails and we'll beat that, I think. Like, I don't, I don't love selling iron, you know, but like without having a pickaxe first. But it's, we gotta do what we gotta do. And then we go get some more. Yeah, actually, we'll, we'll just buy a new shovel by using our shovel to get clay first. I think that's the better way to do things. So yeah, I'm breaking in efficiency. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's a fine shovel. Like, these shovels need improvements, but they're, you know, it's just, it's having any amount of enchantment is better than no enchantment. Even when it's, like, really weak like this, it's like, yeah, well, it mines, it mines, uh, clay faster. And it lasts, what is that, an extra 25%. So that's good, especially if you're mining underwater. Um, wow, see how, see how convenient it is to have that extra speed when you're, you're down here. Also extra durability, what a, what a steal of a deal. Uh, there are drowns in here, which I'm going to be looking out for, especially if they have tridents. Does he have a trident, actually? I can't be sure. But I'll just stay away from him. <laughs> That's my way of being sure. Um, try to mine these blocks from the surface, because if you're standing on flat ground, you get much better speed. And look at that. All the clay in the world, and it's mine. So, yeah, just a, just a great source of some extra emeralds. Can buy a third enchanted diamond shovel with this, and then three shovels is probably maybe I want a fourth actually. But that's that's the that's the right region of shovels, you know. Because then I if I combine four of these shovels together, they'll be unbreaking three efficiency four, which would be nice. That'd be that'd be everything I need in a shovel. I only like you, I I think getting silk touch or fortune on a shovel is like excessive. So once you get a good efficiency level, you're good. Yeah, four shovels, that's all I'm going to need for this 100 days. I think even four. I think two would be more than enough. But four is just me not not selling too much iron to a villager before I get fortune. Once I get fortune, I can start doing ridiculous things. Can can make golden apples like they're, they're nothing, etc, etc. But until I have that, I have to be a little bit cautious. Okay. Um, feel, feeling good, chat. I'm feeling good. I feel like I've been behind where I want to be. Sometimes in these days, you know, like my diamond mining, a little bit less than desired. Usually I like to just jump into a cave. But I feel like I'm getting all that advantage back now. Um, I feel like I'm getting that advantage back. But yeah, what, something I uh, something I think is interesting about this like 100 day uh, like grind is um, that like Minecraft as a whole is like an inherently like grindy game in quite a few ways. And it's weird because it's grindy in a way where you pick the grind. And I think that's the... I, I think there's something huge about that. Like, um, a lot of people really struggle with the idea that, like, wait, there are people who, like, enjoy their jobs. But, like, don't they realize that a job is just what's there to sustain you? And it's, like, um, it's this, like, really ancient, like, debate that we have about the, the value in, you know, being sustained by something now like in the moment, is always going to be less than like the long-term fulfillment. There's a reason we have, you know, religions and and like, you know, big targets and these these things like this. 
is because people get something more out. It's like the difference between, you know, like, yeah, I'm eating nuts today rather than fried chicken. Because fried chicken tastes so much better than nuts. Like, why, why am I such an idiot? Like, it would also sustain me, but for a different amount of time. Like, I've got this energy drink here as my backup, but it's a backup and not a, a go-to, because uh, the, the effects of it in the long run, for me, are uh, outweighed by the, the, the things that happen in the meantime. Um, I don't enjoy the early game grime. I prefer to have the most efficient tools possible. Yeah, when you're working on like a big project, it, it's like impossible to do it with bad tools. Like you, you need to have them, uh, sadly. I'm gonna sell one more time. And then we'll sell the rest tomorrow. Ooh, look at that, that was a good, that was a good noise. I like that one. Okay, so I'm gonna now go and try and get a toolsmith going. Is this still looting? Looting is just so high quality. Like, but for, you know, right, for what we're doing. Okay, so think about it. We get blazes, much better. We get endermen, much easier. But it's about, like, those things are about speed, because you can kill enough endermen, it just takes more time. What is there that we objectively are benefiting from looting with? Like, we can make more TNT? That's that's a relatively minor benefit, huh? Um, Yeah, I'm not, like, convinced there's a huge benefit for it. Uh, I think I'm going to go spend the day... Okay, so first of all, by the way, let's do this. Look at this. Suspicious stew. Oh, yeah. Look look, look at that. Slight regeneration. Ooh, yeah. Eight and a half hearts. That's much better than what we had before. Then we're going to immediately make <clears throat> another bowl. And then as soon as we have the space for it, we're going up to nine and a half. That's going to feel real good. Okay. Yeah, wonderful. Um... Are we doing a buy any? Is this the same guy from the, all this time? No, it's not. Uh, do we want any of this? No. I think in theory you could want tropical fish, but I don't. <laughs> and then we're going to uh, put this lava in somewhere. Should I take this coal out now that I've got enough lava? I think I should, yeah. Um, yeah, I think we can get uh, fortune on a shovel. Gives you flint when you mine gravel that you can sell to smiths. But I think I want to keep my gravel so I can make uh, concrete later. That's why I'm, that's why I'm, I, I do actually agree that, yeah, fortune is good for that reason. If you're in this particular part of the grind. Um, but I think I'm going to be good about it. So I want to find some more clay, probably. Um, but I'm mostly looking for other, let's go on a little tour to see if we can find, more beds would be good. But also if we can find, like, um, like, let's just go, let's go on a little scavenge, you know, take some stuff from, from other parts of the world. I think that's what I need to do at this point. So, first of all, we just dump some stuff. Like, stone slabs seem great. Not really so great. Put the block famifists away. Five dirt. Stack a cobblestone. Actually, wait, didn't, wasn't I trying to make, um, oh, I don't have wood. And I don't have an axe until I have a axe guy, and I don't have an axe guy until I breed some villagers. Maybe I should just go harvest those potatoes and just find two villages next to each other. I hope I have two free villages still. Like, I hope I have at least that many. Um, and then let's just give them all of this. I could replant, obviously. Uh, maybe I should. Nah, there's, there's, there's planting to be done over there. Although this could be my private little stash. Maybe that's the fun. Yeah, I'll, I'll replant potatoes and give them carrots. And then we'll have a solid potato farm. Solely for giving to villagers. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Um, yeah, we, we need more villagers right now. Um, and so I'm just going to find any, any two guys who roam freely and hope that I give them stuff and everything goes well. Um, you, my friend, have some potatoes. And then maybe some carrots as well. I think you've got to report. I don't think you should mix the two types. But uh, yeah, that many that many of those should be good for you. And then we'll give this guy 23. I think he also picks up his own, so that might help him. Now we'll get some baby villagers and that'll be good. Or we could go grab the, you know, I've got a lead on me somewhere. I could go grab the villager from before and bring him in. And that way I'd have a quirky different type of villager. You know, I like that idea. It's gonna be a journey. Um, I've got, I've got this guy as well. Oh, he's my weaponsmith. I've oh, got a weaponsmith. Oh, heck yeah. INX, thank you. Exactly what I needed. 
Okay, so uh, now we can chop down trees, and we need to chop down trees so we can make s pistons. Yeah, okay, easy. Uh, we can also use it on the farm here, obviously. Get, get those pumpkins in. Gotta, gotta still sell those every day I can. I might even just start breaking the melons um, at this point. Might even be a good idea. School boost. Thank you very much for the two Canadian dollar tip. Hope you're having a good day. I, uh, I'm having a blast of one. I, um, energy drink equals no nutrition. Drink a real fruit juice, silly cat. See, now, now, now you're the one falling into a trap there. Because, uh, if you drink, first of all, this is 20% fruit juice. But even having fruit juice doesn't make it, like, real energy, right? It just makes it sugar. But, like, sugar that originally came from a fruit. And, like, is that the most important thing? I mean, maybe, maybe it is to you. Um, now let's make some pistons. I didn't chop down any wood. I've just got three planks on me. Can I make one piston at least? I can make one piston, yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, we don't actually need it to be a sticky piston for what we're doing with it. Let's work on our piston farm. I mean, our melon farm. We'll go vertical, because then we can, like, have a collection point that's easy to do. Okay, so... Um, the piston goes, like, over... We have to, like, make spaces. So, like, the melon should grow... If, if the piston would go here, if that was there, yeah. So we'll, um, we'll try to, yeah, that doesn't make any sense though. We kind of need to like have, so if we like break this and make sure that melon goes there. Yeah, that's what we need to do. It kind of, kind of sucks to break one, but just so I can like mentally picture this. And then we'll deliberately place, uh, we'll like make sure there's blocks here and here. That way one of these melons will grow there. And then that can be pistoned away. Yeah, and then we'll, like, we'll have to detect that block. Which we can do somehow. Uh, we'll detect it from underneath maybe? No, we'll, we'll have to detect it from above. So we'll place like a detector facing downwards onto this block. Uh, so place that so that it can grow that way. And then it will activate the piston with a single piece of redstone. I think that's the efficient way to do that. Okay, so how do we make a detecting block? Um, I, I, I'm just going to do like a small scale test and then I'll scale it up if it works. Again, I, uh, I've, I've never built one of these before and I like, to, I like to experiment in Minecraft. I know I could just look up efficient melon farming tutorial and it'd be like, oh, that's how. But I don't have that. Also, I need never quartz, so <laughs> I guess I can't make it right now. I guess I could like semi-automatically do it, but that's, that's not the point, right? The point is it's going to be automatic. Whew. Um, yeah, the redstone observer taking quartz is something I always forget. Because it doesn't seem like it's that hard of an item to get early game. But I, I like that it encourages redstone people to be like, Oh, I guess I have to go to the nether first. So, you know, there's fun to be had in there. At least, if nothing else. Okay, so... Um, let's uh, chop down some trees. I definitely need to for some reason. I just can't tell you why. Um, I don't want to chop down this forest though. This is my ugly forest on purpose. No, let's let's go find another village. Let's let's go on the exploration. See, the getting lost between tasks is a dangerous thing in Minecraft. You gotta make sure you don't do it. But no, yeah, it's really it's really interesting to me the uh, the like like uh, you know like the the same thing with like how people see nutrition is also how you can see like. You know, emotional fulfillment. Like, you, you can, you'll have a much better time chasing the short-term joys. Like, um, I saw a, I saw a peep show clip that was like, yeah, it's universally agreed on, Mark. All the, all drugs have been proven to be good now. That's the scientifically accepted opinion. And like, socially speaking, there is actually more truth to that. But we used to use social stigma to encourage people to do things that were statistically bad for them. Um, but we kind of move away from that now and say like, well, even though it's statistically bad, it's your choice. Um, for everything besides like smoking. I think smoking, we say, nah, it's really bad for everyone. But then that, you know, but the society as a whole is there to say like, oh yeah, we will make moral judgments on things that we think are, are bad for you so that we can avoid those bad things. But instead of telling you they're bad directly, we'll try to use our more powerful social tool which is to say, yeah, if you do drugs, you suck. You know, you're just a bad. You know, if you if you drink energy drinks, ooh, you're you're that type of person. Didn't realize that's like so much more effective than being like, oh, did you know uh, energy drinks are 
have taurine in? I don't know what taurine is. Nothing is it... gives me that warm Christmassy vibe like Toy Cat attempting redstone builds. It's like watching It's a Wonderful Life, <laughs> only with more pistons and fannying around. You better around. believe there's so much fannying around. Thank you very much. Make smoking sections again. I think they still exist in uh, quite a... A lot of European countries still have that. Um, also, um, yeah, no, I me, me me attempting redstone is the Christmassy vibe. I mean, um, in Europe, we have uh, generally the government is quite involved in healthcare, and it's the most effective thing for you to die. And so it's everyone's a winner in the European system. If you want to have smoking sections, you got to get make sure make sure you know the same people who run the healthcare. Also, if I get diamonds in here. I'm gonna be happy and also tragically sad at the same time. Oh, so there was a grindstone here. Would have saved me making some slabs. Ooh, oh man, it's so annoying to get free obsidian. I don't know how that ended up on the floor, but I guess it did. Uh, free obsidian. I just need one more now. And that, one more diamond, one more obsidian. I'm in a good place. Should I take the bread with me? I guess I should. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm eating golden carrots, but eventually those are gonna run out, so. This does make some sense to do. Should we just go to the Never? I think that's what I'm concluding from this. We should just go to the Never. Actually, wait, we got wheat. We can make a ton of bread. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do villager breeding first. Oh, also, we need to take beds with us, so we don't have many slots for them. But we'll take as many as we can. If they're not white, if they're white beds, they're not staying in my village. Um, where did you get the hardcore texture for bedrock? Uh, I think I googled it. It's not the satisfying answer you want. Oh, a golem! No, 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 no! Ignore the golem. Okay, I was just running right through him there. See, my, we're, just, we're just naturally drawn to each other. I'm not attacking that golem. He's, he's not gonna die. It's not gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna steal the beds from the village, but I'm keeping a distance from that guy. Okay, everyone, let's just let's stay let's stay emotionally safe from the golem. The way we're gonna do. Also, I'm gonna take some of these. Uh, Every one of these wood blocks of mine gives me a wood block, but also gives me some torches. So let's let's keep this village in the dark. Let's literally let them all die so that I can have some more torches. That is a good idea if I've ever heard one. Oh, actually, I think I want their blast furnace as well. Um, if I, Because you need to have two armorers, one to sell you leggings and one to sell you uh, uh, boots, maybe. You don't get all the armor from one. You definitely need two, I think. Um, and then we'll sell, we'll take all of these. Take all of these. I, you know, having, having apples, you can chop down trees, sure. I definitely like this this lazy method. Um, so yeah, we got as many beds as we can take. We got this. We, we, we're doing pretty well for ourselves, I would say. Um, I think I should make a bed house. Like a big house filled of beds somewhere. Uh, oh, also more hay bales. Just what I wanted. I will take so many of these. Uh, I'll also take the carrots, I guess, though. Just so I have something else to feed the villagers. Steal the torches from the houses too, says Everett Lewis. You know what, you're right. We should be stealing more torches from this village. Why are we only stealing some of their torches when we could take all of them? Uh, any, any any house that has a block behind, like these torches, it's like easy to do, but not really worth the effort in my opinion. Also, where did my horse go? I definitely, there he is. He's, he's well hidden. He's, a, he's playing hide and seek with me. But today, also I have a suspicious stew I want to eat. Uh, make sure I get that in. Ooh. Yeah, healing. Look at that internet. Oh, I regenerated half a heart. Oh no, I, whatever. <laughs> yeah, half, I'm now at nine and a half hearts. I think I could survive one hit from that golem. Shall I show you what it looks like to survive one hit from a golem? I, I'm not going to, obviously, but I could, and that would be something, huh? Uh, throw the barrel on the ground. I don't really need that. Not compared to this, at least. So let's just go take the rest of their carrots. They do have some lovely harvested carrots right here. Uh, my horse is absolutely in love with me right now because I fed him some very, very good foods. And, uh, yeah, you know, honestly, I've heard the phrase, like, the easiest way through a man's heart is through his stomach or something like that. And ignoring the, the the interesting truth in that, I wanna I wanna talk about like there's so many situations where it's like oh what are you doing this one you cook, and it always seems so antiquated right you know like uh kind of the same thing with like how smoking feels if you're born in like the post smoking is objectively bad era. Um, do you need to lug around a barrel and a composter? 
<laughs> I mean, the composter is genuinely important, I think. Um, I don't know for sure. At least it wasn't a gapple. I have made that mistake before. It's day 27. Did I go to sleep? No. Did I? You know what? I don't know anymore. No, we're definitely going to sleep soon. Are we day 27 soon? Whew. 100 plus 1 million equals infinity. That is not maths that I would co-sign on, Mr. M. But I hope you have a good day anyway. Um, I'm going to take as many of these as I can just while we're out and about. And uh, when we get back to the village, by the way, I think we'll be able to make a ton of villagers. And that's going to be... That's exciting to me. I like... Like, I'm going to have a properly organized village for the first time ever. Um, is this Toy Cat's main village or a random one being left to die? I do have to admit, I am leaving the village to die. But that's okay. That's that's what villagers are like. Um, that's how villagers like to do it. They like dying in very sad, avoidable circumstances. Also, I think I went a little bit too far this way. But that's okay. Yeah, I'm... I the These stages of progress for a village are always fun ones. Is that screen tearing? I could believe it is. I could believe it is. Um, okay, so... Yeah, they're not actually going to die, though. Yeah, they're going to be... Um, because of the... Yeah, you're right that they're not actually going to die. I mean, it's more fun to imagine them dying. But we can, all, we can all have that illusion broken if we must. Let's go to sleep right now. Okay, not right now. Let's put the horsey away. Um, this is this is such a good horse, by the way. Like, just to get that for free of a village. I love it. You know, there's, there's so many, like, random little things about Minecraft. Where, like, a tiny bit of luck takes you a long way. And that is one such example. As we move into day 27. I need to cough a little bit. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, yeah. Not a good one, either. Um, some would say coughing is a COVID symptom. Some would say that. So yeah, it's fully dark outside now, but uh, things are going good otherwise. I mean, if you ignore the impending sense of doom, everything's great. Um, yeah, I think I think that church should be the bed house. Uh, I think it's got the space that we need. Yeah, I think I think I think that's I think that's a reasonable house to use because we're, we're gonna take away the we took away the brewing stand and it's got like enough width. Yeah, we have to remove the stairs. But then we got plenty of spaces for beds. Bed goes here, bed goes here, bed goes here. And then we're just adding to the bed capacity in the theoretical village. I think this will now have to be inside my walls though. Yeah, I guess I guess this will be the edge of the village. The well the well will be the corner where the walls hit on both sides. Maybe that could be the way in and out. Or something like that. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna build some walls around here. They're gonna be good. Um and uh, you can, it's gonna be it's gonna be lovely. It's gonna be the best thing you've ever seen. Okay, next next up, let's give some carrots to some villagers so they can make love. Uh, you, my friend, are a villager. I would like you to make some love. Oh, also buy my pumpkins while you're here. Um, you are also a villager. When you go to the center of the village today, go make some love. We got plenty of beds. Just uh, do do your best, man. I believe in you. There you go. That's that's lots of carrots for two villagers. And now you, we're gonna buy two of your shovels, except we can't yet because we gotta sell some some of this first. And then we'll also sell some wheat to the farming guy because I've got I've got all the hay bales in the world, right? I might as well get some value from them. So we want it to be a multiple of twenty, so that's close enough. Eighty-one. Um. Multiple of 20, here we come. Actually, we need to sell three more, so... Let's see if we can't do that. Uh, if we can't get three more of these, we'll just sell. Yeah, there we can. Okay, 30 emeralds. That's enough to make two shovels. Uh, buy two shovels, rather. And then we've got... That's probably all the diamond shovels we'll need for this run. Okay, what's the enchantment? It's just unbreaking. It's fine. We, we, we'll we re-enchant it ourselves. We can use that to get the one obsidian we need for an enchantment table. Um, yeah, you know, it's 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 a sucky enchantment, but it's fine. Um, and then once we got something good on that, we can start selling things. So, yeah, we, we get real good progress after that. Um, so now we've got lots of shovels. Maybe too many shovels, in some people's opinions. Not in mine. 
we put three of those away. And uh, yeah, things are pretty good otherwise. This is my, is my tool weaponsmith like trapped? No, he's not, he just stands there. He just likes it there. Uh, we could buy a, honestly, should we get the enchanted iron sword trade? Cause it does make a whole bunch of progress and then also has the nice benefit of being like an okay iron sword. I think we should. I think that's a thing we will do. But yeah, if we want to make um, if we want to make some serious progress, we need to go and get a diamond. One diamond. That's all we need. One diamond. Um, so normally I agree that sleep is overrated, but my body decided to attack me with anaphylaxis. See, that's one of those words that isn't even real. Never heard of anaphylaxis? No, I, I know what it is. It's the it's your body going into like fits, right? Not fits. Like it, you're not. It's bad, and you can die from it. Well, that's what they'll tell you. <laughs> I like to add a little a little spooky like, ooh, is it real? To the end of everything I say. Um, okay, so we've got plenty of spaces. No, we don't. we got we got plenty of stuff we need to get rid of still. Big Salmon says it's day 28. Um, did we miss? Did we do double tw 27 twice? Um, can, you, can you confirm anyone? Uh, would be ideal. Okay, so we got a second blast furnace. I do want that to go down at some point. Spaghetti is good. It's when your immune system goes into overdrive. 26 twice. Okay, Big Salmon, thank you very much. Uh, we did, okay, we got this. You know what, you can trust Big Salmon, Internet. <laughs> you can always trust Big Salmon. When in doubt, you know? Um, so, uh, yeah, it's good, it's good to know. That's like a, that's a reassuring fact. A little bit closer. No, no unnecessary duplication. Um, also, by the way, once we make another brown mushroom, so we're gonna make a giant one. Hopefully, we got free bone meal. Not a guarantee that turns into a, a giant mushroom, but you know we can have hopes. Oh wow, perfect. And then we'll move these guys because clearly they're too close now. Or we could just break this, I guess. We very fun. Not getting any brown mushrooms yet, but there's still hope. Okay, we'll leave these partially broken, because I, I know people love when, I'm, when I have pretty builds. And we'll make uh, the final stew to get us back up to full health. See, last time I kind of like, I, uh, I played around a little too much of it. This time, no such playing around will be had. I will be eating my suspicious stew. Okay, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, full, yes, oh. Doesn't that feel good, internet? Doesn't that, a, a full health bar. How long has it been since I've been in that situation? It's been too long, but it feels good. It feels very good. I think we're ready to go to the nether. I mean, like, how are we gonna enchant without getting that diamond? How are we gonna get the diamond? We could go looking around the overworld. There was another village, but like, what are the odds it has a diamond in? Very low. Or we could go to the nether where we know that bad things can happen, but, also, we're powerful and strong now. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're gonna do this. I think we're gonna we're gonna go over to the Never Portal. There's one just over that hill. Although we want our, our you want your first Never Portal to be near your base or far enough away from your base that it doesn't matter. Ooh, that's a hard one. I guess I I'm gonna wait till I get a diamond pickaxe, which to get I need to sell some stuff. I'm currently like 20, 20 emeralds short. How do I get 20 emeralds easily? Um, I don't know, clay and pumpkins, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could sell wheat as well. You know, I'm just gonna go to another village. Raid. I, there was another one just over the hills. Uh, I, I need the beds regardless. And if we're lucky, we also get a diamond if, if we're like, if we're really lucky, I should say. And if we're slightly lucky, what is this? Is this a lush cave? Is that snow and my brain is just not dealing with it? I think that's snow, yeah. A lush cave would be nice. It'd be a lot easier to get clay. Craft a shield first, maybe. Oh yeah, the shield. Yeah, that's an important one. Okay, chat. When we get to the next village, I want you all to collectively remind me to craft a shield. Can we do that? I think we can do that. Um. He's not repeating days, he's just doing 102 because 100 day challenges are overrated. You know, I thought people would, uh, it's funny because I did 100 days in a super flat and people really liked it. And so the follow up, I figured let's do more than 100 days. It was uh, it was 256 days. So rather than 200, it, and uh, I think it was like way less popular. 
And then we realized that like there is something to be said for like hitting round numbers. The people the people do just genuinely seem to enjoy it. Hey, to get tax. You know this challenge would have been much easier before they changed hunger to go down much slower from running, etc. Um it would have been easier before they changed hunger to go down slower. Oh, because I, I actually want hunger because it allows me to heal, right? I get what you're saying. Also, is bring your horse up here actually smart? We'll find out when I make a mistake. Oh, okay, it's scary. Also, whoa, look at the Oxide Daisy collection. Okay, I this is a lifetime supply as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, we, we don't need to ever bone mill them. We can just, this see, this is, this is what I love to see. This type of meadow, this is the dream if you don't have regeneration. Even if, honestly, even if you're playing with natural regeneration turned on, right? Like, you're still, you're still gonna benefit somewhat from it. Um, 256 is a round number to a computer programmer. I think 255 is the round number. I mean, there's, there's, a, I guess there's some debate. Cause that, with a, with a 8 bit, um, maybe it's 6 bit. With a, with a, with that many digits, if you turn them all on, you get 255, not 256. Because obviously, you know. Anyway, um, like I, but I guess there's 256 possible integers you can make with binary in that many digits. I think it's six. I always remember eight is 1024, but maybe eight is 256. No, eight is 256. Because oh god, did I just get attacked by a polar bear again? <laughs> Man, I need to. I need to like watch out for polar bears. Didn't realize what a m m menace to society they were. Even after that one killed me. Um, only round number is zero. Facts. You make a good point. I guess 88 is quite round. A lot, a lot of curves. 88 is a curvy number. You know, I don't wanna, don't wanna talk too much about my number preference here. But, ooh, is 88 a good one? Yes, it is. Um, yeah, I, uh, I don't like that there's a golem here. Definitely just like, just like how people feel with the police. It's like, wow. Well, it's good that he's somewhere, but could he not be near me when I'm doing my things? I am safe, you see. I do not need a golem. Also, this is a crazy village. Look at the look at the way that spawned. Um, I don't see a blacksmith here, so I'm just gonna go straight to sleep inside wherever I can find. There we go. That's a bed. I'm gonna end up with a second stack of hay bales. Wait, where are the monsters? Where are the monsters nearby? That's that's okay. I had a zombie. Well. Village is gone. <laughs> I just want to get to bed, okay? That's, that's all I'm here for. Uh, I guess I'll use my own bed. Figured I wouldn't need that in, in these situations, but apparently so. Hey, congratulations to me. Day 29 is here. I need to craft a shield, by the way. Thank you, Angle of Uncommon How. It's true, I do. Um, okay, craft a crafty table. Place the crafty table. Uh, now we need to get enough wood for a shield. So just two is enough, I think. Two wood equals a shield. Um, does it equal a shield? There there it does. It does. We're good. So uh, now we just switch this shield out. As soon as this one takes damage, we'll honestly just throw this on the ground. I, I need to take, I need this inventory spaces for other stuff. Um, do you know where my horse is? He gets away so quickly. That's the that's the problem with fast horses. They also they're fast to escape you when they see an op opportunity. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a whole second st stack of hay bales. They're ju they're just so valuable. Even just by themselves, it's worth. Even if you just wheat them, it's free emeralds per per hay bale. No wait, no, it's not. That's wrong. <laughs> it's an emerald for every other hay bale. I got that maths wrong. If you just imagine it though. Um, my cafe is not open. Come back later. You know, what, Emma, are you doing okay? Are you having a, are you having a stroke or, you know, it's probably okay. Um, if you don't believe in big salmon, you'll be faced with the faced with inevitable fate. It's true. Bad things happen to those who don't believe in big salmon. Um, take some more yellow beds. I think some have some blues to go of this would be good. Um. I think seeds are less valuable than a bed. And just to like preempt the next one that I'm gonna have to make, uh, dandelion also less valuable. Pick up this, then is there a bed in here? Is this a barn? Nope, no beds. Uh, I take the cauldron though. I do like cauldrons, just not that much, I guess. 
Uh, and we'll go we'll go up to the village house up there. It's a little bit of a risky one, but it's fine. I got a I got a good jumping horse. We got any? Is there like is there one bed in this entire village? They can't. That 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 seems like an incorrect number. Feels like they should have more than one. You know, like I'm not I'm not I'm not like a you know I'm not a master plan or anything. Um. Yeah, I, uh, I'm glad. Uh, Toy Cat has not died yet. It is true. I have not died. We've, uh, and we've been going for five hours, apparently. Chat, can we all just take a moment and clap ourselves on five hours? This is, this is, this is a very long stream. It's definitely in my top ten, uh, already. Um, and so I think we need a, we need a moment to say, wow, what a long stream. Good job, us. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I opened the stream as soon as I woke up, lol. I'm concerned by how late you woke up, uh, generic ego. Gotta, gotta be, gotta be catching, catching up on the, catch, catching up on you. Yeah, you know, you gotta, you gotta be re-catching on your, your, your waking up early game. There we go. That's exactly what I was trying to say. Uh, oh Christ, I did not like that. I knew the horse would catch it, but it just didn't feel good on the way down. Can I mine emerald with a stone pickaxe? Apparently not. Oh, there is a blacksmith here after all. Please give me a diamond. Please give me a diamond. Please give me- Ah, ha, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so there's a second saddle, which is nice. Um, there's another helmet, which I guess I might as well take. Um, so put that on. Nice. Um, see, you know, this is this is why you don't bother looking for diamonds. You just, you, you find them in the wild. Uh, I guess I should switch out my chest plate too. It's not that broken, but any amount, of, like, you know, that, that this might be a life or death saver at some point. It could go the other way where because it's not broken in time, I don't realize it's, but you know, it's, it's, it's good. What just happened there is a good change. And uh, yeah, I don't know where my horse is. I bet he's around the corner. He's all, he, he literally plays hide and seek. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's a good sign. Is that clock day 29 after this long? Did I, did I sleep, sleep another night and then add it to the, 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 the title? Wait, so we're, we're at five hours in. You would expect at this point for us to be at day 30. Uh, in fact, cause it's five hours, 10 minutes in, you expect day 31 by now. Uh, I think we should take the books by the way. I think two bone mill is real nice. I think, what's what's less nice? Um, two, two wood, less valuable than books. We'll just take all the books we can find. Um, because now we're, we're about to need an enchantment table. All we need now is one more obsidian and we're there. Pickaxe plus enchantment table. Yeah, no, we can uh, we can only make one of those things, sadly. We're gonna, we're gonna buy our pickaxe anyway, so we can make a sword, I guess. But we're gonna, we're gonna trade for a sword eventually. Um, okay, so let's get out of here. Uh, a little bit easier said than done. Just place some blocks. There we go. It might I might come to regret this because of the fact that you need cobblestone for pistons and deep slate won't do. But it's the best I got for now. Um, do not die while I'm bathing them any moderator. I will do my best to stay alive. Can I do it? Yeah, probably. Um, no, I, I think the uh, the biggest risk I have here is probably a golem, but I don't think it's the biggest. I don't think I'm like that at fret. But that's that's probably how I'll die. Just you know, let's let's just stay away from golems, and we'll do good. You know, we we keep our fears under under control, and we'll do great. Also, since I uh, I have the shovel anyway, let's just mine these. Like I said, it's hilarious to me that stonemasons will buy blocks that they keep around them. But they will. But they will. Um, yep, okay, that's that's everything we need from this village. We could probably pick up the pumpkins. Like, we're not coming back. They are freebies, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, yeah, and we had the space for them, so let's go. We only had one bed, but we got diamonds, so I'm, I'm not bothered. <laughs> Heck yeah. We can now make an enchantment table as soon as we get the emeralds for... We could, we could sell two of our emeralds if we wanted to. We want to go real crazy. Nothing's stopping us. Uh, most likely way to die is invisible polar bear. Did you, on the way here, I got, I had to properly bounce off a polar bear. 
It is, it is terrifying. I didn't, like, it doesn't even look like a place that polar bears should be. It's, uh, it's quite a crazy thing. It is, isn't it wild that polar bears are basically the only, like, I guess you get strays at night. But there's not much, like, feeling to those places. I think that's the problem with them adding so many weird mobs, is now the places without the mobs feel especially bare. It's like, oh, why is, why is there nothing here? I think, I think that's, like, uh, probably if you're, like, if you're Mojang, your goal is to add as many features that make the game feel more complete rather than less complete. Like, I guess if you're... Like, that, that's the ideal, right? Is people go, wow, this new update makes Minecraft so much better rather than why do we have a never update and not an end update? Because <laughs> that is a lot of people's thoughts. Like, we had we had an amazing update to the never. When are they doing the same for the end? And the answer is, I guess, they don't really... It's not their priority to do the same for the end. But that be, that's, people don't like to hear that. Okay, so bed comes down. Maybe just just one bed, whole trip for one bed. Okay, that's fine. Um, see, I'm hoping there's no way that the villagers can't breed now. I assume. Also, is that guy is he genuinely broken? Why is he stuck? Is he like? Okay, let's just let's just move him close to his friend. Uh, let's give him some carrots or some. I've got bread. Do they want bread or do they want wheat? Let's just let's give him some of that. See if he makes love. Yeah, that's 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 a love-making stance. That is a love-making stance I see there. Okay, just ignore me and make some more villages, please. Okay, I'll do it, do it, do it your way. Oh, you know, there you go, that's fine. Um, unpopular opinion, but uh, the end is better when it's empty islands, not full of features. I think they could still make the end better without filling it with random features. I, uh, I recorded a whole video about the end yesterday. I used my spare time that I had because of because of the stream not working. That's right, we didn't nothing happened. It just the stream wasn't correct that day. But because of that, yeah. Also, no, my farm is now in there too. I I've got a I've got a you know this is a big problem. I have to now move his like uh his thingy table in here. And he's gonna be trapped in the middle of oh man, that's such a nightmare. Okay, so uh, this is just the lever worker. He's less important, but it's, it's still it's still a problem. It's still not ideal. Um, so we'll sell him some wheat because we got lots of stacks of wheat. Just uh, yeah, that'll be good. Just sell him wheat until he can't buy it anymore. And then okay, then we're gonna have to sell some clay. Because that's still important. Clay. Oh no, he wants. He wants. He's he's asking for eleven per per emerald now. What a ridiculous deal. Uh, so I guess we'll just chop down some trees, sell it to the Fletcher to get to the very top here. Yeah, we're we're now we're now just to get to get our last obsidian. We literally need ten more emeralds. So every four logs we break is a. Every four logs we break is an emerald. Easy enough. This would have made me kill the farmer, honestly. I think I'm gonna have to kill the farmer. Either I kill the farmer or I let all the cows out. And letting all the cows out actually isn't so disastrous. But it's annoying. Also, they made a baby in there. Come on, guys. I, g I gave wheat to other people, not you. Okay, whatever. It's day 30. Welcome to three tenths of completion. Uh, I gotta leave the, I've gotta put the horse in a safe place, right? Although actually, if I'm just gonna chop down... Yeah, th okay, those guys are the ones making all the baby villages. So now I'm gonna have to genuinely break the cow farm, just cause they're just cause they're ridiculous. Um, I can at least sell more pumpkins. So that's one. Yeah, I'll, I'll sell them. I'll sell some more pumpkins, and then I'll chop down some wood somewhere. That is the way it must be done. Um. Yeah, I guess I guess so. Oh man, I'm hungry by the way. I'm like starving. My I am. I guess I'm like missing my first meal about now. Okay, so if I'm missing a meal, that means I need a protein bar. So I've got a protein flapjack. Uh, again, I'm going on a hike today. That's, that's what I'm calling this. Oh, this looks good. Oh, this is good. Oh, heck yeah. Mmm, tasty. Yeah. So, um... I don't know what the uh, order kebab part two. If you don't know the story of the kebab, 
They took four hours to not deliver me a kebab and then gaslight me and pretend they tried to deliver it. But I think I got a five pound credit in the end, so. You know, who's really winning? So, um, yeah, I need I need uh, 40 wood, I believe, is the number. Yeah, this is, um. So let me show you this, by the way. This is what we call a flapjack in the UK. I think flapjack is the, sh the generic term for like a granola bar in America. But I love this. It's like, it's like, I think it's golden syrup between oats or something. I hate golden syrup, but I love flapjacks. Mmm. You used to eat street waffles. Oh, I love street waffles. I almost got some. And I was like, isn't a street waffle just sugar? And then I didn't bother looking. Because they taste too good, you know? Pancake, pancake. I always want fact check for pancakes. Are you going crazy, Internet? Are you... You know, this... Is this... Do you... Flapjacks is an old-timey word for pancake in the US? How is that possibly true? How can that... Okay, I understand when it's like, oh yeah. You say flapjack. We say crack a barrel. Or something like that. I'd be like, okay. Weird, but I get it. How is flapjack a term for pancake? How is that evenly possible? How is that even like... That doesn't make any sense. Like, there's, there's not even a train of logic you can follow there. That's just, oh yeah, we named a food a different food. Why did you name a food a different food? You, you, you know, it's, you know, it's a, okay, you know, it's fine. It's fine. You, it, America's weird. And this is one of the ways. And that's, that's fine. I've, I'm now learning that way. And I'm glad, I'm glad to, glad, glad it happened sooner rather than later. Could have got, could have gotten deeper into this commitment before this happened, internet. Thank you for allowing me not to. I, I didn't realize how super, super, superficial and superfluous our relationship was until just now. Um, I am going to sell. I don't want to sell this guy four iron. I think this guy has to be my four iron sell, but that's harder to do because, you know, I'll just find free coal. There's going to be free coal lying around in a cave, a, a side of a mountain somewhere around here, right? Just that's that's how it's going to be. We drive on parkways and park on driveways. <laughs> I actually understand the logic. Okay. Let me tell you why you drive in parkways and park in driveways. So a parkway is like a way that goes through a park. You know, so it's more express because there's not as much society on the side. And a driveway is short for a drive away. Because it's the, the only purpose is you go into it and then you drive away. Um... And so that's why you park on. Oh no 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 Hello, Nugs and Ranch. Thank you for the merry toy get tax. It's seven hours till um, Christmas. I get high to drive on highways, is that right? <laughs> yeah, that's correct. That's why there's so many highways in California, right? Okay, we're fine. That was a little scary. Like, I knew I'd be fine, but I thought I might get really battered. And I guess I got some amount battered. Mm. Okay, so... Um, we're gonna move some of these beds. On, I guess, this as well. Sorry, I won't talk my mouth full. Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna make sure that I don't talk my mouth full. I'm gonna let you know, I'm not talking while my mouth is full. Don't worry, I won't do that to you. Mouthful talking, not over here. Mmm, man. This is one of the best flapjacks I've, I've had in a while. Mmm. Okay. 
I um, I think we've now filled up this house as best we can. I think we can move the door here too, actually. Just a fun little, fun little thing we get to do. Yeah, I think this is a much better place for the the beds to go. Uh, I mean, the door to go. Don't you think, Internet? It looks more like a face now, right? I like I like the faceness to it. Um, and then we'll just put a little thing there, and now we can put a bed in this little slot there. T plenty of spaces. The workhouse is coming along nicely. If we, just, if we put like three of them there, and I do, do you see this? I, I think it looks like a cute little face. It looks like an owl, right? It looks like an owl. I like it. Um, where do you get another bed at? I uh, I destroyed the beds in my village. Ooh, mm, rain time. Okay, so we are a few blocks short of, uh, you know, I'll just make some wheat and sell it that way. I'm a single emerald short. Not anymore, though. So where are we going to find our obsidian? Because there is a ton around the world we can get. So yeah, unbreaking sucks for a pickaxe, but it's better to have some unbreaking than no unbreaking. That's my crazy opinion here. Um... It does look like an owl. Did you just build a Hooters? <laughs> I mean, when I don't know, I don't know if I'm allowed to build a Hooters for the express purpose of making more children, but that is the that is what I just did apparently. Um, yeah, let's go to the mountain. I yeah, getting obsidian. Okay, so there is obsidian in this world. Um, that's that's a fact. Where do we mine it? For? Okay, no, I didn't. I didn't put the horse away. Oh no, where did I leave the horse? I hope I can find him. You know, we'll chop down this tree first anyway. Because we need to... Like, I, I need it to be gone. And it's... Look at that, it's growing into the mushroom. It's very unappealing. This is this is now more than enough podsol For what we want to do. Um, use lava at a ruined portal. Yeah, that was my thinking, but like... I don't know. It's, I was hoping for a better solution. Hooters Workhouse, a new line in business. Beds go in, babies come out. That's what Hooters is all about. <laughs> Jeff Watkins, very high quality. Uh, glad you're still hanging around, by the way. The, the average view to... Okay, if you've been here, chat, uh, more than t 19 minutes and 33 seconds, you have beaten the average. Um, which is... But, <clears throat> like, on, on a stream, I think the normal is, like, 5 or 10 minutes or something. So it's cool to know we got such a good one. Fun fact, I've never been to Hooters. Their wings genuinely do taste very good. I know, like, I, I know that it's, like, meant to be, like, inherently about, like, staring at women or something like that. There's, there's meant to be some undertones of that. But they do genuinely have good wings. Uh, oh, I mean, they have, they have good flavors. I, I don't know about, like, the quality of the... Yeah, you know, I'm not, like, a... I'm not a psychopath who's like, Oh, yes, the wing on this chicken is very good. It tastes like he was, he was growing in a... I don't know, I, I don't have that level of wing knowledge. And I don't aspire to have that level of wing knowledge. But um, what I do aspire to have is uh, I want to go to Hooters, but I think I'm too socially anxious for it. I think, um, I mean, I, 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 know, I know that almost everyone knows this, but like all social anxiety is inside your head, right? That's, uh, if you don't know that, now is a useful time to mention it. Um, when you feel weird about something, that's usually what makes other people feel weird about something. So if you want to not, then just don't. <laughs> and that's so much easier said than done. Uh, but it is truly what you've got to do. You've just got to, you got to stop feeling, you got to stop feeling weird about things and then the things will stop being weird. When, you know, like, uh, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you're the person who goes, oh, this is awkward, you are making a situation awkward. The situation is not as awkward as it is until you say, oh, this is so awkward. Um, I've been watching since day 14, day 9. Wow, lots of people been here for a while. Welcome to day 31. I, um... Have you been watching for two weeks straight then? I, um... I'm looking forward to... Um... I'm looking forward to today, because it's going to be Obsidian Day. I'm going to finally... I'm going to finish out... I don't know why my inventory is just so cluttered. I I really make big steps to deal with it, chat. 
I really think I am at least. <laughs> but it just it just keeps getting this way. Um, so we'll put the wheat in there. We'll put the gold in there. The apples in there. Oh, we can make another golden apple now. Oh, we can make a lot of golden apples. Should I make some? I think having one on me is quite dangerous. So we'll make four more golden apples. One, two, three, four. Just so I just I want to feel like I'm never eating the last one because there's this problem with scarcity where if you have one left, you'll you'll be way more cautious about using it. But if you have a ton left, you'll be like, yeah, I'll just do that. Uh, put the lectern in there. Actually, I'll put the lectern out so I get a, a second. No, we'll, we'll deal with that when it happens. Um, yeah, it's a good time. Good time to be alive. Look at all this lava I'm collecting. Um, do we have anything that needs smelting? We don't actually. Yeah, we, we've got more lava than smelting juice required. Good good place to be at. I think I'm gonna have to make obsidian over here to make my portal. Um, yeah, somewhere around here, maybe down there even. We'll just like bring the lava back and forth. I've still gotta make the sugarcane farm. I've still gotta got make a lot of things, but first things first, let's grab water. There's some right over here. The sugarcane is also a little bit, also did you see that? What happened there? Sugarcane's a little bit overgrown. Could do with a good chop, but maybe later. Uh, been here since the beginning, played along, made lots of good progress too. Got my village and train sorted. Now my first caving says, hate paste. It's interesting how many people get villages all the way sorted before even going into a cave. It is a cool new way to play Minecraft, but it feels like it's just like, to me it's like it's required to go into the cave. Uh, that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the early game. If you haven't been into a cave yet, how do you even make a village? Uh, the answer is quite easily, clearly. Um, your inventory makes me die inside, says Dr. Phil. Look, I have like seven slots available now. How many more can a person even have? Like, is it even possible to go above that many slots? I don't think so. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to, I'm excited to make this enchantment table. And then I can, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm so close to be able to just like having max level enchants too. So that's, that's going to be cool. And then I, I genuinely might be able to consider fighting the wither before the stream's over. Okay, this isn't good for the horse. This isn't good for the horse at all. Um, yeah, I, I kind of don't like... Oh, man. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, let's let's get the horse out of this. Oh, gosh. I'm now freezing to death, too. Okay. No, stop punching the horse. That's not what I want. You know it's not what I want, Minecraft. You know what's happening here? Uh Okay, so... Oh, man. That was a good horse. I really liked that horse, Minecraft. I'm disappointed in you. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Actually, no, I'm, I'm mad and I'm disappointed. Um, yeah, it's such a needless death. <laughs> uh, you know, I would argue such a needless hazard. But that's okay. Um, we can put some leather boots on or something now. But in honor of my horse, I shall not. Uh, everyone, ev ev F in chats for the horse. Make sure you pay your respects uh, as best you can. It's 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 very important that you do that. Okay, so... Man, I, I think going over this was not the smart decision to make. It felt like it was, but I think it was not. Okay, we're at the top now. Ooh, there's some iron up here and some coal. I do need the coal, actually. Like, I'd rather get fortune first. Yeah, I think I'll get fortune first before I really go crazy in this place. We'll just pick up a few while we're here, you know? And then we'll get, like, a stack of coal, because I've already got some blocks of coal, so might as well. At least you didn't die, Toy Cat. It's true. I did not die. That is good news. Or is it? Um... Yeah, I, uh... Oh man, look how much iron there is here. It's just, it's ludicrous, the amount. We definitely, yeah, once we get a fortune pickaxe, we can start going wild on these villager trades. Because even right now, like, every four blocks we mine is an emerald. Plus, it's getting us into diamond levels. Oh, I should not be digging down there. A little bit of a risky one. It all works out, though. And it's given me some experience that I can use to enchant to get the very fortune that I'm looking for. Um, man, yeah, look at it. Just, it's so much. There was a ruined portal just around this bend. I think. It was definitely, maybe it was over that mountain, actually. 
If so, then oops. Uh, the horse saved you, and it was what he wanted was to make your day. I do not like snowy or snow. Yeah, I, I really feel like the the snow... The snow just isn't a fun gameplay mechanic to me. Um, I, I imagine if you're a new Minecraft player, it might work quite well to be like, whoa, snow is scary. You could just fall through it sometimes. Um, and, you know, like, maybe there's something to that. But for me, it's just like, oh yeah, there is some terrain you can't really explore without everything going awfully for you. It's fun. Yeah, it's Minecraft. But, you know, I, I think, uh... I think everything in Minecraft has a double-edged sword to it. Poor horse, your heart may have died, but at least you didn't. Exactly. And now I have an excuse to eat a golden apple before going to the nether. Because I've got exactly the amount that would heal. And then I'll have the two hearts for, you know, dumb ghast things that'll happen. We all know dumb ghast things will happen, so let's... Mentally be prepared for it. So yeah, we could actually light this portal as well, depending on the distance from our base that it is. Um... But yeah, we're mostly just here to take the lava. Actually, let's 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 fill it fill it up first. Um, it's literally two blocks, so remove this one. Uh, it takes a bit longer than I was expecting. Okay, maybe grab that block, maybe don't. Um, then move a lava into there, put the water there, and we're good. Okay, so now we're just missing this one block here. Very easy to fix. Lava there. We have to be real quick with this peppering in the water, and it's gone. Okay, now the rest of this lava is destined to be obsidian that we're going to take home with us. We could just take one to make an enchantment table, but if we take ten, we can make a full portal too. Um, a bowl is just a wooden bucket. It's true. Can you craft calcite? You cannot. I'm going to build something out of calcite today, actually. If I'm coming up to these mountains to mine iron anyway, let's, let's take some calcite and let's make a calcite something. A calcite wool? You can make calcite walls, probably, right? No, I bet you can't. I bet because they're new. Minecraft forgot to make walls for them. Um, so, you can't make calcite. I mean, if yeah, if, if you can't make walls out of calcite, it wouldn't be exciting. It might be like a fun base block to then put some fences between, maybe. Calcite desert well. Now we're talking Ian's natural ketchup. Now we're talking. So we only need 11 of this, technically. Because um, we've already got three in our inventory. Oh, no, wait. That means we need 14. Yeah, these are the three plus the ones in mind. Um, I uh, calcite cow farm because calcium. You're not know, Dr. Phil, you're making a very good point. The cow farm should have a bunch of calcite around it. You know, what? let's just let's make all of our buildings based on dumb word associations. <laughs> that seems like a good idea to me. Also, I think I'm going to end up with one obsidian short and have to gut this portal anyway. Now I'll be able to just, I'll make obsidian myself, because I can, I've got lava things back there. Should I need that that bad? Yeah, there we go. So we are one short, but there's no problem with it. Take the cobblestone back with us. And there we go. We'll put the magma away. You know, just a few dumb things can go in here. Oh, there was a obsidian in this chest all along. Did I know about that? Did I somehow not? <laughs> well, that's useful to know much later as well. Yeah, we'll definitely come back here with a uh, fortune pickaxe, pick up the calcite, pick up all the iron ore. We'll have a good day trading. Very good day trading. Um, calcite is weak diorite, really. Challenge for your flat world, make a desert well up every block that has slabs available. Yeah, no, that would be a fun one. I, uh, I do like that idea. Honestly, I need to stream the flat world again. It's been a while. I'm just like... I'm so like, there's this problem that always happens where I'm like, I need to make sure it's got something interesting happening so we're not just waiting for Thunder. I've assumed that Thunder would come for like 20 episodes in a row now, and I can't do that anymore. But it needs to be something that's not so important that if Thunder comes, I'd be disappointed. And then finding that balance is like hard. Don't you want the gold armor? I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. It doesn't need the corners, says Pookie Hams. Uh, the other four is for the enchantment table. I mean, you know, also, excuse you, it doesn't need the corners. Do you use poor man's nether portals? Are you are you admitting to being poor in Minecraft right now? Because if so, you know, that's brave. Not, not, not just anyone would do that. Okay, let's, um... Honestly, I, I just love this view of my village. Like, it's so nice seeing it from this distance. It's, it's great to come home to every day. 
Um, I'm gonna eat a golden carrot now, even though I want the golden apple before I go to the nether. Just just so we have full health and it looks good. Hey, we're now on the max amount of numbers you can show with binary, the, with five digits of binary, I think. That's exciting, internet. Five, we're, we're at half a Minecraft stack. That's right, half a Minecraft stack. Um, are you playing on Xbox? I am not playing on Xbox. I tried. I genuinely, I thought it would be smarter because I'm worried my PC will crash and something weird will happen to the world. I'm like, I'm a little bit scared about that. Um, but if you want to see why I, oh, this is scary. Um, just so we can make this jump and feel safe. See, it's just, just a little bit of safety. Oh, wait, give me that back. See, there's a few safety decisions I'm starting to make. Hope you're appreciating them, chat. Hi, hi, Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve to you too. In just seven hours, it will be real people Christmas. Um, I changed the direct texture because I don't like it. If you change everything you don't like, then you have a better world. But then you then you'll then you'll dislike it more maybe. Okay, let's um we do have fourteen obsidian, but let's like save ourselves some. Uh, I think we want to make our portal down a little bit off to the side just for safety, right? So here, yeah, we'll, we'll make a nice box for it later. Um, for now, we'll just like, I definitely like the idea of like raised up something to get to it. So block here, block here, and then, then there'll be obsidian around here. And actually, we'll go one more block up. This will be the base of the portal. You know, I love a, a, a nice little staircase. Um, so one, two, buckle my shoe. Um, yeah, so then we'll place a cobble block over there. And we'll go grab two lavas. It's going to go down the hill, so it's not going to be a problem for me. And this is just so I can keep a couple more obsidian. I don't even know what I'm going to use them for. I just I just know that I would vaguely like to keep some. So, one. And then we'll get rid of the water on the other one. Oh, look, you can see from the side texture whether, the, whether there's lava in there or not. Like, no lava, lava. That's so interesting. I've never bothered looking. I've never bothered looking. Are you regretting the stream yet? So many hours to go. No, I'm, I'm, I'm like, to, to get myself ready for something like this, I had to be like, you need to be not ready, assuming that you will go 100 days. Like, in 12 hours from now, I think I'll be finished. Um, I hope I'll be finished. <laughs> Let's see what the progress, okay, we're, we're at uh, five hours, 40 minutes. And we're on day 32. Yeah, that's that's predicting a finish at about 12 hours, 12, 12 hours, 20 minutes from now, um, which is actually quite concerning. Um, and that's gonna be crazy. You know, the tiredness is gonna be real, but um, you know, I, that's the, the challenge is part of what makes it quite enticing, maybe. Um, yeah, we got we got a portal now, by the way. And I'll just I'll make this staircase a little nicer, a little more rounded. Later, I'm gonna build a big box around this, maybe calcite, maybe. Okay, if we go into the Nether and it's hot there, we would like cold blocks. So we'll build like an ice. Oh, yeah, let's get silk touch and let's build like an ice box around the portal. Will you be finished, chats? Uh, let's manifest. You will be finished. All oh, right, you. Yeah, no. I, if if it's twelve hours in, tell twelve extra hours in, and I'm like. Oh, it's just day 90 because I made some mistake in the never. It will just, it will break me emotionally in a way. Uh, I, I mean, if you want to see a person be broken, make sure to hang out for 12 more hours. So yeah, in six hours, we have to re you the stream internet. Please do remember that. It is an important fact. Also, we've lost our horse, but I think it's worth just take, taking an average horse from around the world somewhere. I really liked my horse. It's such a, such a waste of a horse. Such a waste, you know. It was a it was a good horse. He he got me places that I wanted to go, which is most of what being a horse is, honestly. Um, and then we just grabbed one more book because we put those away, and we can make an enchantment table. See, we're gonna make an enchanting room too. We got a lot of rooms we gotta build. Maybe the enchantment table could go in the the icy building, or maybe not. I'm not too sure. 
Um, yeah, I guess the enchantment table should be like a... Yeah, I'll, I'll make one of these rooms into that, actually. Maybe this house. It's got, like, water. So if we remove these trap doors, and then we just... Nah, it's not going to work. It's not enough space in there. Um, oh, look, he's going to bed. I I think just, like, here, on this ground, in the middle of everything, have an enchantment table. No, I, I think it's... I think my stuff needs to be distinctly separated from the village stuff. So I think... I think over here will be real nice. I'll put some bookshelves around it. It'll be wonderful. Uh, we'll have to terraform the terrain a tiny bit, probably. But that's, that's a-okay. Let's just grab some dirt. Stack it up. And this is where my enchantment table will go. And then later it'll all make sense with the dirt around it, etc. But look at that, yeah. Just two blocks there as well. And then... Because we're gonna have we have to have bookshelves over here as well, and then we have to have bookshelves over here. So we got the we got the placements for the bookshelves. We got a way to walk over to it. Everything's looking good as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, wonderful. This is this is perfect. This is exactly what I need. Or we could even build the floor out for something different. But this is this is going to be where my enchantment table goes. Maybe we build it out for like um, again if we have silk touch anyway because we're trying to get that. Maybe we could build, um, we could build a, uh, nope, forgot what I was going to say. Something cool and magical. Oh, wait, no, build out of mushroom blocks. Yeah, if we get silk touch, we'll make some mushroom blocks. I want to build out those. I really liked the desert temple I made in the super flat world. So it'd be fun to make something like that again. Also, it's my hobby's first Christmas. He's also Welsh. Toy cat tax, lobster rolls, and jet ski funds. Loving the references. Oh, happy- oh wait, you're in New Zealand. Oi, happy Christmas to you, mate. Yeah, that's my New Zealand. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I did a really good job. I hope you agree. Just say the word bloody a few times as well. You know, just mix in some Britishism, but like in a funny accent. And then we'll be- we'll be there, I think. No, I, uh, I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas. It's, uh, I'm- you know, proud of you for having a hobby. And not not mentioning it everywhere you go all the time. No, I, I, I'm just gonna be randomly um, enchanting in the dirt. Stay classy, toy cat. I'm think I think it's a classy way to do it. I think it's perfectly classy. I think you're not classy if you don't see how classy it is. And that's my that's my opinion on class. Um, so yeah, we've got our armor sorted. We've got everything sorted. We just have to go. Also, I guess we should. Um, we should do something. Yeah, we should do something. At some point, something should happen. That's my, that's my crazy opinion. No, we, we okay. Let's do another inventory clean. Like really, let's like really try now. Um, I've got Nevrak apparently. Yeah, this this chest needs to expand desperately. In fact, let's just do that now. Let's uh, combine these two blocks together, make a chest. Now the chest goes over there. Just need to have one more furnace because apparently every chest needs a furnace. And it'll be good. Um, and then we can put the dirt away. And we can put the obsidian. No. I think the bow is going to stay. And I'm going to grab the arrows. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see a ghast that I'm going to want to kill. And I want to do it the less painful way. If I can. Um, yeah, we're, we're ready to go into that. We are just about to go to the nether. And it's a little scary. But it's how it's gotta be. Okay, so I'm just gonna, just just since this is my all day stream, and I'm doing nothing else today, need to need to tweet it. Gotta, gotta let people know. Okay, um, I'll I'll take a screenshot actually. Okay, what day are we on, Internet? We're on day 32. Are we on day 32? It feels like 33. I'm just gonna take a little little screenshot, post it to Twitter. Um. Just so people know I'm about to go to the nether. If, if it ends, I at least want people to see my tragic doom. Uh, nether. Okay, so now we just take the link to this stream. Uh, and by the way, thank you very much, Spencer Graham, for becoming a member. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, we have to wait for it to... You'll see it soon. Don't worry. It'll be, it'll be soon. Okay, so... I am on... Day 33 out of 100 in my 17 hour stream. 
about to go into this place. Okay, nice. And we'll just take a little, little screenshot and we'll, sh we'll share that in there and it'll be good. Nice. Okay, so um, it's funny to think about cheeseburgers are made of cow and cow food. <laughs> is cheese cow food to you? Um, I guess bread is cow food, maybe. Okay, so let's do this internet. Let's light the portal. Okay, it's spooky. It's very spooky. Just a reminder, we can instantly die on the other side if Minecraft wills it. If they will it, it will happen. Uh, there's nothing you can do if you spawn into a bunch of lava. Um, I mean, you can stay in the portal. That's that's the best you can hope for. But sometimes the game just bugs out and it's like, sorry, you're dead now. And ultra hardcore, you know what that means for us? We're dead forever. I'm going to eat a golden apple just before I go in. Because now the absorption is going to help me out a little bit. Let's go in, though. Let's see how this is. Okay. It's going to be good. Okay, no chat till he's out for the never. Oh, God. This is a horrendous spawn. Oh, dear God. Oh, okay. I'm trapped. Okay, I didn't want to do that. That wasn't good for me. Um, we'll just go back in. It's fine. Thank you very much, by the way, for the tip. Never thought you'd get this far. Proud of you, Internet Catman. I am proud of me too. I think this is a good sign for my survivaling abilities that I am clearly picking up from... I mean, like, really I should be much better at not dying. You know, if I, 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 I do a lot of, a lot of things like speedrunning and whatnot that should, should be reliant around not dying. But they're all about, like, risk juggling more than anything else. Um, so yeah, we'll just, we'll just make the portal go this way a bunch. And then we'll take it round a corner. Um, again, we have to we have to really be cautious about skeletons. So I, I think having a door or something seems overkill, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna place down a genuine door, uh, a spruce door too. I mean, I'd like to see through the door ideally, but um, you know that phrase about beggars and choosers. Um, get to just make make one of these. Or three of these, I guess. That's triple the safety. That's triple the safety right there. Um, and now we got a little nether house. Isn't this cute? Okay. Um, and then we'll make a little hallway out here. And we'll have like another... Just, you know, more fail safes is better than fewer fail safes. Okay, so just build all the way along here. We'll build this one with a free high ceiling, actually. And, uh, yeah, it's a lot of cobbled deep slate, but I got a ton of this, so not so stressed about it. Um, place another door over there. Place a couple blocks here. Oh, Christ! Did I, when did I lose my absorption? Okay. So, uh, good news is I'm alive. Bad news is he walked right past that. Okay. So we got, how long, how, how much my shield got on it? You wanna you wanna fight too? Yeah, we can fight. It's fine. Just keep on hanging around the area. It's all good. I got time. You can you can do this. I believe in you, man. Okay. Yeah, we got him. So that ghast is gonna be a problem for me. Unless there we go. Perfect. He's gone. Uh, I think the power was really what did that for me. That was amazing. Um. This, this place still isn't secure enough for my liking. So we'll have to like, we'll have to use something. I guess if we use wood, we use wood. It sucks, but it technically does the job. Um, and there we go. Now we got a door and we can walk out. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Um, so we're at 500, oh wow, is that another fortress right there? I think that is. I think, I, I am, oh yeah, this is, this is gonna be painful to get there. I wait. Torches work in the Nether. I don't know to what effectiveness, but they work some amount, right? They will stop mobs from spawning. Also, why don't I have a weapon? I keep looking in my inventory like I'm gonna find one, and then I just keep not finding one. I guess I should use the pickaxe. Um. Yeah, I guess so. Can you guys keep dealing with each other? I'll just I'll just place some torches while you do. Okay. Or you could finish each other. That's fine too. 
Um, you wanna you wanna charge at me? That's okay. Let's just there we go. Perfect. So I'm gonna I'm gonna place a nice sea of torches on the. Oh man, yeah. This their distances on these arrows. It's really really brutal. Cause on hard they've got more accuracy. So it's just like yes, you will get hurt. It will suck. Sorry about that, by the way. I think it's time to use a golden apple. I think it's extra time to use a gold. See, I mean, you gotta give my intuition some credit right now. Um, get, oh man, really? That that was enough of a gap of my shield. Okay, apparently it was. Yeah, I gotta I gotta get out of here. Torches won't stop ghasts from spawning. I've learned. Yeah, it makes sense. They won't stop ghasts. I guess. Um, that does add up to me. Let's get out of here. Um, we'll bring some more blocks. Um, and we'll eat a golden apple just before we go back in. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of lot of HP loss. But I, I would like potions quite badly. I think having potions would be very cool. And I'm willing to go for a bit of risk to get them. Uh, and obviously, again, we can minimize our risk by just minimizing our damage, I guess. Also, should we just make a sword? I, I could go straight for diamond, but I think I'm gonna buy the iron sword from the guy. You know the guy. I've got that one guy. He'll it, it, do it for me. Also, um, I think let's finally also let these guys out. No, actually, okay, wait, what, what time is it? We got four, four minutes left in this day. We, we just, we're gonna rush in, rush out, it's gonna be great. I don't need this stone pickaxe at all. I'm gonna replace this with the, I'm just gonna make an iron sword. I, it's not the world's greatest tool, but it's a tool. Actually, a, a, a diamond sword might save my life. And I do have two diamonds just sitting around. What am I gonna do with the two diamonds otherwise? Make a jukebox, Never mind. I want a jukebox. If I find pigstep and I don't have diamonds, it's gonna be tragic. It's gonna be life-endingly tragic. So we're just gonna make sure we have a full stack of that. And then we're going to replace our water bucket with Cobble Deep Slate. Let's eat the gold apple now, just in case something tragic happens on the other end. And let's do this. Um, also, um, oh, Lixalik, thank you very much for the five gifted members. I didn't even see that. It didn't show up on the uh, the thing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Stream this is the time to giving. As uh, it's clearly the message from that. Um, so let's just uh, replace the water bucket with this. And place a bunch more blocks. Just a fun remind. Oh man, that was exactly what I was thinking. Like, could that happen? So he can't get me apparently. So we get. So just place all the blocks there. Have to place one of those as well. And then we'll kind of like widen out diagonally slowly in such a way. Okay, perfect. Um. Yeah, skeletons are just such a nightmarish mob for this sort of a thing. Um, but they're what we have, apparently. So yeah, just build build out a wall so that they can't attack from an angle we don't see them at. That's my first line of thought. Obviously, keep on placing torches. Uh, apparently, they work somewhat. Um, and then, oh man. Okay, we're still fine. Okay, so now we just climb up slowly until we can hit the skeleton in his own face. Ooh. Um, yeah, just over the edge you go. Thank you. Because that ghast is... Ooh, that ghast is a big problem. Careful, Toy Cat. Good luck. Yeah, I need I need the good luck. I can... Okay, I need the good luck. I need a lot of the good luck. This just isn't going to work for me. I want it to work for me. I really do. But it's not going to. I can't. I can't close this. Ah. <laughs> okay. So double double safety never doors. We have at. We're so close to the never fortress, but clearly at the same time so far. Maybe okay. If we just ignore this whole place and dive under. Be again. careful, toy cat. Good luck. Thank you, Corcor08. I do need the good luck. Uh, tunnel. Yeah, that's what you'd want to do ideally. I think that's what I'm gonna do when I hit that wall ahead of me. It's just tunnel out in front of it instead. Okay, well we're almost ready to make a um, enchantment to, uh, to make a set of bookshelves now. 
we've got the wood, we've got some of the books. Um, but yeah, we let, let's 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 deal with some overworld stuff and go back in fully healed up. I think that's where we have to take this. So I do have my bowl. I can make my suspicious stew. In fact, let's just make more at a time. Let's uh It's it's a shame how many bowls I lost. I really thought I had two in here. Wait, chat, do I have bowls in here? No, I don't have any bowls in here. So we're gonna have to make some bowls. Everyone loves bowls. And we'll just make suspicious stew by the five. Or by the four in this case. Um four of them. Four of them. And four of them. That makes four sets of suspicious stew. We'll put three of them away temporarily. And yeah, we're gonna be good for a while with that. When we get hungry, we eat some suspicious stew. Then the next time we go to the nether, that plus a golden apple puts us in a good position. Whew. Um, there aren't even any piglins to try and trade with. Uh, and without Saucy's boots, it's really hard. Yeah, mostly like going through it fast wouldn't solve most of my problems. That's the biggest problem that I have. Um, I'll see, I think I have to stretch my legs again soon. Have you considered organizing your chest, Toy Cat? I've literally never considered it. I I didn't even know that you could organize chests in Minecraft. What would that look like? I don't even know. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna grab some wheat. I don't know why I'm having like such a hard, like whenever it involves going into the chest, I just look at the chest and I go, oh. <laughs> Maybe I should make a chest chest. Um, it's a classic build. It's very crucial. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's take our wheat, and we're gonna have to get all the cows back in as soon as we get them out. So first of all, is this a weaponsmith in there? I see. That is a weaponsmith, and I have three of those. I need three of those. So now we just break a way out. Yeah, all the villagers need to come out right now. Okay, so come on, come on, guys. I, I appreciate. Okay, there's a sheep in there too. You know, this 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 cow farm needed some organizing. Um, okay, so all the villagers are getting out now. And then once they're done, we'll put all the cows back in. And we'll put some measure in place that stops villagers from doing this. Or we'll just move the stairs so that they can't. I think that makes more sense. It was very smart as an idea to put the, the, the stairs there until you realize that villagers are less smart than cows. At which point it becomes a very bad idea. So if you guys could just, uh, all my cows are kind of getting loose right now. If you could just leave the area, please, please. Yeah, there we go. And now I can put my fence back. Okay, so, um, yeah, moving. Okay, cows, do you see my wheat? You see it? You wanna come in here? Don't move, don't, no, 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 no. Okay, now now the village is gonna get pushed by it. Okay, get away from here, guys, get away. You, you've got, you got things to do, places to be, I understand. Could you go to those places, do those things? Let's get the cows in, okay. So we're also gonna break this, because we're just gonna put carpet down or something. All the cows, all of them, all of you, come in here. What's the like highest density we can pack in before we have to rely on like something crazy? Because I can't actually place my fence back down. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Okay, just, just, in, in we go. No, okay, only two. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly hard to do. Okay, only one cow. Only one cow in by the time we put our fence back. So now we'll just uh, we'll put a, uh, a stairs down. Um, did we sleep and miss 34, by the way? Did we? I think I did. I, uh, yeah, maybe. I, I might be going crazy. This. I mean, honestly, when you're organizing this many cows, you're going to go crazy. But I think I'm going especially crazy right now. Um, and then I'll place a stair block here. No, I guess I can't. There we go. And now we can get cows in. And then we'll move the stairs out of the way. Cows, 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 cows. I like that they come in one by one. That's pretty cute. And then we'll just... No, 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 villager. I swear to God, villager, if you are this emotionally handicapped, you should not be... Uh, yes, we did miss day 34. Okay. Welcome to day 34. Maybe... I don't know at this point. I'm very lost. I'm very, I think staring at a screen for six hours has put me in a, put me in a confusing place. Yeah, it definitely is 34, right? Uh, even I'm smarter than villagers and that's saying something. 
Mm. You know, is it saying something? Mm. Or are you actually a very mm. intelligent human being? Mm. And that you being smarter than a villager is actually quite predictable because of, you know, I'm not going to do this to you. You know, I'll let, I'll let you take the, the self the self burn. If you want a self burn, you deserve a self burn. Mm. Um, I'm going to try and move the cow over into here now. Yeah, we go. See, that's that's something. More, more cows. And then we'll just breed them. Let the rest of them go. Oh, there we go. Another one's coming in. And then we're going to put some... Uh, we're going to move the stair back. A oh, wait. That's... That's a bit annoying. Uh, we're going to put some fen some carpets on there soon. As soon as I can, I'll make it happen. Um, it's 33. At minimum, it's 34, lol. I... You know, I'm... I, I'm more than slightly confused. I... We need a day. Who needs a day counter? We have big salmon. Yeah, it might be worth. Uh, you know, we'll just as like as long as as long as big salmon is watching with their big salmon eyes, we'll, we'll be fine from here on out. I think. Okay, so cobble deep slate. Need some more of that. Um, sad delay. We need to just put that away. Sugar cane. We got spaces for it. Um. Yeah, bowl, put it away. Grab another suspicious stew. Oh, I've already got a suspicious stew. I've got five suspicious stews. Put that in the hot bar, ready for when we next need to eat it. 59 months, wow. Wow, yeah, haunting zombie. Man, that, that is a lot of years. I'm glad you're doing well, man. I'm glad you're doing well. Desert well, maybe even potentially, perhaps. Okay, now I'm going to sell this guy some coal. Because coal is good. And then, uh, I, actually, no. We need to. We need to start making our new villages. Uh, I so I need some. I need some oak wood for this. I could use spruce wood, but I'm gonna try and stick to the village. Actually, should I try and stick to the village? It might be fun to have like it transition from oak wood into uh, spruce wood. Hey, yeah, let's do it. Let's let's make the very poorly informed decision to just do that. So this is gonna be the transition point. So we'll have like half of both blocks there. And then that means over here is going to be just spruce. And then from there we have a block there and we have some doors. So then there's like two of those doors. And then after those two doors, there's one of those. And then and then it goes like up a bunch from, from here, but it's over the edge. So we'll just like start there maybe. There we go. Yeah, plen plenty of goodness. Then we'll make some uh, spruce planks. And we'll have the floor like transition from this to that. So, yeah, clearly it has to go here, as well as having to go over here. I think these blocks went one too early, actually. No, there's just not meant to be a block there, that's why. And then this is meant to be the outside rather than the inside. So then we have a bunch of blocks going over here. Uh, I don't know why my axe is. Yeah, my, my inventory is getting more and more crazy, but it's gonna be good. I'm gonna work it out. Uh, then we break these two because there's gonna be doors there. Yeah, nice. Um, place a ton of blocks all the way around here. So there's meant to be a one block walkway and then that block. So we've got to go back a whole extra block past this. Uh, would you recommend the challenge you are doing? I think playing any game for an endurance session is something that's fun if you've got the time, right? Do I actually have the time is a more interesting question. Uh, but I'm having fun with it. I'm having fun with it, and that's that's the bit that I think is important. But I mean, that's what I would say is important if I was. So I'm gonna, I'm also gonna have to move this back a block, I think, over there. So now there's gonna be an, a kind of unutilized corner here, but I think that's fine. And then we'll put our blast furnace down there, another lectern down, and just slowly start to create more villages. Do we have enough villages? Hopefully. Uh, once, once we do have them all locked in and locked down, then we can start um, putting down more cauldrons and stuff. Okay, easy. So, lectern over here. It feels a bit blocked too early or something, but it's fine. Second blast furnace here. I guess we're going for, like, symmetry at this point. Um, and then we don't really need a second toolsmith. We don't really need a second this guy, because he will eventually buy stuff again. And yeah, we got all the villagers we need for where we're going, basically. Nice. What I like to see. 
Now I'm going to uh, put some cobblestone around. I guess I'll use deep slate for this. I think that I think that'll look better anyway. Like, be a more interesting contrast. So let's find a crafting table. Don't have one. Let's make one. Always need crafting tables in Minecraft. That's that's the you know it's literally called Minecraft. Um, and let's make some of these that go like just in front of the entrance, but then the side ones go like sideways. See, look at that. So 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 perfectly beautiful. And then after that, there's like a block of just the, the thing itself. I'm, I'm learning how to make a villager house from scratch right here. Um, this guy is gonna get nice and locked in behind his block. So you see how you're an armorer? Oh, no, 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 okay. I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try and save him from this. There we go. So one, two, one, two, and then a block over his head. I do need to make sure he doesn't fall backwards. What blocks do we use for the rear of this? I think it's just, let me let me go find out. So it is, oh, there's the same wood pattern behind. So we just have to do this, but over there. Is it perfectly lined up with the one on the front? It is, so that's, that's easy enough to do. So there should be some blocks over here. And then there should be a block to the side of that over here. That doesn't actually keep him in place, damn it. <laughs> Oh no, this this is a block lower down, so. Um there's a block back there. Now he's safe. See, look at that. I am I am doing beautiful things right now. And then we do the same over here. We have a block of something. And then one, two, and then a block of something. Yeah, and now that'll keep another villager kept in place, maybe. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Um I like the idea of a crafting table counter. Um, yeah, I, uh, can we get a separate counter of how many crafting tables you've made? I uh, Honestly, that's what we need to have soon, right? We're going to need to have a ton of crafting tables. IBX Toy Cat, do you like polished diorite to build with? Don't we all like polished diorite to build with? Is it not the most beautiful block that Minecraft has available? It's a trick question. We all know the answer is yes. Okay, a block goes there, a block goes probably down there as well, actually. <laughs> block goes here, block goes here. We'll put, we'll put a couple of spruce doors up there. And then we'll just put some stuff over here. And we won't think about how the two houses are gonna interact. We'll just kind of leave this one be. Yeah, I think, I think there's some good potential that we're building out here. So now we'll make some spruce stairs, just some basic ones, not, not many, just some. And we're gonna put those out here on the front. Yeah, I, th these should be not that. These should be wood, I think. Um, okay, yeah. Easy. Okay, this the, we've got some librarians, but I don't want to lock them in yet, by the way. Like I said, I just want to give them a bit more space before we do that. And uh, yeah, we get one villager there, one villager there, and then that's the end of it. So now we got to duplicate the same thing we've done, but over there. It's two side things so like that and then like this yep very nice very good keeping villagers contained and not falling out if nothing else and then this is gonna have some cobble deep slate there presumably a lot more cobble deep slate behind we don't need to worry about walls and doors and stuff just place that there and I know maybe over here as well I think this should this should be a window but we're lazy um, this should be all cool stone a cobbled deep slate. And then this should be that too. Now we're gonna use our our little stair blocks. See it's look it's looking good, right, chat? It's looking very good. It's looking it's looking exactly how it should. Um now we just place our stairs in a exactly counter method. So um there's a stairs over here. Nice. And then we have like backward stairs coming off of that but they're upside down, ooh, see? Yeah, and then it'll meet at a perfect point in that corner. And so then this block, which is in the middle of the two, is gonna use some oak and some spruce. So spruce, and then like oak, and then spruce, and then oak. So I'll just chop, I'll take this for now. Spruce, oak, spruce, and then, yeah, that, perfect. Look at this, look at the, look at the beauty that we are making here, chat. Can you believe it? Can you believe this used to be uh, a an, an, an nothing void. Yeah, and then we'll have cobblestone over there. 
It's all looking good as far as I'm concerned. Peak Toycat is a peak master Minecraft builder. I mean, I didn't want to say it myself, but it is very much true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, already you can see. You can see the beauty that is coming. And you, you don't know what to do about it, right? I've seen that house in a fever dream. <laughs> it does look like the expert version of that house. That's like where you begin. This is this is where the masters do it. Okay, so um, I'm now gonna I'm now gonna uh, probably work on the enchantment table. So we need some books, a lot more books than we have right now. We could kill some cows. We should just kill some cows. I mean, I need more of them before I start doing that. Really. Um, but yeah, then we need to. Oh, okay. You know what? We'll kill you. You're outside already. Having a looting sword would be nice for this situation. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, and uh, yeah, we should we should do some basic enchantments for my gear. Like I think I want to really enchant my chest plate. Actually, no, we're gonna max enchant everything we can. Maximum enchanting, it's the way to do things. Ever worry the village is gonna unionize? That's why you keep them in their own boxes so they can't they can't speak to each other. Can't be having none of those dodgy union conversations around me. Oh, what's that? Collective bargaining? More like collective suffering. Uh, I just, you know, keep saying catchy things like that till they get the point. That they're, you know, they're enslaved and it's kind of their problem to deal with. And then you have a much happier life with your village. So I'm gonna make a bunch of bookshelves now. I don't know precisely how many a bunch really ends up being, but apparently six. Um, and then we can start making some mid-level enchantments. So... One, two, three, four, five, six. So what can we enchant right now? We could get a sword to unbreaking two, or smite two. Smite two's nice. Actually, for the, for the skeletons and the... The problem is that the skeletons are doing too much damage. It's not that I, I can't do damage to them. It's that they do damage to me, and then I get scared. So that's what we really need to fix. Um, yeah, I, uh, that house has a surplus number of crosses in it. Is it the Church of the Wither? <laughs> as long as the crosses aren't upside down, I, I, uh, I think I can, man, it's, it's still such a funny thing. That was like such a basic joke of like, oh yeah, you should just build a church to Satan. It's like a tiny joke from however long ago. And I guess I just forgot that there's still big parts of the world that are religious and don't see that as a joke but see that as a bad omen or whatever. I learned my lesson from the Let's Play. I learned a valuable lesson that there are people who believe, you know, there, there are people who believe in lots of things. Uh, and some of those people uh, are very mad about the things they believe in. Just remember that. Lots of people are very mad about things they believe in. Okay, so I think I'm gonna finally make the step, make the change here of, um, Actually, wait, where is my, where's my farming guy? This is, this is why they need to be locked away. Nice and easily findable any time of day. Oh, that was a rhyme. Sell some stuff to him. Just clear out of space. Um, I think we need to go on a horse journey to get books, like I already said. Honestly, if we went, if we found the stronghold, that's the best place to find books. But, you know, if we're being realistic of ourselves, maybe the stronghold isn't where we're going. Um... So maybe instead we put our coal away, we put our sugarcane away, our paper away, our single book away. Um, you can put some of this away. Just like, ugh. Let's, should we go to the nether or should we go find some books, chat? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this be your decision. Also, th these are all my cows that have just gone loose. I'm sorry. It's very frustrating for me too that you've gone loose. I would like it if you went back where you came from. And by that, I mean in my house. Um, where he hasn't died within 30 seconds of me tuning in. That's good, right? Says Jerry Monkey. You know what would be better? Is if I don't die within 30 minutes of you tuning in. No, it's... Uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with the progress we've made in this world so far. I'm feeling good about the next 30-something days. Uh... Books, less chance of dying. So cats, cows are an invasive species. <laughs> you know, you're right about the less chance of dying for the books. Yeah, I think I think raiding a village for them is probably our best bet. I remember that one earlier we had. Um, we should go aim for that. That's my official estimation. 
So let's put our raw beef in here. I can't believe I only got five raw beef. Um, put my lever in here. That's enough for one bookshelf. And let's go grab the saddle. And let's go find a horse. I remember I, I left one over there somewhere. Do I have my bed on me? I do still have my bed on me. Also, I've got 12 snowballs on me. Shall I use those? Um, yeah, I think... Uh, I remember leaving a horse somewhere over there. So I, that's going to be my guiding light. Is that there is a... The vague notion of horse exists. Uh, I should probably also change out my suspicious too. Yeah, also if I... I think I have a horse... Um, there was a horse in the village that was over there. So if I, went, if I go that direction... I can guarantee another horse. Um, every 1800 seconds, 30 minutes passes. That is factually correct, probably. Okay, let's grab another suspicious stew. Let's pour out this bucket and replace it with some lava. Is this already lavaed up? Yes, it is. Um, okay, how are we going to deal with that? We're just going to make another water hole. Yes, we are. Just right here. Lovely water hole. Um, and now we can start burning this. And then we can go back and we can grab this lava. And we can cook up our meat. Is it wasteful to use a whole lava bucket for five raw beef? No, it is not. I think you'll find. Gear up. Yeah, if I enchanted my gear, I'd feel a little bit better. But I don't think I'm doing anything too dangerous, so. Otherwise, I would go full let's enchant mode. Um, but I need, yeah, I need bookshelves to get the high level enchantments for this, but also so I get high level enchantments for my gear. Like these protection four boots are nice, but I don't think they're doing enough by themselves. I'm very vulnerable to everything still, and I would like it if I is if that was not the case. I would like to be not vulnerable. That's what they always say about vulnerability. Try not to do it. That's, uh, that's I believe what what they say. You never think you're doing anything too dangerous, says Fix Hand. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong about that, are you? You're not wrong about that. Um, I mean, to be fair, like I've been I've been playing for uh, six and six six hours, twenty minutes now. Have I died once? Have I died a single time? You know, tell me if you think I have, but oh. I I believe that I have not, oh. and so. Therefore, I must I must be good at not making danger. Oh no! Oops. Okay, I'm running out of food now. I got I got some chocolate and orange seeds to eat. Orange flavored cranberries, golden raisins, chocolate pumpkins, seeds, and pumpkin seeds. So this is this is where this is my last food for the for the next 12 hours. Um, might run into some issues of that actually. Might run into some issues, but we'll deal with those issues when we when we get to them. Um, did I did I add to the day counter chat? I don't know if I did. I hope I did. I yeah, my memory is definitely getting shorter. For like it's like a it's like um it's like not knowing if you've turned off the oven. It's not something you store to your brain because why would you? I'm doing it every day. Um. Is uh is the no Star Wars sincerely a rule? No religion, no politics, no Star Wars. Don't, don't, don't you be asking about the rule as a way to circumvent the rule. Um, you know, those are all the divisive subjects where no one ever gets anything done. We just, everyone just get mad. People just get mad at each other when they talk about it. So you don't talk about them. Easy way to circumvent. You did. Okay, wonderful. That's good to hear. Whew. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and drink a lot of water. That'll be good for my stomach. Should be snacking on Carolina Reapers. Sorry for reminding you of the trauma. I wish that my response to the Carolina Reapers was, wow, now my body has dealt with the worst. It can deal with anything. But instead it's, oh yeah, now that your body has dealt with the worst, everything will continue to suck for a very long time. Oh god. Okay, I've got, I've got suspicious too. I'm fine anyway. Um, by the way, 23 minutes away from you not dying within 30 minutes of me tuning in. Well, we have to keep going, Jerry Monkey. It's it's all about that stat. It's all about your how long you've been tuned in for. Um, I never get mad about those. How dare you even imply that? <laughs> yeah, you know, I I hate these these people who uh who dare get mad about things. They make me so angry, uh, just all the time. I'm gonna throw the bowl away. 
I mean, that's why I end up with fewer bottles, but still. Also, this horse, this horse is fast too. Actually, can we? Can that be his name? Can that be his official name? You know, anything can be his official name. His his, his name can be, I don't know, like genocide in Armenia if I want it to be right. Like, so I I think, given that, I think a, I think a cutesy name would be fast too. I mean, he's he's putting up a struggle. Um, yeah, this is this is gonna be a good horse. I bet his jump sucks. Oh, good jump too. Heck yes. Okay, this is this is my horse fast too. Um, it's the sequel to Fast One. Um, Latin names equals cool. Technically speaking, all of languages derive European languages are like basically derived from Latin. Uh, and so really, the Fast Two is a Latin name. Um. My sock is soaked in pee. Parenthood is awesome. Oh, I like to pee on my own socks sometimes to keep my feet warm too. That's that's not a parenting thing. Don't worry. Um, is it fast two or fast two? It's fast two. Hope that answers your question. <laughs> nice and perfectly. Uh, yeah, I remember there were some bookshelves at the last village I went to. Um, it might actually be faster to ride a boat there. Okay, look, by the way, the two horses... Both of them are around. Is their third friend? No. There's my proof. The interacting with a horse keeps it around literally forever. So your, your world kind of gets like cluttered with like artifacts basically if you do that for long enough. Is Spaceballs a legal subject in Toy Cat Land? I tried to watch Spaceballs. Couldn't get into it. Therefore, therefore it can't be good. No, I... I there's so many movies where they're like hyped up to be amazing. But I, and I, like, I tried to watch it and I don't get in there. But I think it's probably like more of a me thing. I think this is something we should be like less ashamed to admit. Is like sometimes you go out to watch a movie, you're not in the mood for it. It's not that the movie's done something wrong. It's just you weren't in the mood to watch a movie. That's okay. You know, we don't have to. We don't live in a world of absolutes. Things can be good and bad and halfway in between. Is that a villager under that hill? Yes, it is. Uh, he's coming home eventually. I mean, eventually. It's just such a long journey, and you know he'd make it annoying with his whole... The, he's the reason we need the, uh, what was it called? The villager cart? The the donkey cart? I think it's a good idea. Like that new Cats film? I tried so hard, I just couldn't. Exactly, and you like Cats so much, I assume. Um, but yeah, I, uh... It's nice to go back in the wild. Uh, I, I forgot how far it was, actually, like... I guess because we were on an ice boat and it was so long ago, I've just forgotten about the distance we, we we covered. But it's cool. We'll find the village. We might even find a shipwreck. We also might find the uh, the Osha monument, which would be bad for my ability to mine said bookshelves, but it'll be fine. It is nice to be able to go over the icebergs. Usually, oh, there's a polar bear. Watch out for him. Usually in these places, I go round them in a boat. So coming through on the horse, it is nice. It's got some, it's got some fun to it. I should not have woken up to just watch the stream. I'm tired. The trick to sleep is the less you get, the better you feel with less sleep. That's, uh, that's what they say. That's, uh, I believe that's the official sleep advice from the Surgeon General. I don't know why there's a Surgeon General. I feel like, I feel like we should keep military and health separate, but. Maybe that's just me. Also, I think that's the ocean monument underneath me right now. Let's just hope it doesn't infect me. Actually, if we just... No, I was going to say, like, we could easily get the stuff we just switched to peaceful. But I don't think you can switch to peaceful on a on an ultra-hardcore world. I think that's kind of defeating the point of uh, ultra-hardcore, personally. Um, you shouldn't die, to be honest. Not going to lie for real, for real. Man, I hate that I knew all of those... Uh, all those abbreviations, Leon Dumas. Hate that I know them all. I would like to forget my knowledge of abbreviation. Oh wait, there is a shipwreck, see? Wow. Let's see if we get buried treasure map because then we could get a uh, waterproofing potion and then we could like have fun, you know? You feel me? Ooh. Um, I uh, dash, uh, oh Christ. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's gonna suck, but it's fine. Besides the fact that it's terrible, it's, it's perfectly fine. Oh, I don't even have cows over here. The guardians are just protecting endangered species. 
The guardians are endangered species. You ever think about that? I mean, I guess you could argue the dragon is protecting an endangered species by defending herself when you come into her home and attack her. I'm just saying, in a lot of states, she has the legal right to defend herself with lethal force. Uh, this is a treasure map. Ooh, wow, this is an interesting shaped map too. Okay, where's the horse gone? There he is. How does he make that gap? Um, so we've got to go this way. Let's do it. I mean, what else are we doing, right? What else are we doing? The guardians are machines, not species. Ooh, spooky. I play Java. Big Salmon has no rule over me. Big Salmon has rule over all of us. Accept Big Salmon into your life and you'll be a, a happier person. The Ender Dragon is from Florida, confirmed. I think there's a lot of states that have those laws. I could be wrong. Also, have I been to that ruined portal? I don't think I have. I don't know why I haven't. I definitely saw it. It looks familiar. But I have not been into it. So, we have enough wood, thankfully, to make a... Oh, and there's another shipwreck there, right? What is that? Chat, what? Is that just weird terrain? Okay, you know what? Let's find out. Let's uh, make a, a crafting table. Make a bow at, and then get in the bow at. Easy. Um, so getting a horse in a boat is actually easier said than done. It's, um, it's much easier to get yourself in the boat first, then get the horse in, if you want to save yourself some pain, by the way. There we go. Pain saved. What is that? I really cannot work it out. Is that just strange terrain? Or is that a village that... What is it? I, uh... I really... Even now, I... Is it... Is that a, a, a ruin on land? Also, I think we're, we're getting close to it. I still can't... Has someone else been here? Is that, is that just a shipwreck, but like it's a weird angle of it? Portal? No, 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 I can see the portal. That's a portal. Don't worry, thank you. Also, whoa, look at that. That is the weirdest thing. What the heck is my hand doing with this map? Yeah, it's a, it's a shipwreck, but it was at a funny angle. Oh, what, what is this? Oh man, I don't like, I don't like that at all. Okay, so um, we got a ton of lava here and we are far enough away from home that it is an effective potential strategy. I mean, I can't bring the horse with me, so maybe I shouldn't, but that's just for fun. Just for fun here. Um, let's place our cobble deep slate. Let's place it there and then we can make a portal. Uh, but first we've got to deal with sleeping. Who's excited for day tres seven? That's French, I believe. I'm not excited because I can't sleep. There we go. Breed the turtles and stomp on the eggs. That's a good idea. You know, just the any percent being a dick run. Just just do mean things. Just for the sake of having done the mean thing. Um, so we're going to have a port... Oh, no we're not. Um, we're going to place a bunch of obsidian over here. You know, you know what we should do for fun today? This is definitely... Also, I think I could probably use the, this to get this done. Do you hear that? Was that a witch? That was definitely a witch, right? Was it? What was that noise? I didn't I didn't like what I just heard. Um Anyway, yeah, if we just use the shovel from land. Yeah, it doesn't take too horrendously long. <coughs> By the amount of streaming you've been doing, I'm not surprised. Yeah, today uh I think after today, I'm going to take a nice break from streaming my thoughts live onto the internet. But uh, it's going to be good having done 100 days live. That's going to be a, it's going to be an accomplishment to have on, and UHC too, you know, not not just any 100 days. 100 days in normal difficulty, like, okay, yeah, there's something, there's something to that too. But this is this is 100 days, but it's special, so I want, I want that sand. Probably shouldn't go under here, just in case, but... <laughs> We're living life on the edge. And now let's place one of those. And now we'll place a sand block here. And now we've got something we can jump to and it from. 
Uh, now that we've got no mining fatigue, we might be better off just mining blocks rather than doing this. But there is there is a certain charm to doing it all the time. So, yeah, actually, let's do that just so we can uh, mine the gold blocks in peace. I don't really need gold that badly, but you can always use more gold than you have at the current moment. Um, and so we'll mine this block next. I probably should turn the blocks next to it into obsidian, but what if I just didn't? Day 37. Oh, day 37. Thank you, internet. I need, I need, I, I shouldn't need your assistance, but I need your assistance. Oh, it's a stairs or something. <laughs> I was like having such a hard time working out where the water had gone. Okay, I've got free obsidian. It cost me literally nothing. And uh, now I'm gonna place some blocks there. Yeah, nice. And now we just light that on fire. And should we go to the never again? Some would say no. Some would definitely make that argument. But I've, I've got the golden apple. I've got four whole couple deep slates. Let's just see where we end up, you know? It's always nice to please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh man, how big is this biome? <laughs> I know it's statistically a different one. But that doesn't make it feel any better. Um, I'm just gonna mine some of these blocks so I can make my portal more secure. Um, and I can maybe make it a big, oh, okay, I don't like, don't like what I'm seeing here at all. Um, okay, we're safe. Yeah, just, just some of these blocks here. Feels like a good idea to me. Yeah, we go. Yeah, we're good. We're relatively safe now. Okay, so, um, if we just peek over there. There is a Crimson Forest. We don't really need a Crimson Forest. I mean, we could trade him one. Um, what's over here? Okay, that's skeletons over there. That's what I see. Remember, I've got these extra hearts. But I don't want to use them. I'm just going to leave this place. This was nice. That was a bad never. Sometimes you have a bad never. And that's, that's okay. This is perfectly normal. Now let's go find the middle of this treasure map. Oh, look. The, the ruined portal shows up on it. So, um, yeah, we're going to go uh, to... Uh, it's going to be underwater. I mean, it's buried treasure. Maybe it's not, actually. It might be over here. So I believe it's always in the middle of a chunk. So you've got to do maps here. How many blocks divides by 16? Is it 200 or 400? 200 divided by 16 would equal... Um, what would it equal? Not a round number. It can't equal a round number because... Six, yeah, so it's gonna be 400 is the nearest 16. So what is 216 divided by six? I mean divided by 16. Oh God, if I, you know, what? let's just dig around at round feeling numbers. <laughs> Much better idea. Um, okay, so actually 72 I can work out easily. 64 is one chunk, 80 is the next. 72 is the right place to be. So we just dig around at 72 until we find it. Um, is this perfectly correct? Maybe not. Is it going to work like it is? Maybe so. Okay, let's make sure we don't take any drowning damage. Uh, let's look at that map again. Yeah, it looks pretty well aligned to me. Um, maps is, uh, it's either eight, eight or nine. Okay, let's try, let's try here. I don't think we should go to the bottom of the ocean to dig. I don't think this is going to work out for us. Yeah, okay, so it's not... Oh, no. Oh, it's exactly what I didn't want. It's exactly what I... Oh, oh man. Unnecessary half-heart. Um, let's go see what's in this. If this... You know what? Maybe this boat has a second treasure map, and then we can use that second treasure map to achieve nothing but feel better about ourselves. How does that sound, Internet? Yeah, I don't know why. I've just never seen a boat from this angle before. It looks so interesting. Uh, you look wrecked, mate, says just Bedrock MC. Thank you very much, mate. Hope you're having a good day yourself. I, um... I'm doing great. I'm, uh, I'm doing wonderfully. I only regret... Oh, books! See, look at that. Going on a little book adventure. There's a second chest here, too. 
Um, so we'll just quickly go down for that as soon as we get our air bar up to full. And what do we find? Ooh, leather boots and some suspicious. You know, what? I I'm too curious about the suspicious stew. I shouldn't. I shouldn't just eat a random suspicious stew I found under the sea. But chat, I am going to have a good time eating the suspicious stew. Um, then there's a third um, treasure chest, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, there is. Ooh, that's good. That's what I like. So let's get out of here. No more damage done. Yeah, I think I'm going to... What if it's poison? I'll just... Re I'll golden apple real quick if it's poison. I do have some spare, and I have some more gold from this trip to kind of justify it. Eat the pirate stew. Arr, pirate stew. He's a pirate and his name is Stew. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's a good idea. What, what's that damage noise? Oh, it's a turtle getting magma to death. Well, you know, you kind of deserve that, friend. Ooh, seagrass. He does deserve that, right? Did I even check this chest? Or did I just go... I don't think I did, because these are pretty good enchants. Um, yeah, getting the... I think a clock is actually quite nice. I think I'm going to take the clock over the raw beef, because I don't really need food that badly. And then we're going to eat the suspicious stew when the time comes for it. Okay, so let's get back in the boat. Let's go find this village. Magma is the new plastic straw. <laughs> <coughs> the um yeah I, I i have i have a high level of curiosity about this suspicious stew which is maybe the the power that it has like uh suspicious stew is there to make you curious right <clears throat> that could be true but and it's definitely working also yeah this magma block unnecessary same with the neverack um yeah i uh my bet is on slowness I think it's night vision. I just always think it's night vision. And then I'm sometimes correct. If you always bet the same thing, you're more likely to be occasionally correct. Unless that thing never happens, in which case you'll look perpetually dumb. Um, I use metal straw, says Jupiter Jamie. Oh, look at Superior. No, I, I actually like metal straws. I think, I think they're the solution to restaurants and stuff. Like, paper straws don't work. And p p metal straws are probably cheaper in the long run. If if you clean them correctly and blah, 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 blah. We'll see. Yeah, I don't think this horse is getting out of this boat. Okay. So, I guess we're going for a little, a little roller derby on the ice here. I don't know what roller derby actually is. It's just a fun sounding word. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to put my boat down. And I'm going to have to ride the horse down somewhere straight. And then I'll just go pick him up. In you get. Let's go. So yeah, there is a village around here somewhere. I remember it being on the other side of this iceberg biome. But I don't remember the iceberg biome being 2,000 blocks long. Like, this is... This is too big. I wish I'd come here after I got Silk Touch. Because I do want to build an icy room for my... My portal. I would enjoy that a lot. Uh, yeah, it's going to be around here. I remember on the right here is where the village is. Yeah, I remember things. I have good knowledge of village placements in my Minecraft world. Um, I use my lips and mouth to consume liquid. Ooh, look at look at look at fancy McGee over here. Doesn't even need a big round cylinder to to get things done. You're not better than us. You're worse than us. Um, okay, so I'll leave the horse in the boat. Keep things easy. I'm going to ignore the golem. I'm going to pretend he's not there. This is the way. This is the way forward in life. And then we're going to go find the library. I genuinely forgot. I think it's that one. I remember it being a very weird library. But, uh... Oh, no, it's not this one. I mean, I need a furnace to put underneath my chest. Yeah, I guess we'll take it. Might as well have... You know, it's always good to have more furnaces. This is probably the the room with the books in, right? No, this is probably the church. Damn it. Very boring building. Okay, where, where do they store the books at, chat? Where are they stored? Between us, we're going to collectively work it out. Is it stored in here? It is not stored in here. There are apples. And there's iron armor. But it's not what I'm after. 
Okay, so not stored in there. So close to day 40. Yeah, I feel like the milestones are getting slower, not quicker. Like, I, to me, time is slowing down substantially. Um, but that's not a bad... I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, invisible polar bear time. Yeah, I, I, I'm staying on the move specifically to avoid that. Maybe it wasn't this village. I hope it was, but I... I'm starting to doubt that it could have been at this point. Man, we come all this way for books that we're not finding. I mean, usually villagers have books somewhere. Maybe it's up that hill. Maybe just up we go. I mean, we, we came all this way. We might as well look. The last distance. Uh, remember how you used 100 straws at once and choked? Yeah, I reached, I reached peak humanity. And my body had to nerf me. For I had become too powerful. I believe that is exactly what happened. Um, we don't need the bread at all. Do we want to go in here? You better believe it. Oh, furnaces. So I could take a second bed as well. That might be a, an idea. But this, this village definitely contains no books. Actually, wait, wait. No, it's speaking too soon. Speaking too soon. So let's make a ton of spruce planks. Perfect. And then let's stack ourselves up with some. No polar bears, please. No polar bears. This can't. No, this is barrels. I, you know, fishing in this sort of place probably doesn't seem like it's very effective. Also, snow layers and stuff of paths. Oh, I don't know why. It always bothers me when this thing's on top of paths. It just, it doesn't look correct. Um, so where's the next village? Um, so now that plastic straws are getting banned, uh, how are we supposed to harm sea turtles now? Uh, it's definitely magma or direct violence. Like, you gotta punch a sea turtle right in the face. Um... You know, you gotta remind it where it sits on the food chain. Okay, chat, we're gonna do the risky thing now. I'm gonna eat suspicious stew that I found at the bottom of an ocean. What could go wrong with the suspicious stew, I hear you asking? Well, um, it could have poison on it, but I would be ready with poison because I am very well adjusted that way. Uh, it could have healing on it, and then I get up to full health. Um, that's a one in like nine chance or whatever. It could have night vision on it, and then I'll see slightly better at night for the next eight seconds. Or it could, uh, it could be any number of things. The only way to be sure is to just go for it, though. Okay, let's do this, chat. Suspicious stew. Oh, it was weakness. That's nice. If you want to see, there's my weakness for three more seconds. Good time to fight the golem. What do you reckon? Um, yeah, I think we should. Admit, like we could go a little bit further to find another village. Like this village probably has a stronghold below it. And then if we go to that stronghold, we could find the library room. But that's also a big if. Actually, no, we're just digging down. We have a diamond pickaxe. Let's just do this. Let's just, uh, we'll do it underneath a village house. Actually, we don't even need to. We'll just dig down, stack right back up. Uh, we've got spare inventory slots for it. And we can even buy some lily pads, which I don't really need right now. But I like the... I like your thinking there. Uh, I like I like I like your thinking, Mr. Trader. Um Okay, so let's just dig down near the center. This is the center. Let's do it. We're, we're nice and safe from a villager this way. We'll do the double dig down technique and then we'll just stack back up to get out. Will there be a stronghold below this village? I actually think so. I actually think so. Um So yeah, I uh I'm a little bit worried now that I'm saying this all out loud. Okay. It's going to be fine, right? Jack, can we all manifest my my fineness? Let's put the water bucket out. So it's a little bit less manifesting, a little bit more reality. I could eat a golden apple just now. And then I could be more sure of my safety. But I don't need that. I'm going to be more fine without it. I'm going to be just great. Do I have space for coal? I can make space for coal. Uh, and then make some torches. And then replace the torches with this. Yeah, nice. Okay. Stack, 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 stack. And then I'll just leave the hole in the middle of this village so that future me gets very confused and dies. It'll be a great idea. Oh, okay, that's copper, never mind. I don't think there's a stronghold below this village anymore. Technically, it's like just as likely below my feet as it ever was above me. I'm just not feeling it. 
It's weird that you can get most of the way down before you feel something like that. But it is where I've gone. Okay, it's still light outside. So get the green screen to the top right of your head is messed up. Thank you. I, um... I'll sit back a bit, I guess, is the solution. Oh, it's still... Okay, just, just a little light. Just for now. Do I look prettier now, internet? Also, is my, is my like, chest glitching? Oh, no, it's just... I thought it was for a second. Whatever, it's fine. Whew. You know what? The good news is... Stairs, I beg. You know what? We, we, this, is, this is perfectly safe. It doesn't feel perfectly safe, but it is perfectly safe. I guess we could, like, dig down past some lava, go in some crazy situation like that. But we won't. We won't. We'll be safe. We'll be fine. Um... We've got more than enough blocks to get out of this. I don't think we're finding a stronghold though. We've definitely passed the point where it is likely. Um, happy Merry Christmas Eve. Happy Merry Christmas Eve to you too. I hope you have a good one and all of your friends do too. Except the ones you don't like. Hope they have an okay Christmas Eve. Okay, it's definitely not nighttime. It's always important to check that, I feel. Place the bowl down, place that there. Okay, let's keep digging. You know, we still could find the stronghold. And then we'd feel real smart for knowing where it is. And then we can make a uh, portal in the stronghold room. And then try and connect it back to my base. That'd be fun. What do you reckon, chat? Are we finding a stronghold? Or do you think this was a foolish dig down? It'd be funny if later when we do get eye offenders, it does turn out to be under here. But just like not somewhere we found would be funny would be very funny yeah I'm gonna give it 10 more blocks then I'm, I'm stopping 10 more blocks to find any sign of uh, brick sorry what is it stone brick and we're good um, statistically there is only a 1 in 6 chance of harm from digging down you know we always talk about like 1 in 10,000 chance of some side effect happening what about the 9,999 chance in 10,000 of nothing happening? Isn't that the more important chance? You know, just like mathematically speaking. It's a trick question. The answer is of course yes. Also, I feel like it's getting dark down here, but I think I'm just getting too deep. Anytime Toycat goes into a cave, it's foolish to dig down. I'm just going to keep placing these blocks occasionally. So if I do get knocked down by something, it's less disastrous. Uh, right there, sure. See, look how nice it is. Ooh, I am in fact still alive, J-Leaf. I'm alive and I'm feeling glive. 30 minutes with me tuning in. I'm glad we hit it, Jaramonkey. The average view duration is less than 30 minutes, so you've officially been here for longer than the average person. That's, uh, I'm proud of you for that. I'm real proud of you. Yeah, that was a little, that was a little scary. You have a clock, lol. No, that's true. <laughs> Let's look at the clock. Okay, yeah, we're fine. Thank you, that one weird channel. Um, so yeah, now, we, now we've safely made this a little bit better. And we can just get out of here. It was a fun idea to visit this place and try and find books. But since I didn't know exactly where I was coming, maybe it wasn't the greatest. I mean, we, we tried to find a stronghold. Would have been real good if we had one. But I think trying to find something is just as good as finding it. Except that's not true at all, is it? Um, so we'll get the horse out of the boat. And then we'll get in the boat. And then we'll get in the horse. Come on. No, horsey. Okay, well, let's just... We can, we can do this. Let's just do that. And then do this. And then... Okay, we, we, can, we can get him in here. You know, there's no point given that I'm just going to go to sleep anyway. Let's just do that now. Ooh, I love a good going to bed at night. So, um, yeah, I, uh, f f by the way, thank you, Ace234DM. I did, in fact, hit 1.82 million subscribers. Wait, is that true? We, uh, we had a month of, like, a uh, slight negative growth, but, like, moved it further away. So I'm, I'm pleased to hear if it has gone positive. Okay, so, um, someone's at the door. Oh, I missed the doorbell ring. Oopsie. Well, not anymore, I didn't. It was a long time ago. Uh... Let's see if it's true. How many 
We have 1.82 million. Yeah. I don't know why it rounds in the way it does, but I'm happy to report. Welcome to day 39, internet. Okay, this is my horse. My horse goes in the middle of the ice, and then that way I can pick him up in my boat. Nice and easy. It's a little bit trickier than it sounds. So we go back home then? I think we should go back home. Day 39, nice. I have no idea how we hit day 69 last time. I'm like, I'm, I'm breaking a lot earlier this time. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and push past it. Also, I can't deal with this light. I'm sorry. You know, if there's a, there's a little ring around my head, that's fine. I was listening while I was sleeping, so I was dreaming of Toy Cat. It was an interesting dream. I, I think dreams are one of the most interesting things because we still don't really know. Like, it seems very logical. Like, a lot of people have this experience of like, yeah, you dream about things that you need in real life. Also, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> um. And so there's like, there's like two camps on dreams still. And one is like, yeah, you dream about things you subconsciously want or that you, your brain wants in some way, some part of you. And then the other part of you says, no, it's pure random. And then other part of people say, oh, you see the future in dreams. And obviously like, I think that third one is going a bit crazy. But I think there is some truth to this idea that like, yeah, if you think about something a lot, you'll dream about it. That's why the Tetris effect is a thing. If you play too much Tetris, you'll see Tetris shapes everywhere you go, including your dreams. Um, the ring is your halo because you're an angel. It's been there for hours, don't worry about it. I don't know if that makes it better, but I will not worry about it. I now have official permission. Offic offic official permission. O official permission. There we go. Um, I have legitimately predicted the future in a dream. See, right, but that's... Like, I can predict the future right now by saying 1.20 will come out on May the 15th. Let's not be predicting the future. That's me having a 1 in a 180 chance of success. That's what always annoys me about people who are like, this person predicted 9-11. And it's like, did they predict 9-11 or did they make a really vague claim that happened to be correct? And the answer is usually the second one. Usually it's the second one. Um, oh, some interesting lag. So yeah, we uh, we had a good journey today. Yeah, what is with that lag, actually? I wonder if my world is super big because I've traveled so many thousands of blocks. Also, whoa, I did not see this room portal earlier. Let's go pick it up. So if there's a, there is a lava pit below it, we should make a portal just to see where it goes. I mean, it can't also be uh, inside of a, a thing, right? Uh, at Soul Sand Valley. So, uh, Bane of Arthropods is real nice. Don't get me wrong. But I think I'm gonna... Yeah, let's just... Let's ignore that. So let's break some blocks down. Place those so it falls into it. Nice. And then let's take the lava. Actually, we should just do this closer to the portal. Just right there. Ooh, that was weird. Yeah, things are definitely going kind of weird in this world. Okay. So that's not what I wanted to do at all. Um... Yes, yeah, so then we'll break these two blocks and then we'll put water up there and it'll fall into those blocks and everything's fine. Okay, perfect. We'll make sure that is how that stays and then we'll place our blocks over here. So one there, one over here, one over here. Yeah, this is, this, this is, this is much faster than doing it all the way over there. Like I, I, I have this like fear of like breaking things. Because I break things a lot. But I think in this... Okay, well, that's... <laughs> that's where the fear comes from. Now you know. Um, but yeah, I think I think this second never visit will do some good for me. I guess this third never visit. My god, you know what? Say what you will about this world, but we're 39 days in. We're going into the never for a third time. Um, yeah, I... Uh, I... Uh, hold on, do you count day zero as day one? I think on Java they do count it that way, but because we're just counting ourselves, we can choose any counting system we like, including the more logical start at day one. Um, I, I do, I think it counts, starts as day zero because it's like programming terms. Like programming usually starts of zero as one, but yeah, that's that's how you get 255 being 256 and all that nonsense. Also, I don't have any, I don't have my blocks ready. I didn't eat a golden apple. I can just immediately die. 
Um, also, what is? Oh my god! It's just some. It's more. It's all Soul Sand Valley. This entire. This entire never is just different shades of Soul Sand Valley. I cannot believe that. Also, did we pass day thirty nine? I gotta wait for Big Salmon to confirm. You can only trust. There's only one thing you can trust in life, and it's Big Big Salmon. Um, Crimson Forest, right there, though. Yeah, it's not far from it, but it is there. Okay, we're good. We're wonderful. Let's now get in the boat. Never works. You, you know this. This is this is a painful life pro tip to learn. It's just getting in a boat with a horse. It's never gonna work for you. You gotta get the boat out of the horse, and then you get yourself in the boat, and then you get the horse in with you. Okay, so I'm going on the plus, so I'm going to about 4,000. I think I'm going to go back in via my never after I've enchanted some gear. I think with some level 30 enchants, I really won't have to worry about stuff. So what is the best way for me to get XP? I mean, once I get a fortune pickaxe, I'll be rolling in it. Um, but until then, it's a more interesting question. Um, I kind of want to get neverite now. It's been a while since I did the Neverite grind from scratch. Because, like, why would you, ultimately? I think it might be fun, though. Also, is this anything? It looks like something. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, uh, worst Never I've ever seen. Yeah, honestly, this world is just, like, disastrously cursed in quite a few ways. I made a Seed Sunday recently, or, like, I've, it's about to go out, probably the Sunday after Christmas. Um, where I basically like, point out like how much luck I've had recently, but I've also apparently had lots of very awful luck. Just horrendous. Bad. Wrong luck. And that's fun. Also, I think I left that boat probably on the ground. So yeah, should we bring this villager with us? He- he was a gift from a- do I have a lead on me? Nah, okay. Well, I would like to bring him with me. But it's a thousand blocks, and it's like a thousand blocks of not fun terrain. Otherwise, I totally would. I, I think it'd be fun to have a villager from another village. You know, I think that's like a cultural exchange program. Seed Sunday, but just a bad seeds. Now that's a, that sounds like a video I can get behind. Bad seed bun, seed bad day. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I'm definitely like, I'm definitely, like, looking forward to eating real food again. I'm like, in my brain, I'm, like, craving pizza so hard. You know, a kebab would be good, too. Some fried chicken, you know, that Christmas fried chicken would be wonderful. You know, we can order a kebab while we stream. I just have to remember to look at it every now and then. I will go check, uh, day it's. On day 42, the horse de dies. Lixalice, you know what? That is the worst thing I've ever heard. This this horse is going to live forever. Don't you question it. It's going to be the greatest horse. What are you eating right now? I've got my I've got my orange orange and chocolate seeds. I live in Sweden, so I get to open Christmas presents on Christmas Eve, says Jobrecht. Oh, I'm so happy you're from Sweden. In the United Kingdom, Christmas is on Christmas Day. It's so crazy. Um... No, I think opening a present on Christmas Eve would make sense. I think open Christmas presents the day they're bought. That'd make even more sense. I mean, donuts for Christmas Eve, says Calliope. Oh, I want some donuts. Why do I not have donuts? You, you, you went to the donut store and you didn't consider, you didn't consider the streamer. That, that's, that's inconsiderate. That's really inconsiderate. Okay, so... It's time to spend a lot of uh, time choosing food on a delivery app. <laughs> no, I, I think I'll just type in kebab and just like roll the dice. I found a kebab place I really wanted to order from, but again, it took four hours and clearly they didn't, they weren't really ready for it. I should, also, it's Christmas Eve. I don't think I'm going to get any food delivered at all. It's not going to go well for me. Put a kebab on a donut. That sounds amazing. So a cat needs to eat. What's better? Cat needs to eat. What's a better food than a Christmas kebab? So I know the kebab place will be open, but will there be anyone delivering food on Christmas Eve? Or is that one of those things where it's like, yes, I am delivering food. I am away from my family because I need money, hint, hint. Is it like that? So it was a nightmare to get our Chinese. You know, 
I, uh, I, I'm glad you got it done though. I, I, I mean, I guess I've always heard the stereotype that like, well, people from other cultures are not the celebrating of Christmas because it is blah, 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 blah. And you know, maybe, maybe London's like diversity works in its favor in that way. Um, who knows? Who knows? If I only took out stream from a business building, then Shaq could order food like they do for Lewis Rossman. Yeah, I think that's a. Uh, I think that'd be a fun thing to have, like it, to be in a public address, just by like, oh yeah, this is. But even then, it'd be like, oh, now I'm like the surface area for people to do weird things. It's a shame. It's a shame that there's like 0.1% of the internet that makes makes it very scary to be public about most things. Okay, so I've got this blue bed. I'm gonna put it right in the middle of the yellow beds. See, so isn't this nice? It's like a. I, I like I like this design. I think this is great. And then we got our secondary blue bed, and that's great too. We should be able to just immediately breed more villagers. Also, we did we did get four books while we were out, so it's not no books. Uh, and we need to make nine more, nine more bookshelves. So twenty seven books, and we've got four leather and four books. So it doesn't sound great on the surface, sure. But you know, hear me out. Uh, everything's gonna be okay. Okay, so we've got more furnaces. I guess this house is just being made of furnaces at this point. Yep, seems good to me. Um, so I guess it'll be three by four. So something like this, maybe. Yeah, this is this is making perfect sense to me, with a doorway being right here. And so I just need like four more furnaces for this side, and then I can make my house. Um, Owls are open till 5 p.m. I hope by owls you mean your kebab house. I could do with a kebab house. Um, looks like the bed, the villagers are serial bedwetters. I don't know about you, but when you, oh right, yellow. I was like, blue is not the color of bedwetting. I guess I can see this being a piss bed. I can see it. Okay, so chat. While we, uh, I guess I'll farm the pumpkins first. Get get some of them good emeralds in. Um. But yeah, I'm now mostly mostly there to have in these high level enchantments. I just gotta get. I'm on the last step of getting some leather in. I guess that means I should breed cows. I guess that's the thing I should do while I eat. Because then I can immediately turn those cows into leather and food. Ooh, flawless house. Thank you, Robin Brooks. I like my house a lot. I think it's beautiful. I am. I'm gonna have some beautiful things by the end of this hundred days. Uh, you, you're gonna like them. You're gonna. Everyone's gonna say, wow, these are the best houses I've ever seen. How delightful. You have a clear halo above your head. I am clearly... Actually, what, what I can actually just do is I can switch the... Um, I can switch the... Uh, the way the filter works. So it's now officially not day. Uh, so we turn this off. Hello, I'm green. Oh, that is not, that is not good, is it? That's not... That's not fixing it. Okay, this is, this, this is, you know, I can do, I can do lots of things, but I don't think those things are very useful. Also, thank you very much for the 499 um, tip, uh, Devin Henderson. There are multiple problems you have a bedrock. Bedrock is really great, but it seems like it's true. Have you tried creating true. a super flat world in 360 edition, then loading it up in bedrock edition? It's like an old super flat oasis surrounded by a bedrock style wasteland, and the nether is very odd. It is very weird to load up console worlds into bedrock, because they, they put effort into it one time, and then why would they put any extra effort after that? The worlds were already converted. So there's a lot of weird artifacts of that. Okay, I'm now eating my orange and chocolate seeds. Everything is flavored like oranges. Oh, it is flavored like oranges. Oh, in a good way, actually. That's actually quite good. Mmm. Loving it. Cows are the backbone of wizard society. <laughs> it's true. It is true. I, um, thank you, by the way, for the two tips in the span of uh, a minute there. Massively appreciated. Man, orange and chocolate. It is working. Mmm. Yeah, I definitely need this. Need some, like, fruit or something. Hey, join in on the tip train. Tip, tip train. 
Merry Christmas, Toy Cat. Merry Christmas to me. Merry Christmas to me. Merry Christmas to Toy Cat. Merry Christmas to me. Don't choke on it. If I choke, how soon can someone get to my house to, to, to resuscitate me? And then also to make sure I go to sleep and I don't miss the night. That's my question. Mm. Good stuff. Good stuff. But no, yeah, thank you so much for, for, for joining on the tip train there. And indeed, Bob the Fish. Extend on the tip train even Merry further. Merry Christmas, Toy Cat, and Happy Day 40. We are four temps of the way through this. There's a lot more temps to go. But boy, am I excited. Watch your eating, Toy Cat. It's called shots. Oh, wait, where did that cow come from? It's a mix of uh, nuts and... Everything's flavored like orange for some reason. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm gonna put a wood block here so I can jump all the way up. Okay, that's not gonna work. Put a wood block here. There we go. So now we got a ton of babies in here. We'll just quickly breed the rest, make sure we're like truly maxing out our capacity. Now we're gonna kill all the babies. When in doubt, do precisely this. Um, Okay, so we got. We have to wait a while for those to grow up to get more lever from this. Yeah, it's pretty hard to get this jump done. You wanna hit your head. You wanna, like. There we go. Uh, so we got 13 lever. Plus, we got some extra lever. Yeah, between that, we'll be good. Okay, we got 16 lever. That's 20 books. Plus this, that's 7 bookshelves. That's actually pretty good. That's a. Uh, it's about as good as we could hope. Dasha sanctions evasion super chat. Hey, thank you, David Salamat. You know, I not only jumping on the super chat train, five in a row, by the way, um, but also helping helping Dasha to evade uh, Russians. Uh, what what more could you ask for? I uh, no, I, I'm I, I'm I'm sure Dasha appreciates it. In fact, wait, she literally said she appreciates it. Wow, look at me, I can read people's minds. Um, no, thank you very much. I hope you're doing wonderfully today, Dasha. Um, you, you even got past those those pesky sanctions. Those 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 very, very pesky, very much, nothing nothing to them sanctions. Um, so we want like twenty seven of this. So just... Choo choo. Hey, seven tips on the tip train. The tip train is rolling through town, and it is it has picked up some steam. How are you all doing today, Internet? I, it sounds like you're doing great. I'm very pleased to hear. I, uh, hey, Angle Van Kampen out too. Loving, loving the, the familiar faces aboard the train. Wow, we're all on a train together and it's going, the train is going so many places. You wouldn't even believe the number of places the train is going. Um, okay, three more bookshelves. That is enough for 28 or 26 at least. Tip train, too bad. Tim Apple and Susan YouTube get to keep most picks on a mobile and can't be bothered to use Streamlabs. So as I understand it, if you're on, um, like they, YouTube takes a 30% cut, but they can't take that 30% cut on Apple devices because Apple already takes it. So the entirety of the 30% cut is, oh no, uh, is lost to Apple already. Right. What, a, what a waste. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I, uh, it's, it's, it's more than more than okay if you're lazy. Uh, what a, you know, it's the, I'd say it's the thoughts that counts, but it's the money that counts, right? That's the, <laughs> this is, that's like the worst thing to say when you're like, but it's, you know, it's the, it's the, it's the message that I believe in. Okay, so now we're going to try and enchant this and we can get unbreaking. Not really the best thing in the world. I'm going to actually go ahead and just disenchant my pickaxe. See what we get at the top. Bedrock is getting good updates though. New execute command is making everyone convert their machines, but with good reason. I make maps, TTT, and Spyfall I have made completely automated with commands. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people very excited. Uh, Devin Henderson, thank you, by the way, for joining the tip train. I uh, I do believe there is, like, you know, like, it's. I, I think the problem is that Bedrock updates are focused on this very different world 
of like, but what if the updates were amazing for map makers? And it's like, but is that the point of what updates are meant to be always? And it's like, not always, but maybe like a lot of the time. And it's like, can we not? And it's like, no, we couldn't not. <laughs> that would be un impossible. Um, yeah, I don't think I want these snowballs, but I'm gonna keep them around just in case. Hey, Gerald K, send help. The brakes on the train are broken. The train is uh, the train is out of control, everyone. The tip train is now ten cars long. I don't know if it can get much longer. I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna go through some serious issues if we try. But I, I, I would welcome anyone who wants to hitch their car. Do you know in America you can actually you can just pay money to have America Amtrak like. If you have your own train wagon, they'll just hitch it for you. That's like the most incredible fact to me. Uh, you know, something about American, I don't know, independence, liberty in there. I, uh, I missed the pirate stew, what was it? It was weakness. It's a little bit disappointing. Yeah, I think some seeds were probably good for me. I don't know why people assume seeds are good for them. It was like, it's not even food yet. You have to wait years for that to become food. Can't just be assuming it's good because it seems good. That's not how we run our modern world. Okay, let's see what we can get. Uh, unbreaking. A little bit risky to just go straight into unbreaking free. I think we enchant something else, and then we come back for it. Although I don't know if when when fortune will ever be the headline enchantment. Let's just try anyway, though. We might regret this. Now we will regret this. But you've got to regret some things in life. And this can be one of those. So Diamond Ho. Um, we'll just put on Breaking 1 on it, maybe? I guess we'll enchant the axe if we're going something basic. Do, 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 do. Oh, Fortune 2. It might only be 2, but it's good. Thank you so much, Cosmic Oflesky, for uh, jumping aboard the tip train with a membership. You get a green name now, too. And we got to listen to Big Step. How am I? And thank you, yay, Invisible Polar Bear. Train hype. You know what, Invisible Polar Bear, you are, you are not welcome on my train. I'm sorry. I have to draw the line somewhere, and I draw the line at polar bears that aren't decent enough to announce their position ahead of time. I'm sorry to tell you, you are barred from entering this train. 11, hey, no, 12 even, Samuel Jones. Um, what what an amazing, what an amazing, t the, the, the tip, the tip tra car, the tip train is 12 cars long. That's longer than most trains in most countries. Can you believe the length of our train? We are going places, internet. We are we are going places quick. If you want to if you want to join the train, you've got a, a limited amount of time apparently. But uh, yeah, it's uh it's real good. It's been so sad since Darren stopped giving memberships. I think it's only been a week. I think he's just like, but but that's that's where the memberships come from. It's the it's the way it happens. Um, yeah, I um. A polar bear kills you and then slips 10 pounds into your pocket. <laughs> I don't know how I'd feel about that one. Is that like a reverse mugging? Is that like a, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna mug you, but in a positive way. And you're like, what does that mean? I'm gonna take money from you. No, wait, I'm gonna take your life from you and then give you money. It's like, can we do the other way around, actually? Sure. Also, thank you, Beto Hanny, for becoming a, for remembering for one month. Appreciate it. Um, Okay, so we're going to get some some ores. This is not the way. I mean, it, yeah, there's too much snow on there. It just isn't fun to mine around that much snow. So we'll go towards the savannah, because that that is a not snowy place. And we'll get some fortune mining done. It'll be good. Choo choo! Thank you, Aviz. Oh wait, no, so Dasha is an, an absolute legend, I should say. You know, Adol Braho. You know, you, this is a, a a very very honourable uh, tip. Appreciate you. That's that's two Choo -choo. tips in your honor today, by the way, Dasha. You're basically a celebrity, maybe more. Also, non invisible polar bear is is insisting they stay on this train. What? <laughs> I mean, not only are you keeping the train going, but you're insisting on your remaining on it. You're like, no, 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 no. I'll stay on the train. It'll be fine. I I'm necessary. I keep the brakes going or something. The I mean, the 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 engine, the the the, the coal. You, you can't you can't have the furnace running without a polar bear. And we're all just like, is that true? Is that how polar bears work? I don't know enough to, to refute that. Yeah, I think Fortune 2 is definitely no Fortune 3, but it's better than Fortune 0. And so we're finally gonna make some nice progress today. Um, 
get myself some diamond armor. And then we can get back into the nether and get making those potions. Once we have potions and diamond armor, I think we can afford to be a bit sillier. And that means fighting the wither. Day 100, chat. Day 100, we're fighting the wither. It's happening. It's it's definitely happening. Um, I think I can do it with enough golden apples and potions and armor. Yeah, I think I can do it. Um, I, uh... If Invisible Bubble Pair keeps, uh, keeps uh, donating, then Iron Golem should as well. You know, I'm just saying, yeah, between Invisible Polar Bear and Iron Golem, I think they do owe me quite a bit. That's all I'm saying. But no, thank you, uh, Invisible Polar Bear, whoever you are. Um, I uh, I do appreciate a lot. Like I, like I said before, like the, the fun thing about tipping is it's saying, yes, I enjoy this a money amount. Like a real, a real money amount. Not, not like, oh yeah, I, w I, I would do this if I could. Not that like lazy like, yeah, I guess I, if I really was pushed, I might like something. It's like, no, I like this. And here's the, see, and, and there, there is the money. See, right? That's, that's things incredible. Are getting heated. If things, oh, lava bucket. You know, lava block rather. See, that's concerning. You know, all my nemesises are showing up today. Uh, and it's nice that they're tipping me. Jumping aboard the tip train, by the way. Choo choo. But uh, indeed, choo choo indeed, Patricia Bradshaw. Hope you're having a great day. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously before, hope it was an okay day. But after that tip, I hope it is now going great. Um, <laughs> are you allowed to say things like this? You're definitely, oh wow, ooh, that was bad. Um, keep talking, Toy Cat. Okay, oh, uh, last donate for the day. What do you think about the lore of uh, MC from Game Theory? Useless or interesting? Um, I think Minecraft lore is fun, don't get me wrong. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, haven't, I haven't watched the particular one you're talking about, so I can't can't confirm or deny where I think it's good. Um, it might be worth watching because I make vague lore videos, right? About this sort of stuff. But I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, so uh, also a third super chat praising chap, uh, Dasha. She is an epic Russian woman. You know, that's what she wants you to think. But have you ever seen her Russian credentials? You know, the closest I've seen... Is her, her, her locked ability from super chatting. But that could have been for being mean, coincidentally at the start of the uh, of the invasion. You don't know for sure. You never know for sure. Um, I, uh, I've got plenty of coal, by the way, but not enough. I want stacks and stacks and stacks of it. Yeah, I've got to get out of this scenario. Okay, you know what? Let's just run right into all of the mobs. <laughs> this is a really good idea. Look, look, look how safe this is. See how safe that is? Literally no risk. No problems what's- no risk, no problems. Um, maybe worth killing these guys. Okay, yeah, see look- look how fine this is, chat. I'm getting good practice, and that's- that's what's valuable here. I just wanted to get the- the, the coal. It's all I was trying to do. I mined some coal and I wanted to get the rewards. But yeah, I think, I think going higher is going to give us much better rewards than staying here. And I want to get some calcite anyway, right? I do like the idea of using calcite for my calcium farm. But I think I might use it for my enchantment stuff instead. Or maybe my nether portal. Yeah, a nice little calcite box. Could be pretty. I mean, not pretty. It could be not ugly. That's as good as we can aim for. Um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to go up the mountain. We'll, we'll make some trades first, just so I know what I'm fighting for. But it's definitely going to be an up the mountain uh, push. You need better armor. Do you think iron armor is not good enough? I I think you're crazy. Yeah, I'm going to get some diamond armor. That is the plan. Um, it's going to be some good armor. In fact, let's I, we, we can make some, some slight progress on that right now. Right after we, of course, get our pumpkins in. Gotta sell these, make make our money. Um, I don't know where my where my guy goes during the day. My 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 my, my farming guy, he just vanishes, you know. Okay, so sell two of these, and now we can start selling iron if we want to. In fact, let's let's do precisely that. Let's let's throw some coal in here. Actually, let's use lava buckets, and then let's uh. Let's start, let's start selling some iron to him. Just because it's a fast way forwards and it's good that way. Okay, so that was weird. Did you see that? 
The, the water left my bucket and then just immediately went back if in. If you put a bunch of iron in a line, it would be a feline. I'm here all week. <laughs> I hate that I like that joke. I hate that I like it. Iron Golem, you know what? Uh, thank you for joining the tip train. All of, all of my nemeses are here now. Iron Golem, Invisible Polar Bear, and uh, the Lava Bucket. It's very nice to know that my the, 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 the large amount of support I have from, from things that claim to hate me. You know, it's a good reminder. Thank, thank you for, for all showing up. Anyway, yeah, if you look right here, we can now buy... Actually, we can buy a shield next. But let's sell just two of these. And then, like, one more of these. Maybe not... Actually, that's not worth doing at this point. We're going all in on iron at this point. Okay. Click milk bucket on lava to get calcite. Click milk bucket on lava to get calcite. I want to believe... Is it... I, I don't understand the physics behind your joke, Justin Thacker. Also, do you say damn it or damn it? Click I think milk I bucket on lava to get calcite. Hee <laughs> hee. I think I say it all one word, but I'm I'm confused about why I say it as all one word. Now now that you mention it, that is quite quite a weird one. Um, also, plenty of beef and plenty of iron. And I really could do with some extra lava. Right about now. Come on, let me in my own bed. This is hey, you not your bed, my bed. Okay, let's do this. Um but yeah, thank you, Justin Facker, by the way, for the $20 tip. I don't understand your humor, but I do understand you speaking my love language. Um, and then let's also throw the mob drops in here. Just, you know, small garbage that I have a hard time getting rid of. Might as well get rid of now. While I'm not having a hard time. Okay, so farming guy is going to come right over here. Yes, he is. Let's sell him my pumpkins. Let's get one more actually going just so we can, you know, get rid of one more stack of things. Actually, wait, we have five more pumpkins here. Okay, six more, perfect. Let's get five emeralds from this, and then we can buy some stuff. I think getting a, uh, a silk touch, oh no, oops. Getting a silk touch something would be good. And I think it's probably gonna end up being an ax. But we'll see. Yeah, does he get trapped under here? He does, ah, he sees his table up there and he goes, what about down here though? And that is not very smart of him. But that's fine. Oh, we could buy golden carrots. I I can't believe how long I've tried for this in the super flat, getting it the first time here. We can also buy suspicious stew, and I'm just too curious. I need to know what is he gonna sell me there. So we got a weaponsmith. We're gonna sell him my coal next, and then we're gonna buy uh, some stuff from him. Maybe maybe the sharpness two sword, but probably not. When will the rat that you bit show up? <laughs> my real life nemesis. Um, but no, yeah, thank you everyone, chat, for making that. I think that was like 16, 17 tips in a row. It was incredible. It was, uh, it was very good. Thank you for, thank you for your generosity. Okay, that mountain where the lava is, there's some good stuff. Also, I don't think I set the day. Is it day 42? I think it is. Um, also, I think I've got to put this horse away. Got to keep him safe. Do 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 because we are just six lever away from uh, a fully complete table. Also, uh, JP Gaming, you gotta you gotta work on your spam problem. I, I don't know how many times you've done this, but it's it's a little, that pro tip by the way. If you if you if you talk, type ch messages in chat more than every thirty seconds, not not good. Uh, pro tip: don't do it. You know the big the big bar that says don't do it. You gotta listen to that. In fact, you know, I, I wouldn't even say, don't listen to the rule that says don't spam. Like, listen to the part of your heart that says, wouldn't that be impolite to, like, fill up chat with myself? Are there more people in the world than just me? And if you come to the conclusion, yes. I think that's why you should not. Okay, so chat, what do you think the suspicious stew is going to be? So this one is a farming villager. If this is regeneration, it makes my life so much easier. I probably still won't buy it all the time. But it is certainly a lot easier than... Than doing that. Okay. Messages in chat. 
more than every 30 seconds. <laughs> you know, high quality. Give you some credit there, David Solomano. That's uh, maximum contrarian points there. Poison, fire resistance. If it's fire resistance, I think it's like the most dangerous lifesaver. Okay, I think I'm trapped in here. Okay, so we'll just we'll just get out of this. Um, nice and easy. Yep, yeah, easy, perfect. Um, and there we go. That's the end of this this whole thing. Okay, chat. We're about to eat a suspicious stew that I traded from a villager. I have no clue what it's going to be yet. I'm going to have to find out the old-fashioned way and just... Oh, it's night vision. Okay. That's weird. I feel like... Is it always night vision? It was night vision last time I did one. See, like I say, you do... You make a prediction enough of the time. Eventually you'll be right and then you'll start being suspicious about yourself. Like, am I right? Or do I just know the, the truth ahead of time? It's like predicting dreams, right? You're like, well, either, either I can, either my dreams sometimes accidentally line up with the future, or I'm a seer and I have the power to know what's happening all the time. It's one of the two, and there's just no way of knowing which one it is. Um, yeah, I, uh, you had a weakness earlier. I had weakness from the ship, but maybe villagers only trade night vision. Suspicious do. Again, I, that's a really weak correlation. It's just as likely it's a coincidence. But you've always got to be suspicious of Minecraft. Like, you know, is it a coincidence or is it a bug? It's often a bug. Um, night vision during the day should make things dark because your vision is night. Yeah, the uh, the way night vision actually works is your pupils get much larger, right? And it makes it, like, blinding during the day. You're, like, cause you're, you're letting in so much more light. Um, that's, that's why... Going into a, uh, that's why the light doesn't hurt you all day, but it does when you turn it on suddenly at night. Because your pupils are, like, letting in all of that. Whereas you want to, like, balance the amount of light you're letting in to the amount of light there is in the in the world. I think cats can do it really quick. But sometimes they get loopy and they don't, and that's why they have those silly large pupils. Um, I think it's always cute when cats, you know, that that's also, you, you, get, you get enlarged pupils when you're high, which is why people have to squint. Fun fact. You want to learn about fun facts of Toy Cat? Did you know that the Ottoman Empire was actually the continuation of the whole the, the Roman Empire in the East? And so the Romans didn't end in like the early zero zeros. But the Roman Empire, which started before the year zero, you know, before we had the idea of years, only ended in World War One. And even then you could argue that Turkey is the modern day successor state too the Ottoman Empire. Therefore, the Roman Empire is still alive, and we just call it Turkey. I mean, probably Italy is a closer bet at that point, though. But still, fun fact. You want to learn more history? History of Toy Cat? Let, let's go. Um, as much as I smoked weed, I've never known that. I think weed is the classic example of the thing I was saying earlier, where, like, it was widely accepted as a bad thing, and now it's widely accepted as, like, well, make your own decisions on that. And I think it's so fascinating that, like, the things that we say are like own decision versus no, we, we make those decisions for you. Um, and I never can quite work out why and where we draw the line, but every generation does draw the line somewhere. Um, you know, maybe controversially, you know, we could draw the line at whether you're allowed to pick certain identities for yourself because, like, well, I mean, it's going to lead to you. You're having blah, 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 blah. Uh, or maybe more controversially, it's like, well, should you creepers? Okay, good, good opportunity to stop talking about this. Um, shouldn't have started playing this. That really. But we got we got a nice wall here. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, I think two stacks of iron will actually be plenty. It might even be too plenty. We might have too much iron. Um, are your hands not getting cramped playing so long? Maybe you need some desk exercises. I'm gonna stand back up again. Oh, I haven't stood up in so long. Oh, my legs aren't used to this. Have you ever stood up, chat? It's crazy. Do you, do you guys have legs? I didn't even realize I had legs till just now. Oh, they feel so weird. I don't like the way my legs feel. Um, let's try and ooh, do some jumps here. Shake around the desk a bit. I think I've only taken one pee break, right? Can we be impressed with me for that? I, I made it a snack break as well. I got my nuts eaten while I was in there. I, uh, 
I'm having an I'm having an efficient day. You know, am I am I this shovel right now? Because my day is efficiency too. Um. Yeah, I uh. Ooh, iron over there. It's a little bit risky. It's a lot bit risky. Well, let's go for it anyway. If I fall down there, I do instantly die. Just remember. <laughs> Fun fact. Um. But yeah, let's do this. I also I wanted to get some calcite while I was here. I think I said. Definitely would like to build out something weird. Oh no, whoa, look at that. I've never seen, I didn't even know items could fall through uh, powdered snow like that. That's that's like crazy. Did you see that? Where did it go actually? Is it is it gone? Was it ever there? Uh, these are the questions that I will never know the answers to. So yeah, that's good. Let's just get out of here before something comes in and gets me. I'll grab this one too, of course. Ooh, that was, that, that like diagonal walk didn't feel good. Okay, yeah, there's no more easy iron from up here. Let's just go down the mountain. I'll be coming down the mountain when I, I got come. My oh, no. Eaten in there, Toy Cat 2022. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome, Toy Cat quotes. You know, I, do you, does, <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not going to defend myself. I'm not going to defend myself. That's a, uh, that's a that's a normal thing for a person to say. You're allowed to you're allowed to you're allowed to talk about your nuts that you you eat while you're in your your restroom breaks. That is a normal, acceptable human activity. Um, oh gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sleep on time tonight. Now, uh, in real life too. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna be able to sleep on time in real life. I know that actually, but maybe in Minecraft we can. Okay, so just, oh, uh, let me out of this mess. Okay. So we just make a place where we can sleep. Oh, in fact, don't even need to. Already sorted. Hey, welcome to day 43. Wait. Welcome to day 43. We've made it. I'm excited. We even got uh, one of my favorite songs playing. I don't know what this one's called. I didn't get calcite, though. Should we just go to a different mountain for calcite? Is there calcite on that one? I bet there'll be calcite on that one. Yeah, well, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. It sucks to come most of the way home just to then. We're going down a mountain, then up a mountain. But if we get out, oh, oh man. If we get calcite, it's worth it. Um, Yeah, I, uh, your little snow cave. Day 43, almost halfway done with the challenge. It's, it's quite depressing to say that we're like almost halfway. It's like, how long have we been going though? And this is without the restart like we had last time. But uh, again, I think it'll all, like uh, I've, I've got enough things ahead of me in Minecraft that excite me that I can just focus on those things and then the days can fly by. That's my hope. I'm a little bit worried about the 12 hour mark. That's when the, that's when I'm gonna need a rush of motivation. Cause when, when we restart the stream, like some number of people won't know what I'm talking about. Like they're zoning out what I'm saying when I'm like, oh yeah, we have to start again. Cause that's how YouTube works. And they're just like, yeah, man. I think the weather's totally blue in Spain right now. I don't know why I'm imagining that people are stoned and watching. You know, actually, someone, someone said they basically are. So, we've got to, got to watch out for the, for the sleep, the sleepy and stoned crowd. Make sure they, they know where to, the, to find the stream when we switch over. Um, although actually, if we're at forty-two percent and we're at seven hours, that means we'll be at like, yeah, seventy percent or so, by the time we switch over. I'm indeed stoned watching the stream. Probably a lot of people are. <laughs> I mean, mathematically, it's true that X percent of people are stoned any given time. Um, I wonder if a Toy Cat live stream is a higher or lower mathematical average than normal. It's impossible to know. It's just impossible to know. Um, I uh, Can't you start another stream and send us there? I can't send you to the second stream. It would... Like, YouTube does have that feature, but I'd have to... It's tricky to, to explain, but yeah, it is it is a hard thing to do. I am neither stoned nor sleepy, says Lixilis. Hey, my non-stoned, non-sleepy demographic. That's my favorite demographic. Uh, no offense to the sleepy ones, but you're already asleep, so I don't need to... Don't need to pander to you. Non, Non-stoned, non-asleep, though? Wow. You're living... You're having an above-average Saturday. Or a below-average Saturday, I guess. 
depends on how you, you view the quality of your Saturdays. <laughs> also, there's no calcite here. I guess I have to go back to the- oh no, here we go. It's not a lot of calcite. I might be better off just taking it from the uh, the geode even. But yeah, we'll mine it. We'll make a nice little block out of it. Don't need the raw beef. Got plenty of cooked stuff. Yeah, we'll get at least a stack. And it's it's so soft, like isn't it's such an interesting block. Um extremely sleepy, need my lesbian drink. <laughs> I wish I could drink one of the one of the parts of culture I'm like so sad I missed. Is coffee. Did you hear that by the way? It sounded like a zombie. I uh I love the idea of like a drink that looks like it tastes like something chocolatey and delicious. And it's like, oh, it's coffee though. You just develop the, the flavor scent profile. That's... Also, oh right, it's because we're... I was like, did that, that rain end that quickly? But it makes sense. Um, like, I think uh, this is... Like, the, based on the number of people who like, like wine tasting so much, they'll like organize whole trips for it. Liking something weird and... In fact, actually, if you, just based on the fact of like, liking something weird and niche is fun. Having like a taste that you know not everyone has is something I think we enjoy as people. Also, I think I have to eat another suspicious stew, so I'll just eat one of these golden carrots. Uh, or we could just eat two. Get it out of the way. Save an inventory space. Nah, we'll, we'll save this. And then we'll eat a suspicious stew at base and we'll be at full health. That'll be, that'll be quite the novelty. That'll be quite the novelty. So I can't suitable for stoned and sober audiences alike says uh, Robin Brooks. Yeah, if you I you know that's that's quite the honor. Usually usually the uh the stone crowd and the regular crowd. You got you got two different two divergent a uh, a set of paths there. But I'm glad I'm glad it's this way here. Um so cat calls getting high excavating a bong. <laughs> you enjoying the excavating the sacks comment that much? I uh, I saw someone earlier say that that's what they're going to call getting groceries out of the car. Excavating the sacks. You know, it's all fun. Why does everyone pretend beer uh, tastes good? Let's talk about that, says Pygor. See, I that's what I don't get. It's like, oh, this is a pale IPA. And I'll be like, ooh, it's, you say it's got fruity notes. <laughs> oh, this one's really light and airy and it's like really drinkable. Uh, what are you drinking? What do you, what do you think drinkable means? You know, if, 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 if by drinkable you mean poisonous. To, to most people, I totally agree, but I don't think that's what they do mean. I see you're alive, just back from a beer run, says David Gwiddish. Ah, speaking of people who think beer is good. You know, David Gwiddish, can you explain why you think beer tastes good? Can you give us a full explanation? I think that's something that would go a long way right now. Um, I see you're still alive, just back from a beer run. Also, I don't want your bump. Okay, I missed the previous tip. Also, thank you, David Gwiddish. I hope that you are having a wonderful day now. I hope that it is the most wondrous of interesting days. And I also hope that we get some nice enchantments. I'm, I want to go back to the Never. I, I need to, once I've got my stuff fully ready, it's going to be a powerful location. Um, this is my armorer. He needs to trade him a ton of times. Then we'll start selling iron. And then we'll definitely not be selling him diamonds. Actually, should I be doing the other armorer first? Yeah, I should be. I've got to stick to one armor. I think that's a good rule for life. Um, so we'll sell him two batches first. Yeah, only only two more sets, and then we're good. So we'll just throw the extra iron in there, and then we'll make our we'll make our calcite. Actually, I think I'll make calcite for the. Uh, I think this enchantment table will do better in a little calcite room. So how am I going to build that precisely? What does what does a room look like, chat? What does a what does a room? How does a room vibe? I, I guess it has calcite for the floor. No, it, ha it has jingly janglies for the floor. Yeah, jingly janglies on the floor. Calcite for the walls. Yeah, that's that's the way we do this. Um, okay, so place just some calcite all the way around. Uh, it'll be like it'll we'll make it like an amethyst geode, but but it will be made of calcite and jingle jangles. Um, and then there'll be a block here, obviously. Then we will go blocks all the way around on this side. So one, two, yeah, very nice. And then underneath, we can just like kind of curve inwards. So underneath each of these blocks, we now have one of these. 
Yeah, I, I like I like what we're going for here. And then we'll make we'll make something beautiful. That's what we're gonna make. It's gonna be the most beautiful thing. And then we go like another block down and around. Yeah, this is fun. I I, I don't know what we're gonna do about the top fit yet. But the bottom of this is looking nice. And then then we can now remove all of this. Replace it with the jingly jangly blocks. It sucks to mine dirt and then remove it, but it's better to have blocks that you want everywhere. Um, and let's do this. I only like non-alcoholic cocktails, says Calliope. Okay, chat. Let's all let's all let's all get this out of the way. What what thing that is normally considered to be good tastes awful to you, and you don't understand why people pretend they like it. You know, we've got like we, we've we've had beer, we've had coffee, we've had cocktails. Let's let it out, internet. Let it out, and I'll tell you why you're wrong. <laughs> no, I, uh, I mean, I can tell you why you're wrong if you like. But I, uh, I would like to hear your gluten-free anything. Well, I mean, no one likes gluten-free things. They're just, they're just tricked into the marketing, right? Also, we're about to be in full health. Yes. That is a good feel. That is a very good feel. And now we can make more suspicious too. Full health bar. What else do you need in life? I mean, many other things. But, you know, it's, you, you get the point. It's a good day. It's a good day. Um, let's take this out. Throw some more in. And sell that straight to your guy. Okay, so I think we're going to have to actually sell things. Sell more iron to get to his next level. Just all the way up. Um, and then what do we get? We get diamond boots. So it's pretty good. Pretty good day to be us. Um... Pickles and olives are bad. Bud Light's nasty. Vegetables or alcohol. You know, vegetables are the annoying one. People are people who insist vegetables are great, it's like, can't we just say we like them for what they are? And it's like, no, vegetables are objectively good. You have to make vegetables so not vegetable for them to be so good to be good in my opinion. And that is plausible. That is the thing people do. Just I don't So we have about ten seconds till we have to go to bed, by the way. I'm gonna use those ten seconds to just tear this thing up. Get the rest of the brown mushrooms going. And then let's get out of here. Okay. We are good to go. And we're going to finally get through some sleep. Seafood is my favorite food. That's the opposite of what we're trying to say here. Bananas, wine, uh, sweetener. Oh, sweetener's good. That's the, it's called sweetener. It's like sugar, but it's, it's zero calories. Yeah, I, I can see why for a lot of people it's like... Your brain can spot why zero calorie sh sweetener doesn't work or whatever. Uh, I'm I'm really lucky that like it tastes good to me. I just like sweet. I'll take. I like I like really sweet. That's my that's my preference, you know. One two. Look at that. We got we got some suspicious stew. Plenty of it. Okay, so now we go place our jingly jangles. Where we place our jingle jangles. That is to say, over here, and we'll make a nice little little area, like a pathway to them, maybe. Oh, it just sounds so good to place, even. So, all the way around here, including this. I guess it'll be an open-ended, like, geode. Logically speaking, that's what it should be. Uh, and then we'll just have a little path going around here. Yeah, I think this is the best way to do it. Just, just like that. Remove this one, too. Isn't this nice? And then we can make the jingle jangle path go all the way. But I think this is perfectly fine. Okay, enchantment table room, a go-go. I could put some enchanted stuff around here. I don't think that's actually necessary, though. Okay, let's do another cow breeding run. We probably won't get much out of it, but maybe it's been the full 10 minutes. Looks like it has been. So, okay, let's... So, it's so hard for me to get into this thing. Let's go. Lots and lots of cows, please. Lots and lots of leather. So I just need six more leather now, which on average means killing like six cows, I think. Maybe a little less than six. Have I bred all of them? I think I have. So once we have some baby cows and the love mode is stopped, we'll kill the animals. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that six leather? I don't see it. That's seven leather, perfect. Let's get out of there. And then let's breed some more cows to make up for the losses we're sustained. This is very annoying. Okay, we gotta like, we gotta jump really late so we get under that lip. There we go. Uh, cake is not very good, that's my last spicy take. That is a wrong spicy take, Pygor. 
that cake cake is delicious. I I actually do think like a lot of times cake is just like you you need to be in a certain mood for cake or it's like this is just 800 calories a slice and not even like you know that I think you need to be like a certain specific version of hungry for cake. You know hungry for cake is a thing. You know don't let anyone tell you that it's not. Um don't let people discriminate you in your personal life by saying that hungry for cake is a ridiculous idea. Because those people want to keep you down. Those are the people you got to watch out for. Um, by the way, let's make some bookshelves. So we got plenty of sugarcane. Let's craft it all up. We... I still don't have a sugarcane farm, by the way. This is the... I think this is the longest I've ever gone in a world. Also, I didn't want to do that. I think this might be the longest I've gone in a world without making a sugarcane. Um, farm. Can you imagine that chat? Me without a sugarcane farm? What has the world come to? What has the world come to? So we'll just make two bookshelves. And now uh, we've done it. Yeah. So put that back in. Put the sugarcane and that back in. And now let's finish this off. Level 30 enchantments. Here we come. Although we could go for a level 28 on the sword. Or on the hoe, for example. Yeah, it might be worth trying on the hoe. Let's let's do it. Let's just go for a nice level 28 -er. And if it's not very... Ooh, Silk Touch. Do we want a Silk Touch hoe? Okay, so if it's a Silk Touch hoe, we can't get... We can't get... Um, I think we want Silk Touch on the hoe. Yeah, we won't be able to get um, ores with Silk Touch, so Emerald Ore's gone. But otherwise, it's pretty good. Yeah, let's go for it. Cheesecake, funnily, isn't even a cake. It's more of a tart than a cake. You know, don't, you get out of here with these treasonous opinions. Cheesecake is... Just because it's not legally a cake, it doesn't mean I don't love it like it's a cake, okay? You... You don't... You back off the cheesecake. Cheesecake doesn't deserve what you're giving it. You know? Yeah, I think we just, uh... Let's do some mass breeding. Honestly. So, Kat, can you do a, a review of Best Kebab and Luton for a video, please? I think they permanently shut down. I think they permanently shut down. They certainly won't be in delivery radius of my parents' house on uh, Christmas Day. And I also don't know how my parents would react to me getting a kebab uh, delivered on that day. My, uh... There's, like, a lot of pride in, like, oh, yeah, if you're... I, I remember once, like, being really hungry on a Christmas and, like, trying to sort it and it being, like, a really, like... And not the word would be, like controversial thing being like, what do you mean I'm not feeding you enough? It's like, we haven't had food and we'd like some. It's Christmas. And I've been like, no. That's, what are you talking about here? Okay, so I, um, it's pretty crazy to have gone for an entire stack of that. I would trade with him, but I don't want to make a subpar trade. I don't want to lose out on that way. So I'll trade with this guy instead and just see where we go. So he's gonna, he's giving me, see, he gives me leggings. The other guy gives me boots. Add into that the chest plate, and we'll be good. Okay, full, full armor, full line armor is on its way. So now we just want to get various enchantments if we can. So we break these and we replace these. We break and we replace. There is an unemployment rate in the village, which might cause a problem with this. But yeah, we're going to lock in whatever trade we get because we have a book on us, right? We have a book case. We could always break an emergency. Um. Maybe I should go get a book before doing this. Unbreaking two. That's nice. It's not unbreaking three though. I would like uh I'd like mending. Oh, and I'd like unbreaking. I'd like honestly, I'll take protection just because I can then max out gear. Gimme something though, friend. Give me something. Actually, I should lock this guy away. Really. Um Oh, he's trying to make love with the other You know what? That's it's very intense. Why did you decide right now was the opportunity for that? Don't know about that, friends. Okay, well now... <laughs> which one... Okay, it's, it's definitely you that is addicted to this. So, could you come back? What do we got? What do we got this time? Piercing. Should we just use the piston again? Let's go use the piston. Food on Christmas? What a weird thing to ask for. I remember being like a really, um... I remember being... Oh. How did that even damage me a full heart? How did that even... It's fine. It's fine. I've got suspicious stew. Um, no, it's like it's like a pride thing of like, oh yeah. Well, I mean, 
I, I, I don't know. I, I, I think it's like the weirdest thing. I think image is a really big thing for most people. I, uh, I've had this conversation with a few people before. Where it's like, yeah, it's the most important thing is how people perceive you. Like, it's never how p it's like directly said in your brain. But it's like effectively what you're saying. Where it's like, yeah, the goal is to have like a real nice insert thing here. Yeah, the only reason I'm not like sitting at home in a crack den or whatever is because I want to have nice things so people go, wow, that person has those nice things. Like a lot of society only works because we care about other people's perception of us. And I think from that level, it's like very lucky that most people care, at least some amount. Um, Adobe Ho is such a great name, I'll never get over it. Yeah, I, th I, I, I think that every time I see it too, uh, uh, Pi Girl. I, I totally have the same reaction to that. Should we just make the, place the table down? No, we shouldn't. We'll save this in here for now. And just grab a book so we can buy a good one that we get. So, um, yeah, still just hoping for trade refreshes. Also, is this my weaponsmith? Because I have some things to sell you, if so. Want to buy some coal? Apparently, a little bit. Want to sell me a sword with sharpness on? Uh, I guess you do. Yeah, go for it. And then we'll just max our way through these trades. He's only got flint as a trade there, and then we can get a diamond axe next level. So I'm not gonna keep maxing these out because I want to save that for later. I want you to go up to your table though, actually, because I don't want you to be lost or anything like that. So if you could go up there to your... Wait, which one are you? You're, you're this one. If you could just go up there, friend, I'd like that. Oh, I see why he can't, actually. He's got like a bit of a, bit of a block on him. There we go, now he's got space. Uh, speaking of space, let's... We get, we're getting some good trades. I don't know... Like, anything for armor or mending would be good. If we have mending, everything is wonderful forever. If we don't have mending, uh, that's okay too. But let's see what we do get. Okay, so this is Curse of Binding. Chat, do you think we should go with Curse of Binding? All right, I was gonna go grab the piston. Time to uh, break gravel with a fortune pick. Man, I, I cannot imagine a worse fate. A worse fate. A fate that is worse than that. I cannot imagine one. Um, so let's just quickly check the max level enchant here. It's 28, right? I don't know why, oh, it's already enchanted, right? You know, my phone has gone off a few times. Let me just check. It's nothing important. Um, I think it's my doorbell again. Okay, no, it's something else. Okay, we're good. If it's, it's a, uh, I know it's a, uh, it's a interesting. Okay, it's nothing important. Wonderful. Okay, so um, we're going to disenchant. Like I, it's weird being disconnected for so long just because I'm so connected in a different way. If you get what I'm saying, like I'm, I'm so busy talking to the internet that I have no idea what's happening on the internet right now, which is a weird, fun place to be in. Speaking of weird, fun places to be in, day forty-five has arrived. Um, yeah, let's go grab that piston, which I I keep forgetting. I have no idea why when I walk over to it, my brain just glosses over. But here's my piston. We're gonna just move the block over and over again. Actually, it needs to be sticky, doesn't it? Please tell me we found slimes earlier. I don't think we did, though. Yes, we did. Okay, just slime ball it up. Make sure we get a sticky piston. See, that's one of those small little finds. You need to go explore the world to find weird things like that. Or what are you gonna do? 45% and counting. Technically, it's 44% because we haven't finished the day of it yet, but you know, I like, I like ignoring that fact and saying it's day 40 whatever anyway. Okay, so we'll place our piston down there, put our lectern on top of it, and then we'll place a lever here. And so every time it moves, he gets a new trade. If we don't like the trade, we move it, and then he gets a new new trade. And this time it is Curse of Binding again. Wow, I, this guy really wants me to be stuck in my armor. It's very nice of him to offer, but I think I will pass on that. What about this time? Ooh, a leather worker. That's, okay, yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> How did you become the level? Okay, if I move this again. Nope, okay, so there's now a new new guy in town. We're gonna, we're gonna see what he's offering. Ooh, five for respiration. What a terrible deal. Shall not be taking that. And... Then we move it again, and he gets a new trade. 
We'll see what that new trade is. Ooh, ooh, piercing. Nope. It's funny because I guess every single one of these trades is it's someone's dream trade. They're like, yes, punch. I wanted my bow to do extra. But in reality, there's like three or four enchantments you're like really dreaming of. Um, quick charge. No, thank you. Actually, is it, is it this guy? We might as well check on him anyway. Loyalty. That's pretty cool. Okay, so break. What do we got now? Fire protection. No, thank you. What do we got now? I want regular protection quite badly. If I could have max, like, diamond protection armor, I would feel very safe. And I feel like I'd be able to take on those skeletons to get those potions that I need. I would love to mass brew some regeneration potions. Because that, that then I'd be genuinely better off than a non-ultra hardcore world. Uh, the dream trade is uh, mending. I mass buy those. See, mending seems like a really good trade, and it's not like it's a bad trade. Because uh, it's it's used the, the reason mending's so good is because you can use it on everything. But I think like it's gonna be a while before we need mending. If you get what I'm saying. Do you get what I'm saying? Is this silk touch? It is. Ooh, intriguing. Um, but yeah, just just here, waiting for you to give me the right trade, friend. Just you know. I take mending. You know, men mending on stuff is nice. Like, if, it, if he's offering it, I'll take it. But protection, get that strong armor, get the armor that makes me able to just, you know, withstand hits, would be cool. Frostwalker for 52. No, thank you. How about uh, respiration free for 33? Not for me. Uh, 10, 10 for luck of the sea? I don't think that's something I can... Ken? Tren? You know, I don't know what rhymes with 10, okay? You know, do you think I'm 10? You just rhyme 10 with 10 and hope no one notices. Frostwalker is the real dream trade. I wish Frostwalker could be such a cool enchantment. Ooh, protection 2. Uh, you need free books. I think protection 3 we could consider. Not protection 2. We need to buy so many books and spend so much on, on like, combining them together. Might as well spend a little bit more time just finding a better level of protection. Oops. Did it twice, but it's fine. What do we got this time? Fire Aspect. No, we don't. We got something better than Fire Aspect. No, we don't. Maybe I should set this up on an automated circuit every, like, 10 seconds. No, we, I think you want to do it manually so you can always be ready. No matter what's happening. Ooh. Protection free. It costs 45 emeralds, and it's only protection free. But... That is pretty good, right? We just have to combine... No, I don't know if we... Chat, what do you reckon? 45 for protection free? It's very expensive and it doesn't even solve all my problems. That's my problem with it. Um, oh, I'm trading with a toolsmith by accident. Oops. Um, okay, so now we're gonna buy some diamond boots. They already have uh, 45 for protection free as a scam. Yeah, I, I feel like it's a scam. I don't like that I feel like it's a scam, but I do. So now we got some boots, which are honestly probably not that much better. But they're diamond boots, so I'll keep them. I'll, uh, I'll, keep, I'll, I'll keep them safe for now, actually. I won't use them. Um, we'll also just uh, smelt up this extra stuff. I bet by now some lava has filtered through. Oh, is it not? Maybe, maybe two cauldrons just isn't enough. Okay, it is. Never mind. We do not have to worry about that in the slightest. Driving a hard bargain. Yes, this guy is making sure I spend my time flipping the switch over and over again. You know, sometimes you gotta grind in Minecraft. This is one of those grinds. What do we got today? Come back to it. What do we got? Power 4? Yeah, I think if it was 45 for protection 4, I could be like, okay. But if it's protection 3, we, it's so expensive for, for something like that. So this is loyalty free? No. What is this? This is nothing. What is this? This is mending for 30. Uh, you can get it for cheaper, but we'll lock him in. We'll we'll buy it from him. We'll buy something from him. We'll, we'll start selling paper, I guess. So let's keep him in place. Is he trapped? I think he's trapped. Um, let's just go and get some paper. I think mending is a... You know, you can get it cheaper than 30, but I'm like a get it done sort of person. 
Manning for 30 is mid. Yeah, it's definitely mid, right? It's like not... You want to you wanna go better than 30. I To me, I, I want to go better than 30. But uh, given that you just put it on everything once and you're done, does it matter if it costs a huge amount more? I mean, I, I guess I don't have the emeralds sitting around right now. So to be able to like make this sort of a comment. But, you know, it, it feels... Feels like it's like fine. What enchantments would you rate as S tier? Uh, unbreaking, mending, and protection because they all go on at least a few pieces of armor each. Um, mending is worth it. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I think a lot of people would go for more. I just want to lock in a mending trade. He's good. We're done. And so now we can move that down. Ah, no, 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 no. You, you, you don't leave. Excuse you. We move that down one, and now he's still traded for mending. Perfect. So now we can move the lever first for the full, and then we can move the uh, we can move the piston underneath this as well. So easier said than done sometimes, but I don't think it should be too hard. Just break this, break that. Need to put some blocks back there. So these two, I guess. Put the piston now down under this. Put this there. And there we go. Now we got one of these. And we can try again for protection. Uh, cure and uncure. A lot of people like to cure and uncure their villagers. I think that is uh, inhumane. I think you're breaching their, their villager rights when you do that. So I'm going to I'm gonna officially come out against that practice. Say it's not okay. Um, so yeah, we got... We got Actually, wait, is that, that's, that's my weaponsmith. I hope he comes over right now. I need to lock him down. I don't like the way he moves around. Every day he's doing something a bit different. Oh, that should have hurt me, but didn't somehow. Okay. Let's just move. No, 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 no. Okay. So he's perfect. Perfect. Um, is it just, just, there we go. This is, this is more than fine. Does the job. Now he's trapped. Wonderful. And now we have a weaponsmith we can sell iron to as well. And as you can see, plenty of iron with which to turn into things. So uh, yeah, I think I think the second armor is going to be my my earlier choice though, only because I've already sold so much to him. And so just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we can buy some leggings. And this guy, so this guy definitely goes for chest plate next, whereas my other guy goes for I think probably also chest plate. No helmet. Wow, we genuinely got a full diamond set of armor between the two of them. Uh, that's that's quite lucky. And so now we're going to get a diamond sword and a diamond axe. And then the only thing we're missing after that is... Nope, that's full diamond. We Between these four villagers, we've got full diamond, uh, which we can then enchant with mending for 30 emeralds apiece, which after we get this guy sorted... I don't like the new baby villager. I think that's going to cause me problems. After we get this protection sorted, it gets even better. Do we want infinity? Probably not. Do we want... Whatever this is, let's find out. No, we don't. Finally reduced the 25 emerald mending book to one emerald mending book. Yeah, no, I, I, uh, I, I, a lot of people do like the, uh, the like cure, get the prices down thing. I do enjoy a good deal, especially if you like, I know, Hero of the Village can also be fun as well. Like it might be worth doing that for us just to, because we don't actually have like a real cash cow in terms of something we're farming infinitely. But we can get one. Okay, so... Is it worth even having gold armor in my nether? There's no piglins in the soul sand valley. So I think what I do is I just like... I max out. I get real quick some emeralds. I'm going to buy some diamond armor. And then I'm going to enchant that diamond armor. Maybe enchant my sword too, you know. Just while we're here anyway. But yeah, I think, I think just like some high level enchants and diamond armor. Will do some real good things for me. It's my feeling right now. I don't know how it's gonna work in reality. But let's hope, huh? So, make a bunch of this to sell him. Wait till we get a nice round multiple of 20. Okay, that's easier said than done. Sell him wheat. And sell him pumpkins. Do you think the suspicious stew is always the same? Also, did he take my wheat? He did not. Um, now we're going to put the the boots away. I, again, I, I think keeping these around is great, but not right now. You need a fancy bow for the wither fight. 
Yeah, having a having a real nice bow for that is good. I don't think I need uh, to necessarily have. I don't think I necessarily want to have um, infinity, but I do want to. I do. I want to have like a super enchanted bow for that. You're totally right. Uh, for the for the early part of it. Also, I think it's day 46, right? Yep. Oopsie. No idea how I'm so bad at day switching. <laughs> it's like the one thing I have to do every day. Yeah, it's the one thing I don't do every day. Okay. Um, I. Um, it's also still great to save gold leggings for later to enchant as well. I don't have got anything but night vision from villagers. I think that's a thing. Yeah, okay. You know, I'm glad it's not just my thinking. Okay, so now we're going for protection, by the way. Ooh, that's fawns. I mean, fawns is real nice. As like a, you know, like after that level enchant also. Okay, we've lost this guy. We're getting a new villager now. Who's my new, who's my new guy for the job? Also, who is this? My weaponsmith? Isn't this my weaponsmith? I have two weaponsmiths? Where's the second? Okay, you know, it's not, not a big deal. Not a big deal. So, um, yeah, we can uh, sell iron to this guy till he gives me an axe. Or we can sell iron to one of these guys till they give me their things. Like, because I do, do I need to just buy a bunch of boots? I don't think I want to. I could sell them. I could sell them this. Or, yeah, I guess I'd buy shields um, from the armor if I wanted to. Or I can just sell them iron all the way up. I don't know which one is the most preferable. I think I am going to need some more iron if I don't want to be spread too thin. Yeah, that's not going to get me up to diamond axe level. So, oh, okay. Villagers here. What do we got? Projectile protection? No. What do we got now? Nothing? Okay, let's try again. So yeah, today is gonna, there's gonna be a lot of grinding on the, these things, but this is an essential part. Also, this is so cheap for infinity. I think, I think having an infinity bow, rather having a bunch of infinity bows, would be incredible. Honestly, I think I should have maybe gone with it. I know, I know it seems silly, but just being able to like spam those bows as much as I want. Like maybe if I'm breaking on it as well. I think that'd be real good for me. Respiration. No, thank you. But I think I could just put it on them naturally if we really wanted to. So we're looking for protection so that my armor saves my life. Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna know the short story, uh, Mojang needs to rebalance the game so villages aren't so broken. Yeah, it feels it feels a bit like it'd be more fun if there was a way to in the same way I'm doing this. You should be able to do this at the enchantment table. Ooh, nine for infinity. You should be able to do this at the enchantment table in some way, some equivalent of this. So that it's not just randomly enchant, wait, try again. Cause that feels quite punishing. I think if you just give people X access to more experience, this stops becoming such a objectively clear best way to do things. Um, you should only get better trades if you expand the village and let the villagers roam freely. You know, are you telling me that the death camp is not the most effective way to get work results from people? I thought the reason we always intern people and force them to work in work camps is because it's just so darn effective. I didn't realize till just now. No, I, I, uh, I think village mechanics, if you make them too complex like that, like it used to be based on the number of doors in a village. And like a lot of people just could not work out why or how or what. At least now you, there's like an instant feedback to whether you've got something right or not. Like if he if he has a workstation to work on, he immediately picks a job. And he, he picks a bad job, so we try again. He picks a bad job, so we try again. Uh, we didn't trade with him, did we? No, we didn't. He just has three no books in a row. So then he gives me unbreaking one, which is awful. Then he gives me protection, feather falling, which is nice, but only on boots. I want I want a, I want a, an enchantment that I can use on lots of pieces of gear. And then we get Bane of Bath Pods, also no thank you. And we get Blast Protection, which is nice, but only really for the Wither. We want we want regular protection because it works for everything. It's very good. It's very powerful. It's what I would like, if that is okay with you, Mr. Villager. But yeah, this is uh it's like a bit of a frustrating like you have to do this grind to get the right enchantment. Um, and it's it's one of those things where like, is this fun gameplay? Not always. I mean, for some people, I guess it is fun. If you feel like you're beating the system, it's like, haha, look what I have done. Looting freeze, actually. Like I said before, that is quite valuable. It would save me some time, especially on Wither Skeletons, but I think I can get that naturally. 
Um, because it's one enchantment. If, like, getting protection four naturally four times is much harder than what we're proposing to do here. Almost halfway there. Whoa! We're 46% of the way there now. Whoa, whoa! We're living not on a prayer now. Um, Riptide one. Okay, nice. What do we got now? We got Fire Aspect two. What do we got now? We got Bane of Arthropods two. What about now? We got a bookshelf. What about now? We got a bookshelf. What about now? We got channeling. I like channeling, but I don't. I don't love it. You know. Yeah, getting getting a very specific enchantment just involves sitting here in quite a crazy way. Um, I, uh, I we'll, we'll get it though. We'll get it. So, like, yeah, please get a Riptide uh, enchantment and new around when it rains. I know that the rain would like stop on me suddenly and I would die. I feel like that is such a like that that would be exactly what would happen, and I'd be like, oops. Yeah, we just we want protection for. A reminder. I don't mind paying whatever they want to charge for it. Even if it's 64 emeralds per time. I just want to be able to get protection for on my gear. And this is the faster way. Or maybe I go for loyalty and then I can have a... Ooh, mending for 28. Slightly better deal than this guy. Um, no. No, I don't think about the consequences. Just do it. He needs an Elytra. You know, should we go to the end and get an Elytra? I mean, we'd have to kill the dragon to get home. But with an Elytra, it's easy to kill the dragon, so... That's true. What if there was a negative enchantment for a positive one? Would make enchantments risky, but it would still be possible to make the perfect tools. I think, uh... I think that's how, like, maybe villager trade should work. It should be like, here are some really powerful things you can get. But also, every one of them comes with a bit of a curse. We're, like, mischievous that way. I know, but then then you say like, isn't that just making the game worse than now? Like, you, th these are there's loads of good ideas you could do if you were going back before an update came out, but you can't take things away that people already have in Minecraft, or even like not even taking away people, things that people have. It's like taking away what people already know they can do. Like, why make the game just harder? You don't want to make it harder for people who want to do things a certain way. You want to make it easier for people to do things the other way, so that people are making choices. That's that's the way I see things. By the way, um, we've had over 12,000 separate viewers during the stream. It's crazy to say. Um, but we must have more. Also get Unbreaking for the Elytra. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good point. I think Mending on the Elytra alone. Like, you do want Unbreaking on the Elytra. It can go badly about it. I think we might be fine with Mending. I, I think we would want Unbreaking. Maybe I'm wrong. Come on. They do take things away from bedrock. Java is untouchable. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the, that's the deeper subtext behind it. I, I think they still would try not to take things away from bedrock. They're just much, much laxer about it. Uh, you know, because who even plays bedrock? Probably like children and people who like my trash actions, probably. Oh, I'm speaking real well. Respiration? No, thank you. I've got to drink more water, by the way. Okay, nope. Um, by the way, we've gone for over eight hours now. Can we all congratulate me on eight hours? I want to congratulate me on eight hours. Um, oh my god. Ugh. Come on, just this, this is this. Just give me the, give me the enchantment. Just let me protect myself so I can go to the Never Friend. You can do it. I, I believe in you. Just let me have it. Just, just let me have this one. Okay, so let's go for some more pumpkins. We could probably go for a bigger pumpkin farm. But we'll, we'll work on one that's automatic soon. Like, we need to go to the nether to get the automatic stuff. But to go to the nether, we have to have the stuff. It, we're, we're a little bit trapped in a loop, I think, right now. But yeah, we've finished day 46. It's day 47. You're doing very desert well. Thank you, Pygo. Nice work streaming for eight hours, man. Yeah, it's a it's a long stream day. Definitely is a very long one, but uh, you know it's gotta it's gotta be done, and so we are the ones 
We've got to be done it. Okay, thank you for joining me. In oh, wow, 12 for mending. Oh, man, that is real good. That is real good. Uh, we'd get mending on all our gear so much faster if it cost us 12 rather than 30. Um, yeah, maybe we just take it. I think 12 for mending. Yeah, it, it makes our other villager pointless, but it's very cheap. It's very, very cheap. So now we have to get a third lector. You know what? We'll just we'll just roll the dice on them. We'll, we got we got mending for super cheap. So um, let's see if we can't buy ourselves some leggings. We can. We just gotta we gotta make the right sacrifice. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sell them some 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 diamonds. Sell them a bucket of lava. Buy some. I mean, if I just, yeah, if I just buy some hats. Okay, so now we're only six away from, they've got fawns on too. That's very nice. And then uh, since we've already got our diamond boots, they've got fire protection and unbreaking. We can do better than that. So we will do better than that. Let's let, let's do better than that even. Oh, by the way, it's so late now that um, I think it's like time for Q&A to be uploaded. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly confirm. There's a clear gap. In the recording between G5 and G. Oh. Oh no. Okay, that's a problem. How is it going? Okay, I'm just gonna confirm. Um, hopefully a tragic accident doesn't need to happen to that other mending villager. I mean, I think one might need to, right? Like, otherwise he's just taking up space. Like, I guess it's more opportunities to sell paper. And then maybe there's more books in there later. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not currently impressed. But yeah, Mr. Mending number two. No, 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 no yeah, you can stay there. When he when he moves further towards the block, that'll be that'll be his thing. Okay, so now we disenchant our boots. I don't know how my inventory is always cluttered. <laughs> it's just always so full. I don't understand it, chat. I really don't want it to be this full. I really believe in my heart that it is. It's never actually this full, but it always just is. It's just I guess I don't deal with it enough of a time. I just I take a few blocks away here, a few blocks away there. Um. So now we've got so much gold. I think we should just make a stack of gold apples. Um, yeah, I think I think we just make a whole stack of them. They're good. We need them in large quantities. That's wonderful. We should take some gold to the never to trade of piglins too. Don't get me wrong. But ten of these, very good time to be alive. Um, okay, I got nothing for Christmas. It's not even Christmas yet. It's Christmas Eve. Wow. Can't believe you think nothing is a present. It's not even a real present. It's literally the opposite. Um, I, uh, sorry, I gotta. Okay, um, yeah, I, um, no, it's Christmas, been Christmas for seven hours. Married australia -mas, or East asia -mas, I guess. But I don't think that's the real world we're talking about there. Okay, so I need to, um, tocant.exe has stopped working. No, I'd say, um, I've had, like, a scheduling issue with some stuff. Mm. Um, like, I don't know, just, you know, yeah, it's stuff. Stuff is stuff needs to be stuff needs to be sorted. That's quite important. Um, there's like the genocide run is like still running into issues of like we don't have footage of me killing a bat. I killed a bat. I know I killed a bat. There's a there's a gap in there we think maybe uh, where the bat was killed, and so we're like desperate. Like I gotta like find that, but I can't do that during a stream. But then also um, yeah the video today's video. Um, 
like I we had to decide between today and tomorrow and like we we had a different signal about what we decided. So there's a, there's a little bit of confusion about what's being edited. But the Q&A for today is very important. So I like I wanted to reiterate like of course it's that one. Um free the bat. <laughs> I uh oh my brain is just it's just so there's a lot, lot of on time. Um, it's a lot of on time, but I'm gonna get. I'm, it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be all worth it. Um, okay, so now we put away the chain helmet. I don't think I would need this. It's just fun, and we go enchant the boots because now I can finally disenchant them. And I'm gonna get level 28, which is nice. 29. Um, and then we have to go mine more iron, I think so we can buy some stuff that we need and then we'll be good um okay um yeah sounds good one sec gonna gonna check up on this oh no oh okay um and uh, okay Okay, got got a real big disaster on that one, um, but it's okay. Just you know, gotta like I said, I I I guess I mentioned this in the Q and A file now, like, right? The uh, the video thing was also oh, blast protection. Ugh, no. <laughs> so we'll enchant. We could just make a bow, honestly. See how the enchantment on the bow goes. Yeah, or we could just enchant like this sword because then if it has sharpness two on it that's cool deep breaths <laughs> yeah no it's uh there's a lot of uh there's a lot involved in in uh what i have to do now and sometimes it's like okay feather falling that's a good start feather falling and projectile protection like could be worse right i think those are two valuable types of damage reduction. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's really it's really complex, like having to like manage people and realizing like okay, these people need to hear it this way. These people aren't this this is, it's it, I know it's 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 a hard challenge. I'm uh I'm always working on it. Always, always trying to improve. Um, not necessarily always improving. Um, I don't know I think I think at some point any any business management becomes people management. But if you're not if you're not good with people, it's, it's a skill you gotta learn, I guess. Is uh, it's a skill you gotta learn. It's like learning how people be. Um, and so yeah, learning learning when to like be over the top, clear in some ways, or learning when to. Like give more freedom and just like, hey, do this yourself. Like I, I like uh, that's always been my like attitude because it's like kind of self-serving. It's like, oh yeah, you just kind of let people do stuff and then they'll usually people are better at doing stuff if you just like give them the free reign to do it in the best way possible. But I think some people, some people are a little bit better at like, no, I need to know exactly what it is I'm doing. I can I can work out some things around that, but I have no clue if I don't know what I'm doing, I can't do a good job at it. Um, uh, and so yeah, it's, it's it's interesting how things are. Okay, um, yeah. So now I need to check because um, some things got handed around to the wrong editors. Uh, I need to. Is uh, uh, there can be. If not, we can. Uh, I can. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I can do this internet. Uh, okay, so just how are you doing right now? Is it good? I hope you're good. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna. Uh, we'll ask Harrison to send. Okay, he can do it. Um, send it with some. Footage. Okay, we good. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, oh, this is. I'm I'm so bad at multitasking. I can't do it. Like, I, I just, 
I don't know why, I just cannot. It doesn't work. <laughs> um, live stream off business toy cat. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like an important thing to do. Like it's Christmas Eve, right? Like there's no like, oh, I can wait till tomorrow on anything. Everything's like, uh, it's gotta be now, and that's very exhausting. Um, because I'm also gotta be now for the next eight hours in Minecraft. Um, okay. Um, I'm just gonna take a. I should bring my phone, really. Uh, I need to take a. I need to take a, a miniature break for a second. Uh, you can stare at these two. Un unemployed villagers uh, while I while I do this. Okay, be right back a sec. Don't don't let me die. Wait, I'll I'll crouch. Now I can't die. Don't kill me, chat. Thank you for keeping me alive, chat. Appreciate you a lot. I think the villager likes me. Do you think he likes me too? <laughs> Everything's okay, by the way. Amazing content. Keep up Amazing working. content. Keep up the good work. <laughs> you know, I, I don't mean to brag, but I did a good job. I. Uh, <laughs> that's very fun. I think villagers have the funniest, like. Silly behaviors. Okay, um, so I uh, I need to get some diamond armor to go to the Nether. That is my next goal. Um, so I mean I could go with enchanted iron, but I think it feels backwards to enchant my iron if I'm just gonna get diamond anyway. So we instead need to get the diamonds that we need, the emeralds we need. For, oh wow, moving fast. Yeah, instead we get the emeralds we need. The we need to get the iron we need to sell them the stuff so they'll give me diamond armor. So if we're going to get emerald, if we're going to get iron, one of these mountains is the best place to be. We'll ride our horse up one. It'll be great. Best stream ever. Uh, no sarcasm. I'm glad. I'm glad you're you're liking it. I think I think I got everything sorted. And also, I'm very dehydrated. I drank this much water today, but apparently it's not enough. I was gonna get a drink. But I just did, I didn't know what would be good for a stream. <laughs> I genuinely couldn't work out 
what is a good drink for a stream. Uh, and so I just didn't. As is always the correct decision. Also, should I move this guy inside here? You know, honestly, yeah. He's been... The way he moves around does bother me. Let's move his job role inside. I, uh... I hope he's still there. No, 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 no. You stay, 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 stay. Hey, 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 hey. Do you wanna, do you wanna work on here? Okay, so we just, <laughs> nah, we'll, we'll move his composter inside and then we'll, we'll let him work it all out later. So there's two more spaces in here or maybe one more space here and then. Actually, yeah, I'll move it over here. He can be right in the corner and then we'll put some other, probably a third one of these next to him. We could probably put a fourth. We could probably put another job site there too. But yeah, we're going on an iron trip now. So we can get diamond armor. That's the fun world of Minecraft trading. Uh, we only really need like a stack or two. But if we get a little bit more, then we'll have... You know, there's no harm in a little bit more, I guess. Um, you should put dirt books on the roof so he farms up there. <laughs> It's a solid idea if I've ever heard one. No. Okay. Chop these down. I just... Look at my inventory. How is it... How is it this dysfunctional? Okay. Every single item. Let's go through. Let's work it out. I just... It's so broken, chat. I... I, I feel like I'm in a messy room and I keep picking things up and I'm like... Like I... I think I have like this hoarding tendency, clearly. Of like, why do I have one cobblestone on me? I can't get rid of it. I should just, I should just be more inclined to say, yeah, let's get rid of it. Okay, I've got three bowls. They don't have suspicious stew in them right now. I don't care. Um, some raw cow. Throw it in. Even cook it up, maybe we could do. Uh, paper. That stays in here for now. We don't have any leather, surprisingly. Uh, so then we'll put lapis in there. We're going to need more lapis as well. Hey, Silica, welcome back to the Cool Cat Club. Do, 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 do. Um, hope you're doing wonderfully. Okay. Uh, eat a suspicious stew. Yeah, now now is a good time for a suspicious stew. That gets one more slot gone. Yeah, look at that. We are now officially back up to full health. I like being at full health in Minecraft. You know, it's a controversial opinion, I know. But I like when I'm not basically dying. <laughs> anyway, let's breed some more cows. I still love this as a cow house, by the way. Just really brings me some joy. Um, consume a dubious steward. A questionable... Uh, a questionable beverage. Also, I love this house. It, it really does look like an owl, right? This is so much better of a place for the door to go as well. Can't get over it. Um, the cow liquid is growing. The cow liquid must grow at all costs. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go to the top of the mountain. We're going to find some lovely stuff. There. I think I tried going this way before and found nothing. But maybe I just didn't try hard enough, you know? So we'll come down, then up, then go down again. Sounds good. In third person, it's always less scary to make these drops. Like, it just it just feels better. That na that house is nagging me to do more Russian lessons. Tell it to stop. Ah, da. <laughs> there you go. There's, there's, there's me counteracting it with my Russian lessons. Uh, I know that it's, uh, I know, I know the way you say underground train. Or perhaps, you know, like, it's, it's metro. I think pizza is pizza in Russian as well. Look, let me, I'm, I'm going to give you all the cheat sheet cards. This is, this is how you, this is how you learn a language. You work out all the words that are the same as your language, and you refuse to learn any other words. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, no, wait, I forgot how dangerous. Oh, no, I forgot about how awful this is for horses. Let's not do that. Um... Yeah, I overestimated how many easy accesses to iron there were around it. Okay, there's some over there. I definitely should have just gone back the way I came. Gotten some calcite into. Would have been good. Would have been good. But for now, up on the side of the mountain. One, two. 
Oh, this is a nice vein too. Yeah, I love I love when you get this much iron. It's the right amount of iron, you know. So yeah, we got we got a nice 15 with that. I definitely want at least a stack. I think two stacks just so I don't have to go out again though. Like it's more efficient to get everything you need to get done done at once rather than like a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit everywhere. That's my pro tip. Holy cow, the whole horse sunk into the snow. Yeah, it's uh, it was disastrous. So this is Fast 2. You don't want to know what happened to Fast 1, as he was retroactively named. Um, he uh, he may have he may have had a. Oh, this is this is not a smart type. Yeah, this there's too much snow. You don't you don't find ores when there's snow either. So let's go into bed mode. Okay, let's do this. Perfect. I think it's fun to sleep with a horse above you. I think I hit the button twice. Nope, just once. We're good. Okay, day 49. We're almost halfway, chat. I think it's happening. I think it's going to be a chill 50 days, too. I feel like once we get the diamond armor, it's only the dangerous things that can kill us. I mean, <laughs> maybe it's already only the dangerous things that can kill us. But it's going to feel like a significantly lower number of things that can harm our ability to be alive. Also, the iron armor is still flowing here. That's fun. So, there's no iron chilling around here. I guess we're a bit too low to find it in large quantities. There is a cave, though. Oh, that's... Oh, look at that cave. Let's not. I'm gonna go for the emerald, though. I think it's fun to sleep with a horse above you. Could be a very suspicious statement. I don't think sleeping with a horse above you is a crime. I think, uh... It's probably a very bad decision. You know, horses are one of those animals humans are a bit close to, actually. A little bit too close. I think I'm gonna, gonna back away from my statement in case I'm, I'm saying something some real people think. You know, it's usually, it's usually the rule. I have to say something that's so ridiculous no one actually thinks it. But with horse people, you never know. You never be quite sure what they're thinking. Besides horses. Yeah, they'll, they'll be very public about low sports. So yeah, the uh, the iron I was looking for. You'd, I think when it's just exposed stones and you find it. I love your second channel. Thanks for the fun videos. Hey, thank you, uh, uh, Pi. I have a video uh, that's going out on Christmas Day for that channel, and it's as Christmassy as a, cr a video can be on a geography channel. Just don't don't question what that means, and then don't hold me to it when you disagree with the the premise. Um, yeah, trying to make sure I have videos still go out on Christmas is very important. Also, uh, by the way, uh, we got uh, Samuel last minute stepped up. Looks like we're getting Q&A done. Uh, very pleased with that. If you're curious as to how that all went. So everyone everyone, make sure to thank Samuel when you, uh, when you watch it and it works. Or if it doesn't work, obviously send a, send a meme message to him. But like, you know, ideally the first one because it will work. Um, yeah, I'm going real far and not finding any iron, by the way. This is this is a disaster. Should we just go back? Yeah, one of these mountains will have it instead. Like, even if it's just that side mountain there. There's going to be some iron there. We're very high up, for what it's worth. IBX Toy Cat is really a Christmas movie. If you think about it, right? Is this not a movie? This is a feature length. This is every year... You should rewatch this and realize the beautiful things that we go through together. Okay, there we go. That's iron. It's not a lot of iron, but it's enough iron. Don't. Oh no, the horse is gonna. I thought that might happen, but I was like, ah, it's pretty thin. Apparently, doesn't matter. Okay, let's jump over. Oh wow, do you see that? That was amazing. That was that was next level horse maneuvering. Okay, one iron vein is really not worth an entire mountain trip. But guess what we made anyway? Let's go. This is a horror Christmas movie. Um, do you think we'll have Christmas presents in game tomorrow? If you play the Java edition, if you play the Big Salmon edition, they're too busy promoting their new maps or something. Um, yeah, I mean, like, you could you couldn't ask to have good parity come to Bedrock. They're only interested in bad parity, I think. So it's, it makes sense. Also, did you see that goat? I think he suffocated to death or something. Very concerning. Um, gonna get off here. 
and I'm going to mine these iron. I guess we're getting some amount of iron done. It's just not as many, yeah, like 34 for such a long trip. Maybe we should just go underground. Or maybe we should keep climbing the mountain and see what's at the top. Honestly, yeah, I don't think I've ever climbed a mountain like this in a horse. This, there is a first time for everything, and that includes scaling the top of the world via horseback. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna reach the very top of Minecraft soon. There better be some iron ore up here. Can't believe there's not. It it is nice. Yeah, this is literally the top of the world. Isn't this nice, chat? Isn't this isn't this beautiful? Isn't it great what we did together? And by that, I mean you watched and I climbed a mountain. But you know, you 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 were you were nice about it, and that matters. Okay, so I want to go in here actually. I bet there's something in there. There's gotta be okay. There's some coal. That's something technically. Uh, good thing the parrots are the same on both editions. They've achieved achieved true parity. High quality joke. <laughs> um, you know, what? medium quality joke. Medium quality. Also, Sanana YT, I helped. Ah, you really were being serious when you said you'd stick through the whole thing. Gotta give you some credit there. Gotta give you some real credit there. So I could just jump off this entire mountain. It doesn't feel correct, but you can actually just... Ah, I don't like that. I don't like... I don't like it at all. It's true, but it doesn't feel correct. Like, it'd be so cool to trust myself enough to jump off the top. But what if it decides that, oh yeah, it's only one in every hundred times you take damage. This is that one hundredth time. I would feel pretty bad about that. Also, I'm not mining the block right now. I can tell because there's no square around it. So we're gonna, I know, place a block. Get up here first. Yeah, here we go. Just stack up above him now. Yeah, this wasn't the, the most disastrous mining trip, but I think it would have gone a lot better if I'd have just gone the way I intended to. I, you know, this is a little bit of exploration mixed in. Don't, don't mix business and pleasure. When you're on a mining trip, go mining. When you're on a business trip, go businessing. Um, have you played High on Life yet? Oh, I'm really liking High on Life, actually. Um, if I had time, I would be playing it uh, tomorrow. But I don't have time. I think it's Christmas. I, uh... Man, yeah, High on Life is real good. High on Life is real good. Um... So, uh, I think 40 blocks or more will kill you, it. You know, I don't believe that, but I don't, I don't want to prove you wrong. I really want to prove you wrong, I should say, but I'm not going to. See, because that feels, even though there's no logical way that could be true, it also has enough of a feel of truth that it's like, ooh, I don't know about that, actually. Oh, look, this is a cool dripstone cave. Okay, plenty of iron. We're, we're finally starting to find the large veins I was here for one of these. I mean, this isn't a large vein, but it's it's next to some other veins. And that's like a large vein, really. And then we'll grab these. One, two, three. Yeah, even, actually, not even this is like, look at that. That is depressing. That's not an iron. That's not even really an ore vein. That was just, that was just some blocks that spawned together. So I did say I wanted to make sure we got enough to not need to come back, but I don't think we're gonna do that up here. Like, you know, this is, is this is this two? Yeah, two. Come on, come on, Minecraft. You could be less stingy than this. I believe in you. Um, going down, going down there might be something actually. My daughter laughs anytime a baby zombie sits in a boat. Looks like they're going on an adventure. I think I think there is something funny about mobs sitting in boats. You know, you can you can say that's your your hobby. You know, like being like, you know, it's something so cool. But I I think that is uh, inherently funny Minecraft thing. What is a polar bear doing up here? Okay, I'm gonna mine these emerald ores now. Um. Oh wow! Look 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 at where my horse got to. That is some serious coverage. So how many emeralds? Oh, one emerald. How many emeralds? Oh, two emeralds. Okay, that's actually it's better than one, I guess. We got some XP too, which is not the worst thing. You know what the worst thing is? People who pronounce XP as EXP. It's like, it's it's short for experience, right? It's not, it's not short for EXP, experience. You know, you know, we're not Sue Fifrican. I, I don't know. I uh, just wanna, wanna put that out there right now. 
that, you know, there's a lot of sight. I, there's a lot of things I won't take sides on. But I think there's sometimes we have to draw the line and say, if we won't do it here, when will we do it? Oh, Christ. Okay. Up the mountain. I saw some iron ore a second ago. There it is. Let's do it. I think I'm freezing. Yeah, is my horse okay? Yeah, my horse is okay. Can the horse put himself in a hole and, like, in danger? How does that work? Hopefully not, right? Yeah, probably not. I mean, he's walking. He's doing just okay. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna go down the mountain. If we want to find iron, we'll find it elsewhere. Actually, you know, what? that's some iron. Isn't it fun how you can like vertically scale it? Not vertically, like diagonally scale a mountain like this, in entirely implausible ways. It's very fun to me. So then there's iron here, and then there was iron a little bit down here right there. Okay, so we got we got 84. That's 21 iron trades, so that's 21 emeralds plus all the progress we make. Not the worst thing in the world. Let's just go to sleep. Can't go to sleep yet, though. So let's go to our horse. Bring him down to our bed. And then go to sleep from... Oh, Christ. Oh, yeah, he's... Okay, maybe if I go to sleep from, from the horse. Okay, it's not night time yet. It's not night time yet. It's not night time yet. <laughs> this is a fun way to find out if it's night time. There we go. I hope I don't wake up above the horse in the morning. Let's see. Hey, yeah, no, perfect. So now we could fall directly onto the horse, but that would be maybe needlessly risky. When instead, we can just follow him. It is crazy the, like, I'd say they have a mind of their own, but like, I guess they're meant to be horses. But it's crazy the way horses wander. Also, oh, it's day 50, by the way. I, uh, welcome to the, the halfway point. That's, that is nutty to say. Uh, so we're at 8 hours and 49 minutes. So if this is halfway, the implied full way is 17 hours and, and 40 minutes. Uh, except we're not through day 50 yet. So it's implied that we're going, it's going to be a full 18 hours. Okay, that's something. That's, uh, that's, that's the progress checker. It's, uh, something to work with, I guess. It's not a lot to work with, but it's something. Um, yeah, I, uh, living on a prayer. <laughs> you know, I, I always think that when I hit halfway there, too. But, uh, yeah, so far, you know, not so bad. It's been a, it's been a good, good run so far. Everything's been going quite quite swell, if you ask me. I I think the wither might might push me. But we'll try and time that for 100 days. So if we die to it, we can be like, ah, it's just the wither. It doesn't count, or something. Got here late, was day 33 when I joined, says David 6.3. Glad you made it here at all. You know, it's a, it's a busy Saturday for a lot of people. I don't know why. Apparently there's a big event this time of year. But, uh... Yeah, no, it's uh, it's exciting to know that you made it regardless of that big event. Um, only one iron, but it's fine. It's better than no iron. Okay, I'm just going to make this jump down. Okay, well, wait, 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 wait. Iron. Got to keep on taking as much fit as I can get. Oh, wow. Okay, that's concerning. It's always concerning. I, I'll eat a golden apple when I go to the nether next. I want the absorption anyway. Okay, where did you go, horse? See, like, how does he, how does he get away so quickly? <laughs> he just climbs so much. Congrats, you couldn't Congrats. have done it without us. You couldn't have done it without us. Oh, so thank you, uh, Angler Van Camp Houten. But yeah, I, you know, I, I literally couldn't have reached 50% without your emotional support. To be fair, yeah, if I tried this without it, I'd be like, at the seven hour mark, I'd be like, I'll just do the rest of this tomorrow, like a normal person would. But not, I could not do that. And it is much better as a result. Only nine hours left. Yeah, I uh, I think because, like, we can't actually sleep after 10 minutes in every day. I think that's the reason it's taking 18 hours instead. I think we're a little bit underly optimist, overly optimistic about getting exact 10 minute days in. And it looks like that's not even possible, even if you perfectly time it. So we're getting like 11 minute days in. And that extra minute is is adding up. A minute a day, extra 100 minutes is 
It's quite a quite a sacrifice to make, I think. Um, but it is one that must be made. So I'm probably gonna need food before the end of that. You know what, chat? I don't, I wanna. Do you think you can get food delivered on Christmas Eve? Do you think you can get a kebab delivered on Christmas Eve? I I think you should. I think it makes sense. It seems logical. Um, but I think I think that's that's where we're going at this point. I don't think my my long-term sustaining food did not work. Chinese food, sure. Okay, so let's look at the village from this lovely view. It's looking good so far, right? Um, okay. Um, okay, so we... Um, okay, the delivery. Let's see. Let's see. If, I'm just gonna type in kebab. I, I don't. I don't need to go fancy today. I but I do need a kebab. That's that's the only food that can give you long-term energy. Oh wow, the fancy place um, from before will in fact deliver. Twenty-five to forty minutes, chat. You know, they will hate you, but yes. I don't think you'd be open if you hated your customers. Good morning and Merry Christmas. Good morning and Merry Christmas to you too, Aris. Aries, 271. Um, so if it's 18 hours from 11.45, that means it runs till 5.45 a.m. on Christmas morning. Well, that's gonna be some good sleep, isn't it? <laughs> Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it a lot. Okay, let's... Um uh, I should I should put him in his pen, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'll throw this in there, alongside this, and then we'll throw an extra stack in there when we need it. Okay, take the bucket out, and uh, then we'll start selling some other stuff. As you can see, my pumpkins have grown very nicely. Honestly, at what point do we just say iron armor with some diamond boots is enough? At what point do we admit we're already perfectly good? Um. Meat on a stick is probably what pilgrims ate on Christmas a thousand years ago. Oh, apparently this is a uh, this is a translation thing. Um, but you know I'm not gonna bother with the kebab kebab thing. Not gonna bother. I could bother, but I shan't. Um, so let's find my 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 dude, my composter man. How would you like to permanently live inside? and do your farming job from there. Sounds good? Okay, work from home. Um, so we're gonna sell a bunch of wheat to him as well, because I've still got like just so much lying around. Nice 63. Nice 63. Um, then we can go grab the iron. So we're gonna be we're gonna be quite, quite tactical with this iron here, because again, I can sell this guy up to his helmet, but I think the chest plate is more important. So I think we switch all resources to this armoring man. Except apparently he's already at max. When did we do that? I don't remember selling things with him to whatever. Okay. So we'll buy a chest plate of protection too. Do you remember me getting into max? Yeah, ready for 50 indeed. Sweet Rampage. You know, I, I don't, Sweet Rampage is a very interesting name, but thank you very much. Uh, not only for the tip, but for the Streamlabs tip. Uh, it is massively appreciated. Merry, Merry Seasonmas. Kebab is how I spell it, but I've probably heard kebab more. Yeah, it's 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 a weird, it's a fascinating development to me. I I'm not familiar with the whole world of why and how, but there is a whole world of why and how. So uh, we definitely want to sell to this weaponsmith man because we want a diamond sword and a diamond axe, honestly. But that's that's less important than uh, we got a diamond pickaxe. We're great, and so we could get. We should just buy the leggings, I think. We'll sell enough iron to this guy. Or should we just buy some stuff? I'm not even sure. What, when did we get the guy to the max, by the way? I might, did I, like, how did this happen? Did I, did I sell him a bunch of stuff when I didn't need to? I don't, I don't have any recollection. I genuinely do not. Whatever, we've got enchanted armor now. Just, let's go to the nether. We can work out everything else later. Having the diamond chest plate with protection that gives me the safety and security I need um, to fight a long, hard day of crime. Um, the second phone I've used to watch this stream is getting close to dying. Time to get a third. Can you not charge it and watch it? Are you having to like charge, like switch charger roof? It's fun if that's what you are doing. Um, today is the sixth anniversary of the Carolina Reaper stream, just for some PTSD. 
It's crazy that that was six years ago. I, I assumed it was way more. Man, I want to tell you about how bad a Christmas day I had after that. Let me, let me, <laughs> you want to hear about my, my terrible Christmas day experience? Well, you see, internet. Um, as it turns out, having a, having a pepper you can feel inside of you uh, is not actually the ideal circumstance for having a, a dream Christmas. Okay, so we're going to throw away the chest plate and we're just going to go to the nether. Let's just, let's, let's just work out the rest when we get back. We've got plenty of time until... Okay, now we're going to have to go to sleep first. And then we've got plenty of time to sort it all out. Um, we've also got a ton of uh, iron we need to smell. So let's, let's go do that right now as well. And then we'll put the golden apples on the hot bar. I'm going to eat one just as we go. Just because why not, right? Got plenty of iron in here. I think... Yeah, this guy, we're not going to buy more boots, so we're just going to sell him iron. Yeah, there we go. And now we can buy... Ooh, protection one. So yeah, this is all this is all very rudimentary diamond gear. But it's all diamond gear still. It counts, it counts just the same. Um, and uh, then we go to sleep. And maybe the diamond sword is a good idea. Because, you know, I mean, we don't have anything else to... Yeah, it's, it's, this, is, this is the only use for the iron now, besides, like, real things. And then we can get a diamond axe, then eventually a diamond sword. Get some cool enchantments on that, and then we've got full diamond. Yeah, that's... I'm feeling good about our situation. I, I Usually I try to get a lot more emeralds. But right now, this is perfectly fine. I can chat through my phone, but watch through the TV. FYI, kebab toy cat is an ordering of shaved meat. Donna kebab uh, is skewered meat and veg usually grilled. You know, skewered meat sounds good too. Don't get me wrong. By the way, now is the official 50% point. Whoa, whoa, we're 51 days there. Whoa, whoa. I don't know how I'm going to make it anywhere. <laughs> okay, so we'll eat a golden apple just before we go. As a safety precaution. Oh, I need to bring some uh, some poly some cobbled deep slate. I'm gonna bring a lot of it with me. Uh, it just seems, you know, like using it to make the place safer is a good idea to me. Um, the bow is gonna come with us too, and the torches will take up my host slot for now. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay, let's do this. Let's go to the Nether. When has anything bad ever happened in the no. So yeah, look at this. Put gold armor on for piglins. I'm gonna keep gold armor on me actually for that particular reason. I should have. Yeah, I think if I keep the boots around, that way I can switch them in a in a pinch. I mean, the gold boots are theoretically better than the diamond boots. No, they're not. I wouldn't say. We'll keep these around, and then if we need to switch, we can switch. Yeah, that's what we'll do. If we if we see piglins, we'll go do it. But for now, let's go get some blaze rods so we can power our our brewing stands. We also want to get some never warts. Those are the two things I'm hoping to come out of the never with. Whew. Okay. Um, so we want to... Oh, okay. Easy. Easy time. Um, so we're going to keep building this wall on the left and then we'll build another wall on the right here. The idea of this is just making it so there are no mobs between me and where I'm going. Is this an efficient way to do it? No, it is not. And then when we hit the wall here, we're going to start tunneling through it. Obviously, we're going to start tunneling through it later. For now, um, yeah, we, we will start doing that. But for now, we can make it up here, place our torches, do our magic. Uh, there is, just over here, a fortress, I believe. I don't see it right now. Also, I don't know if these torches actually do anything. I'm just kind of hoping they do. Was there a fortress? There is a fortress over there. Is that a bastion next to it? No, that's her. Okay, so we're just going to run uh, all the way here. I don't know if these torches are doing anything at all. <laughs> I really do not. Um, and then we'll get a bridge across here. It looks dangerous, but it's safe. Trust me. I wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't safe, probably. So just crouch to avoid this. My absorption is just about to run out. 
Um, we're not going to take another one. We're going to wait till we take damage first. Damn it. I would like to be able to kill these guys faster, but if that's the fastest we get, that's the fastest we get. Okay, so a little bit of a danger run. Okay, in fact, if we just... Uh, no, we want to be able to danger run. Okay, no, that's too much danger run. Okay, ooh. Um, focus Toy Cat. Focus on the fortress. There is grave danger. Okay, if we go down here... Um, we can bridge over this. And we're fine. See? You want to go? You want to go? You want to fight? You want to see how that goes for you, friend? Yeah, it's not going to go well. You know, he's not hitting me most of the time. Okay, he hit me. Okay, so we just have to keep bonking him. And then he's going to slow down. And we're good. This seems like a silly thing to do. But I think avoiding the floor where the skeletons are. Actually a surprisingly good idea. Okay. I didn't realize you could block blaze attacks of shields. It doesn't seem to make any sense to me. Um, but, you know, if it's if it's how it works, it's how it works. Um, so yeah, we're now going to bridge across the final bit here. With the idea being... Okay, that torch is doing a lot of lighting. Get a little bit of extra... Extra Nyaum in here. Uh, and we've just made a way for Wither Skeletons to get to us, which is nice. Okay, perfect. So we're going to have to do something to stop mobs making the jump. Um, okay, speaking of mobs, I'm getting out of here. Get out. Ooh, okay. So yeah, Ghast won't not spawn because of, I'm getting really lucky in these explosions. They're like just all going around me. Um, so yeah, we're just going to run out. It's a good time, but not for me. Uh... Yeah, we're doing okay. We'll still get out there. And we'll try that again in a minute. Actually, wait, I've got a bow. I've got a bow. So that didn't go to according to plan. Um, and we're going to kill enough skeletons. They'll be fine. So if we just go down here instead. Okay. Where are you coming from? Okay, just one fully charged shot. That is enough to kill him. We also want this regeneration thing. Okay, so we got we got one of those. That's three potions right there. All we need to do is get the blaze rods to go with them. Oh yeah, the torches are not lighting this place up enough. Ah, yeah, getting a blaze, going in and getting out, really tricky when it's this biome. Like it's just filled with things that are gonna cause me hassle. Um. Oh damn. Okay, it's fine. The, if the skeletons get too close, we just have to do this to them. Do we have a lot of durability? We have. Enough. Just let me finish you off before the, the ghast comes. That's all I need. Come on, friend. Okay. Very, very good. Grab that arrow. We do need every arrow we can get at this point. Let's charge it again. Um, we're going to make sure we kill this guy. Just in case he... Oh, no. Whole arrow wasted. We might... If he drops a uh, thing too, we'll grab it. Nope, just gunpowder. Um, so let's get out of here now. Let's place some blocks, maybe. Um, you know, let's just, let's just keep running along this. Uh, we should maybe go for another golden apple. I think so. I think just put it inside me. Uh, raise questions later. Um, lots of magma cubes now. It's, there's always a mob here, it seems. But that's fine. Um, and then we're gonna make the safe exit inside here. So, um... We're going to very deliberately have a bunch of blocks running along here. And we're going to tunnel into this thing, because tunneling in is much safer. Whew. This is so risky. What is he doing? I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. You know, it seems like I don't all the time. But I, I usually don't even die. So that's how you know. I know what's going on. Um, oh, we're near a base salt delta, so we're getting... Oh, these guys. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed that there's only one. <laughs> that's so cool that you can... <laughs> it seems so fake that you can do this to a magma cube. Oh, God. Uh, the medium ones are the worst. Oh, the little ones, too. I forgot they damage you on, like, slimes. Oh, and there's a there's a skeleton behind them. 
Because, of course, don't want to go too close to this edge. Um, put me in a real dangerous situation here, friends. The good news is I've opened up a path into the, the thing. Stop reading chat. You're a liability. You know what? You're right. I gotta stop reading chat. What am I doing? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Um, um, okay. So we're gonna either go on Apple ASAP. ASAP. Um, and then we're gonna build a little halfway home for ourselves. Um, where things are safe and mobs can't get me. Um, yeah, sounds, sounds great to me. Whew. Okay, and then from here, we're just gonna keep building this out. Um, oh, what, what hit me? Like, it's obviously a skeleton, but there was the skeleton. There he is. He's got a little helmet on. Let him finish himself off. Let him just do it. It's fine. You can do this, friend. You can do this. Okay, I got a chain helmet, which I don't need at this point in the game. But it's nice to know he's thinking of me. Didn't realize there was a second one there. Okay, fire your, fire your, your stuff there, friend. Just do it. I gotta really watch out for that baby magma cube. Um, okay, so now we're gonna place some blocks through this to make sure we're safe from wither skeletons. Uh, we really, really would like to be safe from wither skeletons. And so I'm going to place the blocks that will keep me safe from them. Then do the same over here. Oh, what am I doing right now? I don't honestly know. And now we've got a way to keep blaze rods. Uh, we don't have space for them because inventory management and me do not go together. Do I want blaze creams, by the way? I might. Oh. Yeah, it's hard to be sure. Okay, let's go for it. Then crouch because there's one back there. I need the blaze rod, though. So let's do it. Look away. <laughs> you know, I need these constant reminders not to look at chat. It is my, it is my deadly problem that I cannot instinctively do that. Oh, it's a scary place to be. It's a scary time to be here. Oh, okay. What even bonked me? Was it him? I think it was him. Ow, he got through the shield and that stings. Um... So if we get all the blaze rods we need and get out, we'll still need never walk, right? Oh god! Oh, he's doing a lot of damage here. Let's get out of this. Oh yeah, they're spawning up there. I guess it's technically part of the fortress. Or like, it's technically blocks. And they were in the fortress zone or whatever. Um, yeah, that was a lot of golden apples to eat just to stay alive. Um... I'm gonna, I looked at the chat, but I'm gonna immediately go back to not looking at it. And just so we have something else to take home for myself, I'll get some bone meal. I love some bone meal blocks. I like the noises they make when you, isn't it good? Uh, and there was something else I wanted from the nether. I think it was nether quartz. So brown mushroom, throw it away. It is good, but not as good as this. I wanted some nether quartz. So let's make sure we get some of that before we leave. Um, you see in any chat, is there any nether quartz? There's nether quartz down there. Okay, you want to go? Let's just do it. Oh, I hate when I miss. Do not have enough arrows to do this indefinitely. Okay, so I've got blaze rods. I just don't have never warts. But once I do that, once I do, I'll have potions. So all I've got to do is, like, get further into that. Oh, gosh. Um, get further into that place and I'll be great. Okay, nice. Um, so that is my portal. Is there any never quartz chilling around it? There is, conveniently enough, actually. I want to make some observer. Oh god, <laughs> I do not like that that gap below it. Um, so just place a few blocks here, just for my personal safety. And then let's get how many quartz is that? Two. I think I'm going to want more than two. Is the problem? So give me more, please. Oh, it's also a good experience, actually. Um, oh yeah, let's do this. Yeah, tw okay, 14. I can make 14 observers now. That's pretty good. I, uh, I like, I like that idea. Uh, yeah, let's get out for <laughs> I think getting a bit more would be nice. You know, getting up to level, level 30 would be very cool. Never caught so much more important than magma cream. I don't think I need magma cream. Fire resistance is for... When do you even... When does the fire even burn you in the never? Like, I think you guys are thinking of a different dimension. Um, 
must be. Oh, it's night time. No. Okay, we've missed. We were in there too long. We are in there quite a bit too long. Whew. Welcome to day 52, though. We made it a deck of cards. Okay, so we can now make some observers. We can make an automatic melon farm. Oh, God, it's bad. It's real bad. Um, okay. So, the good news is all my villagers are kept roughly safe. This guy might have been a villager who died, though. It's hard to be sure. We should definitely cure one. Like, I have golden apples. I have splash potions of resistance. I should have maybe taken advantage. Um, I, uh, in case you want to go for a swim in lava. I guess, you know, I, I, I am sometimes partial to going for a swim in lava recreationally at times that I really should not be. It is something I have been known to do. That's true. Um, yeah, going back for a magma cream might be a good idea. But I also really want it not to be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I, uh, I got some extra raw iron. What do we need to make an observer? It's got quartz in there, but what else does it have? Redstone and cobblestone. Here's my cobblestone. Here's my redstone. Let's make some observers. Ten of them sounds good. Okay, so... Ten observers means we can make ten automatic melon farms. I mean, really, we could just use one observer for every other piston, every other melon or something like that. Okay, so the basic idea here is we detect this melon from underneath. No, it has to be from above. So we place some... Again, I've always wanted to make an automatic melon farm. And I've just never, never gone around to it because it's never been that important to me. Um... But, like, not being able to do it in the super flat, like, really, like, put a fire under me for it. So that is not correct. Maybe if I go a block further down. Uh, how about that? There we go. So now this block is being observed. Can the melon still grow there naturally? I don't, I don't know the answer to that question. But then we just put a piston next to it, and we'll see. Observer goes on the stem. Does the stem change? I, I guess the stem does change. You're right, yeah. That's much smarter than what I'm doing. Um, so we'll just move the piston now. We'll leave the lever there as a reminder of things. But otherwise, that's great. Now we got a piston. It's sticky too. You need a splash potion of weakness and a golden apple to cure us on the fight villager. Exactly. That's why when I said I have the things I need, I meant I had both of those things. Okay, so... Yeah, if we, if we observe the stem, it makes much more sense. Logically speaking. I do see that, actually. Um, so, although you need... To, actually, no, maybe we should observe the block. If you put it on the melon, it never stops. Yeah, right, I get you, because the... Although, does, surely the stem never stops. Wait. Oh, wait, I see the, I see the issue, yeah. Okay, so we put it on the stem... And now when the stem changes, such as, if we, we have to break this for it to work. Oh, maybe not. If we break this stem. Where is this stem growing? Is it growing anywhere? Whatever, so it's going to activate some redstone. Although, we, the, right, there's just no redstone attached. That's why they didn't do anything. So then we just connect. Uh, I think this is the wrong way, actually. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's looking at the sky right now. So instead we place him like this. Okay, that's not correct either. Instead, we place him like... Okay, I'll just... Like this. Okay, so now he's looking at the stem. And when the stem changes, he can put off a signal. Or I could just do it like this way, I guess. Yeah, that's probably much... That's more efficient. And now we just connect this to this with two bits of redstone. I hope it's only two bits of redstone. Um, you have to make sure the melon grows only in one spot. Yeah, that's, that's, otherwise, yeah. Actually, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is correct. So then we'll put, like, a water stream down here. Um, that will collect all the melons as they flow. Okay, so we could, we could already, like, right now we can assume, okay, well, this has to have an observer on it, too. Uh, and so we do that like this. Apparently not. It's very confusing the way observers work, but we just like that. 
And so now there's two melon stems growing on the same block. So then we remove this third melon stem here. Sorry, it's gone. Uh, and this is another place that melons can grow. And then we put a piston over here. And then we put a observer over here, then a piston. And then hopefully that alternation works. Uh, quiet please, I am seeing, I am seeing. The observer was examining the dirt block. Sometimes we all like to examine dirt blocks. You know, occasionally it's what we've got to do. Um, I think I'm going to go back to the nether. I don't think I'm like thrilled about going back to the nether. But I think it's where I've got to go. I think, uh, I think that's what I've got to do. <laughs> so I guess before we go, we could buy our leggings if we get the emeralds for it. Yeah, let's let's treat ourselves to some leggings. I mean, having full diamond armor is nice. Would be nicer to have. I mean, having mostly full diamond armor is nice. But full is better than mostly full. And, uh... Yeah, I'm excited about how this is going to go. Do we need to do anything else? No, redstone. Redstone. Uh, see, that's, that's, the, that's the problem with the big unorganized chest. You go in there and your brain has no clue what's happening. Um... It doesn't, it, you, it's doing everything it can not to activate the processing skills. It's like, what if we did something else instead? Okay, so now these two observers are linked to this piston. We could also make it linked to this one over here if we wanted to, because there will be a piston there. Um, yeah, and then that's good. That is good. Must be nearly Christmas, just having a Bailey's. Oh, I would love a Bailey's too. I, it's such a good dessert feeling drink, you know? I want a dessert feeling drink. Why don't I have a dessert feeling drink in my life? Who's who's holding back on me, internet? Okay. Um, so, cat, are we surviving or thriving or perhaps vibing? We're doing none of those three things. Um, so we'll move this water now over to here. Yeah, and then we'll just slowly remove these and replace them. And we'll eventually get... And then if we put like a... Um, a hopper down at the end. We'll have something. Um, wait, how does that work? Bedrock redstone be crazy. Yeah, yeah, a lot of... Uh, <laughs> that, it's, it's one of those user-friendly changes I do like. I don't know if they do this on Java too, but the redstone cross is one of those, like, smart things. It's like very, it's a very minor change, but it's, uh, it's one I appreciated when they first added it. Sort your inventory, get magma cream, get blaze rods, crop it. I've got, I've got almost enough blaze rods. For just forever. I'm gonna get more while I'm looking for it. I need never wart. Never wart is what I need more. Never warts, everyone. Chat, that's what we need to remind myself when I'm in some dicey situations. It's never warts that I need. Um, so let's make some pistons now. Um, it's cobblestone and it's wood. Why well, don't I have any wood? Where did my wood go? Did I, did I put it somewhere? I guess I just ran out. So let's, let's chop down some more wood maybe. I could grow some more. I could just chop down some more. Um, I know I, why I'm not having a blind Russian. A blind Russian just sounds like a... What even is that? Is that what you have like... It's like a white Russian, but you, you you pick the drinks at random. You know, I like the idea of like, insert any cocktail here, but you replace all the drinks with RNG drinks. Oh, RNG cocktails? That's, a, that's an idea I need to... I need to get behind. Okay, so um, I think RNG cocktails are a genius idea. Okay, so we need redstone and we need iron. I guess we don't have any iron because we have to put it out from our furnace. And then we can make some pistons. Bedrock redstone makes so much more sense to me than Java. It's uh, whichever one you learned on. Yeah, I think that's true for most things in life. I still get people who tell me that like manual cars are objectively better than automatics. And it's like, I don't know if that's... I don't know if you're using the word objectively correctly. Um, that's sort of like, I, I had to learn on a manual. So it's like, it was the logical thing to me. Like, oh, what do you do with your hand? And the answer is you just, I don't know, you use it to to touch the steering wheel a little bit more firmly or something, I don't know. Um, it's, uh, there's a... There's a lot of things in life where it's just like... There, the way you learn is the way you believe it. Also, did I ever get that treasure? I didn't. I went, I went for a lot of work not to get treasure. And that's fun. Um, so let's make some pistons now. Nine pistons? Nine pistons. Sounds good. 
that lines up the number of subs I have. So, uh, yeah, we'll see if this works. I don't really have any proof of it working or not working yet. But yeah, a piston goes there. And then a piston goes over here. Nice. And then... Yeah, we just do this in an alternating fashion. So this is space where a melon needs to grow. Which means this is space where a melon needs to be observed. Um, I feel like we should have gaps in the redstone every now and then, but I don't think we're doing that, so... <laughs> okay, so we've got three observers and three pistons. Anytime one of... I want to I want to see this working, but I, I feel like we can't just sit here and stare. Actually, you know, we should, we should go to bed. It's late. It's it's time for not awake anymore. Good morning, day 53. A blind Russian is when you pour a shot of vodka, pluck your eyeball out, put it in the glass, and drink it and say, for Mother Russia. Sounds believable to me. <laughs> Sounds very believable to me. Um, okay, so... We're gonna go back to observer block here. And then observer block here. And then a piston over here. So break this. We gotta prevent the melons from spawning on blocks that are out of control here. And uh, then we'll place a piston over here. Yeah. And then maybe one over here as well. Okay, so as soon as these are all connected up correctly. Also, Merry thank Christmas you. Merry Christmas, Toy Cat. Our first baby Verliru, nickname, was born this day, this hour, this minute, 12 years ago. Is he even a baby at that point? Or are you saying he was your first baby? I think I think there's a there's a very big misunderstanding there. Um, but no, no, thank, I, 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 thank you for the tip. Merry, Merry, Merry Shannon-mas, Jeff Shannon-mas. Merry, Merry holiday of, of, of your choosing, and I hope you have a merry time indeed. Okay, so this should be enough, by the way. So I just have to kind of sit here. I guess I'll also do some, some pumpkin farming. But while I'm here, all of my melon dreams will come true. Is supposedly what will happen here. Um, I wouldn't want to grow if a creepy stone face was staring me down either. You know, a, a blind Russian is one part Bailey's, one part Kahlua, two parts vodka. One drink is roughly four drinks because it will get you blind drunk. Yeah, I. whenever people make cocktails, like, also, wow, that was crazy, right? Did you see that? Um, I've always thought that's the craziest thing is when there's a drink that's like part, one part alcohol, two, oh, it, it worked. Yeah. Chat, I think we made an automatic melon farm. All we needed was to observe the the, the stem and not the melon block. Because by observing the melon block, we would have caused a piston loop. Okay, so is having a block gap the most efficient way? Or could we have the observer blocks be uh, on top of them? Yeah, that's how I'm picturing it being most efficient. No, but then, mm, yeah, I see the, it's quite, it's quite a hard farm to make efficiently. But now we can put dirt layer, a dirt layer above this. Presumably, and then we can grow a second subsect. Maybe we do we need more space than one? Ah, uh, probably not. Let's find out the hard way if we need more than one space. Um, so now we place a ton of these up here, and then we just do the same thing again. Honestly, making a good farm. I think this was a good break that I needed from the, the never-ending hell that I was just in. I think this is a good, good break. Okay, so we will line up with the same stuff, honestly, just so it's, like, basically identical. These would be the four melon plants. I think there's five down there, but it's fine. These are the five melon plants. And then we'll have four observers, which we place back here. It's going to be very tricky to do, but we just... There. There. Ooh, look at the, the way the farmland goes down a block is quite interesting. And there. Okay, and then also we need to place a block here. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Then we need to place pistons facing forwards. Ah, yeah, this is easy. And then we've got a second layer to the farm. I think this one might push them too far forwards. Like, it might go down. So we might have to put something there to stop it. But otherwise, the idea is solid. 
Um, why did you use a sticky piston? Does that work? Oh, does a sticky piston work with melons? Or would the sticky piston just... I think if you move a melon, you break it. I think. I'm not sure. I genuinely have no clue. I think this is one of those fun things where we're going to find out. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out the fun way. Um, so we'll just place a dirt block here. I think we have too many... I think that piston is achieving nothing. Can we place another one of these here? We can. And then the hopper goes here. And then that way we'll collect hopper juice stuff. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got enough iron and we've got enough wood. We don't have enough wood. Let's we just should we just grow some big trees. Yeah, you know, I want to get a lot of pod soul. It fits this world. So I'll I'll grab my spruce saplings. I'll grab my bone blocks. Let's make a ton of bone meal. Oh my god, it's so much bone meal. Um just throw those on the ground. We'll we'll come back for them. It'll be it'll be fine. What is my inventory? How does it keep getting this bad? <laughs> okay, let's just place this observer block down just so it is somewhere. Like it's eventually going to go over here. So we'll just place it over here. Sounds good to me. Uh, none of these are linked up to redstone yet, but that's okay. Let's grow, grow, grow. Oh, these are all activating. They'd be making pistons go if nothing was going on. So then we'll place cobblestone or something more attractive back here. We should use, um, okay, so what's a distinctly farm block? Which of these blocks yells, I'm a farm the most? Is it the jingle jangles? Is it the calcite? The smooth base salt? Sure. Smooth base salt's an attractive block. I can get more of that. And then we'll use this for our redstone placement. Just over here. Um, and then we can place all of our redstone on it. We're going to be missing some redstone right now, but you're always missing redstone. Okay, now we bone mill these. And if, if, I, if these are linked up correctly, every time I bone mill this, yeah. So... It's fine. It's not a big problem. And then we'll grow that. Perfect. Okay, so now I've got eight melon plants that are automatically growing to be destroyed. It's really not that many, but it's something, right? It's something. And then they're just going to drop the melons on the ground unceremoniously there. Later, we'll put a hopper there, and it will go into a chest, which will be here. Or we could have it go into a bunch of them. But I think we have just one big vertical stack. Um, 1,000 days would be 180 hours. Next project, 1,000 days in one session. Honestly, if we just... If you if you allow me time to say I'm going to sleep, and then I'll come... Like, then you count those days where we run an AFK farm. Oh, that's an idea, isn't it? That's an interesting idea. Should we do it? What do you reckon, Internet? Because uh, <laughs> that, that, then you can make a lot of progress. You can make a lot of progress real quick. Saw your inventory, do future you a favor. Future me doesn't deserve that favor. Future me is tainted by the things that he's done to past me and will continue doing if I if I don't get in his way. Okay, so sell these. Now we can buy an iron. Wow, that's actually, the, the silk touch is kind of a weird one. I mean, I've got a silk touch this and I haven't used it yet, so. Still, it's cool. Okay, so now let's get some silk touch mushrooms. And let's make a mushroom. Let's make a mushroom building for our never portal. That's all we've got to do. By the way, have you noticed how there's no iron golems around, so we're not dying? Has anyone noticed that? If you've noticed that, then that's good. You're noticing the truth. If you haven't noticed it, you know it's only lies. Um, so yeah, we're going to keep on growing spruce saplings because they give me um, good feelings about life. Ooh, yeah, and also they give me podsol. I think having a weird little podsol thing here is nice too, right? Like it just, it adds good vibes. Okay, um, yeah, I, uh, okay. Between between Harrison and Samuel, the Q&A is getting done today. Um, can you upload Q&A when Samuel is done? Uh, Harrison has a uh, upload privileges on the channel, uh, so it means while I'm streaming, we should still be able to get a Q&A out. Hopefully. Okay, behind the scenes over. Oh yeah, I'm so hungry. I can't I can't go for another nine hours on on no food. Um, you know, is a, is a Christmas Eve kebab 
Is that is that the Christmas spirit chat? Um is that really the Christmas spirit? It might be. I just I'm just not I'm getting the vibes that it might also not be. So let's now grow another one over here. I'm just gonna have like a huge pod so area when this is done. It'll make me feel good about myself. Get the get the damn kebab. <laughs> you know, it's what Santa would have wanted, right? I mean he's gotta have something on his he's gonna have some fuel up on his on his jo it's on his road trip that he's up to right now. Um yeah, it would be good. Do it now before place is shut. You know what? That is thinking right there. That is thinking. Yeah, I guess I should... I was thinking, like, if I get it done after the, the gap, that makes more sense than before. But maybe it makes more sense before. I'm not sure. Ooh, that rhymes. Um, I love a good rhyme that happens accidentally. Okay, so... I think I'm... Man, this is a taller tree than I thought from the outside. I've never seen Harrison and Toy Cat in the same room. Is there a Harrison? If you were a member, you would have seen Harrison and Toy Cat in the same room. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so let's break down. I want to get some good sleep in. As well as in Minecraft, of course. Haha. Um, yeah, we. I, I love how a single one of these trees just gives you, like, a world ending amount of wood which is great we can we can do lots of things with that so welcome to day five four i don't think so because when i think i get confused um no i'm, I'm i might try and go for something that like vibes less less awful for me also look at that see melons they're just growing themselves at this point so now let's make the hopper We'll make the chest later. We'll, actually, we'll make the chest now. It doesn't. It's not a huge amount more effort. So two chests. One of those chests becomes a hooper. So hoopery doopity over here. And then chestity bestity. There we go. Uh, I don't think I need the chest. I just think it's there. Okay. So look at that. Look at that. See. Okay. So th these melons fall down. These melons don't. I'm guessing those came from the second floor. And so now if we just put some blocks over here, we'll prevent that being an issue. Um, it could always land on this if we keep these melons. So, so later on, we'll move these out of the way. But for now, we've got something here. And that's kind of nice. We can always expand this later. But the fact that we, we finally made a melon farm, I'm happy with myself for that. Okay, so let's get all the pumpkins sold for the day. And then we'll probably grow... No, no, a baby tree grew. I don't want that. I only want the big trees. If it doesn't grow me podso, I don't... Wadso, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to work out some food. Nothing more traditional than the Feast of the Seven Fishes on uh, Christmas Eve. I had smoked salmon in my fridge till yesterday. I had like a little late night snack. You know how it is. I mean, you probably don't. But it's... You, you, you now know how it is, and it, it is smoked salmon all day, every day. Um, yeah, I think I should just move these blocks around this, and now we can grow a second tree when this is all gone. So yeah, we got, oh, and we got four more. You know, let's just, let's just keep, keep growing trees. Let's cover this whole place in pots off, and then we'll have places to grow giant mushrooms. Make a Christmas tree, but out of melons, though. I think I've basically did that in my super flat, because otherwise that's a good idea. Okay, so four of these over here. I I don't even know why I'm obsessed with Podso at this point. You know, I, I guess I need the suspicious stew. So I might as well do this or something. But it does feel like a bit of a weird obsession. Puff puffs past the salmon. Yeah, smoked salmon is dangerously addicting. They don't teach you that. You know, we, we just, we talk about personal responsibility of salmon consumption, but it's just, it's so easy to go overboard and you don't even know when you're doing it. You just say, just one more slice, just one more. You know, after that, I'll stop. But you never, you never do. You never do. That's the danger with smoked salmon at this time of year. Um, so yeah, suspicious stew is where it's going to be at. And bone meal is where that's going to be at. Easy. So we'll silk touch, we'll break a lot of the blocks of axes, and then we'll silk touch some of the rest. 
I need a lot more brown. And I don't think this is an appropriate place for it to grow, apparently. I wonder why not. Also, how did this mushroom get over there? Did I place it there? Can you just place mushrooms anywhere? Okay. Um, let's move this, I guess, over here. Can it grow over there? Yes, it can. So we'll break one normally, get a bunch of brown mushrooms, make a bunch of suspicious stew. Actually, I think I'm running short on red mushrooms too, ouch. Um, so let's break this now too. And then we'll be good. Big, big juicy two metered salmon. I um, don't take care of yourself and order a kebab. Don't even think about it. Is it taking care of yourself to order a kebab though? I, I don't know, it feels like quite the opposite. That's why I'm trying to balance out right now. You know, I, uh, I'm gonna, I'll eat something from my freezer. There's like, there's food in there. There's a, they've got like a mini pizza I could eat. I do love a good, I love a mini pizza. Um, I could, you know, I've got, I've got choices. That's, that's me. I'm just, I'm this, I'm a man of luxury, a man of abundance. Can eat, can eat lots of different things. Probably not even go bankrupt from them. Um, so yeah, getting these blocks right here seems like a good decision, except my inventory is cluttered. Um, so that's something to watch out for. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll go for a bunch of brown mushrooms and then let's, let's make a mushroom around the portal. Because we're making like a geode around the enchantment table. Let's make the portal into a mushroom. Uh, like kind of a red mushroom. Red mushroom around like a... So we'll make the inside blocks out brown mushroom. And like a layer around the base out of that too. But then a red mushroom kind of roof. So that's my plan. Let's see what we think of it. Uh, I guess we should make it a more interesting structure. So that people go, wow isn't that nice rather than wow isn't that basic. Uh, and also pumpkin seeds, not necessary. So let's pick it all up and let's see what we can do with this. Also, let's get some suspicious stew made. I think this is going to be as many as we can possibly imagine. Okay, inventory decluttering time. It is so impossibly full of ways, but let's, let's put some effort into unfilling it. So we'll combine, we'll turn both this and that into bone meal. Okay, now we have too much bone meal, but that's fine. That goes away too. Uh, protection for boots, they seem like a good idea. I don't think they are for the never I'm going to, so we'll leave them in there. Alongside this second sword with smite on. Uh, the flint and steel, we don't probably need, but just in case. The gunpowder, we definitely don't need. The single perch block, did you hear that? Was that, was that the noise of lava turning into a cauldron or? I'm not going to think about it too hard. Um, okay, so we'll put our spruce logs in here. We've got a lot of them. And uh, that's enough inventory decluttering for today. <laughs> you know, I did a good job. Let's, let's all be proud of what I did do, not what I didn't do. Kebabs are reasonably healthy and definitely better than nothing, or chips or ice cream. Freezer pizza is also acceptable. Man, freezer pizza has really did change the, uh, the landscape on... Uh, on what you can eat when you have not made a plan to eat. Yeah, you know, it used to be like, well, you'll have a real sad time if that's what happened. But now it's like, yeah, you want to eat just as good. You want to eat the thing that people get excited about. It's not going to be perfectly as good, but it's going to be, it's going to be in that ballpark somehow. Um, I think that's incredible at least. So yeah, we are now 12 emeralds away from a diamond axe, which apparently I do quite badly need. And uh, also I should start combining my melons together into uh, into fully complete ones. Like having a silk touch, oh, having a silk touch would be the best way, of course. But as a good alternative, combining cut melons together, it'll do the job. I, uh, I really can never get over this recipe chat. I know I, I mention it so often. Why is it that if you, you got a lot of melon slices, you can craft them back into melons. <laughs> you, you glue it together and everyone just accepts that as fact. It feels incorrect. Oh, by the way, now is the normal streaming time. This is when we would usually start streaming. Nine hours and 42 minutes into it. 
I gotta gotta say, gotta that's that's crazy. That's that's truly the definition of crazy. Um, so yeah, we get a few extra melons from that. Not many, honestly. I think we really have to scale up this melon farm, or it's not gonna go anywhere. I think the pumpkin farm would actually probably do more for us. We could do the exact same on the opposite side, actually. So like, turn this into a pumpkin farm, but pushing into the same thing. I think that might be worth doing. It'd take a lot more observers and pistons and stuff. But it's a fun idea, right? It's a fun idea. So for now, let's grab another melon. And let's get some pumpkins, except, oh, we don't have an axe. That's, that's quite a big flaw for the pumpkin supply. Uh, and then we can make some suspicious stew, finally. I don't know, like, I've not been hungry for so long. It's crazy how little, I guess because I don't use regeneration. Like, you, you don't realize how much of your hunger drain is just that one fact of life. Where are my bowls? Where are my bowls? There are my, there are my bowls. But it's so little that I'm, so much that I'm not using, I guess. Put these in there. Put these in there. I think after this, we'll move these ingredients into the chest. Really, we should have a healing chest at some point. But uh, yeah, let's let's mix these in there, and then we can. Oh, is this is this full? This is officially full. Uh, that's a problem, huh? So now we got to start working out how to separate this out. Well, I guess we move the building blocks away. And then we're relatively clear for a minute. But only for a minute. Then the, the, the problem will come back. Okay, brown mushroom blocks around the base of this. Let's go. I know it's getting late, but it's going to be fine. So I'll build like a big room. Should I make it a box or make it like a pyramid? A pyramid would be nice, but it's going to be like a mushroom. So what what is the shape of a mushroom, internet? I guess it like, it would start small and then like mushroom out. Yeah, that's the shape we want to go with. Uh, someone still had the audacity to say he was late at the start. <laughs> you know, that's... It's it's funny. Day 55, by the way. It is it is very funny when I hear... When I, when I see those comments, I do have to say. Okay, so it's going to be really, really thin at the base. Like, the bare minimum to fit around this. So... Uh, so, 5 by 5, I guess, is what we're going with. No, 6 by 6. It's going to be a nice even number. Um, yeah, nice. Um, so this is, this is what the base will look like. And then we'll go up, like, I don't know, like, call it four blocks. And then we'll use a bunch of red mushrooms, like a silly amount of red mushrooms. Okay, sounds good. So let's uh, plan a doorway first. Honestly, the doorway can just be nothingness. Like, there we go. That's, that's doorway. Technically meets the fire code requirements. Um, which is very important in the Minecraft world. Don't wanna, don't want to get to day seventy-five and fail a health inspection, or a, well, I don't know what type of inspection that'd be—a fire inspection. Um, and uh, yeah, also like the stream if you haven't already. Yeah, actually, wait, right now, okay. Uh, it's it says eight hundred something likes. I guarantee between you, there's enough of you to get this to a thousand likes. Please, could you? If, if for no other reason than to see the number go up. Don't worry about like, ooh, something, something, algorithmic, blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. Just, you want to see the number go up? Hit the like button. It would be interesting. You'd feel powerful. You'd feel like you're making an impact on the world. Don't you want to feel that? You do want to feel that, don't you? Oh, this is like a, this is like a villager face now. I don't, I don't like it, but I don't hate it. Um, and so now we use the bone meal. I liked it before I started. You know what? Next level. But yeah, just like the stream, uh, it has some some impact on how YouTube perceives this stream to be. And I would like it for YouTube to have that impact. Uh, thank you very much for listening to me talk. Now I'm going to grab another suspicious stew. See, our single golden apple will get me where I need to be as well, honestly. Um, and we're going to grab the bone now, which is in here. Yeah, free chest is going to be just fine for a while. I uh, I'm really looking forward to this mushroom build, though. That's going to be good. So, now it's time for red mushrooms. No, it's not. <laughs> Why is it not growing? Um, what, is, what am I doing wrong here? I'll just move it a few blocks over there. There we go. So, we want just the red mushroom blocks. The stems will just turn into more red mushrooms. Um, 
Yeah, I, uh... So, Cat, I heard rooms of suspicious entrance and have come to examine it. You know, that is a very suspicious way to enter. But while you're here anyway, consider hitting the like button. We've hit 900 something likes. I can't see the exact number. It just says nine dot dot. I want it to say one dot dot or ten dot dot. I'm not sure how it will abbreviate a thousand. I've liked. Any tips for finding buried treasure? So step one is to be in a place where buried treasure would be. Step two is to dig down when you think you're there. 928. Ah, wow, everyone has a live count. That's that's actually incredible. 928 likes. That's incredible. Yeah, just uh, if you're watching, just give it a like. I know, it's it's hard. It's like a whole button press. Who wants to press a button? Not me, that's for sure. But I would do it if I wanted to feel powerful. And you know, don't you want to feel powerful? Feel like you're the one in control? You know, in this in this world where our where our ability to make a difference can often be taken away from us. Don't you want to get it back? Also, uh, Darren Hughes is back. See, uh, uh, it's funny, literally someone said like, oh, Darren Hughes is gone after like a week. It's a funny, funny thing. But you know what? Merry, merry stream this, Darren. I, uh, merry stream this. But before that, there is a tip from... Oh no, there's not. There's no do, do. Thank you very much for bringing us up to 785 channel members. We didn't hit the, you know, the end of the year goal of a thousand. I mean, we we haven't. But we, I, I think 785 is nice. Like, we we were hovering at 300 for so long earlier in the year. So it's nice to have made a big difference. Um, I guess now we break this to get some more red do, 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 do. I'm going to need so many of these red mushroom blocks, so I'm just going to go crazy on it, by the way. Um, I think putting efficiency on this hoe makes some sense as well. Should I put mending on this pickaxe? Or do I need to disenchant and try and get... Why am I using fortune, by the way? What's wrong with me? Oh, um... You know, I'm, I'm gonna enjoy listening to Pickstep for a bit. If you wanna join me, now is the time, internet. Also, 958. Also, took out, you got a tip. It'll, uh, it'll show up after the pig step, I believe. So, sorry to dick a snoodle. I'm excited for your tip. Uh, <laughs> now, my name like that. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay. I, I have to sort out food. Uh, ASAP, by the way, chat. Okay, what food am I gonna sort it out? Um, a little, little minute. The, the pizza tray I could, like, go for one of those. Um, I've got, I think that's literally, like, I've got... I, I try not to keep food in the house because then I eat it. But then when you when when you need food, that's when you regret making decisions like that. Um, hey, do, 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 do. I want to get pig step today. I think that'd be a really cool goal. I don't know how realistic a quick goal it is, but I think I'd like to have pig step. Do, 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 do. So let's get a bunch of brown. We don't need uh, the white, really, because it just makes a horrifying villager face. Rank these three other side straddle pig step. Uh, pig side. You know, pig side. That's that's my ranking. 961. So, no, congrats. You know, we're 39 likes away from 1,000. If you're at, if you're at this point, you're like, you know, I'm not going to do it just because you say just so. Just got back from climbing gym. Flashed my first V7. I was so excited when I heard you enjoy climbing. Happy climbers. I had the same reaction. I, I learned an old YouTuber friend of mine started climbing. And I was like, oh, that is a, that is a crazy fact. Do, 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 do. Um, so, uh, yeah, Dickus Noodle, thank you very much. I don't know how it showed up in the middle of the members, but um, V7 is incredible. Yeah, I, uh, I've only ever done, like, V2. Like, every now and then I get, like, a V3 or V4 off. But, like, I don't think it's, like, because I can do them. I think it's because they're misgraded or, like, maybe I'm just... I've got a very particular skill set, but whichever way around it is. Um, yeah, I, uh, I do, 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 Um, okay, so now we can use the rest of this to finish the, honestly, I think the base of this mushroom should go up a little bit higher, actually. 
Although it might ruin the face effect we're kind of going for here. No, I think that's good. And then we'll we'll grow out like. Um, so yeah, we'll take that away and we'll start placing the red now, I think. Do do. Oh no! I don't know how I didn't take damage from that. I think that should have been four blocks. Maybe Feather Falling saved me, honestly. Okay, so now we start placing red mushroom blocks around. Is this a silly way to make a never portal? Yes. Am I doing it? Also, yes. Do, 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 do. Okay, and then we'll use the leaves to place the next layer. And we'll just kind of vibe out how that looks before we do anything more. Do, 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 do. I actually like this. It's like a mushroom house from uh, from Super Mario, right? Do you like this internet? I, I think I'm accidentally creating something that looks good. Kebab fund. Um, also, thank you for the kebab. You know, I'll just order kebab. You know, rather than thinking about what I have, then looking at what I have, and then like ordering that way. Um, I'm just gonna order a kebab. That's how we're gonna do it. Uh, lamb donna, mixed donna, chicken donna. Uh, you know, it's Christmas. We'll go over mixed donna. The classic. Rice or bulgur, oh God, if I know. Um, Okay, so I'm just gonna. Please don't be an insane Do delivery. Give in to the lies. Fried chicken is life. Fried chicken is love. Is fried, fried chicken, chicken both life and love? Okay, let's see if they, let's see if they sell fried chicken here as well. Let's see if they'll also. Oh, they have Iskender. Oh wow, that's really cool actually. Um. Okay, I just wanna. They they do a lot of they do a lot of things. It seems I get a salad. Then I, then I can argue I'm being healthy. If you just think, if you just don't think about it. Um, you know, I'm just gonna order the kebab. Oh, should I order turnip juice? Shall I, I'm gonna order some turnip juice just because I'm curious as to what that is. Um, but then I'm like seven pounds away from getting free delivery and it costs three pounds 50 for delivery chat. Okay, tell, tell me how you feel about that. It costs three pounds 50 to deliver. If I spend seven pounds more though, I get free delivery. So it's like, shouldn't I really, you know, like, do, do you guys get trapped into that or you're like, no, buying takeaway is already a treat. Don't don't try and like optimize, maximize it. Um You are so close, damn you, generous tipper. Yeah, I uh what if I do get fried chicken? Also I gotta go to bed. Not yet though, apparently. Um 56! Yeah, I, these these days are feeling better now. Now that I'm like making some cool progress. I that, that makes me feel a lot better about these things. Okay, so uh, yeah, I, I really like the way this is going. For what it's worth, for what it's worth, I think there's just something really enjoyable about the the mushroom uh, going here. I paid the delivery. You're saving three pounds fifty by not getting an extra seven pounds. No, yeah, I save three pounds fifty. In other words, they're giving me a fifty percent discount on the next seven pounds of stuff. Um, you know, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just get it. I'll just get some dumb starter that I don't even want. And then that way I can eat that if I get hungry too. Um, easy. What's, okay, do I, what do I want for, what's an easy starter? Um, you know, I don't even know. I just, I don't even, maybe I don't want a starter. Maybe I'll save myself that pain actually. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I think just to, just because I've got a, I've got a stream to do, I think I, I ordered the easy. Ah, oh, there's a, it really it really hurts me seeing three pounds fifty spend seven pounds more to get free delivery. Um, I think I just buy a dessert, although I don't need dessert today. I'll get I'll get I'll get I'll get something basic, spice spicy Turkish sausage. Um, yeah, no, I uh. Oh yeah, there's there's too much there's too much happening here, internet. I gotta I gotta just decide on something. Uh, yeah, okay, I, I did it. I got exactly twenty five pounds to get the minimum. Let's deliver in case you're curious. Uh, let's let's just hit order. Let's go. Uh, continue to check out. Just let's see if they arrive this time. If they don't arrive, uh, I'll eat a pizza or something. Okay, less is more. That is that is. That is untrue when you're talking about food. <laughs> no, I, I, I do think there is a truth to it. 
Uh, okay, payments payments made. It's on its way. Uh, first of all, problems cannot find what to eat. I mean, when you have too many options, it genuinely is hard to decide, right? Also, we're at 982 likes. Come on, you're new to the stream. Statistically, someone is. Give it a like. It says it'll be here in 20 to 40 minutes. So t t in 20 minutes and free Minecraft days, someone has to remind me. Because there's a chance that they're like ringing at the door, being real mad. Because it's, you know, there's all that, all that concern. I gotta just like remove from my life. Uh, I don't actually have a wood thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly look to see if the, uh, we should got maybe a third layer or if the second layer is plenty. We might be going too far with this. This might be the point where we say, no, that's ridiculous. So I'm just gonna give it a brief peek. Yeah, I think that'd be too much. I think we just go up like a toad house, like two or three blocks. I think we don't go over the top on this one. Okay, yeah, that looks that looks much better in my opinion. Just and then it's then it's got the little face too. Wonderful. Uh, nine hundred ninety-seven chat. We can do it. Um, I uh, calling something a first world problem feels really rude. Oh, I totally agree. If you're calling someone's problem, someone else's problem a first world problem to like downplay it, that's boss. Also, we just did a thousand likes. Yay! Wait, let me see what that looks like on my screen. Oh, it doesn't show yet. I'll tell you what it looks like on. Do you think it's gonna show as 10XX or 1XX? Okay, no, it's one dot dot dot. Yeah, we hit one dot 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 likes. Yeah, that's good. That's that's a that's an accomplishment. That's I'm glad. A, fo a thousand for a live stream where all I'm doing is playing Minecraft. You ever think about that? I mean, it's Minecraft for like now almost. Oh, we're gonna hit 10 hours in 30 seconds too. Wow, we are rolling through the milestones today. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this done. Uh, one dot 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 dot. One dot 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 is the dream we're all aiming for in our lives. But I have, I have proudly reached it today. Also, these do not seem to stack together. Okay. So, I'm gonna go up like another two blocks, I think. And then that's gonna be it. I think that's gonna be my, my, my mushroom house on the inside. Um, so, one, two, one, one, two. Just a lovely little row of these. I shouldn't have done that. I have no idea why I did that. Um, and then, yeah, then we'll, we'll have to cover it in something. Or we could leave it exposed to the elements. I think the... Or we could just, like, put a block inwards for the top. And then just have a ring and then no one will notice past that. Sounds like a plan to me. I love when people don't notice my builds. You must name it Toad. One dot 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 sounds more depressing than it is. It's a number that starts with a one. Is that 11 likes or is that a thousand likes? There's no way to be sure, but you, you can believe. You know, I've got I've got one dot 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 live stream viewers maybe. I, just, I, I don't know, I don't think it starts with a one actually. I think it's probably, wait, am I going up another alert? Yeah, I am apparently, okay. And then we'll go inwards a block from here. And just ha kind of have a top layer. And if that's too much, that's too much. But I think it'll be just fine. And then it'll be kind of like, yeah, I think I think we're I think we're doing something beautiful here. I think we are. I think we're revolutionizing the world. Off. Uh, okay, so now we need to get down here. A little bit dangerous to do that. We could fall onto the portal, then fall onto the side. Then there we go. Yeah. Usually you don't have to be so cautious about damage, but I think in the, okay, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit of a silly one. I think we probably could have gone down another level. I like it though. I like what we've made. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit, if it's, it's a bit large. Maybe we should commit it to going larger even. It's, it's a bit top heavy. Yeah, yeah, that, that is a bit of a weird one. I think we should have gone an extra block on the brown. Maybe. Oh well, it looks fine to me. I like my little my little never portal access, and then we could just place stairs for each of these uh, blocks right here. So, uh, what what type of stairs do we use? Whatever type of stair looks fun. We can turn our cobble deep slate into something more fun. Um, so right now it's just all cobble deep slate, but what if we turned it into more than cobble deep slate? We go from cobble to I like I like the look of polished. Also like the look of bricks, though. 
also like the look of tiles. We'll make tiles because it fits the never vaguely. Uh, one, two. And then we'll leave the rest of these in there. And now our never is a little bit more complete. See, now, now we'll be able to go in and out much easier knowing about the safety precautions. Um, maybe we should fill the entire thing up with stairs, actually. Like, if you think about it, it does make some sense to, like, let's just have stairs there and stairs there. Maybe, maybe this doesn't make any sense. But I could see just the entire thing on the inside being stairs. I'm not sure. I could also see, like, covering it up to make it dark in here. Um, are you going to do anything tomorrow, Toy Cat? Uh, I've got to drive two hours and then enjoy a turkey or whatever Christmas food is. I want to say there's French toast involved. Yeah, I love my owl house. You know, houses with a personality. They, they, they spark joy. They really do spark joy. So how do I give this house some personality? It's got to look more like a cow, right? So like black with white spots or white with black spots. We could replace the windows with like black concrete or something. Yeah, that'd be something. That'd be something. Because um, even though those windows doesn't make too much sense right now anyway, right? And then we could... Yeah, I think if we replace the windows with like a little black spot and the otherwise whiteness. And then we could... Uh, like have some 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 visual face. Again, a little, little owl face, a little mushroom face. Every, everything should have a little personality to it. Put red stained glass as the roof. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that actually is. You know, usually ideas are bad, Owen Colony, but you had a good idea today. And I'd like you to know that. Um, okay, so check on this farm, see how it's been going. Okay, it's been, it, it, it does grow. Not at an amazing rate, but it does happen. And now we need to start selling enough things to get that uh, the axe that we want. It's going to be a good axe, too. So, I guess I could sell sticks, honestly. If this doesn't work out, let's sell some sticks. So, um, how's it all going, Toy Cat says Digging Truths? It's going pretty well. I, uh, I just ordered a kebab, which is really the Christmas dream. It's from the same place that turned down my order once. Or didn't turn it down, which was the whole problem. But I'm hoping today it'll go much better. Okay, so I need six more emeralds, just to confirm that's six more emeralds. Uh, yeah, six more emeralds and I can get myself a diamond axe. So that means we need to make three stacks of sticks. One, two. One, two, three. Okay, that's too many, but it's fine. One, two, one, two, one, two. And now we can officially treat ourselves to a diamond axe. Look at that progress. So yeah, we're starting to get to the point where our tools are just getting better and better. I mean, it means we can start, like, building stuff around us. We're still missing an iron sword. For whatever that is worth to you. You know, we could we just get a diamond sword. Just, just, let's, just, let's just get that, shall we? Now we're there. Also, Quiz 101! Welcome to the membership gang. Oh, wait, I think that's a one-month free member. But thank you very much either way. I'm not sure how that is meant to count on the system. I think we're meant to go back one. Can we? Let's see if that works. It didn't work. <laughs> well, you know what? We can all believe in ourselves. And that's the same as when something is real. Okay. It is officially... Welcome to day 57. You happy, everyone? You got the, the 57th day. Did you order food? I did. I'm excited. I peek at it every now and then. It's going to be good food. Okay. So, suspicious dude. Oh, I didn't eat it. All the way. Let's get this up to max. Well, nine and a half is basically max. Um, and now we have to start working out what pieces of armor we re-enchant. We are level 30. So, I think the helmet goes first. Because unbreaking is nice. But we can do better than protection. And Yeah, we, we can do better than this. So we'll grab the... Oh, we don't have enough lapis, actually. So we're going to have to go underground if we want to extra enchant. I... I kind of need to go down there anyway, so... I'll add mending to my pickaxe before I go. No, I won't, because I don't have the iron. But I'll add mending to my pickaxe soon, and it'll be great. I've got a lovely set of tools right now, and it's only going to get better. Yeah, we'll, we'll pick up all the crystals we can, too. It's been a while since I've dealt with those. Okay, I got a little notification. Don't know what it is. Um, okay, it's, it's nothing. We got... 
we got some some good stuff here. Toy Cat's a bad influence, now I want to order food. I'm too suggestible. See, I mean, are you too suggestible if I say, wow, I feel like going to the gym right now? Are you like, oh yeah, it's Christmas. Let's get some some gym gym go go in. I don't know if that's what would happen. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm maybe I'm foolish. Uh, also, yeah, getting getting just one of those with fortune on probably did most of what we wanted to. But yeah, I think I might go to that cave from before. Now with all this stuff, just to uh, you know, see how it feels. Or we could just find lapis down here, anyway. Yeah, that's what we'll probably just do. So, we don't need to find diamonds. We're literally just looking for any left behind lapis. And then also mining all of these blocks. We have the spare capacity to pick it up. Oh my god, so many crystals. Oh yeah, we're gonna... Too many crystals, some would probably say. Yeah, what do we even do with this many, honestly? It's too many. I like that they produce light. I guess we could silk touch them and place them in nice areas. Um, but yeah, this is too many crystals. I guess we could just turn them into blocks. It's probably what we would do, all things considered. Um, but yeah, it's nice. It's a very, very satisfying harvest. And do we want more jingly jangly? I think we wanted more calcite earlier. I don't remember why we wanted more calcite, but we'll come back for more calcite. Uh, wind chimes. For Toy Cat's sake, let's hope we don't find out. Blame chat, they kept all pushing from kebab. Yeah, I think I think I must be the suggestible one. You know, like, you can't say the word kebab seven times without me I'm, I'm, I'm eventually ordering one. To be fair, someone did say $10 for a kebab fund, and I was like, well, it's basically misappropriation of funds if I don't get a kebab. Like, I'm basically... Oh, wow, there is more lapis around here. Basically, I'm basically corrupt if I don't. You know, this is, this is public money that I've got to be looking after well here. So yeah, this was the scary cave from earlier. It's not going to be so scary now, though. So we'll pick up some redstone while we're here. I think I have a snack of it already. Ow! That wasn't nice. They just get more and more armor, I feel. Oh god, oh god, oh lord. Okay, so there goes my shield technique. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not gonna act like it's my shield technique, but the ability to use a shield is now gone. Oh, and there's more lapis, by the way. We'll have a full stack after this, and that'll be all the enchanting needs we'll have for a while. Yeah, just with a fortune pickaxe too, just very OP. Any diamonds hanging around here? There's some weird caves. Very fascinating. Um. We're gonna pick up the iron as well. Maybe the redstone. Okay, we have space for one of those things and not the other. We have plenty of bone meal, plenty of deep slate. Let's go pick up both. Let's pick up the iron, let's pick up the redstone, let's get out. Oh, hello, creeper. You having a good day? Glad to hear. I ordered a kebab recently. I'm excited for it to arrive. Um, it's not scary anymore. I, uh,. You know what, there's a little bit of fear. But you see how easy I, like, you see how little damage I got from even, like, quite a big wrecking from a, from a skeleton? I have mostly removed the fear. Mostly. Okay. So, gunpowder away. Get some nice redstone on me. I think, like, a whole stack of redstone is, like, a good minimum to bring back. Um, oh, we're picking up a bunch of XP, too. That's handy. So yeah, a whole stack of redstone, and then whatever iron we find. Because there's definitely a bunch of iron we just couldn't pick up earlier. We didn't really even need it earlier. So get some redstone here. Could make some nice redstone blocks. Those would be fun. And then... Oh man, I'd... I'm just so curious about like... Is there a... T there's a tiny chance there's an ancient city in all of this. This mess. And if I if I should have came here with a uh, a regular hoe, in fact that's what I'll do when I use up my levels next. Just come down here. It's a bunch of XP. It's not a lot of work. Might be worth doing. So yeah, that's about as good as I'm getting without placing blocks, which maybe I should just do. Oh, there's some in the ceiling right there. There's some in the ceiling over here. Let's just go pick it up. Redstone, 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 redstone. 
that's my redstone song. Did you like it? Um, we've got a ton of sticks too. I should have sold more of those. Okay, we're ready to go back and do an inventory declutter. Oh, it's probably nighttime actually. Oh god, I can't. I can't be forgetting about nighttime for this long. Okay, it's not nighttime. Thank God. Oof, my biggest fear. <laughs> um. So uh, mending her plus deep dark equals ridiculous XP. Technically, it'd be better without the mending hoe. Like, you just bring a hoe that you don't mind dying. And if you have, say, a bunch of diamond hoes, that's good. Um, commenting for the algorithm, I just got here, says Alexis McNeil. Welcome to a 10 hour live stream that still has at least a half dozen hours in it <laughs> to go. Um, it's gonna be a good one. I hope you'll agree. I, uh, it's very late in the day. I guess this is the, you'd figure this would be the peak stream time, but I actually think the peak was probably before this. And I wonder, I wonder if we can learn things for future live streams from all of this craziness. Uh, just in case my bed is ready. I really don't know when I last slept, but it feels like it must be nighttime already, but it's not, and that's great news. Uh, so now let's climb up to the surface and then let's uh, eat some suspicious stew. Once we eat the suspicious stew, we'll be at absolute full health, and that's a good feeling. When's the kebab ready? Uh, when you go to sleep today? I forgot how long you said. The kebab is on its way. Oh, this is this is better than it got last time. This is this is a this is a game changer, Internet. The food is actually on its way. There's a there's a man who's gonna deliver it and everything. Okay, so there's some redstone that we're gonna dump in a chest. Nice and easy. Then there's uh, raw beef that we need to not waste coal on, really. But I guess we're going to. Um, yeah, this 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 chest is very unorganized. <laughs> I don't know if that goes without saying, but if it doesn't, then I should say. Um, and we'll bring a second suspicious stew around with us just for like a little bit of incidental healing. And now I think we should go to the Mesa, but with the fortune pickaxe. Except we'll, we'll wait till we get a better fortune pickaxe for that. Like we want to go insane on the, on that stuff. Um, and now let's enchant my uh, helmet, but with more levels. Yeah, let's do it. Are you excited? Also, um, I can't think of a uh, anything clever right now. But okay, that's that's something different. Is responding to Samuel though, which means it's something I should be, I should be looking at. Um, that's probably what the vibrations were. Probably were something important from from him. Okay, so um, let's now let's now enchant this up. By the way, I do quite like this uh, automatic farm. I mean, it doesn't doesn't do anything good yet. It needs to be a lot more scaled. But I like that it will do something good. So projectile protection. It's not what excites me. I'm gonna go put down the last. Uh, Bookshelf, and we're gonna see if that adds some some spice to the table. So blue bed gets replaced with one of these, and ooh, let's go for it. Okay, chat. What do we get in? Protection four. Yes. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good enchantment. That is an objective win. So now all I'm missing is leggings and a sword, and then we are as strong as we can be for the situations we're about to get ourselves into. And that's that's something. That's truly something. We'll put our sh shards away, even though we probably don't need them. We'll put our red mushrooms and our oxide daisies in here. And uh, don't you dare, this is my bed. This is not your bed. This is my bed. Uh, do you, were you ever released VODs of you just playing Minecraft? The same footage you use in the background of your videos, just in full length? I think 99% of people would not like that. <laughs> um, it's all about balancing it, right? Like finding finding what is worth it for most people is more challenging than it might sound. Um, okay, so let's make a full stack of both of these. Just trade them in so we've got something. Although really, at this point, given that we have an ax, maybe we should just turn all of this into sticks. And this is a, you know, it's, it's a way to make emeralds. It's slow, but it does the job. 
Yeah, I mean we're at 20 emeralds now. How many do we need? 32, I think. 23 even. So we're now we're now just a few away. Uh, it's a good feeling to be in. I'm not gonna activate an entire blast furnace for free raw iron, as tempted as I am. Uh, instead, we'll just sell three emeralds worth of pumpkins, which are more than ready right now. Let's do this. Oh, and also we, get, we have silk touch on the axe. We can sell some melons as well. Yeah, I think I think having a, a manual melon farm would be doing me a lot more favors right now. <laughs> but I I will I will persist with my non-manual one. Okay, we're good. We're good. Four melons, twenty-five pumpkins. That is enough. And then we'll get. And then we'll have a full set of diamond tools. And we'll just be missing the leggings, which are 26. So that's that's good. That is amazing progress. Where we want to be, really. And, okay, what's it got on it? I haven't even looked. Sharpness 2, Unbreaking 2. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's not the best thing in the world. But that is a full set of diamond tools, as well as the ability to replenish those diamond tools with just a few emeralds. It's pretty cool how you can convert labor into and whatever. It's it's a cool thing we've done there. I think uh, we have this book which is mending. What do we want mending on the most? Probably the helmet, right? I think the helmet is so good we want mending on there. So as soon as we get enough iron to make an anvil, which I probably should have done already, then we'll do precisely that. Um, okay. So here here's here's what my place is looking like right now. I'm gonna quickly check on the messages see if. Uh, See if Samuel's okay. Um, does stream want to suggest a joke for the outro of Q&A? Oh, that's a fun idea. I hope someone did. I hope someone did. Um, also, my food is like five minutes away now. I mean, I don't know if that actually means it's five minutes away, because it was five minutes away last time and then it never showed up. But uh, there's some hope. Leggings next. Yeah, if I once I get the leggings done, I'll, f I'll f it's, I mean, in a way, it's like really cool that I have this village and but in another way it's like wow, ten hours to get full diamond enchanted armor. This might be a lot slower than just enchanting manually, right? I mean I am doing other stuff at the same time. But it's also like, eh, is that is that the best you can do? That's my that's my thoughts here. Okay, so now we're gonna chop down these trees. Just to get a bunch of wood. We have to use it for something. Like we'll build we'll build something or other. My food is five feet away, says James Weston. I get it. You live in a place where where you have food. You know, very jealous of you. Can we hear some toy cats singing? I don't think I know how to sing. I saw a comment on a video recently that's like, oh, toy cat's tone deaf. And I was like, I mean, maybe. I mean, oh, I got a, I got a something. Oh, my food is, food, my food is on the street now. Chat, this is gonna be the best kebab I've ever had. I'm like, I don't know why I'm so hungry. Like I've, I've had plenty of snacks. Maybe snacks don't make enough for a day. Maybe, maybe your body needs more than snacks. Or maybe, honestly, you know, just all the Minecraft. It's a, it's a calorie burning activity. Sitting here in this chair, occasionally getting up to pee. That's, you know, that's a, there's a lot to that, right? There's a lot to that. Um, you better get off the street five second rule. <laughs> I, uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I think I might have to go real soon. I don't want to take full damage from this. Okay, so we break that one, then this one, then we're good. Okay, so chat, I don't have a shield right now, so, okay, I'm getting, I'm getting a phone call. Okay, um, please, please keep me safe. Oh god, you can't keep me safe. Okay. Hi. Hi, are you here? Okay, yep, see you, see you right now. Uh, I'll come outside right now.
Okay, the kebab did not kill me. Oh, that was scary. Ooh. Also, the way the villagers are running around, very interesting. Oh. I, uh... I'm, uh, I'm okay, chat. My kebab smells good, too. Kebab smells very good. Whew. Do delivery people regularly murder their clients there? I mean... Do... Is that not a real fear you have when your delivery food arrives? Okay, so this is the plum juice. I, I cannot describe anything as gross sounding as... Oh, sorry, it's turnip juice. Turnip. I cannot describe anything as gross sounding as... Uh, plum juice sounds like it might be good for someone, like not me. This is some salad, presumably for the kebab. Um, oh, I need to keep the, the this running. That means I need to move this over here. Somewhere I can see my face. Okay. Um... Yeah, I just want to eat something quickly, and then I can throw the rest into it. Oh, whoa, it's like an assemble your own thing. So I've got like, I've got like a kebab or two thing here. Presumably I'm going to have, okay, so this is my, my falafels. And this is, I've never seen a kebab that comes like this. This is like a assemble your own. Oh yeah, and then it's like a whole platter. Of, okay, let's do this. Let's assemble a kebab. I don't know if I put it in this, like I cut one open and I put it in there, or... Yeah, I'm gonna guess so, I'm just gonna... Uh, apparently I didn't want it to get soggy, it's a good idea. It's a genius idea, never... Never seen thinking on this level. I'm just gonna... I'm just pouring meat into the kebab right now, my hand. Uh, gonna have to clean this later. That's all good. Um, there's some bul there's some bulgur under that. And then there's some vegetables. Oh, the vegetables are in a separate pot, okay. I'll just throw a tomato in there for now. This is this is meat and bread, and th those are the two most important things in life, right? Mmm. Top-notch kebab. Top-notch kebab. Mmm. Big believer. So this is a very fancy kebab. Usually you just get like a pitta. Like the laziest, cheapest pitta. This is like a really nice piece of bread. Mmm. If you ever come anywhere to Europe, if you're American, the kebab is the classic. I've yet to go to a country where they're not, where they're like, not in love with kebab. There's also some sauce here. This looks like some garlic mayo. Maybe it's some yogurt or something, actually. Oh, that is some yogurt. I know it's like a big um, Mediterranean thing to throw yogurt on food. I'm not a big believer though. Mmm. Go inside, please. Looks perfectly safe from here. Um. I do need to go to bed though. Oh okay, yeah, I can do this. I can do it. Come on. There we go. Day 59. Okay, so I'll stay inside in the sense that I'll be in my house. How does that sound, Internet? See, I definitely want to eat this. So bad. I'm going to eat the bare minimum to keep myself sustained. Then I'm going to stop. Mmm. I need this food so much. The... Like, you know good bread, you can just eat it by itself. But this is also kebab meat. People do eat that by itself. <clears throat> this is such a good mix. So I've got a pile of vegetables here. And so I can argue this was a healthy... Healthy snack. Let's throw some veggies on there. This is some cucumber. This is some more cucumber. This is also cucumber. This is just a cucumber snack at this point. Mm. 
Mm, yeah, so good. You should on uh, IBX took an ASMR channel. I, I cannot stress enough how fancy of a kebab I've accidentally ended up with and what a delight this is for Christmas Eve. Christmas has come early as far as I'm concerned. Thank you to those of you who tipped me and got me a kebab. This is a life-changing meal. This is a life-changing meal. It's so simple, and yet adds so much to my life. <clears throat> mm. I like that the village is staring at me too, by the way. Glad to hear you're having a Merry Christmas Eve. I'm sad to hear the fact that my delivery was so fast means not a lot of people are ordering kebabs this time of the day. But it's prime kebab season. Be, keep the kebab shops in your prayers, you know? That's all I'm saying. Vegan villager wants kebab. <laughs> I think villagers actually are vegan, right? <laughs> Except the butcher. Actually, the butcher buys meat, but I don't think he ever eats it. <clears throat> Is it vegan to buy meat and then do nothing with it? Hmm. <laughs> It'll take me three and a half hours to drive to you. Will there be any left? I'm hoping in three and a half hours. Oh man. No, only eat bread, carrots, beets, or potatoes. Sounds like a vegan diet to me. Sounds like a vegan diet if I've ever heard one. Honestly, if I want to survive 100 days, I'll just keep ordering kebabs. Look how safe it is while I'm doing this. I mean, I'm actually quite at risk right now. I'd get a very filthy keyboard if I got attacked by a skeleton trap. Don't give yourself indigestion toy cap. <clears throat> I love indigestion. It means you get to eat more food quickly. And then you get to like, it's top notch. Here we go. I'm a lot happier now. My spirits have been replenished. And I know I've got a really good meal. Went for me at the end of the stream. That's all I need for Christmas. That's all anyone needs for Christmas. And now I found a new favorite for Babbery. This is some like sourdough fresh bread. Mmm. Very good. Toy Cat's on a kebab pie right now. I've never been more happy than with this kebab in my mouth. Mmm. It just brings me so much joy. So I also have some falafels. These cost me seven pounds. And there's five of them. So I could have paid three pounds fifty less and not gotten these. Are they worth three pounds fifty? Nah. Eh, no. <laughs> Probably not. It takes away some of the sting from the kebab. Because that's an expensive kebab. <clears throat> but they're very okay. <clears throat> they're very okay. I'll, uh... I think I can go for these as like a finger food snack though. <clears throat> to, keep the, to keep the tank running. That's the plan. Oh. 
Okay, as quickly as I could. Pro probably to the detriment of my diaphragm. That was the same way. <clears throat> Merry Thanks Christmas! Just dropping by to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Go forth and do good. Okay, chat, you legally have to go forth and do good now. It's a legal requirement. Otherwise, that's mishandling of Darren, Darren Hughes's Christmas generosity. Um, okay, how do we how do we how do we get back to normal here, chat? Okay, I'm gonna get my hands clean. You don't want you don't want kebab grime on you. So, oh, there's a little bit of food in my chat. Does the five second rule apply to your chat, or is it an infinite number of seconds? Because if you're sitting on it, it can't be that unclean, right? Hey, Banana Man! So you can't after winning the Nobel Peace Prize? Yeah, it's cool, but have you had a kebab? A lot of people don't realize. They just do not realize the the joy, the, the sheer, the happiness that a kebab can bring a man. And they, they just don't realize that it's too late. Okay, yeah, that's gonna get me through the next 40 days. Um, at some point, we have to worry about um, switching the stream. In fact, in about an hour and a bit. But, um, yeah, we're good. The five second rule ba varies based on the dryness of the food and the harness of the surface it lands on. Sounds to me like the five second rule is always valid. And then sometimes it's more valid. How's that? Actually... That second falafel, a lot better than the first. Um, Hexaterran, you've made maybe 300 pounds from the stream so far. Spending 14 hours straight playing Minecraft was a good business move. I mean, if you think about it, I'm not, I, I think it's a good move because I, I, like the tips are showing me like, People are enjoying it, right? But from a business standpoint, is 300 pounds for 10 hours sounds really good. Until like, okay, well, there's all the cuts that are taken on that. And then it's also 10 hours of like active time. Um, you know, is is 30 pounds an hour before all the, you know, the YouTube and tax cuts, etc. Is that actually the best? It's good. Oh, that hurts. Um, but is it the best? Yeah, I think cutting down trees this way is uh, a little bit of a health hazard. Are kebabs available in Canada, or do I have to travel to get one? So there's a uh, there's a ver there's a variant of the kebab in Canada. Um, it's called a uh, Donair instead of Donna. I think it's made of pork instead of whatever Donna kebabs are made out of. It's very good. I've only ever had one drunk in Nova Scotia, so don't take this out. Take that for the. The, with the grain of salt that it deserves. But I enjoyed it a lot. Okay, so we got, we got all the wood in the world now. I should build, I definitely should build something out of wood that isn't just another one of these houses. Although actually I should start putting the, the roof on this. I think this house has for too long suffered and we need to change that. So we'll get some cobblestone out so we can finish that bit over there. We'll get some spruce out, make the stair thing. And we'll at, least, we'll at least make this look like something, you know? So, um... Yeah, you're at home playing Minecraft, not getting dressed, driving to work, having someone say what you can go pee, I'm boss. That's why I do it. That's why I do it. But, um... The business decision has to be made based on like, is it the best use of your time compared to what else you could be doing? Like you can't compare it to something where it wins. You need to make a fair comparison and say, what if I made three videos in that same time? Is that possible? I don't know. Like, but you know, would those three videos have been more profitable, more enjoyable, more valuable to subscribers, my stakeholders? I don't know. That's something only you can answer, Internet. But uh, that's that's the questions you've got to be asking yourself. I play Minecraft and no one randomly hands me a hundred pounds. Yeah, you know that's that that is a big problem. Got to work on that. 
Um, <laughs> you know, maybe if you play Minecraft for like 17 hours, that's the difference. I think that's probably it. It's just the length of your session that's causing you problems. Um, so now we can place, no, we can't place that back there. We can place a block there and there though. Yeah, that's nice. Um, yeah, probably some more cobblestone for that gap and then more of this for that gap. Um, then we need to, oh, that, that block shouldn't be there actually. Oh, well, it's fine. Yeah, that block should be going the other direction. And we, we could do have some glass, which we can just cannibalize from the vintage. But now though, let's place the rest of these stairs. So if there's one over here, that means there's one over here. A little bit harder to do on this side, but let's see what we can. Um, place a pumpkin down maybe. Okay, can we place a block there? No, we cannot. It shouldn't be this hard. I just wanna place it like facing that way. So I guess I'll pull down a block. Now it's gonna place, okay. If I, if I jump for it, it'll work. It's not what I wanted at all. Do I place on the top half of the block for it to, no, it's gonna, it's gonna be the bottom half right there. Yeah, that's perfect, okay. Now we place a, a this. And then the rest is just alternating each way until we get to the top. And then we'll, we'll fill this in with Cobble Deep Slate, fill that in with cobblestone, and we'll have a nice little house. Um, but yeah, uh, 60 days by the way, that's 60%, huh? It's a good record, really good record. Um, so I think after this we go there, and then we have an upside down, so then we do the same over here, just to make sure it's balanced. And we have an upside down, and a here, and an upside down. So then here, no, that's incorrect. <laughs> here, and then upside down. And then how do we finish at the top here? Uh, it doesn't finish like that. It finishes with a block here. Yeah, I think, uh, so we finish with a block here and a block here. Is that correct, actually? I think that is correct. Yeah, oh, God, okay, we're fine. So now we, we have to move this all the way back, or at least most of the way back. Um... So this block is the easiest one to continue with. This goes all the way atop the roof. Easy stuff. All the way to the back. And then the same over here. We don't have to really do these like upside down blocks because they're like decorational in my view. We could do them over here though, so just to save some time. Do the same, then do another over there. Then move this all the way across. Yeah, this is good. This is this is exactly what we wanted. And yeah, just uh, I'm, I'm I'm trying to make things look a little bit prettier. There's a good argument that you don't really need to care about this, but I and I I, I totally would make that argument. But I just want to do it for me, you know. I want to I want to have a slightly nicer looking village after all of this. Okay, so then we got to place some blocks on top of all of this, but that is easy enough to do. So yeah, now we just connect the outside and it looks like we have a lovely house here. So block here, block here, and block here. Then block here and then we'll connect all the rest later. And then this has to do something and this has to do something, but we don't know what yet. Although honestly, the roof is already... Maybe we should remove the roof from the inside actually. Yeah, we, remo we remove the inside parts of the roof on both sides. And we didn't even build it there because it's useful, useless without it. So then we'll have like a ceiling, which will just be a bunch of oak blocks, which make a bunch of these blocks. And then we're good. Okay, wonderful. When did you get good at building? This is freaking me out, says McDonald's Town. I know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just using exactly what the game has already done. That's all it is, don't worry. <laughs> I'm just stealing Minecraft. I'm committing copyright infringement. Um, it's what I do best, apparently. Um, so now we'll get some cobble deep slate and some regular cobblestone. And we'll just kind of expand the design. So this is what it looks like on the outside now. Again, it's a lot nicer in my opinion, but there's still some space to improve. One of those spaces is up here. So we take this and we just place some blocks where the blocks are needed. Uh, and then, see, so much nicer. I think we could we could mix in some variants in the same way that has mossy cobblestone. 
we could throw in like a deep slate tile. But it's good otherwise. Mm. Then we're gonna fill this in. Um, remove that. Fill this in. Yeah, that's good. I think we wanna remove this block. Make sure that matches too. Yeah, I think I, I like this a lot actually. Chat, what do you think? This is actually like an improvement, right? Okay, so then then after I've done this, I can work on my house. I mean my house. I can like make it something real. Um but the I think the cow the cow house needs a face first. I think black concrete is gonna be the job. It's cute. Filling in the filling in the church. Yeah, you know what? The church needs to be closer. If this were, if this was creative, I'd just copy the blocks over here. I don't think it's worth rebuilding it. I don't think it's worth moving it though. I think building, I think like changing this terrain a bit though, might be a good idea. Like making it a smoother gradient between the village parts. Oh yeah, that needs some work too. <laughs> I kind of forgot the house is just loose on its side. So let's go chop down some oak trees because I clearly need the wood for that. Um. And let's, let's go. Okay, I've got one more falafel internet. Did you know falafel is a valid pronunciation? Yeah, I think that really helped. I'm glad I did that. <clears throat> Big improvement. Um, I like to cap building less dangerous than caves in the nether. That is true. You want to survive 100 days? One of the most important things is probably knowing when to take risks and when not to. And there's a lot of times the answer is when not to. Even though it's a lot more fun to be doing when to. Anyway, let's uh, pick up some pumpkins too. Plenty of pumpkins. Yeah, I, I like these efficient axes. Definitely making a big life difference. I think I should probably enchant this to the max myself, because I'll probably get efficiency four, and that'd be nice. Because uh, axes need efficiency the most, I think. Like if you're using them a lot, which I clearly am. Um. So yeah, let's uh, farming villager. Click, click, click. And now let's uh, let's uh, build around the outside here. So I should put a window here, really. But I'm like a dodgy landlord. I'm just gonna not. <clears throat> uh, just because it's not fit for human habitation doesn't mean I'm not gonna try and make people live there. And so, yeah, I think this will be just fine. Wait, well, you know, I'll, I'll leave a window there later. I think I will do that. And then we'll just. Oh, I'm not even sure what to do about this. You know, I think I think this adds to the weird aesthetic of the whole thing. <laughs> So I'll leave it there. I will build, um, I'll remove these and just have this go all the way down to the ground there. It's a small sacrifice that I'm willing to make. And then the same over here. It was only saving one block anyway. Kind of looks like a witch's hut now. And then we'll grab some dirt, fill that in. Um, probably fill in this whole cave over here. Like it's unnecessary. Ah, uh, you know, it's not that bad. We could just torch it up and be done with it. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Just a torch. A torch. Um, yeah, that's nice enough. The back is a bit ugly. Um, <laughs> you know, it's not an ideal. Yeah, actually, you know, we can just fix that by just at least making it even. Um, you know, now it's ugly, but it has a purpose. No, actually, we just need, we need to make this into a a pillar like the rest. That's all we got to do. So the pillars start here, and let's just mine that block. Oh, we gotta watch out for stuff over there. And then let's also finally build some blocks behind this guy. You know, it's a bit it's a bit of a problem how you just hang over the edge there, my man. I would like to stop that for you. I don't want to punch him in case it ruins everything. But that's that's definitely what he needs right now. 
He needs a good punching. So yeah, that's uh, it's a little bit nice from the outside. I've already got to go and s shovel snow again. Okay, can you explain to me as a non-snowman? Um, I don't live in Snowland like you do. Um, I, I think Toy Cat. I think I enjoy Toy Cat endangering himself uh, more than uh, him making curse things. There's a lot about who I am. I think there is a natural part of that that's like you enjoy the uh, the danger because that's everyone can build a silly house, but can you put yourself in in harm's way on the reg? You know, reg? No, on the reg. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. Who knows for sure? Yeah, it's a little bit uglier from the back than it probably needs to be. <laughs> but that's fine. You know, am I describing this house or am I describing, I don't know, your in, 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 insert person you care about in your life here? Uh, who knows for sure. So I think what we could do, because these, these stairs are nice, they're finished, like no one's probably even noticed what we just did there. We could just use some planks and build a roof Oh, we, yeah, so we have to have something here. Uh, slab, maybe. Maybe not, honestly. And then we'll have, like, a, a log that goes up here. So that means that now we have to, like, do that. And then presumably also do it on this side. Yeah, is that weird? I'm not sure if that's weird. But then we, we would have to do the same over here. So this would change direction to be like that. And then we could do the same on this side. So this changes direction to be like this. <coughs> then we could chop down probably this block and just kind of connect these two sides up. Yeah, that's probably enough. If we ignore the blocks that don't match, that's probably good. Ouch. Actually, maybe that's worse. That's a lot worse, I think. Maybe, maybe if the colors met in a better way. But we, we made something here, that's what matters. We made something. So now we're gonna make a set of doors. Uh, too many doors, probably, but we're gonna do it anyway. How, hey, how are you, you doing? doing? You remember me, I'm the guy who wanted to see you at the airport when you left Dortmund, but sadly had to work so I couldn't make it. Still feel very sorry for that. Merry Christmas, have to go to work now. Beating Merry heart, Christmas, cat. have to go to work now. It's 11.30 in, in Germany, man. What's wrong with you, my dude? Um, also, um, you need a half oak, half spruce diagonal slab. That's what I need right there. Have we hit 12 hours? No, we're at 10 hours, 51 minutes. I've got a lot more energy, a lot more passion and vibes right now. And that's what I really need to sustain this. Also, this isn't working up there. Do you see that? Oh, I don't think I have uh, redstone there, though. That's why. Yeah, it's not that it's not working. It's that I didn't build it. <laughs> Which is a very similar condition, to be fair. See, I didn't go and get more smooth calcite, which would have been useful. Smooth base salt, sorry. Uh, do I have more smooth base salt, though? I don't. So we have to go down and get it. Or we just use a similar looking block and hope no one notices. Which, you know how I feel about doing the lazy solution. I mean, it probably will look exactly the same, right? Like, does anyone even notice? I don't think so. I think it looks exactly the same. Um... Yeah, I, I don't think there's a single person who's ever going to spot that. Um, I work as a paramedic. That's my time. You know what? That's, that's like, I don't want to call you a hero. Because are there such things as heroes? But that's pretty cool stuff. To sacrifice your Christmas to save someone else. In other words, what did you do, what did you do that you're covering up for this good deed? You know, did you murder someone? Is this the only way you can feel whole of the world? Uh, so yeah, now we need to activate these. You know, whenever these activate, this will just also activate. It will be fine. So yeah, we should do another layer of these. Um, but I need more never quartz for that. And yeah, that's the thing I don't have right now. So um, what I can do is I can sell some sticks. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just really slow at getting emeralds. I didn't... I don't have like multiple farming... I, I, I could just like grow this pumpkin farm, honestly. And that could solve all my problems. But it's not what I've done. Maybe the pumpkin farm should be multi-level too. I mean, that could be interesting, right? If nothing else. Although we can't do it with one block wide like this. So it would be misaligned. No one likes misaligned. It's definitely the wrong type of aligned. Uh, so instead we could go below it. That might be fun. 
Eh. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to go below at some point anyway. So let's let's dig down below this thing. And then we'll grow some extra pumpkins down there. Maybe? Yeah, as an idea. As an idea. Yeah, there's something to that. And then, actually there's not enough dirt on the ground here. It's too much diorite. So we'd have to remove the, the ground and place the dirt there. That doesn't sound fun. We'll just leave that as a little hidey hole for now. Um, place a redstone block in here so it looks like a murder happened, I don't know. Okay, an auto raw chicken farm is a good source of emeralds. I think I want to make a chicken farm anyway, actually, to make, um, I forgot what I wanted. I think I want the eggs and then I can sell those maybe. But then also I get chickens and I can use the eggs for something fun. Okay, I'm feeling good about the village. This this house is a bit weird, but it's, it is finished. No, actually that, the roof there isn't going all the way across like it needs to. And I do have the, I've got this, the stairs on me anyway. So let's, let's go do this. Let's jump up here. Let's maybe break these blocks. Yeah, apparently this should be the stairs. So let's just make these stairs instead. There we go. There's some minor improvements. I, I think this is like probably a waste of everyone's time compared to the wonderful things I could and maybe should be doing instead. But um, yeah, then we could, uh, I think we'll place these all the way along here. The back, the back side's always gonna be covered in some more weird stare. And now we can just fill in the gaps with glass and whatever else we scavenge. I think we're gonna go, I, I wanna make the cow house now. Again, making things that spark joy is my current goal. Can't sell that eggs anymore. Wait, yeah, you're right. Why can't you sell eggs anymore? What do they want instead? Oh, they just they just sell you more things? Are eggs too OP? Why do they remove eggs? Like I thought eggs were pretty well balanced because they only stack up to a certain thing. I'm just gonna eat salad at this point. Oh, it tastes like fast food salad. You know what I mean by fast food salad? It's got that exact taste. Maybe that's what you need sometimes. This fast food salad. That's all the enjoyment you can get in life. Ooh, eggs were so OP. Were they really? Fast food salad is good. It definitely has a flavor. For better or worse, it has a flavor. Okay, let's go to the nether. Um, I've got a golden apple. I've got spruce doors. I need to clear my inventory, never mind. Block chest, here we come. Sorted away. Couple deep slate. Spruce logs. Eh, we'll put the stairs in there. Uh, look at me, by the way. Got like several inventory slots free right now. Living a different life to what I'm used to. And then, yeah, we'll just come in here. Pick up these blocks. Life can be good. Uh, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna recraft all the melons together now, including the ones over here, just to just to get it done, you know. 64 melons. What does that create? It creates 13. Wow, that's quite a few. Now we can go and... Yeah, it looks a bit funny on the side, but I think it's about as good as you can get doing what I've done here. Uh, and it's also a villager enslavement camp, so I don't think I can... I don't think aesthetics are the single most important part about it. Um, okay, so now we're gonna go to the nether. We'll put the pumpkins somewhere safe. Uh, I don't know, just inside the hopper chest thing. They've, they've gotta go somewhere, right? So in there they'll go. For now. And ooh, there's some pumpkin seeds. So yeah, that's that's just fine. Let's go to the nether with some I need to bring a whole stack of cobbled deep slate with me though. Okay, so we're gonna get while we're there, we're gonna get We're gonna get some good stuff. Go to church, don't die please. I mean, you know, those are very different instructions. Don't know how to mentally deal with both of them at the same time. Also, do you think all my, my spruce saplings have gone away? Okay, I've got a fourth one over there, thank God. Still trying to grow this area out a little bit. So I'm making sure, making sure I leave my trees in a place where they can grow. Oh, I never made the uh, the bamboo farm. I mean, I don't really need it for anything. Yeah, it's just a bunch of bamboo right now. <laughs> Which, I mean, what else would it be? I guess we'll come in here, we'll just chop them down. Uh, we'll use our sword, of course. Ooh, look at the sword quickness. And then now we can make sticks. 
That was a nice bit of rain. Good news, internet. It's 10.38. Uh, it is... Uh, we've got an hour till we have to switch over the recording. I mean, the, the live stream. That's exciting. That's that's big, big moment, huh? Um, and then... Okay, so we got a lot of sticks, by the way. That's a lot of sticks. Maybe it is worth having a bamboo farm. Because it is sticks that you want to trade with that guy anyway. You know, your boy. All he wants in the world is sticks. So, uh, yeah, tomorrow, first thing we're doing is going to the nether. <clears throat> and we're coming back successful as heck. Got that inventory management on lock. I mean, you know, compared to where we're usually at, I think so. Welcome to day 62. Should I drink the turnip juice, by the way? I, 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 I bought this thinking, oh, that'd be funny, but it just looks so sad. It makes me... You know, after after the kebab, I, it just, you know, it'd be, it'd be a, an obvious downgrade. Yeah, I don't like when that happens with uh That's why keyboard and mouse is inferior. It never happens with a controller. If you put up the new stream on the unlisted live streams, then I can link it in chat. Yeah, I'll try to do that when we've got half an hour remaining. So that way it's like... In fact, I might just even make it public. And then people will know, like... And then as long as we don't die, it's super embarrassing. We'll be good. So I'll put some more doors out. Um, yeah, doors are the solution to all my problems. Doors can solve everything. Um, okay, that's a ghast blast. No, you don't. Okay, so as you can see, skeletons still spawning. Oh, I don't have a shield. Oh, um, I have iron on me though, right? I have iron on me. Yeah, that was good. Now, that's that's exactly what I wanted the whole time. I don't know how he didn't hit me once. Usually they get like one shot off instantly when you get close to them. But maybe that was just, just the right. Come on. Okay, we're good. Okay, now I'm going to put a door over here. And a door over here. And now I've got a little safety box. <laughs> where I can think about what I've done. Uh, and we'll be fine. So yeah, I need to make a shield. You see that? There's a skeleton on the other side of that. Um, and you make a crafting table so I can make a shield. Um, yeah, actually, let's just, let's just, there we go. That's much better. Should the crafting table go outside? Probably not. Uh, also, I should just buy a shield. But I've already bought the, the things that buying a shield would achieve for me. I hear fireworks, but I guess it's Christmas Eve. That's how you celebrate Christmas. They're like really loud. Okay, let's go in there and let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to controller for this. As counterintuitive as that sounds. Oh, here are the magma creeps that everyone loves so much. Everyone everyone loves them so much. Why don't you tip the magma creeps? Yeah. You love them so much. Oh, oh god. See that by the way? I got a full hit from a skeleton, no damage. Like it's actually done a tiny fraction of a damage, but not a full one yet. That's, that's where I want to be. Um, every now and then, we'll make little safe spaces. This one makes a very convenient little little bridge for me. Um, and then, yeah, I'm also going to do this every now and then. Because those are blazes. Honestly, the blaze... Once you've got the shield, the blaze... I di it doesn't make any sense to me that you can block the blaze attack with a shield. But it is true that you can do it. And so why would you not? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, I didn't block it there, clearly. <laughs> so yeah, this this is a little bit burny. Good news is, is I got golden apples specifically for this situation. And we're great. Okay, so we're gonna block off that angle there, just to be extra safe. Uh, and as well as that, just, no way past. Although, actually, we need to stack that up. Another block. Oh, I can't do it in time. Now, now a wither skeleton is going to climb over or something. It's going to be awful. So, uh, yeah, we're just trying to get to... Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. Hello, friend. Full two hearts of damage. Oh, one and a half. That's nice. Um... Okay. Oh, Christ. Yeah, uh, we're just trying to get a, 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 uh, a whatchamacallit. That's all we need. Oh, I forgot. Man, stop sneaking up on me. How do they even keep on? 
I think I need a door in here, clearly. Or at least like a, a little maze for them to run through. Yeah, I think a little maze for them to run through. Good idea. Um, Just a little maze over here. Oh, okay. Speaking of mazes, let's get that gold activated right now. Okay. So I'm just trying, man, there's just so many blazes here. Okay, there's a, there's a skeleton coming. That's a problem for me. Also, yeah, I don't like this situation at all. I feel like it's, maybe it's just because every, every mob is just a step extra intense here. Okay, go for it, friend. Go for it. Yeah, see how that goes for you. Oh, do we get a skull? We don't. We don't need to care if we don't get a skull. Um, so we need to place a block over here. Stop a wither skeleton climbing over that. And we need to go inside there. Oh man, that's an intense one to deal with. So when we're in through here, it looks like we can just do that. Um, yeah, this will be much safer. And then there we go. So once we hit the end of this, um, we'll build a wall on this side. And we just need to get in there for one with a... Man, it's been so long since I found never wart in a, like, the, the bedrock way, you know? Like, how often do you really need potions in bedrock? How often is it, like, a requirement? Just saying, it makes more sense the console way. You find it anywhere in the nether. It's good. It doesn't just spawn in a valley. That doesn't make any sense. Almost to where you ended last time. Keep going. You got this. Thank you very much, McBella. I know you mean this. I couldn't resist reading out the typo. Um... Thank you very much. I think I got this. Um, I, I'm, I've got belief in myself. So I don't have another stack of these, but I do have a bunch of Neverack now. And should we just charge in? I mean, no, we shouldn't. We should not. Do I have enough arrows for uh, just just to take out this this blaze? Actually, I have snowballs, right? No, I don't. I would be, I'd be disappointed in my inventory management if I had snowballs on me. Um, we're gonna place some blocks across here. Stop a wither skeleton getting through. And then we're gonna block him. Perfect. Um, so again, every single one of these, we just wanna block off, stop a wither skeleton coming through. See that guy up there? Oh, I don't know what he's up to, but I don't like it. Let's back away, let's get into this tunnel. And let's be safe over here. Um, so yeah, by getting away from all the mobs, they will despawn. Oh, and also, by the way, we want some nether quartz, right? Just get our hands on a bunch of this. I feel a lot safer with those these uh, those diamond leggings right now. Wither skeletons can climb over that. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, it's a, they're they're a, they're a mean mob. They're a very mean mob. They got some some weird behaviors. Okay, so if I can't hit these guys back correctly, which I can't. Yeah, I need I need to just keep on stepping further into oh man. I need to step further into this each time. Or I need to work out a better way in there. Which I'll admit maybe that is the, the correct move. So let's let's do this. Let's try around that way. Seems like a bad idea, because, okay, so let's just... Oh, no, come on. Perfect. Okay, so, honestly, killing ghasts seems silly when they spawn at this frequency in this biome. Um, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, just... Come on, did I get... Okay. No, this isn't gonna work any better. Like, there's just too big, too big of a gap to bridge. Um... Okay. No! Okay. Okay, fire damage is not good damage. Um, fire damage is very much bad damage. I'm gonna survive, I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna get out of this and we're gonna laugh about, gonna laugh about the circumstances that brought us here. I think getting potions is a great idea. But, come on. Oh, please die. Okay. I think getting potions is a great idea, but I think for now we need to re-up on our golden apple strategy. Um, I've got a fortune pickaxe now. If I just go back to the mesa, I'll get a lifetime supply. 
Also, uh, McBella, thank you very much for the tip. Uh, uh, the super, the super sticker too. I appreciate it. Zigzag wolf. Man, that, that's there's something. I I like I like the uh, that end reward would have been so sweet, but I just I couldn't take the risk for it today. Being uh, <coughs> I was the jack of potions, but the master of none or whatever. I uh, I didn't have the the perfect skill set I needed for that, and uh, maybe one day I will, but today is not that day. For now, we'll put our never cots away. Sweet, we can make more observers and more pistons. We've got all the ingredients we need for both. Um, yeah, let's do that actually. You know, this auto well, this auto melon farm brings me joy in life, and this 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 run is about this is this is about bringing joy. If we're gonna get this this far into it, we need to have some seriously good times. So, um, what am I missing from a cobblestone? Right? Um, oh, 19 cobblestone. Okay, 64. So we're gonna have to make a bunch of observers and then a bunch of pistons, except I think I don't have enough piston juice anymore. Uh, can we go to sleep? Not yet. So craft some pistons. We can get make five of them. Okay, five pistons, more observers. If we get some redstone and some cobblestone, we can do more. So while we're mining the, the gold, we should also try and pick up some cobble. Easy, oh by the way, it's 63. Uh, been gone for near two hours. What's happening? Any near-death experiences? I wouldn't say near-death experience, but it got pretty spicy in the Never just now. Um, pretty spicy is is uh, is how I would describe it. So, how many hours do you have to go? Uh, another six or so. Uh, well, I mean, there's thirty-seven days, ten minutes a day. Six hours, ten minutes. Six hours, twenty minutes minimum. Uh, a little bit more is how it's actually been going, so, yeah. It's, uh, it's a long day, but I mean, isn't everything a long day when you compare it to something? <laughs> Maybe. That sounds correct. That, I don't know if that was meant to, but it does sound like a real point that I'm making out loud right there. Also, yeah, this is, this is going real nicely. You know, make it go even nicer. Another layer. Except we didn't bring our dirt with us. Yeah, let's make another nice layer of this. Grow some melons. Actually, I need the melon seeds as well. I've got to stop stop doing multiple trips here, but it's fine. It's not that far away. Free melon seeds plus whatever comes out of it in the meantime. Okay, yeah, nice. I uh, I do intend to eat Suspicious Stoop when we can to heal myself up, by the way. Also, yeah, so much of this is going over the edge. I wonder why. We need to, we need to optimize our... Collection method clearly. So yeah, the higher up we go, the more we're starting to like potentially run into some issues. But um, all we have to do here now is we could just make another one of these opposite it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do next here. I think all of these plants are great, but let's replace these with some more auto. So the plants go here and then behind it goes the observers. So every other one of these becomes an observer, every other one becomes a piston. How do we place the piston? I think we just sit in there and we place it this way. So then we remove this one, easy. And then this becomes a piston. And then we break this one and this becomes a piston. It is much less efficient in terms of space than a manual farm, but it is cool that it just happens by itself. So that's the Oh, this doesn't work because there's a row of plants behind it that I'm now going to have to... Actually, do I have to do behind? Can I do on top of? No, it has to be behind. So yeah, we'll have to remove this entire row of pumpkin stems and move them one over? Yeah, I guess so. We'll just make an extra block here. I mean, it looks like this kind of needs to be out anyway. Yeah, we'll, we'll just make the pumpkin farm wider to account for all the melons that we're about to lose. Easy. Okay, now we place the observers in the inverse spots so that they're looking at the these. Easy. Easy. Just stare at the stems. And uh, yeah, now, now we should have, once we jump on all these croplands, 
We should have the exact same situation as on the other side. Can you jump on this? Yes, you can. Okay, so now also it should probably fix some of the issues with that, maybe. Redstone on top should work. Should it work? Let's find out. No, I don't think so. I think the redstone only can go... You know, we'll, we'll find out. Let's, uh... So, let's grab our redstone. Because redstone would work to connect to a piston on top. But I don't think it would activate... I guess we'll find out. Um... So how do we easily change the state on one of these? I guess what I'll just do is I'll put a, another observer block over here, hypothetically. Wait, no wait. Yeah, like there. And then we'll see if, let's see if this activates when this block changes. It doesn't, yeah, so it has to be behind it. So we're gonna have to remove this entire row of them. Um, you can put the pistons observers on top because it's a pain to build, requires hopper minecarts for collection. Yeah, that's uh, we'll just we'll just put redstone on the road right behind. Sucks to break so many like functional stems here, but you know, it's such is the sacrifice we must make for automatic melons. I believe is what they always say. Oh, you can put redstone on farmland. Whoa! Does anyone know that? What? I've never I've never thought to try it. It's one of, like maybe I should have. Maybe this is like. So I can't, I can't believe you don't know that. I'm taking away your redstone card or whatever. But like, what the heck? Did any, is that, is that known? Huh. Huh. Well, it's a, you can do it apparently. <laughs> that is very strange. This screams bedrock exclusive to me. Yeah, there's no way that is, there's no way that's a feature that's intentional. What happens if you jump on the farmland? Is the redstone okay? Let's. Does that mean the does that mean right now the redstone is floating above the farmland by a block? Wait. So let's uh, let's remove this for a second, just so we can see around here. I don't think we can see this correctly about like slabs, but I think maybe so. I think maybe so. Yeah, because this is definitely lower down. So the redstone just floats slightly above the farmland. <laughs> it makes the farmland worthless as like farmland for sure. I mean, does it? Yeah, wait, so I I bet we can't place redstone on, okay, we can't place on a melon stem. What if there's like grass or, okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's freshly plant a carrot real quick. And okay, so you can't place redstone there and then you can't place carrots when there's redstone. That's just so odd. I really cannot, I cannot express to you how weird this feels to me. Bro is growing redstone. <laughs> I mean, it's growing quite well, don't you see? It's growing pretty well as far as I can tell. This isn't farmland, this is redstone land now. <laughs> what a weird feature. What a weird feature. And now we need to regrow all the pumpkins that we've just lost. Well, maybe we don't need to, but we're gonna choose to. And also, you know, we want some more pumpkins, so. We're going horizontal on this one. It's probably more nice to not, but, you know, this is the way we're doing it. So now we are going to make a bunch of pumpkin seeds. Too many pumpkin seeds. And, uh, one layer goes here, one layer goes here. More efficiency for the pumpkins. I mean, we could probably do two layers next to each other. Yeah, with this, with this spacing, I think it makes more sense to do that. No, it doesn't. Let's just, let's stick to what we're doing. <laughs> Grab some pumpkin seeds. And grow them all up. Uh, we need some water around here somewhere. We can place the water below the pathway or something if we wanted to, though. In fact, should we? We've got a bucket somewhere in this world. Maybe we should use that for something else. It's crazy I've only got one bucket, actually. Use a checkerboard pattern. Use a checkerboard pattern and have observers over the stems, pistons over the melon slash pumpkin. OFC that could be broken on bedrock like everything else. <laughs> Maybe it's Java where it's broken. Clearly on Java you don't have redstone on your on this, right? So you guys you guys are missing out on your redstone farms. You know everyone everyone says they love they love it, but Yeah, that's that's weird. So you know that's, that's why it's important to play Minecraft uh, in the weird stuff that, 
You know, like you gotta some things you just gotta find out by doing. And redstone on farmland. It's just one of those things. It's just one of those things. Okay, so too many pumpkin seeds, for sure. Too many everything, honestly. Just too much of it all. Let's put the carrots away. I'm just gonna go sell the sticks so I have something to do with them. Um, and we've also got observer blocks. These feel like a different category to just blocks, so I think I'll put it down there. But yeah, it's good. Um, I'm gonna go get the gold now, by the way. I need more golden apples if I'm gonna get these potions. Or I could just have the golden apples and that could be my potions. But in either case, I need to go do that. It's important. Oh, leggings, how much do I need? What do I need for you, leggings? Um, this is my guy. He wants 26, I've got 15. So we could get like five of that by selling wheat. Uh, 26 and yeah, that's, that's enough. The five emeralds. And then we'll get a bunch by selling sticks. Your boy loves sticks and I'm happy to provide them for him. So yeah, that's now the three extra emeralds I need. Was it 26 I needed? I genuinely forgot. Yeah, 26. Okay, chat, we've officially done it. We've got a full set of, uh, of iron, of enchanted armor. And in fact, now I'm gonna go a step further than that because I think Fawns 1 is not, it doesn't help me, it just damages other mobs in a way that I don't think is actually useful. So we're gonna go now disenchant these and we're just gonna max enchant. And if we get protection on them, that's gonna be amazing. If we have protection, we remove our biggest fear, which is most deaths. You know, we can still die from some things, but most deaths will cease to be an issue for us, which is cool. Um, I think I want to build some better pathways around this place now that it is all differently built, by the way. So max enchant, not an iron ingot, but uh, the diamond leggings, please. What are we going to get? Protection for, heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And so we'll put mending on these next. Once I get iron, of course. Okay. Hey, we've reached a stack of days. I think I'm in a much better situation than last time, too. There's no there's no surprise iron golems coming to get me. Uh, I got my suspicious stew in case they are. I want more kebab. I'm just gonna, just gonna sneak in a little bit with my hands. I, uh... No one look, chat. No one look. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh. Thanks for not opening. Mmm. Kebab meat is just so bad, but so good. I really don't understand it. Okay, so we're gonna now, um, we're gonna have to get some gold now, but first. I'm gonna use pathway blocks to connect over to this. But also to connect over to that. I don't know how to effectively do this, so I'll just like place a bunch of blocks. And then I'll place a bunch more blocks. And then we'll see what the end result is. But yeah, still waiting for an invisible bear to attack you. You never do know when that's going to happen. That's the problem. Yeah, that looks good, chat. What do you reckon? I, I'm surprised. I thought it'd turn out a lot worse. Um, that looks like a real thing. Yeah, I, uh... Eating the kebab is delicious. True Christmas food. Um, I like the path. I think it adds a lot to the village. I think this is a bit cluttered, this little junction here. Um, I think having the horse pen be on top of the hill is also very confusing. I think I might have to make it like a deliberate hill. Like an intense mountain that he climbs on top of or something. But um, yeah, I think we're good. Uh, I'm gonna place these blocks back in. I don't know why they're missing. I don't know how to, where to get the blocks from. Over here maybe, there we go, yeah. Let's just, let's just fix that. And then let's go on adventure. We need gold. We know where to find gold. We just have to go take gold from where it is. Over there to over here. 
Nice and easy. Two blocks of dirt. Perfect place. I have a black cat in my lap. May he bring you luck. <laughs> I hope so. I, uh... You should name your cat Dasher. And then... And then if anyone asks if that's confusing, just, just ignore the... Like, be, be very confused when people ask, like, how you picked a name. Like, yeah, I just thought it was a good name for a cat. They're like, doesn't it sound a lot like someone else in your life? It's like, don't know what you could be referring to. Are you... I mean, all cats are beautiful all the time, no? Uh, it's now Christmas for me right now, says Fun Cat One. Merry Fun Cat One, Merce. I mean, I feel like you're halfway through your Christmas if you're New Zealandish. Christmas is already done, right? Whole season is over. Um, take a bed. Oh, okay, I've got a bed. Don't scare me with that. Um, I'm so happy. <laughs> nice religion is tying off, says Malakarian. Man, you realize this live stream is organized religion, right? We're watching a crazy man say some things that he's pretty sure means something. What everyone else looks at and goes, are you, you sure about that one, man? Yeah, also, I, by the way, 18 hours is pretty much dead on the estimate because we've got two days left to go until 66 and we're at 11 hours, 24. So that's fun. Oh, I realized my, my, my time is different to the public time because my time includes the time before I hit live. Oh. So that means we might we might finish before 5 a.m. If you can imagine such a ridiculous, no we won't. We might finish not long after 5 a.m. if we're lucky. Oh, by the way, look at this bridge coming in, coming in amazingly. Actually, I'm gonna mine some iron. Maybe I should do it on the way back when I'm like more, less energized. But just, I needed some iron. There's a ton of it over here. This is where I wanted to go all along. I just wanna make an anvil and then do I want anything else? Yeah, it's not worth it's not worth mining iron to sell. Like it can be a really good deal. It just feels wrong. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna make an anvil though, and maybe like maybe I'll sell a little bit. Like if I get another weapon smith. Ooh, my phone went off. It's probably I hope it's the. Okay. Oh no, it's my camera saying it. No, it's some activity. Okay. Is is Q and A ready to go? Uh, did you send Q&A to Harrison if it's done? Okay, just, just to confirm. Okay, wonderful. Um, do all moderators know how to behave? Does anyone know how to behave? No, for real, that, that's a, that's a real, real question. Like, the world is filled, oh wow. The world is filled with all these different contexts in which you're meant to behave. And some people are really good at picking them all up, at least to not offend other people. But a lot of people are really good in certain contexts and really awful in other ones. Like how do you behave at a party is so different to how do you behave at work. Why does it need to be that way? I mean, the answer is like, you know, like the hierarchical structure varies. Like, you know, when everyone's like equal man is like a different thing to when like you have a big thing to get done your boss is responsible for it and they need to know that you are gonna do serious things to help get that thing done. Um, but yeah, like how, how do you, how do you, how do you behave in a given situation? Because everyone knows that like, okay, at a party, you chill out and you, you don't act too offended at things. Everyone knows at work that you, you know, you, you make sure that the person who's in charge knows, knows that you're doing things that you're meant to be doing or like, you know, whatever the case may be. But like, what about those weird blends in between? Like, um, Mojang should add a me mechanic Mojang that- Mojang should add a mechanic that automatically change grass blocks to path blocks if you repeatedly travel the same path. That would be so cool to see. You know, that's that's how they make paths in real life. They just like, let people wonder and they see what they do. That'd be really cool to see in Minecraft though. I agree. Curtis Reynolds, thank you for showing up. Again, hope you're doing great. No, um, how do you, how do you behave in like a, uh, like what about like an airline situation? So airline, like this is a weird one to me because I fly a lot, but it's like, it's, they act like it's a customer service thing. Like, oh yeah, we're here for blah, 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 blah. But then they're also like, and just so you know, this is a very much dangerous activity we're doing. 
where we need 100% cooperation all the time. And it's like, is this a fun? Some airlines are super fun. Some airlines are like, we will get you there. That is our role. We know that is the only thing you care about. And so that is what we will do. Some airlines are like, yeah, let's have a party for some scratch cards. Um, I'll say this once. This is an all-inclusive environment. If you discriminate against anyone, we'll ban you. The only people we discriminate against are people who discriminate. And even then, I'm a little torn. Should we discriminate against them? You know, it seems like seems like it's just gonna gonna make them worse at discrimination, no? Um if anything. Maybe we should be undiscriminating against them. We should like treat them as our overlords. And then they'd be like, ooh, this is weird. Wait, is that what I've been doing to people? That's my pro tip. My bad pro tip. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna look for a cave. I already looked one earlier, but I'm hoping this makes it easier. If I find a desert temple, that'd be swell. Like an enchanted golden apple, but like the real, oh God, what have I gotten into situations? Might be a good idea. Uh, let's do spreadsheets and stand up meetings at parties. Yes, Mark, now we're talking. Actually, you know what, let's discriminate against Mark. I've changed my mind. Um, if we've come here to be discriminated against by you personally. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. Chat, you know, you get a one-time pass. Tell me how you want to be discriminated, and I'll discriminate against you based on that on that characteristic of yours. Um, do you feel, you know, like, are you, you feel a little ugly sometimes? You feel like the world doesn't take that one seriously? I can, I can take it very seriously in the, in the wrong direction. Um, you know, you, you, you may be, uh, you, you know, you spend a lot of time at home. You got, you got an inability for certain things. You know, you feel like makes makes you unfit to join the rest. Yeah, I'll I'll make fun of you for it. You know, you really, you know, the fact that people won't make fun of you for walking funny when you, you when you're disabled, that's that's pretty messed up. That's people discriminating on against you based on your disability. Really, you should be like, wow, that's hilarious the way that you walk. And you should be like, oh yeah, well actually this is my limp. And it's like, well, thank God I mentioned it. Um, yeah, this is this is definitely a good idea. I should be in charge of the world. Trust me, this can only go well, right? Um, I want to be discriminated against for being British, says so Nana YT. I mean, have you ever considered the world is already doing that? I mean, all the time. People are like making, also I, I need to go sleep in a bed. This is a nice cave, but it's not. It's not resolving what I want. Uh, this went the opposite way than I intended, love. I think my plan here, right, is the uh, the logic questionable is if you if you tell people to do something, now it's less fun because it's the it's the requirement. Maybe that's the opposite of true. All I know is that it's day sixty five, and my name is Andrew. See, you like that? No, I uh, I'm very I'm very pro discrimination. I'm very I like, I like, you know, I just, I just enjoy a little bit of like, ooh, let's, let's pick some reasons to, you know, I think, I think everyone has that. I'm born ugly and will die ugly, but I don't mind. I'm happy with me. No, you can't be happy about it. You've got to be, you've got to be, you're going to be soul crushingly sad. Otherwise it's not true. Like I can tell you're not ugly based, based on that fact. Um, I, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the truth of it. So is this is this the only cave I'm gonna find? I'd like for that not to be a true fact. Maybe we should just die. maybe we should just jump straight into the horse. Deal with, deal with getting out later. No, I think I'm gonna get out there. I'm I'm also pro uh, B squared minus four AC. <laughs> That's very funny. Ten out of ten. Maps joke. Isn't that um differentiation? Oh, I guess I that works though. You know I'll take it. Okay, um, starting to fill my Ritalin. Gonna go shovel again. Gonna leave the stream running so I don't miss out on any unbroken view duration. Thank you very much, Ryan. I, uh, I'll appreciate your view duration. It's very important to me. Honestly, yeah, the, I, I love the view graphs on these insane videos. Like, it's gonna show as, like, it's gonna show as something ridiculous. Happy secure my identity as a coffee-loving lesbian. Nothing you can say will crush me. You know what? You ever consider this? Your country equals bad. Yeah. We're all thinking it, Dasha. Everyone's like, ooh, a Russian. Are we gonna let them hang out with us here? And it's like, oh yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, but you, you ever consider actually 
You're existing a crime just by exist. You're, you're committing a crime just by existing. You ever consider that? Discriminate against me for being a nasty goblin? Well, I think I'm joining into some role-playing sessions now. Um, I, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm ugly and gay. Well, I mean, you don't have to clarify and. Like, it's clear you became one because you were the other, right? <laughs> Which way round is that more offensive? I'm not sure, but I... I, whichever way, whichever way went round is worse is the way that I meant that. Maybe I think I think assuming you're ugly because you're gay is worse because that's that's more offensive. You know, like ugly isn't a real minority to people, even though it's like the most important and biggest one, right? Like, you know, that's I I mean in in the sense of like, I I know there's a there's a funny like there's a problem of like trying to work out the biggest you know the, the, what do they call it like the inequality Olympics the. The uh, there's there's a, there's a like, oppression Olympics maybe, and the problem is is like the actual biggest classes are people that we all hate, you know the people who are most discriminated against actually are the people we all despise, like the guy you know and that that sounds ridiculous, but it's like yeah the the fact that we can even talk about insert group here and say they face you know blah 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 issue, is because of the fact also wow it doesn't temple, is because of the fact that we acknowledge they shouldn't. Whereas like, I don't know, in the UK, I always mention this, it's like, it's, a lot of people find this over the top if you've never been, lived in the UK, but like people just despise travelers here. Like, it's like, oh yeah, people, their way of life is showing up to places, uh, staying there without welcome and like pushing the legal system till they're forced to leave. Uh, and like people really dislike that. It's uh, and like, so no, no one ever mentions it cause they're like, yeah, but like, don't they like deserve it? And it's like, well, no, I mean, I mean, is that? Also, W for trans people in Scotland, says Sky Blue. Was it a good thing? I, I, I know there was a big controversial thing. I, uh, I, I remember it being like, uh, yeah, I, congratulations if it's a good thing. That's, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know, actually, I don't think I should ask, like, oh yeah, I think there was a hot burn issue. Was it a good one or a bad one? You know what, chat? While well, we're here anyway, um, who, who's the... Who's the, what's, what's a nice good one? Um, take the horse armor. Was there horse armor that I didn't get? Ah, you know, it's fine. Um, I say most people are kind of ugly. I think most people are. I, but I mean like the personality, even if you just ignore looks wise, like personality wise, most people it's like, man, how are you gonna have, how are you gonna have an attitude like that to just, just come over here and just ask me for something? Not even have a consideration, like, Man, that's that's emotionally ugly. Well, not emotionally. That's like personality-wise, I guess. Um, right? Like, I uh, I can't think of a great. Cause I, I don't know. Like, what's a really ugly thing is when someone's mean to a waiter. I've heard is a thing everyone hates. That's ugly. That's like they're the real. <laughs> See, right? They're the real minority. Who like or real oppressed people? But they're oppressed, thank rightfully so. They people would would like to stop going out in the same room as them because they're bad. They're not enjoyable people to be around. Um, you, see, you see what I'm saying? Like there's a, there's a, every, every group that we can talk about and say like, oh yeah, they face unfair this is because we have, we think it's unfair that it should be for that. But there are some, you know, cat, like people who are, people who, um, okay, here's, here's my type. People who honk their horns, if you live in a city, and you ever use that horn and your life isn't in danger, get out of my life. I, you, you know the, the classic like honk, 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 honk traffic? Like, no, what's wrong with you? Are you a goose? If not, your, 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 your ability to use that horn is off limits. I, I, would, I would be happy with your employer taking, <laughs> you, know, like, uh, you know, like removing your access to a bathroom. You know, it should be like, this is the bathroom for people who don't honk. This is the bathroom for people who do honk when you live in a city. Oh, is it out of order? Oh, sorry, we'll get someone around to fix that eventually. I mean, maybe, potentially. You know, stuff like that. You know, I, I, people who walk too slow on the street, in the middle, or even worse, on moving on the, what are they called? Moving sidewalks, travelators. When you're on one of those things, you know, like it's, a, it's like an escalator, but it goes flat. You have one of, if you're on one of those or in the middle, you deserve terrible things to happen to you and your loved ones. Every single one of them. I, I think that I think we should discriminate grossly against those people. Um, you know, like I think I think they should walk into a coffee shop or something, and then everyone should like point at the sign, and say, 
your type aren't allowed around here. The only reason we don't is because we can't spot them in public. But if I could, I would be, I would be, uh, I'd be very upset. That's all I'm saying. I'm a goose and I find this offensive. I'm hey, thank you, I'm a goose. I find this offensive. You know, I do have to say, geese have the right to honk in public. I only, I had to honk it the other day at a roundabout. Gomez went into me just because he was crossing like three lanes. See, right, even then, even if even if it's like life or death, only if it's literally, because you know, the, the point of the horn is to let people know you're there. Um, if it literally was like, he learned you were there after you pressed it, okay, that's acceptable. If you were just mad because he almost killed you, even if you're mad that someone almost kills you, I, think, I don't think that's acceptable horn situation. I think that's a, uh, ooh, I'd better, I'd better stop driving while these crazies are on the street. Um, I feel like when you honk at someone, they feel like they're, they're right, you know? That's the, that's the problem with it. Also, there's a second desert temple. I'll get some horse armor. There'll be some in the second desert temple. There must be. Oh man, I, I want to make the jump so bad. Oh, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay, we're fine. I, I get so scared. So I think that's an abandoned mine shaft down. down. Yep. I don't think I need anything from it. Ooh, it's got a service, service chest. Never gonna do one. Honking's useless because no one knows who's honking at what. Yeah, I just get I just get an intense stress when I hear a honk. And I'm like, I hope it wasn't about me. I don't think I'd change anything if it was about me. But I hope it wasn't about me anyway. Uh, so we'll get some rails and we'll get a name tag. Probably remove the rails later. Um, you should discriminate against me, I don't like cats. Uh, can someone ban Polly E from the chat real quick? So I get has the correct highway code opinion of honking. I I cannot get over how ridiculous the he almost killed my kids. I'd have ended the sucker. If I see that's why I'm you know what? use real violence and not the horn then. The other even then that's my case. It's like okay, you know if it's that bad, you know because then 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 if I'm just there going on my little day having a good time and I hear a honk, I'm like, <gasps> you know, uh, that's 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 my issue. And even worse is like you're in your house. I live in such a quiet area. There's no reason, like I live, uh, what's the word? Like residential streets. Like I'd, I don't live on streets that you would ever come through unless you didn't know where you were going. Um, like the streets are deliberately designed so they don't go anywhere so that no one comes through them. It's, it's a weird design layout, but it's what they do. And um, so when people have to honk around here, it's like, come on, come on, my dude. You you have no reason to need to do that. You just also dimed horse armor, nice. Also impaling. I mean, if I want to do extra fish damage, That'll be great. Uh, I could take all the gunpowder and like make TNT. I don't think I sh shall though. By the way, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna hit the uh, the day type thing today. I think it's gonna happen. I think we're genuinely going on the full hundred. I was a little worried I'd activate the pressure plate then, and you know it would be the worst time. Like if if I'm if I'm not feeling smug, that's that's the time to get me. Uh, what am I doing here? I don't know. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, put that down, there we go. So now we can pick, use the cut sandstone. Get out there and we're good. What are your plans on day 69? I'm gonna sit inside in such a way that I know I won't die to an iron golem. That's my plan. How do you feel about it? Okay, so I have a horse somewhere around here. It's weird, because I came out here for gold and I got 46 gold, which is nice. But, uh, oh, actually, look, 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 look. Yeah, fast two is now strong two. We could we could go on a serious cross world expedition. Let's eat a little more food. Ugh. I feel like some food went somewhere. I'm not sure where though. So apparently I've achieved your life is a mess and you have no idea what to do. I have an app for that life status. At least you're not honking at people in residential streets. Your life can never be that wrong. New stream link. Oh god, yeah. Okay. Um, so hello everyone in chat. When we hit 12 hours, we have to hit a new stream or the VOD doesn't become public. Why is that the case? Um, why is that the case? I do not know. Um, so I'm just going to copy this exact thing. Part two. Hours 12 plus. 
Okay, so now we've set up the second stream. Uh, it's unlisted and it's gonna start in about 20 minutes. Maybe a little bit more than 20 minutes. Okay, but we've set up the stream. I don't know if I should set that one public or not, but we'll work it out. Toy cat equals yes, but what equals no? What is the opposite of a toy cat? Okay, so now there's a second stream. I'll hit public on it and see what it does to this live stream. I don't know what happens if you have a stream you're announcing while you're also playing a stream. But yeah, we'll have to switch over in the next 20 to 30 minutes. Assuming we want to be able to watch this back later. That is a big if, to be fair. Like, do we want this that badly? It's a good question. Day 66. Oh, yep. Day 66. So yeah, getting two thirds of the way through before switching stream is a good sign. It's a good sign for my future. I'm gonna go chop down a jungle tree. I don't think I want the wood. I just wanna collect it. You feel me there, Snap? Just a little bit of collecty going on. You know, I hope there's a fork in this somewhere, actually. Then I could start. No, there's napkins, but there's no forks. I've still got a little kebab laying around. I mean, a little bread thing. Oh no, there's a fork, there's a fork. Okay, internet. I don't, maybe I should do it after the switch. No, I'm gonna do it before, okay. So we're gonna chill here on a horse. I've got my shield up. I'm just gonna eat some of the, uh, gonna eat some of the bulgur, like it's like rice or whatever. Rice is like good for you. So I'm just gonna quickly, it's like, you know, it's like the little weird, I'm just gonna shovel it in. Mmm, so good. It's so oily and delicious. It's just covered in flavor. So, uh, how's the weather, internet? You having a good one? My weather's good. Thank you for asking. Did the stream crash? My chat has frozen. Let's confirm. No, I'm streaming. Am I streaming? I don't know anymore. Can you say pineapples in chat? If you're still there. Um, yeah, I think my chat is frozen. Um, yeah, I wonder what's happened. I'm gonna try refreshing, see if that fixes things. Okay, we've got plenty of pineapples. Hello, my pineapples. Hope you're doing well. Mmm. So there's now only 34 minutes until Christmas Day begins. This is a special holiday. This is this is actually a weird thing. Where I'm from, we uh we celebrate Christmas as the day that Jesus was born. But he was actually born some other time. And we just kind of wanted to I think it was a pagan holiday, and we're just like, well, it's better we celebrate Jesus being born sometime than no time. So that's why we celebrate on the wrong day. Sky Blue, thank you for becoming the 787th channel member. I love a good 787. It's a it's a high quality airplane. Honestly, it would be the best plane out there. It would be the absolute best plane if they didn't have those darn dimmable windows. Like, it's such a futuristic thing that just ruins the plane experience. Because uh, it gets so hot, it never gets truly dark. The, the crew are in control of your window. And you want the crew to be in control of everyone else's window, but not your window, you know? That's the funny thing about control, right? Is like, um, same with honking. Like, I don't think anyone else should have a honk. I think, you know, if the honk saves like 10 lives a year, I think the amount of distress it brings me, not worth those 10 lives. But I bet if my life was one of those 10 lives, I'd be like, ooh, maybe, maybe that'd be worthwhile. Jesus was born on January the 7th in our current system, if I recall correctly. Is that correct? Um, anyway, I just want to get one jungle sapling before I leave here. There we go, two jungle saplings. Actually, we need four, really, don't we? No, we don't. 
We would like four. Very different to needing four. Okay, Q&A is uploading, uh, and Harrison tells me to check the thumbnail. Okay, so I'm gonna release, um... Gonna release a Q&A, I think. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we go. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna release the Q&A, and then we're gonna switch parts as well. It's gonna be a very confusing thing to do. Usually, YouTube's not used to 17-hour live streams, I don't think. But we're doing one of those today. Your horse is making a getaway. He's always making a getaway. But is he ever getting away? The answer is no. December 25th is roughly nine months after March 25th, which is when they believe Jesus was conceived. I don't, I don't think we know when Jesus was conceived unless, like you'd have to work it out the other way around. There's no way there's like a diary somewhere from the year one BC being like, oh yeah, thinking of, thinking of uh, hitting up Joseph again. You know, maybe we get frisky. It's gonna invite him over for some, some stone tablets and chill. Like, I don't think that's, I don't think that's what was happening. Uh, I think, I, I think we, we could probably work out when the person called Jesus was born. And then we could retroactively work out, like, from that maybe, some of the other details we wanted. Okay, I'm gonna build a bridge over here. I've got plenty of wood. And so, let's use this to make a little jungle bridge. Um... Hey, KJ pal, thank you for the 788th channel member. We're so close to, uh, we're so close to six, 800. I mean, we're also close to 600, just the wrong way and also not close, but we're m way more close to, I mean, in any objective sense of the word, um, to 800. He was born sometime in September. See, everyone's everyone's like, oh yeah, we know exactly when he's born. And then everyone's giving me different answers, which lets me know that we actually do not know exactly when he was born. You know, like if I ask you like, what's the capital of France? I don't get 12 different answers. I mean, I, I don't assume I get 12 different answers. And that that's because we know the capital of France, but we clearly don't know when Jesus was born. If everyone has a different opinion on when it was. Um, yeah, I, uh, he was born on the 25th of December. God has never been, okay, you know, this is, this is some deep stuff. So chat, what's your favorite color? I like, I like the color blue because it can be like nice, but it can also be not nice, but it can also be the color of like cold, but then also the color of water but then also cold water so it's it's got a, it's got a lot of range blue does um so yeah i um okay i'm gonna i'm gonna keep my eye on the uh the amount of time we're going for very close to taking 12 hours uh just a little warning yeah i think in the next eight that after tomorrow night i think we're gonna switch when, we, when we're back at the base we'll do a little switcheroo Man, yeah, 100 days is such a big, uh, such a big time commitment. I, I think, uh, one session too. It's definitely the way to do it though. Like, just, you gotta go crazy. You gotta, like, really push yourself. Um, like, it's feeling more doable now than it was feeling yesterday when I was like, how am I gonna do that? Um... Yeah, we're getting to 11 p.m. I'm excited. I, I've got a TV show. I've got one episode left in it. I'm worried about saying it in case someone feels like spoiling it. But it's a really good, high-budget show. Um, it's been a big twist, at the, the episode I've just watched. And uh, I want to watch it. I couldn't watch it yesterday. I, uh, I have a... I, have, I, have, I, I couldn't. But I hope to watch it today. Um, I'm calling it. It's better cool soul. I think I need to rewatch Breaking Bad before I rewatch, before I watch. Also, what am I doing? It's nighttime. What's wrong with me? <laughs> How did I not spot that? Oh, look. Oh my God. What is... <laughs> anyway, it's day 67. It's uh, Boss Baby back in business. Oh man, I love Boss Baby back in business. 
I've watched everything in the Boss Baby universe, and I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I really do not know what's wrong with me. Um, it's uh, it's it's got to be a mental defect. It really has to be. Um, since uh, watching the stream, seeing uh, how long 100 days take, I think 75% of 100 days videos are fake. No way they're doing this. I think when you see a channel that's like, yeah, it takes two months between each hardcore upload. I think that is likely to be real. Um, and I think if it's like, you know, once every week and it's someone who looks like they don't do a lot besides play Minecraft and edit Minecraft, that's believe- Oh! Oh. That was weird, but it's fine. But, um... Yeah, I think, uh... Some people actually enjoy watching baseball. You're okay, man. <laughs> wow, go for the jugular on those baseball enjoyers, why don't you? Okay, so in five minutes we need to switch over from this to a brand new live stream. It has been a fun 11 hours so far. I think, I like what we built, but I think we can do more. I think we can do more. And so I shall be leading. I shall be leading this into more in that that next little live stream. So what's gonna happen? This stream's gonna end. Actually, I'm gonna try and set up the redirect right now. So YouTube has a 12 hour maximum for live streams. You can stream for longer than that, but they'll delete the video when you're done. Uh, 12 hours seems a little bit harsh, but that's the way they do things. And um, yeah, there is a way we can redirect. Okay. So now the stream should automatically redirect you when it's over to the new one. I don't know if that's gonna work. So just try and find it. Uh, it'll be on the YouTube channel, probably. And then after this is all done, I'll make this video live sometime tomorrow. Thank you for watching part one, where we got today 67. There's 33 days left to come in part two. Link down below. So see you there.